Hello everyone, I am Tacit and welcome to the Dave the Diver live stream. So today, uh, I was going to originally wait until this game came out of early access. However, uh, I figured we'd finally get around to it today. So this game came out uh, technically a couple months ago, though as you can see in the corner right over there to the bottom right. Uh, it is not in version 1.0 yet. It's kind of like half diving simulator, half like restaurant running simulator. Reminds me a little bit of things like uh, Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon, and the um, like Animal Crossing and the such. Uh, but it also has like a whole kind of uh, restaurant management component. So I figured uh, we go through and uh, do most of this game today. Uh, we'll do like a 12-ish hour stream since, you know, YouTube has that 12-hour limit until it starts overriding itself on a live stream. So we'll see how far we can get. I feel like we can get most of the storyline done. Uh, I believe the game currently has like 15 to 20-ish hours in early access. Obviously, we're not going to rush through the storyline. You easily could get through it in like 12 hours if we really wanted to, though. We're not going to rush all the way through it. Probably split it amongst two streams. We'll be able to get like most all of it done today, probably. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much the game plan, and uh, let's start getting into it. Also, I did test the controls just to make sure uh, things worked. And hey, unlike Hollow Knight, uh, the default uh, mapping actually works on a Switch controller. So we're just going to overwrite our data real quick, because we don't really have any important data here. It was mostly just testing controller out, and it does indeed walk. Also, let me know how audio is, by the way. Also, luckily, this game shouldn't be that storyline based. So if anyone comes in at a random time, um, shouldn't be too big a deal. <laughs> As well, it is very storyline based. You're kind of going to know what's happening pretty much at any given time. This is pretty much just two phases to the game. The underwater phase where you're collecting and then, of course, the restaurant management phase. And I have not seen beyond chapter one for this game. Though, seeing gameplay of Chapter 1 is what made me originally want to get it, though. As, uh, it's a pretty solid game. It has a great foundation. Um, I feel like it needs to expand a lot more, though. Because it definitely doesn't have, like, a thousand hours or a hundred hours of content currently. Like, uh, some other similar games to it. I don't know. We'll see exactly what they do with it. Because currently, I believe beyond the storyline, there isn't too much to do. I believe it even has like some end game caps just so people can't go too crazy. So who knows, maybe we'll still find some kind of weird way to min-max it. <laughs> so they got some of the credits at the beginning. Which is actually kind of interesting, you generally don't see that like all the way at the beginning. Based on it being a smaller team, I wouldn't be surprised if that's like the full credits. <laughs> so we do have a skip option. So we'll let him finish out his root beer. Good water drinking break. You gotta stay hydrated, though not with soda. <laughs> I say that as I have, like, three cans of tea next to me. <laughs> Slightly healthier, <laughs> though just as sugar-based. Oh. And unfortunately, this game doesn't have voice acting, so you know what that means. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Hello, Cobra. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I was told to hurry, yeah. I, I was on vacation, you know. So, what's the sushi at? Ha ha ha! Don't rush yourself! Have a look around! Look at this giant blue hole? I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size! Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes! Which means... This could be an incredible business opportunity! What kind of business? Well... Uh, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. Uh, how about warming up? Uh, I'll guide you from here. Go ahead. And go on in. <laughs> hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the Blue Hole Prologue. Yeah, I probably threw the Prologue tutorial thingy just so I could, uh, see what the controls were. Just to make sure it actually worked with our controller. And to my surprise, everything works. A button actually means A, B button means B, and anytime it tells you to correct a, a click a button, it actually means that button and not a different button. So that's nice. 
Uh, especially for an early access game. A nice form, ha ha ha. All right, how about uh, try uh, stretching out a bit? Uh, try moving to the uh, marked area. Uh, with ZL, you can move quickly. Uh, so basically sprint. Remember that uh, this speeds up oxygen consumption, which is basically, uh, oxygen actually works kind of interesting in this game. It is both your timer and your HP bar. So you generally don't want to overuse it, but also oh. you'll probably need it in certain situations. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. <laughs> Let's now practice using uh, the weapon. Uh, you'll need it. Uh, wait, you'll you'll need in contingencies the dagger. Uh, try using the dagger on small fish. You could use it with the A key. Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, uh, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I, I haven't used one in a long time. Uh, do you uh, aim first, and then hmm, hmm? Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch. Let's say three fish. Aim with B and fire with ZR. Which I feel like is a little bit of a weird way to fire, though. I guess a lot of shooting games do it that way, though. I don't personally play like any shooting games. <laughs> Let's go catch a dory. Which I forget what the actual uh, species is called. A blue tang. I keep catching more dories. Uh, come on, give me another dory. Actually, let's catch three different fish. Oh, let's go get Mimo. Oh, they have Dory and Mimo. Got a yellow tang. Clownfish. That one I know what it's called <laughs> in advance. I always forget what Dory uh, is, but apparently blue tang. Uh, I think that uh, should uh, get you back into track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's go down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? I do like sushi. Uh, for sure. Uh, the soft fish meat uh, with oily rice. Oh, man. Uh, that's just the best. Aha. Well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef uh, who left the business for a while. Uh, he has uh, built a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has uh, one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. Uh, it is uh, right here that I started a restaurant with my friends that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. Uh, the sushi sold here is made from fresh uh, fresh fish caught in the blue hole, uh, where fish from all over the world can be found. Uh, don't you think people uh, will just go nuts for it? Mm -hmm. um, I'm already craving it. Ah, I bet. So, uh, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? Uh, what do you say? I mean, I love eating, but... I don't uh, know a thing about cooking. Hello. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. Uh, all you need to do is dive and get the ingredients. Uh, doesn't sound too bad, right? Decline. <laughs> no. Uh, so I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Uh, can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant uh, next to the blue hole. Uh, it was uh, supposed to open tonight, uh, but I'm not sure it's ready. Uh, let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha! Right, to the restaurants. Hey, Bancho. Are you all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Uh, tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as I expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and the land. That symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. And rip restaurant. <laughs> ah, an earthquake. Hmm. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we have a delay in the opening. 
You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs of doing business in this state. Baha. In the end, importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Dot, dot, dot. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please, go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Hmm, wouldn't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with a meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. Uh, you will need to get me uh, the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Oh, let's go get more ingredients. It seems Bancho is really passionate about his work. Yeah, he may not uh, talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. Aha. I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. Uh, it's nice to see him uh, like this. Oh no, the law. The incident? It's in purple, so you know it's important. Oops. Uh, maybe I mean, uh, I, I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, uh, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish. Is that a lot of stardust? Welcome, welcome. Oh gosh, we're 100 in debt. <laughs> Makes sense. Restaurant just went down. 100 and that's not too bad for an entire restaurant going down. Right, so hey, now is our first access to actually playing the game. And this is pretty much where I played to when I was messing with the controller controls. Just to make sure everything was working. So let's go see what we could go do. Right, so we're on oxygen limit. Though more so, we're almost on a space limit. Oh, can I get this? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna seahorse. Okay, we cannot catch seahorse. Can we like go up to it and catch it? No. All right, so no seahorse yet. Blue shell, random junk. All right, let's go find some fish. Where are the fish, guys? We found the fishless area. Oh, well, we're starting to go too far in depth. Don't wanna go too deep. We need to upgrade our suit for that. Another dory. I was trying to get a nice variety. Got a lagoon tiger fish. Gotta get one of everything. Gosh, I remember in Animal Crossing, it, it took a year to actually finish out the entire uh, fish decks. Oh, can't catch you. Oh, we can catch you. They're gonna be a fight. Uh, let's see. I almost want to go dagger it. Might have to be more efficient. Oh no. Okay, you move too quick. I do have dash. Oh. Okay, if he comes too close to our body, he's gonna flail away. Oh gosh, aiming, aiming. <laughs> this guy moves quick. Okay, let's see. Should be able to get him in a couple. There yeah, we got him. Two star rank three. I got some other ones over here. It definitely seems like one of the higher value ones we could probably get right now. Definitely higher than Dory. Oh, we got some jellyfish over here. Might want to get them. I assume I have to hit them from underneath. Though. Let's see if I could dagger them. Because they're not moving. They're not moving much anyways. Okay, maybe they're... <laughs> As I'm doing that, they're starting to move way more. Wait, can I catch you now? Perfect. I only have one star for you. It's still a rank three. And that thing wants to kill us. Oh, in theory, that does make it easier to shoot at. Oh yeah, rank four. Okay, that's pretty good. Do I have any oxygen nearby? I do know that there's like oxygen things underwater. I don't want to go too deep there. I need you to come to me. I don't use up too much. Okay, he's gonna hit us. <laughs> I think we just need to do it for the invincibility frames. Okay, why is this one moving so much quicker? <laughs> Let off already! Oh, there's some oxygen. 
I need to catch this guy first. Oh, uh, is this guy just gonna follow us to the ends of the earth? He's literally- okay, there we go. Gosh, he has an aggro range. Give me some of that oxygen. I kind of want to go back for him now. <laughs> we shall win this fight. Alright, where'd he go? He's probably still damaged unless he regenerates. There he is. There we go. Alright, so there's a little escape pod thingy. Let's grab some more from the grounds. Probably want to get at least one more fish. Because we do have a little bit of space left. Actually, I might as well just do it from the top. Because we can either escape through either side. Also, hello, Ginky! Yeah, I see you've been uh, playing um, a couple different of those, um, like, restaurant simulator games, to a sense. And uh, this one's somewhat similar, kind of. A little bit more of a modern one. Still in early access, still. We haven't really gotten to do the restaurant portion yet, mostly just catching our initial... Our initial sushi. All right, now we're fully capped out on that, so... Well, actually, you know what? It's probably easier to go down than up. So this is like a little escape pod thingy. So if you get hit while doing it, you, um... Cancel the escape pod. New content! Use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Uh, check your surroundings first, uh, as the calling process does take some time. Like that one fish that followed us to the end of the earth. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Okay, now to do the sushi restaurant part. It starts kind of simple, but then gets more and more convoluted as the storyline goes on. How convoluted? I don't quite know, as I've only seen chapter one so far. But we'll find out. Plus, it's still in early access, so obviously it's going to get more content over time. And more mechanics over time. Alright, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, uh, we'll make uh, boatloads of money in no time. Bah -ha -ha. Uh, my my, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, we'll have to hurry up and uh, get things ready. Uh, why don't you head to the sushi bar? Alright, prepare ingredients. There's a hole. Best everything since the only time we went down. And we got a nice variety of uh, almost everything we see. I'm pretty sure there's like a few things we saw that we didn't catch. Oh, well, we got a little bit of everything. Alright, wrap up for today. Oh, by the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Uh, get the ingredients ready before uh, di uh, dinner hours start. Alright, so this is like our inventory chest here? Oh yeah, we can't access it. I want to see my inventory. And those little Stardew Valley chests. <laughs> Hopefully it has infinite storage. Because it's very annoying making multiple of them. Bancho, how are the uh, preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Uh, here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar uh, from today onwards. What? I I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. Uh, the guests will be here soon. I'll, I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. Ingredients. Here, you can uh, check your fish uh, crops, sauces. So yeah, it does have like a crop system. So it is going to bring in that Stardew Valley kind of element. <laughs> the Animal Crossing kind of farming kind of thing. Probably to a basic degree, but enough that uh, it does seem like it's going to be a mechanic later. Uh, sauces and all the other materials you have. For now, uh, that's all you need to know. Uh, come back later for more information. Right, so that's, uh, okay. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. I add, and why we'll do you? Do one. All right, that probably uh, wasn't that hard. Uh, setting the ingredients to auto supply uh, will make things a bit more convenient. Uh, let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. 
you can also enhance the flavor of the dishes. So try it out uh, when you have enough ingredients. Uh, now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu. Okay, so can we upgrade you? Uh, no, we would need three. Okay, so let's, uh, let's auto supply you. Let's see. Can I order based on anything? Oh, maybe I have finally found a fault and that doesn't work. Is X not doing anything? Is it, uh, maybe you can't sort yet. Because that definitely looks like a sort drop down menu, but clicking S X doesn't actually let us sort. All right, let me go add this to check something. I want to enhance. Okay, we do. So we need three for the initial enhance on these. It has been enhanced. Guess the sushi looks good. All right, auto supply. Though I believe we only have one left. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? So you can be upgraded as well. This one can also be upgraded a lot. Let's go to this one. We have a lot of this. Let's do one. See how much we can upgrade it. Uh, let's see. Where is enhance? Not auto supply. Wait, where did I check the menu? It was literally just in. Yeah, enhancing. There we go. Right, can we double enhance? We can, but then we're only going to have one to serve. I don't know. I think we might. Hmm. I think we'll want to leave that one not fully enhanced. Oh, yeah. Let me auto supply the rest. I wish there was an auto button for auto supply. <laughs> All right, let's do the other one that we have the most of. Though it's only going to be one if we end up upgrading it. But it's one that will sell for 13, so I guess it's fine. We'll do one, and it should cost three to auto if it's like the other ones. Uh, or not auto, but to enhance. Okay, there we go. Are we good here? So how many total items is that? That's not a lot. Is there any way to check? Because it's currently set to auto. Because this, I believe, was one, 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 and five? Six? Hopefully that's enough. That's almost ten. You said we needed seven fish, so theoretically that is seven <laughs> to a degree. All right, let's see how they do. All right, let's go start the restaurant part. How long are you going to stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea and quench my thirst. Hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? Uh, no, only soft drinks, I think. How do you not know? <laughs> I'll tell you how. Uh, go over to Cobra. Alright, pour. Stop pour. Perfect! Green tea. So, customers who drank green tea, um, green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Ooh. Baha, as expected. Bancho's green tea is quite something. Hmm, the tea really uh, got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Uh, demanding as always, why don't you try serving him some food uh, while you're at it? Waiting on food? Serving the food? Come over to uh, where I am to take this food. I know we're already here. Uh, you can dash with the same one as underwater. Hello? Uh, you sent the package last night? Or last week, you say? Uh, what in the world? Uh, let me go check on that. Uh, Cobra didn't even eat. Uh, he's always distracted like that. The food. Uh, can't be reused. So, I'll have to throw it out. It seems like a waste to throw it away. Pancho. Sushi will never refuse or never reuses food. Uh, we do not put uh, food made for guests on the table twice. Well, all right. All right, trash it. Uh, everything looks about ready. Hmm. I haven't cooked for uh, customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Uh, don't forget to press X uh, after uh, filling the menu for business to begin. Uh, did I actually consume one of my items that's meant for tonight? Oh, no. That's not good. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes. We already did. Okay. It actually did. It consumed one of them. And I think that was my highest item too. <laughs> Whatever just does one randomly or the one all the way rightwards. Because uh, they just consumed one of our better dishes. Maybe even our best dish. Can I actually check? Yeah, they did. <laughs> they just consumed my $40 lionfish. No. Our best item. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. 
Oh, I just realized we only have one of the other three. Oh, we're not going to have a lot to serve. I thought we had more. Oh, wait, it's because it's on auto supply. It shows that it's only one. Like, it's one, but it's going to keep auto supplying that one. Assuming we have more. <laughs> the only one of these I think we have multiple of. Which is whatever one we just served as it didn't go down. Yeah, that's the one we definitely have more of. Oh, let me go do some tea real quick. Oh, wait, why is it not going down? Oops. <laughs> Wrong direction. <laughs> okay, let me go uh, do the little thingy. It uses a stick, which is kind of awkward. Or the other stick. <laughs> like, it doesn't use the movement stick, which is, I assume, the one you would use. But it uses, like, the camera shift stick. <laughs> I right, still have a little bit of that sushi left, though probably not many. I right, almost made up our debt. We would have if he didn't consume my most valuable fish. Uh, we have now depleted our entire menu. So I assume no one else is going to come then. Because we are quite literally out of food. <laughs> oh, there we go. Close for today. Oh, we almost made it back. If they didn't take my best item, we would have. Also, we only got a 4.6 since we messed up the drink. <laughs> Wrong direction. Phew. Uh, work finally done for today. Uh, my back and legs hurt. Uh, you were a bit clumsy, but not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> Man, uh, a man uh, should uh, not feel uh, gratification from simple compliments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. In any case, a toast to the opening of Pancho Sushi. In this decrepit state. Our shipment. Uh. And a Kraken. <laughs> Month 10, dates 2. Did it say day 2 instead of day 2? <laughs> I got a call. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Tisk, I was expecting a younger, hotter guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the Graduate School of the University of Philippines. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Uh, give me some agar and red starfish first. I think we got the red starfish already. I'm not sure we picked up an agar. Uh, I don't think it's a uh, good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. We got a smartphone. Uh, you can use your phone to access various types of content. Uh, check your uh, current missions and more. Uh, game setting can also be accessed through the phone. So they brought over the Animal Crossing mechanic. <laughs> Obviously, other games have done it as well. So, Animal Crossing is the most sold game that has ever implemented a phone mechanic. Oh, they even got mini games. Pretty sure we can't do anything with it yet. Nope, none. Here's what they're gonna put there. We got the weather. So, similar to the uh, weather channel and things like Stardew Valley and such. Uh, and even, in, did it slightly work in Animal Crossing? I can't remember. I thought there was a way to check it. But, uh, similar to other games like this, you can check the weather multiple days in advance, which probably affects some of the things in the water and other things. Not sure everything. But, uh, 
It would definitely affect something if they put it in the game. Apparently we can call people. Got our mail. Ooh, a 10% discount. <laughs> Got our music, which I assume we can just play all the music in the game. General settings, album. Oh, it's an album. Oh, this is when we take pictures and stuff. This probably is a photo mode. Anyways. So we still need to get two agars and two red starfish. Because even though I think I got a red starfish, it looks like she wants two more. Yeah, this day game does have a bit of a storyline, though. Of course, it's mostly for the gameplay loop. All right, so let's try prioritizing her mission if we can. Means we got to get a lot of collectibles. So we're mostly looking for the red variety. Should maybe stop picking up wood. We don't have any way to use wood yet. It does weigh us down a bit. Oh, there's some of the thing I need for the mission. Oh, is there two of them right next to each other? This could be perfect. Oh, we haven't actually got one of those yet. Oh gosh, here's that one aggressive thing. Let's go kill it. It's like the most valuable thing, plus we upgraded it some earlier. So why is he moving so much slower now compared to before? Ooh, pufferfish. That looks like it'll be valuable. I assume I have to do it once you stop puffing. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally a shield. Come on. I can wait here. <laughs> I wonder if we can multi-tap a dagger. I think we're getting slightly more damage this way. Oh, so it should be the catch. I highly doubt I can survive more than three. Uh, apparently it can. Alright, let me try daggering it and see if we get slightly more damage. We might be able to double dagger it. There we go. Oh yeah, this will do more damage than harpooning it. Come on. Apparently I'm only going to catch one of you because gosh, you take a while. There we go. Oh, it's a four star thingy. Though we've damaged it greatly. Is I think you have to like, like the more you damage them, the lesser the quality of the meat. Come on, that literally went through him. Like that first shot, I can see that second shot missing, but gosh, that first shot was dead on. A bit damaged. Yeah, hopefully we can get like a longer harpoon upgrade. <laughs> oh yeah, five star. Only partially damaged. All right, there's our way out if we need it. Okay, let's not go too deep. Let's see if we can find oxygen real quick. We're kind of low. Oh, wait, we have an oxygen tank on us. Hold up. Yeah, we can just make that work. Uh, I don't want to go for the pufferfish. I don't feel like it's worth it. Though then again, our weight's starting to get pretty high. We do have the time. Uh, let's see if I can find another big fish. I don't want to go too far in depth, though. There's a red spot above our head. Oh, the thing above our head right now, I think it's because we're too weight down. Right, let me grab this oxygen first real quick. Uh, never mind. Okay, I'm going to use our mini oxygen tank. Does that fool us up? No, it only just partial. Which it looks like it did about 50. Is that 40 or 50? It might be a percent of your bar. Come on, get over here. I need to catch this thing so we can get the oxygen, otherwise you can keep fighting us. Also, this might be the last thing we can catch, because we're probably going to be overweighted after we catch him. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, we are. Oh, no! I can't go mining, then. Oh, let's go back up. I believe I did get two red starfish. I hope so. Because you wanted two agars, which we definitely got, and two of the other thing. And we do get more inventory later, which we're definitely going to need. 
It definitely seems like the most important thing to have more of. It doesn't matter how long you can stay down or anything else if uh, you run out of inventory. <laughs> hmm, you actually brought them back? I guess I expected too little of you. All right, that should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ecolog uh, ecological changes in this region will need to be uh, studied further, so I'll continue uh, to need your services. Add my number. I got olive oil, soy sauce, and gold. That should be a lot of gold, 70. Oh, Dave, you collected 100 gold. Great job. Uh, this should be enough to repair what's all broken. Uh, then uh, give me some time. Uh, these repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Up our new high step. And a bunch of new fish. Actually, almost all of them are new fish. Hello. Dave, did you get to uh, loosen up yesterday? Hmm. Mm. I saw a lot of uh, nasty fish. Uh, it won't be uh, easy to go any deeper. Hmm. I did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd uh, violent streak. Uh, perhaps something uh, puts them on edge. Uh, speaking of which, uh, why don't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? You know it's lethal because it's green. Green means healing in reverse. <laughs> I have a friend who's uh, knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Uh, okay. Let's see. What voice should we do for him? Uh, wow. Cobra. It's been a while. Who is this goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. <laughs> Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. <laughs> you seem to defy my prior knowledge. <laughs> People who live in a glass house. <laughs> so, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I've begun a very interesting business, haha. <laughs> and now I'm in need of some weapons, uh, Duff. I need your help. Hmm. Season 2 of Star Stella just ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. Uh, the terrain and ecology inside. It changes every time you can go inside, or you go inside. Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Yeah. Hmm, that is rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. Yeah. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in a blue hole will continue to break down. Yeah. There will be especially true of green guns, which have precision parts. Yeah. Hmm, so you'll have to get the materials from the sea ourselves. Ha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this Master Duff. <laughs> I'm not sure why I should uh, have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Yeah. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. I think I'll need one rope and one scrap oh. iron. You heard him, right Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring him some rope and scrap oh. iron. Uh, by the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Oh gosh, we got protect item on from RuneScape. <laughs> Always keep that in mind. Right, let's go back down. Uh, so we need to find a rope and a scrap. Wait, did I not go down? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was looking over at chat. I was like, wait, it's not doing anything. It's just doing an animation. Right, so what did I need again? I already forgot. I think it was rope and scrap. Uh, though it's probably uh, marked with a little blue icon like it was for the other mission. So I probably shouldn't grab all this useless stuff. Anything that's on the ground that isn't rope or scrap, we're going to ignore. Let's prioritize taking the fish. Or the iron thing we saw earlier. Alright, so they're marked with an accumulation point now, which is nice. Alright, so let's not mess with anything else. Wait, what's this? Fragment? Hey, that's a new thing. Sea urchin? Ah, it hurts! Oh yeah, we probably need something for that later. Green gloves, apparently. You know it's important because it's green. Ow. <laughs> apparently sea urchins hit, uh, hurt you if you touch them. Prior to having the thing. Oh, random fish. Right, where's the other thing we needed? Hey, right, there we go. Scrap iron. 
I might as well grab them both for already here. There it is. Okay, we got everything we needed. All right, now to actually catch things that we actually need, the fish. Also, I need to find where our oxygen supply is this run. We have not found the good old oxygen supply yet. All right, uh, we grabbed Agra on him. I think it took like five hits last time. We just need to stagger back every single time. I think on the fourth hit, he started to run. So that one, that one, we might have to start chasing right now. Okay, no, 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 don't chase yet, no! Okay, there he goes. He just wanted to bite us once. Ooh, an even bigger fish. I don't think we can take that out until we find consistent oxygen. Let's see if we have an oxygen tank in here. Come on, show me oxygen. Come on, O2. Alright, that is not O2. A ZL to boosts. Okay, cool. Can you bring me to some oxygen? There's not oxygen. Ooh, material. Though. Oh no! Fish that one is dead. Oh, good, good, good. Wait, wait, wait. Let me grab this oxygen real quick. Go, 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 go. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait. Let's catch one of you. I, I need to drop aggro. Can one of you drop aggro sometime today? Thank you. <laughs> I don't need both of you two. Just one of you. Oh, oh that's not good. Hey, you just wanted a nibble. Grab that. Silver bowl. Oh, yeah, let me grab this just out of safety's sake. Because we're probably going to overfill anyway soon. Oh, should I go for this bigger guy? He doesn't look like he's going to attack me. Though he looks he's like he's very bulky. Yeah, we're not going to mess with him at the moment. Because it's almost better if they attack us. Because we don't really have a good way right now to chase. Since I just used up the thing that we had. So, uh, because our dash does not move that quick at all. There'll probably be upgrades for it later. But our current dash is nearly the speed of them chasing us. Stop moving. Alright, one more should do it. I was gonna say, he better not hit us while we're in the animation. He'll just hit us after the animation. <laughs> Immediately after. You know what, maybe we'll try taking out that green fish. The only problem is he's probably really bulky. Oh, we got some kind of new weapon. Interesting. Alright, let's try chasing this guy. I don't think we're going to be able to kill him successfully. It's not going to stop us from trying. <laughs> I might want to find a different target. He's way too bulky to take out with our speed right now. The biggest issue is more so his speed than anything. Though he is eventually going to get cornered. He's about to hit a dead end at any moment now. Oh, it looks like we slowed him. Oh, wait, that's huge. We might have to be able to take him. Nice. I mean, that meat. Oh, we could take it down the second one, too. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, never mind. We can't take a second one. We're overfilled. Yeah, let's head back up. That was pretty successful. Hold every big fish we could see. And we got the uh, items he needed for the weapon. I was gonna say, we, hopefully we have enough oxygen. Let me grab this just in case. I feel like we have enough. We are weighed down quite heavily. Yeah, right, back up we go. And I think this was day one of our two day. Or, you know, day one as in um, you get two cycles every day. That was our first. Or was that our second? I'm losing track. <laughs> Oh, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quickly expire in the depths. Uh, you could say. Dot, 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 dot. Anger dots. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle uh, with these materials. First of all, download Duff's Weapon Shop on your phone. Uh, it'll, uh, uh, it's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. Alright, uh, phone. Uh, weapon shop. Craft. It requires one scrap iron, one rope, does 15 damage, has a range of 5. Okay, so we do have things with different range. It has 8 magazines. It is an element of nothing. <laughs> I like how the audio kicks in when he does the thing on his head. I forget what that's called, but it's when the audio actually comes from, like, the source of the area. 
actually, uh, Hollow Knight had that, where a couple of the rooms had like those things that you could break, where the music was coming from, and if you broke it, that music would stop. That we played the other day. Anyways, uh, new weapon, basic underwater rifle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a neat explana uh, explanation, uh, like that. Uh, even someone like you should have understood. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. I've uh, taken some measures to allow you to open weapon chests underwater. Mm. Wow, weapon chests? You know they're valuable because it's in yellow text. <laughs> you can't bring them out of the sea, but they can uh, still come in handy, uh, you could say. Yeah. Oh, uh, but I'll uh, collect info about the weapons you pick up and create blueprints for you. Mm -hmm. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down. Okay, so we need to get a variety of weapons picked up. So we can get more blueprints then. In any case, this master will be waiting for you. Goodbye, Trinity. And a little star. Hey, our first achievement. But can you guys even see that? I forgot if I put the interface on for it. Anyways, you uh, can craft weapons at uh, Duff's Weapon Shop. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, there we go. You can uh, craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint, making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Uh, little asterisk. Weapons can be crafted multiple times. Wait, why would you need more than one if they don't break down? Cool. Anyways. So it is nighttime, so let's head back to the shop. And we're finally in positive cash. Oh good, you can time skip too. Like in Fire Emblem and such. If you want to go, like, speed run down the game. <laughs> Obviously, we're playing it nice and slow. Uh, no, I do not want to open. I want a menu. Alright, let's go enhance everything. Like, everything that can be enhanced to the furthest degree. Alright, let's skip this animation. We've seen it already. I got a hold. No, it is a really cool animation. I, I really like the style of this game. Oh, we got uh, something else, uh, achievement-wise. Hopefully they'll add some harder achievements. <laughs> Literally do something, get achievements. <laughs> okay, good, I can order them now. I want to order them based on price. I did not order them based on price. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Um... Why won't it let me change? There it goes. Now it's based on price. I only have one of those left, right? Oh no, I have zero of them left. I just upgraded every last one I had! <laughs> Whoops. Well then. That's funny. Well then. Well, let's go add some menu items. First things first. We have them ordered by price, so let's go do these and those. And I guess we'll just do those two then. Uh, let's see, we'll do one. I, I feel like it's best to do one and then auto supply them. Because we don't necessarily know how many we'll need on any given day. Wait, why is the order based on price, but the one that costs more is... Oh no, that's happiness. Never mind, that's the happiness. The top one is price. The middle one is happiness. The bottom one, assumably, is how many it uses. Let's use the one that makes them slightly happier, then. Not like, it will probably matter much. Anyways, uh, I would like to auto-supply every single one. They need, like, an auto-supply all button, though. I'm just surprised that isn't already a thing. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that seems good to go. Should make quite a bit today. Hopefully a lot more than yesterday. Especially since they consumed our 40 food <laughs> without giving us the money for it. Alright, let's open. Right, let's hopefully <laughs> pour the drink correctly this time. Because I did the wrong direction when I poured the last one. I want to make some food. Ordering, ordering, ordering. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Alright, let's get this correct this time. Alright, only good. Didn't get the perfect that time. 
I need to keep remembering it's like the inverse direction. Hey, we got 69 gold. I finally cracked 100. Oh gosh, I need to go all the way over there. Poor, poor, poor. I right, slightly too little again. So I keep holding down Y, you only have to click it. Is that everyone? Sure seems like it. Hey, there we go. Close for today. Did they order all of our lower valued items? Because I don't feel like we got as many of the other ones sold. Otherwise, we would have made a killing. <laughs> oh, 132. Still not bad. Oh, hello, Lester. Hey, we summoned them with the 69. <laughs> I knew it. Batteries have just been lurking until we get a 69. Okay, we're raining today, though we already saw that from the weather. Are you Dave by any chance? Hello, Dr. Bacon. Are you the blathers of this game? No. Because you sure look like the blathers of this game. Though you're not a bird. Uh, yes. What is it, sir? Wow! I'm always uh, right about these things. Ha ha! Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People Civilization. The Sea People Civilization? Aha! I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about the lore of this no. game? Hmm, maybe I should have asked. Shouldn't have asked. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Sea People civilization lies and legends. Uh, they are said to have. I cannot read that quick. Why are you auto scrolling? Uh, the uh, they were. I can, I'm not capable of reading that quick. <laughs> Especially in your style of talking. Oh, we shall read this text on screen to ourselves. There we go. And that's about uh, all there is to the story. Wonderful story that we could not read. Uh, everyone thinks it is a myth, and uh, nothing more, of course. But proof that they were uh, real was found uh, right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? Uh, this is amazing find. Uh, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. Uh, you'd only uh, see such things in uh, comic books or games. Uh, yes, of course, this is very much not a game. <laughs> what makes you sure uh, they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact uh, found nearby and found that it is some uh, some form of, or from a no, known civilization. Uh, it's dated around 1,500 years ago as well. Uh, there were no civilization in these parts back then. Hmm, that is interesting. But what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's uh, cryptocurrency investments... <laughs> <laughs> didn't pan out, and he uh, won't be around for a good while. Yes, he is uh, insanely in debt now. Uh, that's why I'd like you to help me. Gosh, crypto. My assistant uh, told me uh, that the, it, it kind of reminds me of that one moment in... Uh, because we played, finally got around to playing Diamond and Pearl again. And that game came out like 15 years ago. And I played it in elementary school. I was in like 5th, 6th grade at the time. And one thing that was really funny is noobs, because of, like, old school RuneScape and MMOs and a couple other things, was, like, really popular at the time in, like, early 2000s. And there was a couple of times when they used the term noob. And it, it's just really funny seeing that in the game. Like, whatever is, like, popular at the time. And <laughs> just seeing a cryptocurrency line. <laughs> My assistant told me that the uh, artifact was found uh, 70 meters or so uh, below the surface. Uh, please, go take a look. Uh, we're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. <laughs> Aha. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Oh. Of course we should help you. We gladly do so. Aha. Uh, what? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Oh. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Bancho Sushi will be bursting to the seams. Hmm. Mm. I suppose you have a point. <laughs> All right. I'll help. Aha. It's that lucky. Oh, of course. Uh, I won't be asking for you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow! Uh, with an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper 
Uh, this is essential for exploration. Uh, these days, even such things can be handled with an app. Technological advances are amazing, eh? Uh, let's first install the iDiver app uh, on the phone before we proceed. The iDiver app. So, the iDiver app will allow you to enhance various diving equipment. Uh, upgrade equipment with the uh, money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. <laughs> now then, uh, let me tell you how to use the iDiver. Uh, I'll install the app for you. Uh, so unlock your phone first. Okay. He wants me to go do the free upgrade. Sounds like a deal. Good. Uh, now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Uh, once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. Uh, you can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen uh, tank. Uh, never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch! Okay, uh, go 70 meters to go find this artifact that he wants. Sounds good. Oh, that's an achievement. Traces of the Sea People, Chapter 1. Okay, so first things first. Uh, let's go upgrade something. So we definitely want capacity. Hopefully the next upgrade's cheap enough. It is! Oh, that's huge. All right, we can hold up to 19 kilograms. Uh, we are going to be a little bit lower on um, oxygen, since I can't go for the upgrade here, but we'll get that next time. Right, let's go back down. All right, so we have two goals. One is to make sure we fill up our inventory. The second goal is head 70 meters to the thing. Hopefully we have a good oxygen path. Hopefully we can find a portable oxygen as well. Also, now we can go a little bit deeper. Though I did, forgot to check while we are on that screen how deep. Though we'll find out when it says red text on our screen. Right, let's, oh yeah, we can also find weapons now. Forgot, this is our first dive where we can actually get random weapons. Keep an eye out for them. Right, oh good, good mobility. That'll help us get 70 meters. Wait, what were we looking for at 70 meters? Some kind of tablet thing? Oh yeah, there's an O2 over there, noted. So we could do some fishing in this area if we want, knowing that there's a backup oxygen just above us. How many meters are we? We're not even close yet. We'll grab this weapon while we're here. Wait, is that another oxygen? That's huge if so. Dude, that's a much closer oxygen. Okay, picking up a new weapon will allow you to collect blueprints. When you uh, reach a certain number of blueprints, you'll be able to craft a new weapon. Oh, a triple axle. In other words, because I can't really focus on this text. Okay, there's the escape pod. Got some copper, which I believe is used for making weapons. Okay, that's just ammo. That's unfortunate. Well, if that's the case, uh, let me switch my weapon. Wait, how do I switch? There we go. Oh, that is huge. Oh, the insta-kill. Let's go restock. How much ammo do you have? Uh, you know what? Let's restock on our way back. I need to find another oxygen. Wait, what? Another one shot? Oh gosh, this is good. Oh, it damaged him heavily though. Right, there's no oxygen over here. Well, wait, maybe this has oxygen in it. We might have to go back up real quick because we know for sure there's an oxygen tank above us. Should, oh, never mind. Never mind. We're fine. Though maybe I should still consider it though. Take like a slow ride back up there. Redo our ammo. Let's go catch some random fish. Can I just shoot all of you? Yeah, look at that. Double kill. Ooh, that really hurt their durability, though. You know what? Let's get this ammo. We'll save it for bigger fish. Let me go get this oxygen up here. Wait, can I one shot these fish? Wait, you didn't die to that? Oh, no, you did. I was gonna say. Alright, where'd that one oxygen tank go? There it is. Let me do some fishing around here, then. Did that not kill you? There it goes. Okay. It has like a weird delay on the death for you. Alright, let me go grab this oxygen. And then we head straight down. We head straight down from over here though. Alright, we got extra mobility, so let's use it. But not all of it yet. We need to get to like 70-ish meters. Alright, we have a backup oxygen right there. We have an escape pod to the left. Okay, we got a really good setup here. Go kill some big fish. Up two for one. Almost. I damaged him slightly. Oh no! I didn't see the other guy there. I need a good angle. Not the angle I wanted. We're almost filled up. Right, one more will do it. Oh no, I don't have any ammo left. I don't have as good of a weapon as before. 
Oh no, he's gonna hit me. Oh, let's see. Oh, it's gonna be kind of awkward now. I'm gonna go dagger this guy. I can really use another weapon. Oh yeah, this guy's just gonna keep hitting me. What? Why is he moving so quick? <laughs> It's like doing super movement back. I right, maybe should have done that in a different order because now we're gonna be over encumbered, aren't we? Oh, no, not quite yet. Oh, come on, get away. Right, I might just want to kill this guy out. Oh, perfect. All right, that should only be partially damaged. I grab the rest of you. All right, how are we doing on inventory? All right, we're almost capped out. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find this artifact right now. We don't have backup oxygen. We do have oxygen above us, though. Which is something to consider. Wait, right, we do have a second movement option. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. We do have a backup oxygen tank. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I forgot. We can switch out the thingy. Wait, that's huge. Um, wait, let me not grab this yet. I got a plan. Oh, I should have used up the rest of the thing before I grabbed that. Uh, where was the oxygen tank that was over here? There it is. I'm gonna grab this. And then we're gonna have an oxygen oxygen tank and a booster. So hopefully we can go find this artifact. Is there a way to check what I need? Uh, 70 meters. My assistant tells me that he saw an artifact at 70 meters. So what we wanna go do then is grab this oxygen and head like straight down. <laughs> and we have movement. Uh, we know where escape pod is. We have one to the left. We don't know where extra oxygen is, but we have one on us if we so need. Between these with X. All right, so let's go hunting to 70 meters, see if we can find it. We have our escape pod right there. So let's hope it's right below us. Oh, an eel. And other things we haven't caught in yet. I assume the deeper we go, the more variety there will be. Okay, we have a second escape pod over here. So that'll probably be the main one we use. Let's see if we can find this artifact. It should be marked on the ground. He said around 70 meters. We are indeed at 70 meters now. Oh, that's a wall. <laughs> I thought that was a path in between there. Apparently not. Okay. Well, here's our escape area. Let's not use our thingy yet. Okay, I'm not seeing what he wants on the ground quite yet. Right, there's a weapon. Let me just grab that while we're here. Oh, oh there's more O2 over here. Perfect. I'll grab that in a second. Let me just go get a weapon. I have some other newer material over there. I'm not sure if I want to grab it, though, because I feel like we're going to get over-encumbered. I don't think the weapons actually take up space, oddly enough. I got, like, a flame torch thing. Okay, let me go grab these. You know what? Since we're over here, it's a material we don't have yet. All right, good. We're not over-encumbered quite yet. All right, since we're not coming back into this area, let me grab this oxygen. Oh, let me not hit those spikes. Come on, let me out of here. Oh, come on! I'm trying to boost! Pass! Alright, so we know an escape's over there. We have an item over here. We don't necessarily want it yet. Now let's go ahead to the right over here. Come on, where's this artifact at? Oh no, there was another spikes right there. I didn't even see that one. We got a nice big area over here. We still have a backup oxygen tank. There it is. Alright, we found it. All right, now let's go catch one last big fish. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Uh, come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Oh, wait, is it going to force me to the boat? Oh, no, I want to keep fishing. Oh, no, it's just a giant a squid thingy. Looking at us with his massive eye. I think that took out the boat. Old giant squid. Uh, what was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. Nope, you're staying down here. Or maybe not that far down. Oh, got an eel. All right, what do we have over here? More oxygen? Perfect. Uh, let's see. Should we catch one of you? Might as well. Uh, we got a burning spear now. Not sure what burning does, though, assumably it's damage over time. Uh, what's our other weapon? Oh, no, we don't have another weapon. Means I have to kill him with some only spear. Oh, you know what? He's being too annoying. Let me go get my oxygen. And then we'll find one more thing to catch as we head back up. We have a backup oxygen tank if we need it as well. Come on, let me... Let me... There we go. All 
Let's see what we can find. I want one last big fish if we can. But finding another weapon would be convenient as well. Let's see if there's one on this right wall. The, the wall to our left we probably haven't checked either. Okay, that could be a good kill, but I need something better than Flame Spear to kill him with. Come on, give us just a random re weapon chest. I found ammo. Wait, that's just as good. Hold up. That's basically the same thing as finding one. Oh, and a weapon chest. I'll grab that in a second, though. Right, let's go kill this thing with this. Grab that. Grab the weapon, because I don't think the weapon counts as weight. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We don't have the movement thing right now. I only have an oxygen tank. Which at least means we're not going to run out of oxygen. So far, that hasn't really been an issue yet. Though your oxygen is also your HP. So it could very much become an issue very quickly if you get hit a bunch. Alright, that should probably over-encumber us. Yeah, it does. Alright, that makes sense. Let's go grab this weapon, as I believe it does not count as weight to uh, touch it. And hopefully it's a new one, so we get more progress. Or it is triple one. Honestly, this triple one's been pretty cool. The only big issue with it is it overkills fish. But it's great for bigger fish. What do we have here? Uh, we got some kind of net. I guess we'll go mess around with this just to see what it does. Okay, right, throws a net at them. Cool. I can't actually pick you up, though, because I have no inventory. There's just nets a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's our escape pod. Perfect. I don't even need to go all the way up. Oh, let's use our oxygen tank. That, like, really matters. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, it does. Hold up. Another weapon. I guess there is a reason to kind of stay a little bit longer, but we'll, we'll go back up after we grab this. Just put a progress on it. Let's see what weapon. Is this a new one or more progress than one we already have? Oh, it's just a harpoon. Let's get out of here. We are out of here, but a pretty good hole. And I believe this was the second day. Also, so far we've been able to complete every mission, the same dive we went down. Hopefully we can keep that up, as we'll definitely progress the story a bit quicker. If every time we go down and dive, we do the required mission. As long as we have enough oxygen. And so far, it hasn't been an issue yet. Uh, all right, uh, you brought it out safely. It seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Hmm, very interesting. Uh, this may be uh, the find of a century, even. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People civilization. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. Bah! Of course. Say no more. Just put out our restaurant at the top of the list of affiliates. Dot dot dot. Uh, that won't be hard to do. I've a very lucky feeling about this. I'll be in touch. Bye, brothers. <laughs> Yeah, we got some oil, some turmer turmeric, and a lot of gold. 300? Not more practice, progress on both of those. Oh, we only need two for triple axle. Interesting. We need three for the net. Oh, that was a new best for everything, except for number obtained. So we got some good quality with the number obtained. Well, other than the blue tang. <laughs> but not really good quality, though. They were all one stars. Also, we got a lot of green hump meat with the parrot fish. Mm. Oh, we're serving oh. parrotfish tonight. <laughs> Dave, while you're out of the sea, uh, the repairs were uh, completed. Let's head to the restaurant. I got the restaurant will be in uh, working order. Not that it wasn't in working order before, but visually in working order. Uh, apparently achievement for it as well. Uh, wow, it's looking very nice. Aha! It doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. Well, hello, Jay Shar. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below uh, is open. Uh, so please, check it. I don't think I will, unless it has like an atmosphere effect like The Sims. Um, you can now freely change up the interior of Bancho Sushi. Use the interior to select a style of your liking. I'll probably do that later, but in early game, I did not see us cosmetically changing it. Unless there's a, a direct benefit to doing so. Ah, but... Uh, as Dr. Bacon said, it's if it remains, gosh, words, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will indeed come, uh, come, but the area is kind of remote, so I think I will need a way to advertise to the store until then. Yeah, these days it's, uh, just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Ah, have you tried the social media app named Cookstuff? Mm -hmm. You mean a social media app young people use to post pictures of food they eat? <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's funny. Making a whole app about that. Has that actually been made yet? I feel like it would have. <laughs> like the meme of just people posting food. Literally just make it like a whole app for it. Yeah, uh, that's how all uh, business are uh, promoting themselves lately. 
I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not for photographs. Mm. Hmm. Even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food? No, I don't use social media. <laughs> At least not for the channel, barely. Like, we did Facebook a little bit, and then, like, tw uh, Twitter, and it's like, eh. And then we just kind of stopped bothering to use either. <laughs> you have a point there. And making an account is simple. Uh, so let's try it out. Uh, you're first uh, register, and I make the hashtag Bancho Shushi, then. <laughs> Done. Hmm. Well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now, customers happy with your food will follow Bonso Sushi. Hmm. I'm not sure about this, but okay. I got it. I'll also install the Kicksta app on my phone, and I check the followers' posts. Uh, raising a rating in Kicksta. Uh, more customers will visit, and new foods will be unlocked. <coughs> the unlock conditions of uh, new ratings uh, can be seen in the Kicksta app. Can I access that now? I can. Let's go into Kuksta. Let's see, uh, there's all of them. Uh, Bato Sushi's grand opening. Uh, you've never tasted sushi uh, like this before. Reasonable prices and great service. Open only in the evenings. Bato Sushi, best sushi, blue hole. Good price, open at nights. Uh, best flavor, special price. I'm oh, gonna leave a like as well. That's funny. Rank up, we need more followers. My page, which is this uh, Bancho's thing. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, wait, it's not nighttime yet. Why are we here? Oh, let's head out of here. This was only first day cycle. <gasps> wait, can we pet the cat? Meow. It's staring at you. Hello, Momo. Meow. Did they forget to add the pet cat feature? I think they might have forgotten to add the pet fe uh, cat feature. There's no way they're not going to add that feature. <laughs> It is required for the integrity of the game. Alright, hopefully we find another triple so we can craft it. Oh, dolphin. Hello, dolphin. Ah, a dolphin. Hmm, it seems like he's asking me to follow. Should I try to follow? Mission. Dolphin request. Harpoon the dolphin. <laughs> I feel like if I harpooned it, it would literally kill us. <laughs> oh, I can barely even keep up. Oh, I found oxygen, though. Nope, weapon. Nope, quick weapon break. Oh, hush start. Oh, a pink dolphin is calling a net. So he's uh, asking me to rescue his friends. I should cut the net. Wait, that's weird. Normally you need to use A for your thing, but it wants me to Y the net. All right, we found our escape pod. I'm not sure we're gonna use that exact one. There we go. Look, it's a shiny dolphin. We found a shiny dolphin. It's like a one in 4,000 odds. <laughs> That'd be funny if this game actually adds shinies to it. Shiny fish. Probably had a much lower odds, like one in a hundred or something. Seems like a gift. I don't even, uh, I don't know even uh, dolphins had mates. There we go. Let's grab all this. So there's a escape pod. Actually, while I'm over here, let me grab this. Wasn't there something to the left I wanted? Oh yeah, it was oxygen. So let me go down on left area then. If that's the case. I didn't realize, can I actually kill that tree? Let me kill that tree. I didn't get that material last time. Perfect oxygen. We have not come even remotely close to running out of oxygen yet. Because I haven't caught one of these. Okay, well. It'll let me. He does not want to get caught. This was the same one I just hit, right? Yeah, it was. Right, uh, attack button. What is this? Oh, a shark. Oh, we gotta kill the shark. Wait, wasn't there a weapon over here? Oh, yeah, it was, uh, wait. It was Hesh starts, though. I think that's gonna work on something that big. Let's kill him with a harpoon. Okay, that's very inefficient. Hold up. <laughs> All right, I'll be back, shark. I need to go find a better weapon to go kill you. Let me go grab the oxygen from over here. 
Alright, we found ammo, so we can kill him there. There's our escape. Where is the oxygen that was over here? So gosh, this guy could almost kill us if we're not careful. Alright, here's the oxygen. Let me go grab this. Let me go grab the weapon. Let's go kill the shark. We're gonna need something more efficient to do that with. Uh, on the way there, uh, let me go use my other weapon. We have these hush darts. Let's go catch a couple of these fish. I caught one. I need one more. All right, there's another weapon over there. I guess we'll just replace it with that. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. Let me use one hush dart real quick. Come on, something, something I can go hush. All right, there's another oxygen over there. All right, let me go hush you. Are you too big? Because I do know that there's like a size limit to what hush will work on. Come on, there we go. Perfect, okay. And does this preserve the quality? Because the less you damage them, the higher the quality of your fish. Now we got an ingredient. Not sure I really need that, but there we go. Now let's see what weapon this is. Oh no, and that's not going to be what we need to kill it. Alright, let's go use this net while heading over there. I need a damaging weapon. Why do we keep getting non-damaging weapons? Will a net work on you? I feel like the answer is no. Oh, it actually does. Hold up. Oh, hello, shark. I still need a weapon to kill you. The game refuses to give me one. <laughs> Come on, any weapon that can kill him. Any attacking weapon. There we go. Oh no, that's hush darts again. No! Hush darts do seem good, but that's not why I need to kill a shark. Oh wait, oh, eel. I didn't see you there. Oh wait, I need oxygen. Was there oxygen above us? I do have a backup tank, but I don't want to use it yet. I'm gonna go hush this guy. Oh no, 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 eel, 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 eel. Don't get hit. Let me hush this real quick. I wonder if you're too big to hush. Let me take the off offensive one first. Then we'll hush you. Not sure if you're actually gonna get hushed or not, but we'll find out in a second. I might need the backup oxygen tank. <gasps> oh! Don't die yet. Don't die yet. You know what? I might have to use it now. Just to play it safe. Oh, wait. I can't take his meat. Oh, no. Wait, dodge. Dodge. Oh, no! Oh, he got hushed right next to the shark. Unfortunate. All right, we have an escape plan right over there. Can you give me a damaging weapon already? <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to go restall. We're not going to go for the shark this time, I don't think. Now, let me go grab this. As much as I want to go get it. Oh, wait, that's going to be hard to grab. Around the sea urchin. I'm going to let the shark live, I think. Just because the game refuses to give me a damaging weapon. <laughs> Let's see. Can I uh, hush some eels? Or not eels, whatever these are. Jellyfish. Those are two drastically different things. <laughs> oh, we got backup auction over here. If you could just give me a weapon. Oh, no, I should have hushed the guy up there. Oh, he could have been a great final one to get. Let me go grab whatever in here. Right, we just need one more big fish to kind of uh, even it out now. Come on, grab the thing. Hey, right, we got a speed option. Like, if we could just get a weapon, that'd be great. So we can take on the shark. So we have O2 right there. We have escape pod below us after we catch a shark. Come on, give me a shark weapon. Come on, just literally any attacking weapon. It could be like the most inefficient attacking weapon in the game. Just need something. Right, this is just a dead end. Might as well grab some stuff over here. A silver bowl. Got some kelp. Wasn't this kelp? Yeah, it was kelp. Or kajamine. However you say that. Right, let's go grab our oxygen. And then we'll go see if we can find a weapon over there. Otherwise, I guess we're just heading up. We should probably go catch one more fish first, though. I could try catching that. Oh, yeah. Wasn't there more ammo somewhere nearby? I could try hushing him. That might be our best bet, actually. Alright, there's an extra O2 over here if we need. Let me double check what item this is. There's another movement item. It is perfect. Alright, so we know there's another backup O2 over here. Oh, good ammo. You know what? Let's just go hush him. That'll be the final catch. We're not going to deal with the shark this time. Oh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Right, let's take the O2 since we're not coming back this way anyways. I think we have plenty. So far, O2 has not been an issue, though it was a little bit sketchy when we're next to the uh, shark. They definitely hit very hard. 
Hey, that reminds me. I forgot to upgrade some of my stuff. I could have uh, before we dove down this time. Okay, where did this one gigantic green fish go? Wasn't he just here? There he is. Let's go hush him, and that'll probably be the last thing we can catch this time around. Get some nice quality uh, resources here. I even pick up some of the copper, though I don't really think we need it. I think we get more value just from taking the fish, so we can upgrade them more. Wait, why? Is not enough inventory? Wait, what? Is it saying I can't do it because my hand is full? I'm confused. Wait, let me get rid of the booster. Is he unable to do it while he has a booster? Because it almost looks like a booster icon. Let me go check something real quick. I'm gonna use up this booster and see if it'll let me catch it. He almost looked like he couldn't because his hand was full or something. All right, now let's try this. If it still doesn't, I assume it's an inventory problem. We'll just have to catch like another jellyfish or something. I'm not sure what the icon is, but whatever it is, I can't actually do it to him right now. All right, that's fine. All right, we have one last hatch start. Blue seashell, don't really need that. Grab some iron. Apparently I still grabbed it. All right, let's go hush uh, jellyfish and we're out of here then. Oh, there's a, a transport pod right below us too. Perfect. Oh, we still have inventory. Hold up. Let's see if we can find more ammo down here. There's some scrap. Some junk on the ground. Shark. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you know what? Let me just head up. I was gonna head up. We're fine. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Oh, no. We, we can't just leave fish on the table. We have air. Let's grab some fish. There's no point in not going for them. We still have inventory left. We're literally right on the transport pod. So what are we looking for? Shiny objects? Basically, we're looking for um, things for the sushi bar. Like, we're essentially just running a sushi bar. And we're doing, like, storyline missions, side missions, while getting progress for that sushi bar. That's the main premise. Okay, I only have one more here. So what are those darker fish? I haven't actually caught one of them yet. I thought they were just, like, in the background, but apparently they're, like, actually catchable. Seemingly. There's an eel over there. I might come back over here. There we go. I am surprised we are not over encumbered yet. Somehow. There we go. We're still not over encumbered, really. So we're running at auction, so let's head out of here. Please let me up. Thank you. Hey, right, there we go. Yeah, that was an okay hole. And it's serving time. Oh good, we got update uh, grade on hush start. Right, let's go craft a hush start thingy then. So if I understand this correctly, a lot of new fish surprisingly. So if I understand this correctly, it's already evening. I feel uh, stiff. Uh, even so, Bancho's working alone. I should probably help. Uh, it's not easy to manage uh, with two people with more uh, customers coming in. All right, let me go and hit the plus button. Because I want to check something. Weapons. So can I... Not enough material. What am I missing? Oh no! I need a red starfish. I thought I grabbed a bunch. Okay, we need to grab one more red starfish at some point. And then we can have a... Um, and hush start... That has the element of sleep. Normal fish tranquilizes after 8 seconds. So anything under the normal category. I'm not sure how to check the category of them. Triple axle for that 30 damage. Oh, that's actually a shorter range weapon. Oh wait, I actually own a basic water rifle thing. Do we not have it equipped? Because I don't feel like I started with it last time. Wait, how do I equip... Um... 
Oh yeah, while I'm here, I should probably upgrade that kind of stuff too. We'll do that before we go down, but um... How do I equip... Oh, uh, one second. How do I check... Maybe if I click I button? No, it doesn't do it. Oh, uh, let's see... I'm trying to think how we check... Interesting. I'm not sure how we check what we currently have equipped to ourselves. We're getting a couple different buttons here. And we'll eventually find which one it is. <laughs> it's none of those, none of those. I'm not sure. It's not that. It's not that. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, we do have the gun equipped. Interesting. Why didn't we start with the gun, then? Because we did not start with a gun. Yeah, we have harpoon gun, and we have, um, gun gun. <laughs> Apparently also charms exist. So how did I just access that? Yeah, it was just the Y button here. I wonder if there's cosmetics for him. It almost looks like it was based on his icon there. But, um, yeah, no charms yet. Yeah, I'm not sure why we didn't start with it. I guess because we just crafted it? Because we did not start with an underwater rifle. But it is indeed equipped. Well, Looks around. Yoshi. This is Bancha Sushi Place, huh? Hmm. Miss Yoshi? I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cuxta. The name gave me pause, but to think it's really your place. New food using never seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A uh, tach tachyturn uh, but masculine chef. Wow. Do they mention me too? No, not really. Uh, in any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Oh, there is nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, this is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel talking about that again that's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it mm. how long will you continue treating customers that way mm. to keep making that terrible food what do you mean terrible whole roasted shark head is an excellent dish a uh, shark has been a uh, used in cuisine in both the west and the east and in uh, korea it was even used in ancient uh, or ancestral restaurants stop you've not changed one bit uh, let me judge for myself. Then, uh, whether it's uh, food fit for consumption, then I can tell you why I came. Fine. Then I'll show you. I'll make sure you uh, know the true taste of shark head meats. Uh, Vancho, isn't there a uh, development a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I can't uh, back out of. My pride hangs in the balance. Please, get me a white tip real... Oh, gosh. I could have already had that, actually. That was the shark we've probably seen earlier. Oh no! I could have already had the requirement if we went for the shark, but the game refused to give me an attacking weapon. <laughs> well, I gotta go get the shark next time we go down. You want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills. It should be easy enough to do. But a harpoon's likely not uh, good enough. Uh, take a good gun with you into battle. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. Do you mean to say you'll stand by and watch while my pride is trampled? The white tip uh, reef shark is usually found. Uh, we know where it is. We found it. Uh, he suddenly uh, wants me to uh, get him a shark head. Uh, this is preposterous. And it can only be killed with a gun? I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. Or uh, search for one in the blue hole. Anyways. Oh, we'll worry about that later since we didn't get the shark head. Okay, sometimes special customers will, uh, with a backstory, will hear, uh, will hear of the sushi bar and visit. Uh, learn dishes that the customers want through research and uh, serve them to the customers. 
which I believe is what we use the artisan flames for. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, you can now research new recipes. Use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. Right. Um, wait, how do I do that? Do I just talk to you? No. Wait, how do you use the artisan flames? Oh, research. So, uh, the head of a right reef shark uh, has been uh, deep fried whole. 53 gold, a lot of happiness, uses five. There we go. Research has been completed. And there's nothing else to research currently. Okay, next. Uh, staff, no. Ingredients, no. Interior, oh yeah, we can change the interior. Though I, have, I believe this has no effect on anything. Oriental modern? Oh, cool. Oh, we can change it, I guess. Though I don't think it has any actual effects on their happiness. So this is all cosmetic stuff if we so choose. first picture. <laughs> yeah, this is all cosmetic stuff. I don't think it performances, or it, I don't think it enhances their, um, their, uh, anything. This will apply to the interior furnishings you have placed. Yes. There we go. Anyways. Um, okay, menu. Let's go fill out this menu. Well, first things first, let's go enhance everything as far as it can go. Skip animation, we've seen this already. Oh yeah, Isabel's probably still sleeping. I did start kind of early, but it's mostly because I wanted to do it for like the 12 hour max that YouTube has. And I didn't want it going into the other stream. Oops, uh, that's not the button I wanted. That was just me misclicking for once. <laughs> Unlike before where the buttons were inverted in the other game. Because gosh, we misclicked so many times in um, Hollow Knight because of inverted controls. Luckily, uh, everything with this game is actually mapped correctly, which I'm actually surprised for an early access game. Has better mapping than uh, Hollow Knight. <laughs> All right, let's do it by price. Oh, they're already in order of price. Perfect. All right, so I guess we serve those four then. Our four highest. Let's go do it. Um, let's see. Do I want to serve? Yes, serve. Uh, actually, I might as well just spam A. And then auto supply all. Alright, there we go. Don't think we need to change anything else. I'm happy with that. Let's go make some monies. Oh, you know why I thought this was giving so much money before? I was looking at the happiness to the left. The actual money is to the right, so we're getting 35, 33, 17, 16. All right, there we go. Go open. I'm sorry, we don't have your shark head. I tried to kill one, but the game refused to give me a weapon. <laughs> Let's open up. I might someone order something. Perfect. Yeah, she'll get her shark head tomorrow then. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get it today because we weren't able to kill the shark preemptively. I wanted a shark kill, but they got no weapons, and there was no way I was going to kill with a harpoon. I think you could, theoretically. It would just be way too annoying to do. Oh, wait. Why didn't it move? Oh, no. I was holding the thing. Apparently not enough. I do find it weird using the camera button for that, though. <laughs> like, I keep wanting to, like, move the stick. Oh, we're definitely not getting a five star because of that. Oh, this guy's right next to us. Convenient. Come on, order something. There you go. Come on, order our biggest dish. No one's bought it yet. 
But then again, they probably did, but we have more supply of it. That's probably why. Uh, that wasn't our highest no uh, item. Oh, there we go. I'll say, I'm about to just serve only our highest item, so they have to buy it. <laughs> Did we finish Hollow Knight? Yes and no. We finished the hardest boss and a playthrough. I did not do all the endings though, which I will revisit at some point. But we did finish the game and we finished what is, I believe, considered the hardest boss in the game, which is not the final boss, but some other side boss. But aside from that, um, I didn't do every ending yet, so we might revisit it for that then. Hey Dave, I've got the luckiest news. Mm. Uh, what is it, Dr. Bacon? Uh, you look happy. Oh. I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of the unknown substance was detected. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it must be an iron composed of deep underwater, uh, but it gives off a unique wavelength. Oh. Uh, I went ahead and developed a radar. Good, so we don't have to worry about finding stuff as uh, hard now. Oh, yeah, that's actually perfect. Oh, and uh, why is that news lucky? Oh. Uh, ha ha! Uh, being coy today, are we? Uh, this radar is uh, bound to come in useful on your uh, next expedition. Oh. Uh, what do you mean? My next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Uh, hmm. I was given a, uh, contract, uh, with your name on it. Uh, the cancellation charge is breaking. The contract is over 20. Wh what? Uh, what in the world were you two talking about? Ah, uh, don't be so by the book. Uh, check the signal for me, uh, to test out the radar. Uh, give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and no more. Right, let me remember to upgrade my suit. Because if I don't do that right now, I will forget. Which makes sense because we're going down in like a few seconds. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me do it. Two things I want to go do. Uh, first things first. A bunch of new posts. I guess we'll go check Cook Star as well. So first things first. Uh, I need more inventory. Give me that. That's by far highest priority. Next. Uh, I guess give me a little oxygen. So we don't die when we fight the shark. Oh, I wish we had a little bit more cash. Alright, uh, Cook Star. Let's go check their posts. Cool. Nice sushi. Love the pixel art. Right, there we go. Right, we need four more followers. <laughs> uh, hasn't done the white uh, palace. No, I haven't done the white palace. Uh, so someone earlier said there's three endings. We did one of the three endings. And the hardest boss. But we haven't done the other two endings, whatever they are. I think we need, like, the max nail for one, and I have no clue what the condition is for the other. Uh, okay, anyways, weapon shop. I, I need to find a red starfish. So we have two objectives. Find a random red starfish, and find, uh, kill the fish. Or kill the shark. Kill shark probably be the bigger priority. Oh, I also have to follow the signal. I forgot about that. So we have two missions right now. Technically three. One of them's not actually a mission. One's just one that's something I want to do. Uh, also, let me go check something real quick. Yeah, we do have a gun, so hopefully we start with the gun now. Because it is indeed equipped. I'm not sure what more I would have to do. It's quite literally equipped there. Let's see if we start with that gun now. Because we're going to need it for the shark. Um, no. Yes, there we go. We do have it. Perfect. Uh, come on, red starfish appear out of nowhere. Is that red? No, brown seashell. Oh, I found oxygen. Going to be needing that in a moment. Oh, yeah, I found another weapon. I don't know, should I bother switching? What do we have? Oh, it's an upgrade. Oh, oh we're killing this shark really hard. Right, let me go find a shark. Okay, we got a thing. Let me grab this. I mean, how hard is it to find a single red seashell? What's this? Got a cheap Japanese sword. I've got another weapon over here. I'm not going to grab this one yet, though. I'm going to hold off. Have I got an escape pod? Where's our other oxygen? Like, I don't want to waste ammo on him. But I'm about to have to. Oh, wait. We just one-shotted him. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright, this shark is super dead. Oh god, we gotta back up O2 in case he hits us. Oh, I don't think he's gonna hit us. <laughs> I think we're just gonna hit him way too hard for him to hit us. Okay, there's our objective. 
Right, I need you to die. Just so I can kill the shark. How many hits does he take? This will be three. Four. Alright, looks like it's probably five. He probably has 100 HP. To get a better angle. There we go, yeah, it's 100. Or somewhere around 100. Oh, a seven star! Ooh. Nice. Oh, we need to make sure we always kill him every time then. Gosh. It's a lot of value. Let me one shot this guy. Oh, you you actually survived? Gosh, what do you have? 50 HP? Wait, why wouldn't it Oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright, let me head back up a little. There's a lot of supplies I didn't grab from over there, and then we'll go head back down to the radar. So one storyline mission complete, we got our shark head. The other one is go to where the little pointer's going. Let me get some supplies. Oh, Red Seashell, I need one of those. Give me that. Alright, so that's an escape. We're probably not using that one, most likely. Let me grab this gun. Where was the O2? Wasn't there O2 supply over here? I wish my memory's so bad. Obviously we have one on us, but I want, like, an actual tank. Wasn't there one over here? I just swore there was. It's bad if not, because I'm wasting a lot of O2 to try to find O2. There it is. Let me grab this, because we're not heading back in this area. We already scouted that out earlier. Now we're out of ammo, so let's switch to Harpoon. Though I don't intend to catch anything quite yet. I'm mostly just heading toward the objective right now. Just touching anything we find along the way. Alright, we found an escape pod if we need. Alright, I guess I'm not grabbing that. <laughs> no! Let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh, I'm down here. Let me grab this weapon. They could use one. What do we have? Alright, we got a new weapon. What's this do? Okay, we found backup O2. We're not going to be back here, so let me grab it. What is even this weapon? It looks like a flamethrower, though we're underwater. Not sure how well that's going to work. Let me through! No! There we go. Let me grab some glass. Oh, we haven't caught an eel yet, I don't think. Let me go kill one of these. What is this? Oh, we got like a sniper rifle. So that one's new. We got some oxygen over here. Let me grab some stuff over here. We got a flask. We got some more glass that we might need for some crafting. Because the game does have like a pseudo crafting system, like many similar games. Where it's like not the main component, but you know, it has like an element of crafting. Right, I need to go down from here. Also, let me keep this in case there's a dangerous enemy nearby. So we know where O2 is. We have a backup O2. I don't have any movement speed, but that's not too big a deal. I found more ammo. We're starting to get to almost critical depth. Which is not ideal. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna grab this ammo because we're probably not heading back in this area. Now, let's go to critical depth. I believe we're allowed to go into critical depth. It just uses our oxygen a bit more. Like, really quickly. Wow. So this is the place. There's a weapon over there I should go touch. Uh, the signal is coming from inside. Uh, there are letters. I've never seen before written on the pillar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. If we had a tool of some sort, uh, we could uh, move aside the pile of rocks and try to going inside. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we should talk with, over oh, with yeah. Cobra. Come up for now. Okay. So we reached the main objective we needed. So let me go touch this weapon. Grab the O2. Maybe kill that one fish over there because uh, we can consume our weapon on him. Hmm. I thought I heard something. Okay. Let me quickly kill this fish before we die of oxygen. Now I'll go grab that oxygen. Gosh, how much HP do you have? How on earth are you not dead? All right, let me grab this oxygen. Please, please, thank you. Let me grab this rifle. Actually, I probably should have grabbed the rifle first. Or whatever this is. Oh, this is a harpoon. Hopefully it's a good one because I need to kill this thing. I have backup oxygen, so I don't mind being down here too much. Oh, wait, there's a weapon upgrade. Wait, wait, let me go for that. That's gonna be easier to kill him with. Let me grab that. Come on, snipe down already. There we go. Let 
Oh, that was a new one. I didn't even realize that was new. I thought that was something we already did. Right, let's get uh, up a little bit. Uh, we still have some inventory left. We do have two sniper shots if we can find something good to kill. We have a backup oxygen tank. Uh, problem is, we don't know where more oxygen is at the moment. Okay, let me not go to critical depth. We're in slightly limited oxygen right now. Let me just get some eels, I guess. Can I double shot them? Oh no, I tried going for the double and hit ultimately neither. Oh, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're over encumbered slightly. Let me take my oxygen tank. Use our normal rod just to catch a few more things on our way up. Let me just casually head up then. I hear an eel or something. Something electricity like. Oh, that's a weird one. There we go. Wait, that didn't catch him. Wait, what? I have to go harpoon this guy. Or not harpoon, but I mean, uh... There we go. Oh, that was a new one. Dusky, uh, Cooper. I'm not a fan of that harpoon's catch method. <laughs> Left and right on control six, kind of weird. Okay, there's our escape if we want it. Uh, we can go for one more fish. I don't think we can harvest him properly. Go for one of the smaller ones, too. So he's just trying to pick up some value. All right, we're out of inventory. Oh no, this guy's blocking us. Oh no. Oh no, wait, this is actually slightly problematic. Wait, I can't even outrun him. Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go up instead of the other one. Oh, wait, this is oxygen right here, but I can't take it. Okay, there we go. That doesn't really matter. Oh, let's just head up. Because we have no inventory for anything. I should make sure we try finding one of those scooters if we can and save it for the ends, because we move so slow when we're over encumbered. Right, we're out of here. Like, normally you could just use one of those escape pod things. Also, hello, Isabel. Welcome, welcome. Hope all has been well. I got a call from Mr. Bacon. I mean, Dr. Bacon. Hmm. I found a place with a signal from the Sea People civilization. I can't hold back my um, academic thirst uh, to check it out. I'm at an important um, symposium right now. Uh, please uh, talk it over with Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Signal from the Sea People. Huh. Uh, how to get rid of rock piles? Uh, you'll have to use a bomb. Of course. A bomb in green text, because of course bombs are good. <laughs> Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Uh, weren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative powers. He he's trying to gloss things over again. Uh, but there's an issue. Uh, the delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to uh, get a delivery from a bomb expert, I know. Apparently the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. Uh, if I could use the drone I ordered, uh, we could retrieve the supplies. Dave, would you go into the sea and retrieve the drone materials? How? Drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge. Delivery boxes are likely uh, to have been uh, carried by this, uh, the ocean uh, currents. Uh, look for a place with ocean currents. Oh, I know where that is. Hmm, that sounds dangerous. I know exactly where that is then. Red sniper wife rifle. It was okay. It has a really good range. That sniper rifle. It even has a little um thing that shows you where it's gonna hit. So you don't have to predict where it is either. Like some of the other weapons. Uh depth. Oh, that was a new depth. And we caught quite a few new fish. Also, we finally got the shark head we needed for the quest. I wonder if it respawns. Because I'm gonna get another shark head if so. Hey, it's Ash Ketchum. <laughs> Hoppity hop. You. Uh, do you know a lot about the giant blue hole? Mm. Well, I'm not sure. There's actually a lot of funny references. You know who a uh, Bancho actually reminds me of? I'm not sure if any of you have seen Total Drama Islands. Um, the original one, like the very first season. Um, but the one black guy from Total Drama Island who was like the chef for it. Like the Bancho in this game seems like the Japanese version of uh, the Total dr uh, Drama Island Chef, if any of you know who that is. <laughs> like, they, they remind me so much of each other. Well, I'm not sure uh, what to say to that. Uh, it's different in uh, there every time. 
Yes, that's it. It's the perfect place to catch uh, the uh, Marinka. Oh. I believe this is the card guy. I can complete my collection in this place, which is why I mentioned the Ash Ketchum thing, because it's a reference to uh, Pokemon cards. I can complete my collection in this place. Aha! Mm. The uh, Marinka. <laughs> what? Don't uh, you tell me. Uh, you don't know about the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards. Uh, Marinka. Mm. Uh, how can you not have heard of the futuristic trading cards that utilize an AI recognition system to automatically correspond to real life fish? Um, never heard of them. It sounds fun though. Uh, you seem quite behind the times. Uh, let me uh, help you install the app. Mm. So you do this, press here, touch that, add a friend, <laughs> done. Uh, add a friend reference to free to play games. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, what do I do now? Mm. The amazing thing about these uh, America is you don't really need to do anything special. Uh, just catch a new fish and you'll get a card. Uh, check the cards every now and then on the app and now uh, you're done. Okay, hopefully this has good info. I want to know all normal fish so we know what we can tranquilize. I hope it denotes it on the card. I guess I'll be able to easily see uh, what fish I've caught so far. That's right. It's almost like a... Whoa, uh, you don't uh, want to be saying the name. I understand. I'll try it out. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to introduce myself, uh, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you my uh, contact info. So hit me up if you have questions. See you then. Choo choo. I like his little duck cart. He's basically like a 40-year-old Ash Ketchum. <laughs> uh, catching fish will allow you to automatically acquire. Uh, actually, uh, Pokemon just posted their 1,000 uh, Pokemon video the other day too. Uh, you'll get fancier cards for, uh, which reminds me, I still haven't gotten Master Rank at singles in that game yet. I should probably do that. We might stream it as well. I already did for doubles, but I didn't bother for singles yet. So if we get lucky, we can do it in like four fights. <laughs> uh, catch, uh, catching fish uh, will allow you to automatically acquire uh, marine cards. Gosh, they gave a completionist option. You know we're going to catch them all. Uh, you'll get uh, fancier cards for catching higher grade fish. Oh, so you have to three star them all. Oh, you don't just have to catch them all. You have to three star them all. Oh, that's cool. So just catching them isn't enough. You gotta three-star everything in the game. Well, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> if we happen to finish most, if not all, the storyline this stream, I know what we're doing next stream. Three-star every fish in the game. <laughs> Objective spotted. Cool. It does not tell me if it's uh, considered a normal fish or not, though. It just gives me info about it, what rank it is, the highest star we ever caught it at, and apparently the time of day based on the sun in the corner. And obviously all these are daytime. That assumably means we're going to be able to fish at night. Yeah, it even has a symbol there. Okay, so we will be able to fish at night at some point. Because I'm pretty sure we can't currently do that now. What's this? Blue hole medium depth? Oh, you can sort it by different depths. Blue hole shallows, medium depth, probably like super far depth, whatever else. Cool. Cool. So in the shallow area, we haven't even caught in half yet. So some of them might be night exclusive. But it could also be some smaller fish I just keep ignoring. Interesting. Anyways. Alright, anything else? Uh, weapon. Yes, I, I came here to craft a hush dart. So we have this as an option. Oh, wait, but we have to use 50 gold. Do we want to invest 50 gold just for some hush darts as an option instead of rifle? I might hold off. Oh, no, I kind of want it as an option, though. Hush dart seems kind of nice. It depends what we're going down there to do. I just feel like I'd rather always have a good weapon to kill big fish. But this is really good for collecting three-star alive fish. So you know what? We'll, we'll go for it. And this is a better hush option later. But I don't know. It's only 50 gold. I think we can invest. Uh, anyways, let's go craft this thing. I can skip this, but I think I want to watch this one. This one's really funny. <laughs> It also makes that one art reference. That one with like touching the hand of God or whatever that one art piece is. <laughs> That's a really funny art style to this game. A lot of really great references. There we go. Hush weapon. Anyways. Cool. Alright, uh, so if I want to change my starting weapon, though I don't want to because I want to kill another shark. I believe all I have to do is, yeah, go here. And now this lets us swap between every weapon we have. This has no damage, range of five, three magazines, and has the hush ability. So we can get them in three-star quality for max uh, quality. 
But I want to go hunt a shark. So we're going to stay with the rifle. Because I'm pretty sure he respawns every time we go down. So I want another kill. <laughs> oh wait, is there anything else we need to go get? Oh yeah, I need to go to that one um, water area with all those little movement things. And apparently there's three com uh, components over there near the currents. We also need to serve the roasted head, but we can't do that until after we go fishing. So let's go fishing. Do I think I know about um, Jaquiz Kansia is? No, I do not. I do not know the reference. Yeah, let me switch my weapon. Another red little seashell thing. I'm gonna ignore it. I will not ignore this weapon though. Oh, what if it's not a damaging one though? Oh, it's just an upgrade. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. I guess shark hunting time. Ooh, another up. Uh, the problem is it's going to switch out my weapon. I I'm going to go for that later. We will be back for that. I don't want to do that right now because I want to kill the shark first. fish over here. Oh, we got ammo over here if we need. We can restock after, though. I'm not sure I'm really going to need to. Okay, where is this shark? I almost know for sure you're going to respawn. It feels like almost everything here does. Where are you? I got a lot of backtracking. We haven't seen a single oxygen yet, either, which is concerning. I found an escape. Let me go get an item. We might find oxygen or movement here. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Okay, we found backup oxygen, which is good because we haven't seen a single oxygen tank yet. There he is. Uh, you know, I'm just going to one-shot you so we can go deal with him. I think we saw ammo to bottom left of us. Though we do know based on how much damage we do that we only have to hit him four times now. He has 100 HP seemingly. It's either 100 or 110 based on how much damage we're doing. And 100 seems way more likely. There we go. Good quality shark meat. All right, let's go back uh, to the current area now. This is where our main objective was for this dive. I found some black pepper. Haven't found that yet. All right, where on earth is the current area? There's just three pieces we need to pick up. We've seen it a couple of times. I'm not sure where it is though. At least on our current location. Oh, he blended in with background. Gosh, how's this thing still alive? There we go. We're running a little low on oxygen, but we have a backup tank. Which is actually surprising, because I haven't seen a single O2 tank anywhere around. I found more ammo over there, though. Another O2. Gosh, we won't even need any other O2. We're just going to grab all that. Gosh. Alright, uh, we got some copper over here. I'll grab it, because we might need it for an upcoming weapon. They're kind of heavy, though. Oh, we got the space. Right, we're back up on ammo. So I'd rather get a non-lethal weapon here. That is not a non-lethal weapon. Actually, it is. A tranquilizer harpoon. Right, where on earth is the current area? I've seen it before. We've been there multiple times now. Not sure where it is relative to our location. Oh, we'll find it. Okay, this thing needs to get out of our way. This needs to be a movement option, ideally. Perfect. Oh, wow. That was too perfect. Uh, there's more ammo there. I don't really need one, but we're already here, so might as well grab it. Right, I found an escape pod, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. Another weapon. It's funny that when we're not trying to find this location, we'll find it, like, every time we dive. 
Now that I actually want to find it, I can't find it anywhere. Oh, so you know what? Let me go. Uh, how do I check my inventory? I actually want to scrap some of these. Uh, some of these. Discard. These are pretty low quality. That allows us to move quicker. But it's a wall. <laughs> I keep thinking we can go through that little gap there. Apparently not. Apparently this guy wants to get hushed. You know what? I might as well hush all three. Oh no, I missed! Tried going too quick. Please let me have it. What do we have? Oh nice! I can craft that now. I don't think I would want it necessarily. But we have it if we do. You know what? Um, how much? Let me go do some math real quick. Um, twelve. Wait, it doesn't show my current um thing from here. Twelve is enough. Okay, let me go scrap these limestone cave. Oh, there's the currents. Okay, I found it. Uh, well, first, wait. Let me scrap these. I'm actually gonna get rid of every tiger fish thing we have, just so we don't over encumber. They're all one star, so I don't really want them. We were mostly killing them just so they weren't in our way. I found oxygen, which is good because I need oxygen. Right, so where's all the supplies he wanted? There it is. Even more oxygen down here. So he wanted three pieces of equipment. There's one. So we have a net launcher right now. We can try catching some of these small fish. This little guy. Oh, just two of them. Nice. Perfect quality, since they're not dead. No, oh, let me back, let me back. Oh, I wonder if I can net the jellyfish. Camera lens. Because I'm not sure we caught this jellyfish type yet. There we go. That's a six-star jellyfish as well. Okay, let me grab whatever this weapon is. Let me. Please, current, stop sometime today. Thank you. Please. There we go. Oh, this is a harpoon. Come on, let me through. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do I have a backup oxygen? I do. And there's oxygen down here. Perfect. Alright, uh, I guess we start heading up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did we get all three of his parts? Wait, did I only grab two? I already lost track. Uh, oh yeah, I'm missing one. That would be very important to make sure we get before we go. I assume it's in the top part because we didn't go up there yet. This is over here. Yeah, there's more oxygen if we need. But it's critical depth, so I assume that's not where we need to go yet. Go check the upper area. Apparently I'm not grabbing that. There we go, perfect. That's what I need. Me over there. some oxygen while we're here or not never mind <laughs> luckily we have a backup tank so it's not going to matter too much now let's get out of here yeah basically everything we need the backup oxygen tank we need as well weapons out of ammo but we have the harpoon at least there we go. There's some kelp. I haven't actually gotten kelp yet. The other green thing wasn't actually kelp. Right, let's go find an exit. Though I do want to catch a few more fish if we can real quick. I don't know. Maybe we can find another weapon over here. I'm not sure if we went down here yet. At least this cycle anyways. Let's grab a bunch of junk. I'm about to hit a dead end. Okay, let's just start heading up then. If we find anything on the way, we'll just grab it. Fortunately, we move very slow if we don't have one of those uh, things on us. I wish they last a little bit longer. The little super dash that you kind of have. Or not this dash, but the one that you have with the little uh, movement item. Okay, so we have uh, an exit over here if we want to so choose it. Uh, I kind of want to get a few more things while we're here, though. Since we're already here. We got the oxygen anyways. Might as well. I'm going to click A to do that. It's actually why. 
Do we have an item here? This might be a good movement item. Let's see, what do we have here? We have... Uh, what even is that? Wait, what was that? Oh, that's just a hitting item. Or whacking stuff. I think it makes it move slower based on uh, what we saw earlier. We're not over encumbered yet. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't let him kill us. Actually, why don't I just whack him? <laughs> whack. We still have a little bit more inventory. We can whack a few fish if we want. Oh, some copper. Let me grab that copper. That's a problem with games like this. Is I feel the need to grab every loot I ever see around me. And this game is definitely in the category of there is loot in every direction. <laughs> Which is slightly problematic for my playstyle. I've much touched everything if we still have inventory left. If anything, the limiting inventory will help us a lot to make sure I don't go uh, exceedingly overboard. Because that was one issue with things like Stardew Valley and such. Like, you had a, like, a slightly limited inventory. But when I say slightly limited, I mean slightly limited. I could let you do a lot of grind if you wanted to. I definitely like min-maxing those days. This game technically has a day cycle, but it doesn't have a time cycle. Like, oxygen basically is your time. There's a lot of ways to bypass it by just, you know, just refilling it through various means. Now we're out of here. Now let me go all the way up just in case. Ah, you know what? We're close enough. We can get him. There's well, right there. We'll be fine. It's not like there's a t any attacking fish up here. Imagine dying, like, right above the surface. There we go. We're out of here. Turn the boat. Oh, at night time. All right. Oh, yeah, we need to go surf her shark head. I almost forgot about that. Oh, we should be able to deploy the drone with this. Oh. Hmm. You look pretty exhausted. Haha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the sea creatures did knock me around a bit. Ah, I see. I'll take a bit of time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please wait a while. Uh, I'll, I should be having it up uh, good in the morning. Uh, go about your business until then. I got some salt, we got some soy, we got some gold. Cool. Okay. We got a small net gun that I'm probably not going to use. It wasn't bad, but... Like, I feel like it's one you would use when you get it, but you wouldn't want to go down specifically with it. Like, it's under the category of usable, but you wouldn't want to start with the weapon. Because I feel like you would almost always want to start with an offensive weapon. Now, this are going for a bunch of three stars, in which case you want uh, probably whatever the better hush option is. Now, this hush darts is the only one, but I assume we'll get more later. Because I think it's such a small amount of ammo, only three. It seems like a mini version of it. Anyways, um, so. Where should we start? Let's go upgrade a bunch of stuff. So, uh, oh yeah, we, this is required, right? So do I just serve it? How does that work? I guess I just put it on the menu? On like auto serve or something? I'm not sure exactly how that works. It's marked with a blue thing, which implies, like, you know, you have to go do it. But anyways, let me go enhance everything. Let's skip the cutscene. Seen it a billion times. And <laughs> the little salt meme. <laughs> Oh, so I said I'd skip it. I'm not skipping it. I forgot you have to hold down. I was like clicking the button as if it'll go. Pretty short one. It only plays the first time as well. You don't have to watch it every time. Oh, that's really good quality of life that it only plays the first time. <laughs> like, it plays the first time you do it every day. But it only plays the first time, so you don't have to watch it a billion and a half times when enhancing everything. Alright, that's everything enhanced. Okay, let's go set our menu. So, first things first. Uh, she wants whole hard, uh, the, the shark head thing. So we'll do that. Boom. So, it's still based on price. So, yeah, we're just gonna do these then. Wait, how many do we need to enhance this thing? Gosh. Well, I guess it is level 5 at this point. Gosh, it has the same menu as releasing Pokemon. 
<laughs> it's the second the bottom. Wait, can you actually do inverted? No. Oh no, it doesn't have screen wrapping. No, you can't screen wrap. I can't double up into the auto supply. No. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, it doesn't have screen wrapping. I wonder if they'll add that later. Actually, I don't think any menu has screen wrapping. Because clicking up here does not go down. And clicking down here does not go up. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't have any screen wrapping on any menu. Or whatever that's called. It might have a special term. <laughs> I thought screen wrapping was. I don't know. But you know, whenever you go like up in a menu and it brings you down, or go down in a menu and it brings you up. But it's like locked in. Anyways, close. Okay, I think we're good to open. Uh, I don't think we can change anything else. Is there anything I can do for the money with the restaurant other than decorating it right now? Obviously, we're eventually going to get staff, which is probably going to use a lot of our money to hire them eventually. Uh, there's research. Can I research anything? No. It's interior, but it doesn't do anything. To my understanding. Alright, let's just start up then. Double check the menu. Looks good. We got the quest item in. Got a bunch of high value stuff. Alright, let's uh, start. Begin. So, does she disappear then? And then I feed her the shark head. Hello? There we go. Come on, make her shark head. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so they should complete this quest. I believe this was a story quest, wasn't it? I can't remember. Let me go do this first before your tea. Ah, disgusting! As usual, the luck of it just ruins my appetites. Even so, a promise is a promise. That animation. Oh, no, no, no. I'm stun locked. I'm not going to be able to do the other person's tea. The cutscene. <laughs> How do you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the uh, white tip reef shark uh, fat inside. The crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly uh, cloying flavor. Is this ginger? Uh, the ginger scent mixed with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. Yeah, she loves head. <laughs> Um, pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. <laughs> the Book of uh, Five of Rings states that one should look at the essence of uh, something instead of its appearance. Uh, sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head has a delicious taste. The whole roasted shark head brings uh, such traits to their maximum potential. I must admit, uh, this is good. You pass, Boncho. Okay, now we have to speed run over to go feed drink to other person. <laughs> Since this cutscene just ate into our time. Uh, let me tell you why I'm here then. Uh, this restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still mean to go uh, go at it alone, Boncho? Uh, this place is already operating at full capacity. This might uh, things might be okay for now, but. You won't be able to cope when even more customers come. I can't continue. I can't continue working alone. But it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Let's start by putting a hiring ad. Uh, hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. Um. <laughs> Uh, let me tell you how to recruit staff. Pay close attention to what I say. Right, click on staff. Click on uh, why for hiring notice. Uh, click on yes. Click on yes. Wire add. Hiring has begun. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Speed run, speed run, speed run. <laughs> go, go, go. There we go, we got it. Up wrong direction. Got it? Nice, perfect. Alright. Oh, ordered a shark head, good taste. I think this is the most expensive thing on our menu, so anyone ordering shark head, doing us a great favor. Do 
and order a drink. Hey, we hit bronze. Hey, that's also an achievement. Got a bunch more dishes. Got a bunch more. Let's see, another menu slot. Kitchen staff plus one. Wasabi amount plus one. Added interior plus ten. So we have more seating now. Oh, wait. That's interesting. They're starting to leave a mess. So we'll go clean that in a second. Perfect, good. All right, actually, you know what? What if I just don't clean it? What are they gonna do? <laughs> we have plenty of seating. No, gotta get that shark head quick. No, no, spam Y, spam Y. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it! I'm not gonna make it! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Yes! <laughs> Barely. I think we didn't clean this, gosh. There we go. Close for today. That should be a perfect five. Oh, look at that money. 517, perfect five. Barely, though. And we got the quest done. And we put up a hiring ad. And we have a bunch of funds that we can go upgrade stuff with now. Hey, it's Dr. Uh, what's his name? Bacon. Good morning! Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because the uh, the uh, symbo symposium. Uh, did you speak with Cobra? Oh, come to think of it, I got materials since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Oh, oh a bit late, aren't, uh, aren't I? Ha <laughs> ha! I repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for also. Uh, oh, thank you, uh, Dr. Bacon. Uh, what these do? All right, let's head back to that uh, rock pile. Oh, wait. I haven't finished. Starting today, the Cobra shop is officially open. Huh? What is that? Aha, deliveries have stopped. But with the drone in uh, working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Uh, talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that uh, changes every day. Uh, I'll also buy some stuff uh, you don't need. Oh good, we have the ability to sell now. Uh, check out the sell tab as well. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling you'll cha charge high prices, but it's uh, nice to be uh, able to prepare. <laughs> Aha, I won't charge high prices. Just because I've got the only business here, uh, so don't be afraid to visit often. Mm -hmm. I feel like you let your business tactic slip just now. Mm -hmm. In any case, it's uh, time to uh, head back to the rock pile. Uh, where the signal from the sea people was detected. Another quest. <laughs> Seems like we always have an objective every time we go down. So we can buy and sell from him. Um, you can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra shop. The Cobra shop is only accessible in the morning and afternoon. Purchase items can only... So basically not nighttime then. So purchasing items can only be used for one day. Uh, so keep that in mind. And we got a call from what's her name. What do you want now? Last time you wanted me to collect some shells. Hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? Um, what is it this time? Uh, I'm doing investigating for an important paper. I'm going to need some help. Uh, can you get me some blue shells and brown shells? I probably already have them if you would accept the ones I currently have. Uh, uh okay, but aren't you supposed to be this doing this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation. Uh, what you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So, don't let it get to your head. Hurry along. I don't have much time until the deadline. You really are impossible. But since you say uh, it's for the paper, uh, was it blue shells or brown shells? Wait, do we have them already? He's calling me again, which makes... Oh, yeah, we already have them. <laughs> Phew. Uh, that was harder than I expected. Uh, these are hard to find. Not quite. Oh, this isn't bad. Uh, now then, if I just complete the delivery to Eco Watcher. Ta-da! Ha-ha! Research level gains. Uh, Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher is a mission-based app to me to protect the environment. Uh, you get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for uh, reaching certain levels. So, this points were for the app, not the paper? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> you could say they're basically the same thing. Uh, you try it out too. Uh, if you're interested, see ya! Let's see what we got here. Got the Eco Watcher app. Okay, use the Eco Watcher app to check on uh, various ecological missions. Oh gosh, is this gonna be like Nook Miles? This is probably just Nook Miles, isn't it? Gather points to receive various rewards. This is literally just Nook Miles <laughs> from Animal Crossing. 
Ah, uh, just in case there is something uh, worth documenting inside. Uh, how about taking this underwater camera with you? A camera? Uh, that's right. If you, uh, it, it, it will be important for research to record important data with photos. Uh, take the camera and I'll let you uh, know when I find the right place to use it. Cool. Alright, so we gotta go check a billion things right now. First things first. Can I control? Yes, okay. Uh, also we got Yoshi as a contact. First things first. Um, Eco Watcher. So what are our Nook Mile tasks? Um, get a bunch of red and orange sea cells. Do a bunch of pink. Get more agars. Uh, a bunch of bones. Haven't seen a single bone yet. Uh, fried jellyfish. We already caught some of those, I think. But we'll catch more. Red lionfish. We caught those too, but we haven't done it since we had research. Oh, so what are our Nook Mile rewards? We get an eco health bracelet. It sounds like it'll increase our HP. Or maybe not. Because that if increasing our HP means it would increase our oxygen. Or maybe it's like mitigation against damage. Because I don't feel like that would give us higher HP necessarily. Uh, do I have any new weapons I can craft? Uh, yes. Net, though I don't want a net. I would need a lot more rope, though I don't really care if I get a net. I don't feel like that's one worth starting. Like, rifle, yes. Hush start, yes. Triple axle, maybe. Even sniper, maybe. I just don't feel... Like, if we see a small net gun, we're gonna use a small net gun. But I don't want to start with a small net gun. Which seems like the only point in crafting is to start specifically with that tool. Um, oh yeah, let's go check the cookstuff posts. There's a piece of the shark thing. There's the reward for getting bronze. <laughs> There's the head that she thought was disgusting. I can kind of see it. It does look tasty. Got uh, just some random photo, some more sushi. Oops, I liked that one. Whoops. Oh, there we go. What do we need for next rank up? Uh, we got to research more recipes, and we got to get more followers. And there's our page. We can see his specific posts. Anyways. Oh, uh, yeah, how's our card collection going? Our Pokemon cards. <laughs> the music. Uh, oh, yeah, I Diver. I need to go upgrade. Obviously, we want more inventory. We definitely want more oxygen. Oh, yeah, I can sell stuff, too. Let me go get this, and then we'll figure out... Um, wait, that's a big increase. We just went from 80 to 150. That's huge. All right, well, first things first. Let me go see what I can buy and sell from him. Uh, talk. Shop. So what's this? An auxiliary device that will expand the capacity of your oxygen tank. It can't be reused. Increases the maximum oxygen capacity by 10%. I used to, yeah, it's one time use only, so it only works on your current go. Interesting. Is that worth it compared to these other ones, though? Because we can only hold two of these. A backup oxygen seems nice. Oh, it refills 50%. Okay, it's not a flat 50. It's actually 50%. That's not that bad. This movement is nice. I guess we just go for the oxygen just to make sure we really don't run out. So we go for this plus that. Wait, why didn't it click? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. So we'll go for that then. All right, let's see, what can we sell? We got this pearl we can go sell. I can probably sell some of this material. We don't necessarily need a lot of excess. We're kind of uh, tight on gold right now, so we probably want to be selling wherever we can. As much as I don't like to sell things that we uh, don't know how to get more of. Like that pearl. I think it is worthwhile. Let me get rid of some of this copper. I don't feel like we're going to be crafting too much. Let me get rid of some of this. Wait, is this our second dive of the day or the first dive? I might sell all of it. I just get more of it when we need it later. Well, I don't want to, I want to keep some amount of reserve, though. What's this? Same as you. Just in case we need more of it later for something and then find out and then we have, like, none. I think we're good to go from here. All right, let's go. So we have 600. Oh, gosh, I stopped at 69. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, let me go upgrade something before I go down. Uh, eye Diver. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Eye Diver. I can go for Depth. I can go for a bigger Harpoon. Though we're not really using our Harpoon that much. Like, honestly, we haven't really been using it at all. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, I guess more oxygen. Because oxygen is basically your, um, is both your health meter and your time meter. So I guess we'll go for oxygen. We have a 50% refill and a 10% increase. Both of which should go based on our max, which is now higher. And then we probably work on the big cargo box for the next day. Alright, let's go back down. 
Oh, well, uh, there it goes. Okay. So let me just immediately use the 10% capacity because there's no point in not using it. I'm actually surprised it doesn't auto use automatically. I had a dolphin again. Is he gonna give us another sellable? Did he give us a pearl last time? Ah, uh, it's the dolphin from before. Uh, why does it look like it's hurt in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Uh, come to think of it, I don't think the uh, pink dolphin this time, or I don't see it this time. I should follow. Uh, let me immediately use air capacity. So do I just use X? Perfect. Okay, air up. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of air for this run. Like, there's like no way we're running out. I oh, know they caught in a net. They caught the shiny dolphin. <laughs> They're shiny hunting. Oh, the pink dolphin. Pirates must have captured it illegally. Yes, you're not allowed to catch shinies. I should quickly cut its net. Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh, no. Oh, I see the red uh, thing now. Ow. They literally just went straight into a shot. There we go. I've saved you once again. Stop getting caught by things. It's not safe for a shiny to exist in the wild. It'll be hunted to extinction. Oh, what did it give us this time? Oh, he left another gift. I hope uh, neither of them get caught again. Gold bar! Okay, that's definitely sellable. Hopefully it's like a thousand or something. No, probably not. It's too early for that. Probably like a couple hundred. I found ammo. You know what? We're low on rope. I'll grab a rope. I only have one other rope in case we need it for something. So far, the only other thing I've seen that it's used for is the net thing. Oh, we have a different weapon. I guess we'll grab it. You know what? Let's grab the weapon first and grab oxygen. Because we're probably not coming back this side. Now, what weapon do we get? Ooh! I kind of prefer the weapon I already have. But I need another one of these so we can craft it now. In case we ever want to use it. If nothing else, we could still four-shot the shark with this. Which is one less shot than the other one. But we also have less starting ammo. Okay, we got good mobility as well. That'll be good for the shark. I do want to catch that shark again. And dolphins are off limit. Uh, where's the map? I don't think there is because it's like randomly generated. Though I don't think initially it is until you finish like part of the storyline or something. Oh, that's actually for a quest. Interesting. Uh, what weapon do we get here? A harpoon? I'll grab it. Right, let me save these other four shots because assuming it has 100 HP, which it seems like it does... Uh, we will need four shots, which is the exact number we currently have. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Ignore you. We can find a shark. He seems to be around the same area each time, which is right here. Let's kill him real quick. Alright, this should take every last ammo we have to kill him. I just need one more shot at him now. And that should be a nice clean kill. There we go. Uh, please let me harvest you. Thank you. Uh, we know where more ammo is if we want it, though. I'm probably just going to pick up a different weapon. Hey, we can go a little bit deeper as well now. Also, what's our objective? Oh, yeah, it does. It's literally pointing there. Might as well go there. We're already here. Okay, hopefully we don't need a weapon for anything, because I'm out of ammo, and I don't see any around. Okay, there's an escape if we need it. Oh yeah, we had to bomb this. We're here! Try pacing one of the bombs Cobra gave you at the rock pile. Explosion time. 
pistol bomb. All good? Uh, you know, uh, it's sort of harder to see through a radio. Uh, we can't uh, have you uh, torn into a thousand pieces and become food uh, for the sharks. Uh, that's a scary thing, uh, say in such a, a casual voice. Now, uh, back away from the bomb for a bit. Uh, there, that should be enough. There it goes! Nice. Now the road is clear. Uh, there's a faint uh, light coming from inside. Go on inside. Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? I was thinking the same thing. We should probably go get a weapon upgrade. Uh, or, you know, like have one. Uh, that would also be an amazing scientific discovery. All right, let me go searching real quick. All right, there we go. Perfect ammo. Uh, there's probably something inside if they're giving us ammo then. Let's see what's here. Go to new region. I wonder if that reloads everything in this region, or if it actually saves the data for it. Some kind of moral. Sea people record chamber. Wow. This place is... Wow. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There's definitely uh, was a sea people civilization in this region. Uh, look at that mural back there. Uh, no human could have uh, painted that so deep underwater. Uh, maybe they're from uh, some ancient civilization uh, that sank from uh, uh, se se seismic uh, activity. A good point. But that style of painting and architecture uh, can't be can't have been uh, seen anywhere ab above ground. Uh, please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. Got a pillar. Seems to be a mural. And a painting of some dolphins. Uh, good. That should be enough. Uh, I would uh, like to search a little more. So please, take a photo of the camera I gave you. How do we do that? There we go. Okay, so a camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. Uh, check your objective on the top left. Uh, use ZR to adjust uh, the focus and uh, remove your hand. Uh, remove your hand to take a picture. Uh, make sure your timing uh, matches the uh, green indicators. There we go. Not quite exactly of the Merle, but got his chest. Hmm. hmm. I see something on the floor there. Oh, it might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. They're all talking about us in their weird language. It's the sound from before. Hmm, a record chamber filled with sea people symbols? Uh, what could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? What do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Uh, come back up uh, the boat for now. Let's get out of here. Oh, so I like that ZL is the dash button, but it's also the dash button when you're using the booster. It's always nice. I know in Pokemon Legends RC. Wait, was it Legends Arceus? Yeah. It was really annoying because they changed the dash button between two different buttons, which made like no sense at all. I'm glad that the, it's always ZL or whatever that one is mapped to. Because this, it's the same when you're in the restaurant. It's the same when you're um, when you don't have a booster and the same when you do have a booster. It's always that button. Which is very convenient. Not changing it to a billion different buttons. Now right, we know where some oxygen is if we need it. I'm not gonna grab it yet though. Aren't you really good on oxygen right now? We even have a backup tank. Oh, uh, I didn't see that there. <laughs> it was because it's scratching my eye. Alright, oh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, that's that good rifle. Nice. Give me that. 
blue hole deaths. It's too dark down there. It'll be dangerous to venture in this state. Aww. Our storyline luck from going any deeper at the moment. Fortunate. Oh, while we're over here, let's go get the oxygen that was over here. Where'd it go? And we'll go head over to the left. Please let me get oxygen, thank you. Let me go grab this material. I sold for quite a bit too. I think it's like 40 each. It's iron. Oh no, never mind. That's iron. That's something else. But the other black one we got earlier was selling for like 40 each. I see more oxygen over there. No, come on. Let me through. Let me through. Let me please pass this. There we go. Oh, wait. This is a dead end though. Wait, what? I thought we could get through on that side. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, fine, I'll go around. Can I go up from here? Kind of. Let's see what we can find. We got a couple snipes. Uh, we have plenty of oxygen. But it seems like we can't go too far down yet, though. Oh, we have plenty of oxygen, gosh. Oxygen is definitely not the issue anymore. Definitely not this run. Let me grab this. See the little backgrounds clipping through slightly. I'll fix that. Oh! Oh, I found my new objective. This thing must die. I will use every oxygen we have to kill this thing. Okay, I need to find an ammo re uh, redo. Because this is definitely not going to be enough. Because we know the other shark had 100 HP. And this is not going to do even 100. Alright, I need to find ammo. Come on, they have to open ammo new here. Where's the ammo? Oh, there we go. A weapon's technically ammo. As long as it's an offensive weapon. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this should be enough to kill him. Perfect. How's it go kill this thing? He might have slightly more HP than the other guy, though. Oh, nope. He's about 100 as well. Perfect. There we go. Long nose uh, shark. Meat something something. It's one of those sea salt. Yeah, saw, sh saw sharks. That's his name. Okay, we got a lot of ores over here for upgrades. Some auction over there too, but in all fairness, we have like infinite auction right now. <laughs> we got two 50% refills, a 10% bigger tank, and a billion things. They, they really don't want you to run out of auction. No, we're still storyline locked from going deeper. Ooh, we'll be able to go there later, but they want us to go deeper in the story before we can go deeper in the depths. Even though we're technically capable of doing so very easily. Ah, uh, it's story locked. I have two ammo I can use real quick. Then grab the other ammo. I'll oh, probably use on that fish up there. I also have an escape pod, but we got plenty of room still. Wait, wait. Because he's probably gonna run, yeah. Oh no, I missed with one of my shots. Gosh, I gotta use my harpoon. Oh, he's poisoned, that's good. A poison's not doing that much damage. Apparently poison's not broken in this game. Like in some games. Doing a pretty minuscule amount of damage. Alright, this thing needs to die already. We need more ammo or something. Our harpoon is does like is negative damage. <laughs> Can you please die? Yeah, end the thing already. Also, I just think it's safe serving poisoned fish. It does not seem safe at all. There we go. It is double quality meat. Oh wait, there's still more to harvest. Alright, we're slightly over encumbered. Was there anything important over here? I guess we just kind of head over here and just see if we can get a little bit more. I need, like, one more weapon refresh. Because we have a really good weapon right now for killing big units. Let's see if we can find something. I wish we had one of those mobility things. I guess I could be dashing. So in all fairness, dash does very little when we're just weighted down. Okay, I found a good target for a weapon. The problem is I have no ammo. Is there an escape pod we can go use to once we over encumber? Come on, give me an ammo refresh or a new weapon. Go kill it real quick. 
Did we search down here yet? I don't remember. Oh, we have not. No! <laughs> Wait, what? What are we doing? What am I doing? I I'm not sure what that was. There was no button prompt. Oh, gosh. Well, I do want to kill it, but not right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, can I find some ammo? I don't mind trying to take it out. <laughs> wait, is that ammo up there? Wait, 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 wait. We have a chance. We have a chance. We got the oxygen for it. Might as well try. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me take out this first. This is a lot easier. Hold up, hold up. This will be our target. Let me wait till he dashes. Come on, dash, dash. Wait, why am I stuck? Yeah, come on, dash already. Oh, gosh. My oxygen. Quickly, I have a backup tank. Why is everything trying to kill me? <laughs> why is everything trying to kill us so hard all of a sudden? Wait, wrong one. There we go. Oh, we should be okay. Dash over here, because I don't want to have to fight the other shark. There we go. Dude, you don't have enough ammo for him. There we go. Alright, we're over encumbered. Um, I don't remember where the pod was. Do we have enough oxygen to just move upwards if we really wanted to? Alright, at this point we will. Because I don't want to go too close to that shark. We'll just chalantly go back up. If we find an escape pod along the way, we'll take it. But I don't want to go somewhere where we're super weighted down and get obliterated by a shark or something. So we'll take the scenic route. Why well, don't you attack us? Luckily, you do like no damage compared to sharks. If anything, he's actually damage boosting us upwards. Which is actually kind of convenient because he's actually increasing the speed at which I'm moving. <laughs> to a degree. Oh yeah, wasn't there a weapon thing over there? Let me go grab that real quick. Hopefully this is a mobility item. It is not. Let me go check something real quick though. Because how close was that? I think it's close enough. Where was it? Yeah, it's right here. Let me grab this real quick. Because I forgot, even though we have no space, uh, a weapon doesn't count as space. So if this is one we need research on, it will count as research. Unfortunately, it does not research. That uh, was worth a shot. Okay, let's head out of here. Right, we're out of here. Okay, that's a pretty good hole. We killed like four sharks. And saw a very massive one, though we did not have the equipment to take it on. But we will, maybe next time we go down. It's definitely one we're going to prep for. He also looks a lot bigger and will probably have more than 100 durability. Like so far, the other two sharks seem like they were exactly 100. But the main difference being that the sea saw one was, um... Or not sea saw, whatever you call it. <laughs> the saw one was uh, more offensive. Ah, I see people artifacts. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I'm glad you like it. I'll have to analyze the artifact and the uh, mural. Uh, further at my lab. I'll be in touch soon. Oh, that was only our first dive, wasn't it? Oh, what do we have here? Was that our first or second dive? I don't remember. Hey, you there! I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? Oh, about that. Um, we are Sea Blue. We are an organization that tracks down people who pollute the beautiful sea. And reports them. I sometimes carry out justice myself for those that commit particularly evil deeds. I've had reports of someone who has been engaging in a mindless destruction of the environment in these parts. Ugh, water brick. So much dialogue. I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the Great Sea uh, will have to contend with a sea blue. And me, John Watson. <laughs> now then, be very grateful to the sea, and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving for now. <laughs> dot dot dot. We're watching you.
Oh gosh, he brought all of Twitter with him. <laughs> he has a Twitter hype squad. What a creepy dude. Uh, will we be okay? See, Blue, that group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. Wait, is this PETA? <laughs> is this this game's version of PETA? It's uh, mostly large corporations with uh, big uh, fishing businesses. And uh, not the small uh, fisheries uh, that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the uh, corporations, however, because they're paid off. I expect they're uh, taking bribes or, yeah, there is, or something unsavory like that. Uh, that guy looks like bad news. Uh, it won't be, uh, it, it won't do any good, uh, to be there, uh, on their radar. Be careful. Uh, anyways, um, that was our first dive, right? Good, we have enough for triple axle if we want to start with it now. Let me see what we need to craft it. Oh yeah, we got a new one, too. Oh, did you we catch two of them? <laughs> okay, that was only our first dive. <laughs> Alright, uh, so first things first. Um, well, first, shop. Does your shop restock? It does not. Okay, that's good to know. Well, I'll grab this then. Uh, we can sell gold. Do we get anything else worth selling? Get a bit more wood. Before I do, let me see what I need to craft this thing. Oh, wait, I need to get out this menu first. Um, where is it? Weapon shop. I would like to craft a triple axle. Okay, I have everything for it. Just need some wood, rope, copper. Good thing I didn't sell all my copper. I can also craft the uh, other thing, but I'd rather have the uh, triple axle as an option. I might even bring it down with me. It seems like a good shark killer. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we got a triple axle. Anyways, uh, next order. Oh, we still don't have enough for that. We need one more of them. I wish I had more magazines. Only three? Seems very sh small for it. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> All right, let me check the eye diver. Oh, yeah, we didn't get any... Oh, no, we did get more gold. Well, going deeper in depths means nothing because I can't actually go deeper. Can I sell enough to get higher capacity? Hold up. We might be going on a selling spree. Is it possible? Oh, I need to go to shop. Uh, is it possible for me to sell enough to get 1,300? Well, let me double check. It was that much, right? Let me check the exact amount so we know. I need... Uh, wrong button. Uh, I need... 1,375. Is it possible? Shop. 1,375. Yeah, we can make it. We're gonna have to oversell some stuff. It's more important for us to have capacity right now. Right, what was it again? Um, ugh, I might have to sell my fins. Giant Trevally fin, glass, scrap iron. Some wood. Get a lot of that material. But it might also be needed to upgrade them, though. Right, we need 16 more. I'll sell three glass. Oh, wait. I need to sell one more. Here, sell she shell. All right, there we go. Uh, now I can upgrade my uh, capacity. Where is it? Um... I diver. Oh god, wrong button. I'm so used to inverted controls. Now that is back to. Oh wait, it was no. It was one three seven five. <laughs> I'll sell a few more seashells then. Shop. Uh, let's see. Shop. And let me sell like a few seashells then. There we go. Okay. Now I can upgrade my suit. Or not my suit, but my um capacity. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's go back down. Oh, uh, let me start with triple axle. Oh, good. I already have it. Perfect. Do we have any charms? We do not. I guess we get them later. Unless they haven't added them yet. 
Though we saw the bra bracelet in the ecological thing, which I assume is considered a charm, like the little bracelet thing, because basically just your equipment slots, two of them. All right, let's go head down. So, main objective. Um, we actually don't have an objective for once when we're down here. This is literally just us fishing. So that's fun. But we actually don't have a particular objective. Other than just catch a bunch of fish as we deem fit. So we're going shark hunting then. We got an upgrade on our weapon. We got a speed boost if we need it. There's an item over there I can go grab. We got more ammo right there. I'm gonna ignore you. We have a way back up. I'll grab some rope. Okay, ignore you, ignore you. Where are all the sharks at? We haven't found oxygen yet. Okay, another weapon. I'm not sure if I want to touch that or not. At least not yet. Oh, don't wait till we find a shark and then touch that weapon. Where are all the sharks at? There we go. I found O2, that's good, because I don't have backup O2 this time, like before. Wait, uh, speaking of backup O2. Come on, charge at me. Oh, that's a bad miss. Wait, let me wait till I can get better angles. I right, should kill. Oh, no, no, no! Okay, good. Nice dodge. Perfect. Alright, we got a backup O2 tank as well. We got some kelp. Okay, let's go and uh, I need an ammo refresh. Oh, boat. Oh. Right, we found a way back up. Is there anything over there? Okay, let's go down. Okay, every single one of these ores sell for so much, I kind of feel like getting them. They're really good sell items. Okay, so we found an escape pod. We found ammo. You know, I'm just going to grab it now, just so we have it. But we're using an upgraded weapon right now. Limestone cave. I don't want to be in here. But I do want to check to see if this is one I don't have. Okay, it's in that. I don't need that. I found a Trevally over there. I want to find a shark. Oh, okay. I found a shark. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can kill this guy. Oh, no. Ow, ow, ow. My oxygen, my oxygen. Come on, come on at me. Come on, charge, 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 charge already. I, I need to open it. There we go. Oh, wow. Wait, why is his HP so low? It's almost like the same as the other shark. And then not code different HPs for them yet? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of loot. Oh, we're out of ammo, though. We're in a dead end as well. Ow. Right, let me use the back of oxygen tank. I don't want to though. I want to see if we can find oxygen. Let me use my speed boost to see if I can quickly find some oxygen. I don't think so. Ingredient. Okay, I found ammo. That's good. In case we find another shark. I don't believe we killed a shark all the way to the right yet. Seems to like to spawn there. I don't think we get like random loadouts until we get further in the story. It seems like a lot of the area is set up so that the story doesn't get like soft locked. <laughs> we got another movement thing. That's great. Found more oxygen as well in case we need it. I have a backup oxygen tank on us as well. Oh no, I still can't go deeper. We need to go deeper in story still. I guess I'll go just grab this oxygen. I don't really need it, but we're probably not doubling back here, so I might as well grab it. I forgot one of you get. I know we've seen one. I can't remember if I bothered catching it though. Ignore it for now. Please let me through. 
pepper fish. Wait, are we at a dead end? Did I just dead end myself? I feel like we did. Little weapon. You know what? We're just gonna kill you. Oh, no, wrong weapon. <laughs> oh, you don't get one-shotted? Gosh, you're almost bulkier than a shark. Not quite. Okay, yeah, we haven't actually caught one yet. Right, the only problem is, if we encounter a shark now, I do not have enough to kill it. I found our escape. I'm gonna have to use my harpoon slightly. We need uh, oxygen. We need one more big kill as well. Oh no, my iron! Come back! <laughs> Come back! Wow, I went really deep. Oh no, I'm not getting that iron back. No, it fell into the abyss! <laughs> my iron! Black vinegar. That's a new one. Right, where are all the sharks at? I want one more big kill. Right, there's an escape. Oh, I found ammo. I'm as well grab it. Probably not doubling back here. So we don't have any objective right now, do we? Yeah, it's so weird. I think this is the first time we've been down where there is no quest because we need the day to progress before we can get a quest or to finish like the other quest that we had. And we'll grab this oxygen. Come on, where are all the sharks and everything? On a big catch. There must be one like all the way to the right or something. Oh, there's a weapon thingy over there. I don't necessarily want to replace my weapon, but I do want to look to see what it is in case it is like the rifle or something new we don't have. Hey, mayonnaise. In its natural habitat. Underground in a jar. Or under the sea in the jar. Okay, let me go take out this guy before I grab that. In case it's a different weapon I want to use. Because we don't know where more ammo is at the moment. And this will be our more ammo. Ow. Ow, don't you dare hit me again. Careful. Okay, let me get a diagonal so we can actually hit him properly with this weapon. Because we need him to be, like, sideways. So we can hit him for full value. Oh, I'm gonna have to waste it on you. Luckily, we're about to get another weapon, so it's not gonna matter too much. Alright, there we go. Oh, no! Okay, please tell me I have enough. Because I didn't necessarily want to grab that first. Alright, perfect. Alright, we have not over-encumbered space yet. I'm actually surprised. Alright, let me grab this gun and start heading up. See if we can find like one more shark to the left or something or to the right or something. Because it seems like they're worth a lot. Compared to a lot of the other things. Oh, we'll grab some O2. Let me grab this first though. Luckily it doesn't fall into the abyss this time. Does this game have cosmetics? I don't know yet. It is still in early access, so um. If the answer is no, the answer may eventually be yes. Though you do not get to play ever as a female, I don't think. No option for that, as it is called Dave the Diver. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll eventually have some females who can manage the, uh, the shop for us, though. Oh, let me go swap this out again. Uh, should I just head up? Um, oh, there we go. We will have to kill this guy. Perfect. How much ammo do I have? Oh, I have zero. Uh, problem. <laughs> wait, I have no ammo. Wait, we got a slight problem here. Hold up. Hey, right, hopefully this is a good weapon for killing sharks. Because if not, that shark might get to live. Oh, that's a shark killing weapon. Give me that. Weaker than what we had, but it'll do. Right, where's the shark? Gotta keep in mind, our movement is slower, but we do have the boost thingy, so we should be fine. Oh, where'd the shark go? He's just here. Come out, shark. I don't want to aggro the other guy. And we have our escape right over there. Oh, where, where on earth is the shark? There he is. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get a good angle here.
There we go. Uh, and a show over encumber us for sure. Yep. Oh, I can't even get the other meat. Oh, well, I wasn't going to go with this. That's fine. I could always scrap some stuff, but we don't have to go all of it. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, we're out of here. Oh, that was a pretty good hole. It was also the first time we ever got to really dive while um, having no objective. So we kind of just do whatever we wanted. Though we can't go as deep as we want yet, unfortunately. Soon. Have I played this before? Oh no, I haven't played this before. I've seen chapter one footage, which is why I kind of know like some of the stuff that's happening right now. It's because I have seen chapter one, like gameplay of it. But no, I have not actually played this game. This is the first time I've ever played this game. But I have seen footage of the entirety of chapter one. Which we're still not even finished with chapter one yet. Though we're about to be soon. I believe once we go down next uh, is the conclusion of chapter one. Well, there's an applicant uh, for the Bacho Shushi hiring uh, notice. Uh, time to have a uh, look-see. Yeah, it still says chapter one there. Oh, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Uh, let's check out uh, who we have. I'm not sure how many chapters there are. I would assume like five to ten-ish. Though there might be more uh, over time. All right, we're hiring. What do we have here? Uh, this is a pretty nice resume we have here. Uh, let's hire this person right away. All right, we can select. Hire. She costs zero. Interesting. <laughs> Sign. All right. Alexa, we have our first staff. Uh, hired staff must be placed. All right, we'll place. Uh, staff can be uh, placed in the kitchen or in the dining area. Uh, add them to your uh, kitchen to cook more quickly and to your dining area to serve more quickly. As for our first staff, let's try assigning them to the dining area. I think that uh, should be enough to go for now. I'm uh, stating the obvious, but uh, things will get uh, tough uh, without staff to help uh, once more customers start coming in. Uh, there's also training to consider besides hiring. Uh, that's all for now. All right, you can now hire. Well, let me go check the staff. Let's go get more staff then. I got a thing happening. VIP has appeared. Vincent Gourmet. Let's see, uh, what, who is he going to be a reference to? Based on his appearance, uh, the first thing that comes to mind is, um, gosh, what is that one ca guy called? Like something flame. That one like over ecstatic guy. That one American, like, uh, goes around the United States trying a bunch of wacky food kind of guy. Not Gordon Ramsay, but the other really weird one. <laughs> the one with the crazy hair. That's what he reminds me of. Hello, viewers. This is Yui uh, from the TV show Star the Chef. Today, I've uh, come to uh, Seaside Sushi Bar. Uh, that's all the rage on Cooksta. Bancho Sushi. Uh, in this sushi bar, uh, that's uh, famous for this exot uh, for its exotic sushi, uh, we have uh, with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yamoka. Yeah, Guy Ferrari. That's the one. He reminds me of Guy Ferrari as far as his appearance. Um, I am Vincent Yamoka. Hello, Vincent. Uh, how would you define sushi? Sushi is a very simple dish. Uh, there is only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen, uh, how good the ingredients are, uh, how they are stored and aged, how they were cut, uh, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. Mm. Those, all, all those things matter in the art of sushi, yes. What? I see, in that case, uh, what do you think of the exotic sushi that Bancho Sushi is famous for? Okay. The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. Uh, the king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Okay. Below that, the olive uh, flounder and the amberjack uh, with the uh, white and red meat. All verified ingredients. You understand? Okay. To dare to use new ingredients, despite the many proven ones that existed from the uh, Edo era, regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. Oh. You have uh, once criticized California rolls as uh, not being real sushi. Oh yeah, aren't the California rolls the one without any uh, fish in it? Those are good. <laughs> uh, we're curious to see um, uh, what your opinion on Bancho Sushi will be. Uh, now then, uh, let's start by introducing the star of today's show, 
Uh, this is the owner, Bacho. Um, this is a bit sudden. We call it Bon. Uh, he's quite, uh, uh, reti reticent. Uh, that can only mean he speaks through his cooking. This, uh, sushi bar offers a fantastic view, uh, as it's, uh, near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, uh, which food will you be trying? Ah, I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so, uh, focused on appearances. You there, Bancho. Was it your name? Uh, let me, uh, take a look at, uh, what you can do. Let me see. Bring me something to surprise me. Whoa, Vince's offers a daring uh, pr a provocation. Uh, he left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit and listen to your uh, prejudicated thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and exotic chef. Things are going to get real interesting. Uh, we'll come to you live on the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. Also, a lot of heart. <laughs> uh, what are you thinking? Uh, what are we going to do? A man does not uh, run from a challenge. I have uh, thoughts of something. Uh, will you uh, get me the ingredients? I need some sea grapes and white spotted jellyfish. I have no clue if I have that. Oh, it's in Limestone Cave. I probably don't have that. Uh, they can both be harvested in the lime, uh, Limestone Cave about 100 meters down in the depths. Uh, by the way, you'll need to capture the white spotted jellyfish alive. Uh, you'll need a tranquilizer gun or a net gun. Okay. Hmm. You're, uh, going to make sushi with those? Okay, a limestone cave, right? Uh, I'll go look for them. I might bring my trank gun then, since that's probably where we're heading. And then we'll just find a different weapon to go do the sharks. Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Uh, procure the ingredients by the designated dates. Okay, we'll be able to. Uh, well, I have everything but the sea grape, so that worked. I just haven't bothered harvesting those yet. All right, I can chat with you. Uh, opening only for the evening. Uh, but I'm too exhausted for uh, at such a late hour. All right, so uh, first things first, staff. We need more hires. <laughs> Internet ad. Flyer ad. Wait, we don't have enough cash for anything. But can I sell some of my fish? Because otherwise we're gonna have no employees. Let me check something. Um, I believe we can sell ingredients. We can. Interesting. What do I have an absurd number of? <laughs> um, probably this. How much do you sell for each? If I was to sell. 12? Eh. It's not a lot. We need enough for like a basic ad though. Actually, let me check something. I want to enhance. And I want to check, um, where is it? I want to see how far we can enhance this. And see, like, how many we're left with by that point. It will be left with two. Well, we're not selling those. I'm gonna do all my enhancing and just kind of check. All right, let me try selling some of my lesser meats. Like some of the ones from down here. Like things that we're not gonna be serving that we can easily sell for some value. Like you were one of them. You only sell for three, though? Let me try selling some raw ingredients, then. Oh, but we're gonna need it for other dishes, though. How much do you sell for, comparatively? One? Ah, maybe we're just not hiring people. I overspent. And I don't want to sell, like, a shark or something. We sell for one. Yeah, it does not seem worth it to sell fish like this. So I really need to add. We might just sell all of our giant Trevally meat. Let me double check something. If I go check our best meals, does Trevally meat make the cut? Oh, uh, not Trevally, not Trevally, Trevally. Yeah, he does. Okay, we're, we're just going to have to not sell anything. And we're just not going to have an ad. I feel like that could be problematic, though. 
Because I'm not sure if we can get any new hires the following day. Unless it still goes off of our other ad, but I, I believe it expires after a day. I'm gonna go research some stuff. Okay, I can just research everything. There we go. Alright, next order of business. Um I guess we just sell a bunch of stuff today. I just don't have a new hire. Which might be problematic for the following day's orders. But we'll just have to make sure we save like 50. I'm trying to think of one other way we could maybe sell without selling fish. There really isn't. Actually, no, I can't because the shop's only open during the day. I was gonna say, I could go back to, uh, what's his name? But I don't think he lets us sell during night. Let me just check just in case. But I don't think he lets me sell at night. But we'll go check. Yeah, he doesn't let me sell at night. Ah, that's unfortunate. Alright, we're just gonna have to go without uh, ordering more people then. Unless it still lets us hire some people, but we'll find out on the following day. Because we might be understaffed for tomorrow night. Possibly even tonight as well. I don't think it will even let me hire anything right now. Yeah, no staff, no staff. Hiring. Yeah, we just have the one. Alright, well, we'll make sure we save some money for a good ad tomorrow then. Anyways, um, okay, let's start. Oh wait, menu, duh. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll have to set all the best stuff. Oh, I need to make sure not to sell that one jellyfish, though. Because I need it for the thing. Yeah, I think it's that one. It's the one he wanted. So make sure not to sell that. Oh, we're nowhere near close to selling it, so we'll be fine. Alright, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of really high sell items. All right, I think we're good to go. Uh, anything else we need to do? I think we just open up. All right, let's open. Right, let's see how hard tonight's gonna be. This is the first time where we actually needed more staff. Hopefully she starts serving them. Good, she does it on her own. Perfect. I know, it looks like we're behind on cooking though. Uh, we definitely need another chef. The problem is we won't have another chef for tomorrow night. Which is problematic. Okay, she seems good enough on serving everything. So we'll handle the, uh, the drinks. Overfilled. Wait, what? You don't want it overfilled? Oh yeah, we're definitely not keeping up with the orders. You know, chef. Can't bring the head in time. Get him head. Get him head. There we go. She got one of them. Oh, good. That's the really far one. Perfect. Oh, let me do you first. Your meter's lower. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Definitely not a five star. Well, we made quite a bit of bank. There we go. Close for today. Oh, no. We're too short of an upgrade. Oh, we got a 4.7. Not bad. We made almost a thousand. Let's have to see people talking with each other. All 
Yep, there's the thing. Day six. There's the uh, Dr. Bacon. Almost making me hungry. Hmm, Dave, this game is definitely going to make me hungry. I'm not sure why I didn't eat beforehand. Yes, Dr. Bacon. Dave! Yes. Uh, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? The good news. Ha, ah, you're the positive type. I studied the necklace you brought me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected. Wow, so it's an ancient artifact? The necklace seems to be imbued with a mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. What? Me? I mean, I'm grateful, but why? Ha, who knows? There might be some, um... Frightening, uh, sea people curse on it. Dot, 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 dot. Well, in any case, try it on first. <laughs> Alright, sea people bracelet. A bracelet shaped of the sea people artifact has a mysterious energy uh, that aids breathing. Uh, survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Oh, cool. That hasn't happened yet, but it's basically like a don't die option. Wow. I feel some kind of new power inside me. Ha, I'm glad to hear nothing bad happens. Though we haven't ran out of oxygen a single time yet. Uh, you'll be able to check your uh, diver box for more information about charm you're wearing. Oh, and I have some great news. I have been analyzed the artifacts and investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in the ocean depths. Uh, this was the uh, right place. The, this, the objects uh, didn't just uh, float over here. I have the feeling the giant blue hole that uh, suddenly appeared is... <clears throat> serving as a conduit to the sea people site. A very lucky opportunity. Uh, that just sounds like I have to risk my life again. So, what's the bad news? Huh, in the deeper venture, uh, deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. Uh, deliveries have stopped. Uh, right now, for some reason. So getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. He has all sorts of things. Hmm, you're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? Alright, water break. <laughs> Capture the sea people. <laughs> oh, we got charms. You can equip charms and swap them out in your inventory. Charms have various effects uh, that will help you out in the game. Uh, so don't uh, forget to try out and uh, find them. Okay. So first things first, let's go change our charm. All right, it's already equipped. Perfect. Oh yeah, let me go do the ecology thing. Do we have that charm yet? We did enough research. Have we gotten enough nook miles yet? No, we've not. Have we even finished a single task? I don't feel like we have. We've not done our Nook Mile tasks. Uh, okay, anything else? How's Cookstar doing? Let's to see people. Oh, that's the sushi from before. Anyways, uh, weapons. I don't think I need anything crafted. Oh yeah, I need Trank though. Wait, he, he said we needed them Tranked? But I already have them caught. I already have the jellyfish needed. The white spotted jellyfish, I already have it. The only thing I need is the sea grape. See, I don't need to trank them. I can just go with the normal weapon. Hey, Lucky Sevens. Uh, what's our current weapon? Uh, we're currently using the Shark Killing Triple Axle. That's fine. Oh, I do want that equipped. Go back. Alright, uh, let me check the shop. Anything I need to sell? Well, first, let's get oxygen. Because we're probably going pretty deep this time. Let's get oxygen and movement. What's this? An explosive? A sensor bomb. That'd be good for killing sharks. Let's grab the better two first. Uh, okay. A bowl that we could sell. Some copper and iron we could sell. Let's sell a few. I don't want to sell too many. I will leave the rest for now. Though we do need to remember on the second day to sell more. Well, first things first. Can I upgrade anything of importance? An eye diver. Oh, wrong button. Uh, eye diver. Depths? I don't know. He said it was at, like, what, 100 something depth? I don't think we need more. I'd, I'd rather go for oxygen here. I'll worry about the other upgrade after. Uh, do you think you should call first? Wait. Wait, who was I supposed to call? Duff? Wait, who did it want me to call? I read all the text and I still don't even know who wanted me to call. Uh, uh, why are you so angry, Duff? I ordered a limited edition Leon Sean uh, figure, but... It hasn't come for over a week! Would you believe it? It's got a serial number and a limited edition only art book! Whoa, calm down a bit. 
Uh, everyone seems upset uh, with the deliveries uh, having stopped. I think there uh, must have been some kind of accident uh, to see what's going on. I will uh, need a deep sea headlamp. Oh, well, of course I have one of those in my safe storage, but I can't give you to it for free. There's a condition. I think I know what is coming. Please find my Leah Sean figure. It's in a pink delivery box. Uh, you'll know when you see it. I requested special care for the package, so it should uh, not have been uh, washed away. Uh, if the ship carrying it sank, it's uh, likely to be somewhere nearby. I think we saw the ship already. Uh, find it for me, and I'll give you the deep sea headlamp. Uh, I have to uh, first find the location of the uh, sunken uh, transport ship. Right, there we go. Oh, we got our quest. All right, um... Oh, I could deliver that. Perfect. Wait, why did it not... I guess we didn't do the other part. Okay, I just delivered one part of it, I see. All right, anyways, let's go down. Go get, get some sea grapes. This is the gate delivery. Uh, is there anything more I need to do with you? I already did all the shopping, right? Yeah, we're done here. Alright, we're out here. <clears throat> okay, two objectives. Um, let's go get a sea grape. And let's go and kill every shark. <laughs> also, I need to go find this little delivery thing. Oh, new weapon. That's just better harpoon. Which our harpoon is so underleveled. I want that item, but I can't go uh, with him there. All right, there's new ammo over there if I need more ammo. So we know where our ammo refresh is. We have an escape over there. We have another item, but I don't need it at the moment. Where are the sharks and where's this limestone cave? We got some backup oxygen and everything over there. Okay, we found limestone cave. Apparently there's sea grapes somewhere around here. Please let me move. <laughs> right, where are these sea grapes at? Oh, this is a ship, isn't it? There, my precious Leah Sean. Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. It says now. Good luck with that. What? Was that just now, my Leah Sean? She disappeared into the unfathomable depths. It seems to have been some kind of giant life form. Please, go and retrieve her. Wait. That obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors on the ship are all locked, uh, so I can't go inside. Yeah. Uh, do you really think I don't think of that? Before concocting Leashon's rescue plan? Yeah. I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the uh, gas cutter. Yeah. Uh, even at this moment, uh, Leashon uh, awaits uh, for uh, Master. <laughs> uh, come to the boats, will ya? Uh, well, we will later. All right. My objective now is sea grape. Also, kill things. So they have not given me thing to kill. Right, let me check what this item is. If it's not a new one, I don't touch it. Uh, I guess we touch it's harpoon. Harpoon doesn't matter if we touch or not. All right, where are the sharks or anything, for that matter? Any sea grapes? Is this sea grape? I don't think so. I think we have to like cut her or something. Yeah, there's just some uh, some black pepper. All right, there's more ammo over here, too. Where are all the things to fight, though? All right, there's some ammo. I haven't needed a single one yet. So it's for 45. Oh, where are all the sharks? I'm about to go catch this Trevally thing, gosh. Though the problem is we're going to damage it quite extensively if we kill it this way instead of darting it. I found a kill objective. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. No! Luckily we have an extra shot. That miss isn't gonna matter too much. Oh, he's not dead yet. Wait, it's problematic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no. That one major miss. Does he have more HP now than he did before? Where's my ammo? Give me that. Oh, that's not the click I wanted. How are we not dead? When did he get so much tankier? There we go. Hey, uh, was there oxygen over here? I already grabbed it, didn't I? No! Oh well. I'm gonna go grab this item, whatever it is. We have a backup oxygen if we really need it. I ideally don't want to use that if we can help it, though. Oh, I have two if I need them. I right, fine, I'll use one now. Just because we have two. And because I don't see one in sight. Some ground oxygen. Anything else over here? Oh yeah, we still never got the sea grape. Is that a sea grape? I don't think that is. We're wondering where all these sea grapes at. I said in like the limestone cave area. We were just there earlier. I didn't see any sea grapes. No, I can't go there. Where on earth is the sea grape you wanted? I could have sworn I was just in the limestone area. I didn't see any there. Let me go double check, because that definitely did say limestone. We should have enough oxygen, it'll be fine. We'll find more. Because I see no cuttable sea grapes. Or cuttable anything. Unless this is sea grapes. Wait, are these sea grapes? No, there's something. <laughs> not sure what they are, but they're not sea grapes. Is this sea grape? Oh, this might be the sea grape. No, that's not sea grape. This is nothing. Let's go all the way back over. Just a bit of oxygen for that, but that's fine. I think we find a tank soon. So we need to go back up to be able to get in there. And that's needed for story progression. A sea grape is needed for the other guy. Like, we have to get a sea grape. He said it was in like the limestone cave area. I thought we were there earlier and didn't see any of the... Yeah, there's oxygen. Oh, maybe these are sea grape? Because I'm not sure what area we're considered in right now. This might just be kelp. Yeah, this is kelp. Salt. Oh, I needed that as well. Pretty recipe. I think we already had one. Now we have another. Alright, there's our escape plan. Don't think we're gonna need it, but it is an option. Alright, there's some O2 if we come back up that way. There's O2 to the right of us. Is not gonna say we can't go any deeper? Yeah. We're still story locked out of that area. Oh, that's also O2, isn't it? Yeah. We have an extra O2 tank over here. Nothing over there. That's our backup O2 if we need some later. I think I see sea grips. You can tell because it's literally telling you that it's there. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, can't grab that. This fish is too aggro. Oh gosh, every fish is too aggro. There's more ammo here if I really want to deal with them though. Which at this point I might have to. Oh, he gets damaged uh, greatly. There we go. We got to see grapes. Okay, we got everything for that mission. And the only thing we have to do for the other mission is literally return to the surface. So we're good on that. Oh, bomb. I haven't had one of these yet. What does this even do? I got three of them. Right, let's go shark hunting. All 
Wait, are these more secrets? They are. I'll stock up just in case. Another weapon. Let's see if it's anything good. It is just a different harpoon. I still got a decent amount of space. Let me grab the O2. We're gonna escape pod to the left if we need it. Right, let's go shark hunting. We got a weapon for it. We got some of these mines. That's another one for research. Where are all these sharks at? Got another weapon over here. Oh! There's one of those bone things we haven't gotten yet. Yeah, we got a bone. We need that for research. That's a different harpoon tip. What is this? Just generic shell? Yeah, just a brown shell. That's nothing good. And where are all the good loot at? Why not this is bomb? Well, you know what? We'll use up our oxygen. I might regret that in a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, we might be killing you. Because I'm seeing a lack of shark. But we're not. Oh, no, I still kind of want to go for a shark. There we go. Perfect. How much space do we have left? We actually have a pretty sizable amount of space remaining. That doesn't even take up that much space. There we go. Let's grab the bowl, grab everything else. We got the space for it, might as well. Grab a little of everything. Oh, I want to go use those new mines. I still haven't yet. Ooh, an O2 tank. Ah. Uh, let me just use one just to see what it does. Okay, I did not get it in time. Is that O2 tank just going to sit there? Ow. <laughs> well, I killed him. <laughs> that doesn't seem too bad. But I want my O2. Just to play it safe. Always good to have a backup one. Right, that like overkills everything it touches. But it does have a nice AoE if nothing else. We got a neck gun. We can safely catch some of these jellyfish then. I want to try like doubling. No! Trying to go for the double made me hit none. <laughs> Oh, we actually need this for a quest. Or not for a quest, but for the ecological thing. Is there any more ammo around? Well, I guess I could just catch them normally. Can I hit them from uh, underneath? Yes, you can. I only need one more of these now. Even if it's damage, I just need to catch one. There we go. That was for some research. Speaking of which, I also need the little orange thingy for that. Alright, uh, we need one more big kill. Do I need a refresh on- oh wait, I'm on net gun right now though. I need one more thing worth getting. Come on, something big has to be laying around. Oh, ammo. Uh, this is only for nets though. Oh, I did not mean to kill that. Whoops. A lot of small fish. Oxygen is getting a little low. I just ammo over there. There's fish that want to kill us over here. We're starting to finally get over encumbered. I can't really fight them until we have a proper weapon. I want to use these nets and then grab that weapon. Problem is, there's nothing over here to use net on. I'm pretty sure aggro fish will never get netted. Oh, never mind. He's small enough to get netted still. Perfect. What do we have here? O2, perfect. Backup O2. I always like having a backup O2. We haven't ever died a single time to oxygen. Though I don't ever want to start. <laughs> 
having backup seems good. Never run out. Oh yeah, let's go catch a few more smaller fish since we have net gun right now. Might as well. Can't do anything else with it. Oh, we got a spare weapon over here though. Of course, the second we get a net gun, there's like literally zero things around us that we can use a net gun on. Go pick up this gun, especially if it's like the rifle or something new. That we can get more stock of. Then I can grab that O2 to the right and then uh, figure out what we do from there. I mostly just want one more big catch, like if we can get like a shark kill or something. Uh oh, perfect. Alright, well there's a shark kill weapon. Oh never mind, that's hush star. Okay, we can get a few uh mid-size fish then. I'll pick up like three mid-size. There's one of them. Come on, turn around. I should go to sleep any second now. Any second now. Any second now. <laughs> there we go. Let's grab some copper while we're here. If nothing else, we can immediately sell it so we have money for um, the ads. Because I want to place a really big ad since we didn't place one the previous day. Let's see if we can hire someone really good. Because we're going to buy the most expensive ad we can get for the next ad. Uh, let me go hash start two things real quick and then we head up. Come on, hash start targets, where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. I guess we could do you. Not the most perfect thing for it, but it'll do. Yeah, this game's really relaxing. Oh, I need two more of those for Eagle Out, um, the research thing. Damn, a refresh. Oh, we can make three more catches then. There's an escape pod right there, perfect. Oh, oh, there's two of our catches. Perfect. So I got one for you. One for you. And I'm pretty sure we're out of here after that then. Because I don't think we'll have space after that. Ow. Oh, we already don't have space. Now we're out of here. Don't you dare hit us. No, don't even think about it. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All the ways to go. Uh, I got... So we got everything we need there. We got the grapes. We got the, um, we found the ship. They're going to give us the little saw thingy or whatever it was. And we're good to go. I'm still having trouble calming down. Just like Leah Sean uh, did when she first came face to face with uh, Fenrir. Uh, since it's, uh, you've uh, found your, uh, found a location. I'll reward you for it. I like it to be, uh, honest dealings. Duff's Pink's delivery. Yeah. Now then. Let's begin the Leah Sean rescue mission. Uh, take this gas cutter. Uh, you'll uh, see a spot that can be cut into when you reach the ship. Uh, there will be a button prompt. <laughs> uh, cut the uh, weak point in the iron door and uh, you'll be able to enter the ship. Just uh, retrieve the pink delivery box uh, that has uh, Leah Sean uh, from inside the ship. Uh, should we uh, should be uh, simpler than you think. But I saw a huge tentacle. Uh, taking the ship? It looks extremely dangerous. Uh, do you mean to say that it's okay for Leah Sean to expire in the darkness down there? This mission must be, uh, must not be delayed for a moment longer. No worries. <laughs> we'll be doing every story me mission immediately. Uh, all right, I get it. Oh, uh, oh well. Uh, I'll try going down there. All right, so this is the last time we can sell at him before we go into our dealings for the night. <laughs> when it goes to the night shift. So let me sell everything I want to sell. Because this is our last opportunity to. Until it shifts into the next day. So you know what? I'm actually going to max sell... Ah, uh, maybe not. Because I, I don't want to have an issue where we can't find it. I'm going to sell down to five. In case we need it for a weapon craft. That I'm pretty sure this is sellable. Bones, I'm not quite sure. Oh wait, I didn't sell four. 
Did I cancel? I must have canceled. Uh, okay. I think that's all we sell for now. Make some more shelves. Are we good? Alright, anyways. Uh, let me go check the ecological thingy. I think we did some of the missions. Still need two more for that. Still need the other bones. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I have to give them to it? No, that's a different one than what we need for the mission. I can return that. That's fine. Ten research points. Alright, next. Um, eye diver. Nothing we can upgrade, right? I can upgrade my suit. But if we can't go down there anyways due to being story locked, there's really no point. So we'll hold on to our cash so we have it for the uh, big 400 ad. Right, I think we're good to go. Let's go head down then. Oh, Duff has a weapon thing. Wait, what's here? Oh yeah, I can craft a triple axle. Oh yeah, I do want to actually craft this. Wait, don't I already have one though? Why is it showing I can... Wait, I literally have one equipped. Wait, why is it... Why is it highlighted like that then? That's weird. Also, why do these have like an N next to them or whatever that letter is? Oh, I guess new? Is lead ore new? I thought we already had lead ore. The bone's definitely new, so that must be what it is. Like, you just got it on your most recent trip or something. Alright, uh, shop item. Uh, what was your other item that you were selling? Bombs? 40 explosive damage. I don't know, is that worth it for 10 gold? I guess so, might as well. 40 damage, that means one- these set of- this 10 gold bomb basically is one shark. Assuming we do it correctly. But there might not be enough time during a shark fight to do it. But like, we can kind of do it afterwards, like midway through. And <laughs> go to the dark place. Oh, the main thing we need to go to right now is, uh, what's it called? Ah, I hear loud noises from over there. Should go check things out. Is this another dolphin thing? Oh gosh. <laughs> How many times are we going to have to save the shiny dolphin? Hey, uh, why do you keep bothering these dolphins? Uh, so you're the one who keeps interrupting our plans. I, uh, can tell just from your silhouette. Uh, you need to be taught a lesson. Uh, you better be ready. Oof. I was, uh, uh looking to, uh, scare them. Oh, well, I'll have to, uh, see if we can, uh, defeat them. That's a huge miss. Come on, let me get a clean shot. Alright, one down. Ow. Right, in case it keeps my ammo, I'm gonna restock. not down too much. Ah, we're retreating for today. You'll hear from us again. Dolphin's gonna give us this time. The first one sold for a hundred. The second one sold for what was it? Three hundred, five hundred. Ah, do we got? We got a rusty dolphin necklace. Oh, we got a um, that's an equipable item. Ah, I left something like an old charm. I should identify it later. I need to go off to identify it. Oh no, it does retain our HP and ammo. Oh no. Oh, that's slightly unfortunate. Ooh, rifle. Well, ammo's fixed. <laughs> it's a bit of a different weapon, but it does what it needs to. No, I'm gonna use one for you. Oh, that's one of our missions as well, nice. Fortunately, he's very damaged. 
Got more ammo over there. And are we gonna refresh literally one ammo? Right, where are the sharks? I wanna go try setting up these bombs. Come out, sharky sharkies. I see what weapon this is. Uh, Trank Gun. Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll roll with it. I need to find a better weapon soon, though. Oh, no. I can't see. I already missed because of it. You know, I could probably trank you. I don't think we've ever caught you as a three star. I'm running low on O2 already. That's not good. What on earth is that? Boxing gloves. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, we need O2 badly. There we go. Oh, a shark that we can test these bombs on. All right, so supposedly they're 40 damage a pop. So, can I just preemptively set up a bunch of bombs here? To be like, boom. Right, what if I set up another? Oh, he's so dead. Come over here, Sharky! <laughs> oh, wait! No! Oh, only one hit. Okay, uh... I don't have a weapon. Unless I want to punch him. We're about to have a boxing match with a sawfish. <laughs> Bad idea. His hitbox is, uh... Too wide. <laughs> Get me out of here. I need an actual weapon. Alright, there's the thing I need to go to, but I don't want to take that yet. I need either ammo or weapon. Actually, no, I need an actual weapon because ammo won't do us any good. Because, um, we have a trank gun currently. There we go, weapon. Oh, while we're here, let me go trank some of these. He said he needed a live jellyfish. Presumably I have at least one. But in case I don't, I believe this is a jellyfish I actually need for that other mission. This will count as a live jellyfish. There we go. Then we can restock this weapon. Let me grab these first, though. This was the one we needed for the serving thing in two days. Which at this point is one and a half days or whatever it was. Good. Oh, let's see. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, rifle! Well, hello, shark. <laughs> Goodbye, shark. Where are you at? There we go. I do need to go get uh, more ammo if we want to go kill another one like that, though. Also, was there any other mission we had to do while we're here? Oh, yeah, I need to go save the uh, doll. I drove right next to it. Hold up. Wait, I need an oxygen refill. Was there one in bottom left? I have an oxygen tank, but I don't want to use that. Where's the oxygen refill? Was there not one, like, right down here? Where there was. Oh no. Let's hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm heading to a dead end. Oh no, I'm heading to a dead end. Oh no. Uh, we're going to be tight on oxygen this time. Ooh, how do we go about this? I can hope that there's oxygen inside there. Oh, we got a new weapon, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, this must be the uh, door. Let's try using the gas cutter. Our oxygen should be probably paused while we're doing this. Uh, turn on the cutter and follow the circle. ZR to power. It's literally like that mini game from uh, Mario Party, where you have to like uh, do the perfect cutout. Normally with like a, um, what's that called? The one vertical hammer thingy. <laughs> I forget what that construction tool is called. Basically the same thing.
Perfect. Yeah. Oh no, I was in uh, too much of a hurry to properly uh, tell you how to use it, uh, but you figured it out. I go in through the open door now. Hey, Sean, your master is coming. All right, let's hope there's oxygen in here. Are you have a backup tank, so it's not too big a deal? Ah, uh, uh, the space below seems uh, larger than expected. Uh, take a lark around, Dave. I will. Oxygen, thank you. Okay, good. And we even have an ammo refresh, which I actually do need. I think we only have one ammo left. Is there something I could use on real quick? I'm kind of happy with the weapon we have right now. Let me grab this. Hopefully it's more oxygen. Uh, it is. Perfect. Alright, we have all the oxygen we need now. We got a full tank and a 100% backup tank. I believe right over here is the end of chapter one. Uh, there it is. The pink delivery box. With uh, Leah Sean's inside. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, more importantly, look at that giant squid. Uh, so that's our culprit. I guess uh, it knows a good thing uh, when it sees it. Uh, even if it's just a squid. It seems to be asleep. Uh, sneak up and bring it back quick and quietly. Uh, I've come too far to go back empty-handed. I guess I'll try approaching quietly. Giant squid. Ah, it's awake. I need to get back. Dave, uh, don't tell me you're going to uh, chicken out. Uh, use the gun I gave you. The harpoon will not be of uh, use. Oh, we got a better gun than that. Oh, okay, he can hit me. I don't have any speed boost, but we have oxygen for days. Eyes not open. Okay, now it is, but now we can't. I guess we'll grab the action while we're here. Oh, no, we're all. Oh, I guess we'll. Because we have invincibility frames. Guess we can snipe him from a mile. That's such a long range. Maybe I have cross here to make it really easy to tell as well. You can open your eye, or do you have to make us go back? I'm out of ammo. Where are the ammo things? Uh, there's one. Probably just tank it. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably just better to tank it. please. <laughs> Giant squid down. And a sea person in the head. Mm. Right, time to get the box. Wait. Were those sea people just now? Ha! Yeah. Huh, what do you mean? All I can see is the pink delivery box. Yeah, uh, bring it back quickly. It's waiting. Yeah. Rescue. Uh, telling him won't do any good. I'll have to go back and tell Dr. Bacon. Mm. Huh. The box is pinned under a squid tentacle. Mm. I'll have to cut it away. I wonder if it's edible. I should try uh, taking it to Boncho. How do I... How do I... There we go. Yes, that's the one. Come back up to the boat. I'm so relieved. Leah Sean. Oh, is it going to force me to the boat? I was hoping we could still keep swimming. Oh, no, I didn't get max capacity. They wasted my day. No. They forced me to the top. Oh, no. We didn't finish getting all of our inventory. We barely even did any of our inventory, didn't we? 
We definitely weren't over encumbered. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna be one of our worst days yet for underwater then. I didn't think that would bring us all the way back up. Yes, Leah Sean! Leah Sean! Uh, I think uh, she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. I'll clean you up. Here comes Leah. <laughs> Whoops, I said, uh, uh, Leah Sean's, uh, line by accident. Uh, though, I'm the master. Leo. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Dave. Um, in any case, a promise is a promise. Uh, here you are. The deep sea headlamp. It's a, a recent model, uh, that turns on automatically as necessary. I must, oh, oh, so that's probably the thing that was storyline locking us out of the depths. So now we can probably get down, uh, deeper. Goodbye, Tyranity. <laughs> It uh, gives a bunch of gold, some black vinegar, salt. Okay. Mm. I, mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, nothing mm. important is being said. Anyways, <laughs> I'll go give it to Boncho a call. Oh, yeah, we have a red sniper rifle, finally. I almost want to start with that. That's a pretty good weapon. We did not get any new fish. Actually, we barely caught any. We barely got anything at all. I didn't think that mission would end when we did that. But oh, well. Hey, a necklace uh, increases dash speed by 30%. Oh, that's actually really good. We, we always have an issue where we're, like, dashing and they're still catching up. Um, you can wear the dolphin necklace to move faster. Keep in mind that oxygen will be used up faster. Yes. Mm. All right, uh, it is equipped, right? Yes, perfect. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Honestly, that's even better than this charm. Like, this is good for, like, the emergency situations. Oh, we haven't had a single one of those yet. Also, what is this? Giant squid too. Interesting. Now uh, we can't use your shop because it's not during the day. Uh, we need to make sure we do a max capacity. Wait, why won't it let me go? Oh wait, I need to call Boncho first. Um, where is he? You just have to tell him about the eel or the squid. Uh, what is it, Dave? I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. I couldn't bring you the whole thing, uh, so I cut off a bit of its tentacle. Is it edible, perhaps? Of course. The uh, ammonium chloride uh, that helps it uh, float uh, gives an awful stench, however. Uh, and because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Uh, why don't we close up shop for today and hold a party with the squad? Or with the squid? <laughs> uh, I've uh, been so busy since we uh, opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food, despite your hard work. Wow, that sounds fantastic. Uh, let me clean up a bit. Uh, come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bacon uh, will be there as well. Uh, so I can uh, tell him about the fr uh, fish uh, people I saw. There we go. Party time. <laughs> the picture we have up is still there. I guess it's going to stay there forever until we move it down. Dave, you're a bit late. Uh, everyone's been waiting for you. Oh, wow. You finished all the cooking already? Uh, when did everyone arrive, though? Uh, speak... Okay, we just have to speak with everyone. Uh, a party with customers. Uh, there's been a lot of progress. Very good. Well, has there? A restaurant should put their customers first. Food, drinks, service, and customers are basic foundations of a restaurant. Uh, in the past, uh, there was only a rigorous chef and his cooking. Um, I was also here... From the beginning? Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. Uh, do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cookstar? Mm -hmm. You said uh, that wasn't any real mention of me. Uh, but now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They say things like, he poured me hot green tea. Uh, he was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh? The customers are uh, recognizing your hard work. Well, uh, that makes me feel good. Uh, customers are honest and intuitive. Uh, more so than you think. Uh, they know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled. And they react accordingly. Uh, that's why I find the moment hard to believe. To think that uh, uh, ob ob obstinate Boncho is uh, working with people and holding parties. I think it's thanks to you, Dave. Uh, that makes me wonder uh, what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past, uh, but maybe someday, if the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Ah, Dave, congratulations! 
Word of Boncho Shushi is now getting around. He likes to be in a very good mood. Look at this uh, squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I'll bet more people will flock here and such things are offered on the menu. Uh, are we eating this because it's difficult to serve to customers though? Ah, you're right. What a pity. Uh, everyone will uh, want to try something that looks like this, regardless of its flavor. Regardless of the flavor, you say? There's no way Boncho could stomach that. Uh, let's go with something else. All right, about the depths. I have a feeling there must be things down there. Things that'll make jump uh, people jump out of their seats. If uh, Dr. Uh, Bacon's research is successful, this place will be as famous and filled with people. Mm. Ah, you're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money. Uh, so let's keep it uh, keep at it, Dave. Uh, let's get rich together. Ha ha. Uh, Dr. Bacon, I found the sea people. <laughs> oh, Dave, what is it? I saw sea people down below. You what? You really saw sea people and not uh, dugons? Uh, what did they look like? Uh, where? How were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? The Cheech and Chong reference? No, I do not get the reference. <laughs> I do not know what the reference is from. Mm. Some of the reference I've gotten, like the Ask Ketchum thing, I don't think that one is supposed to be like the total drama island cook, but he definitely reminds me a lot. The uh, uh, Boncho, that is. Like his personality is drastically, well, not drastically different, like somewhat similar, but like he's like a lot more of a matured version of the other one. <laughs> the other one was way more of a com comedic relief uh, character. Because Boncho's a lot more serious. Ah, they're, uh, Tauros. Uh, um, they're, uh, Tauros, uh, looked like our own. Uh, but the sight of me, uh, scared them off into the depths. Uh, I couldn't get a good look. Uh, That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. Uh, that means, uh, we might encounter them in the depths. Uh, that's where the, uh, signal is strongest. Uh, perhaps there's even a village. A village? Yes, they have artifacts, murals, a language. Uh, they are beings with a unique civilization. Uh, it would be surprising in the least for them to uh, live together in a village of sorts. Uh, that would be quite the find indeed. An incident or an ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, uh, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. And Pancho. A giant tentacle. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Uh, suppressing the stench should allow me to uh, reach at its essence. Uh, you're still studying the ingredients? Wait, is there supposed to be a question mark there? Uh, good work today. Uh, bringing back uh, precious ingredients. Uh, this is a difficult sort uh, to prepare, uh, but that's uh, part of the fun of cooking. So, how does it taste? Oh, wait, is that a No, that's him. So, how does it taste? He's asking us. Uh, the food's always been great, but today's is even more. Spectacular! Since there was a lot of it, I made uh, many different dishes. Uh, though we won't be able to uh, offer them to customers, uh, there seems to be no end to the path of the chef. Uh, it's a happy thing to have a path to pursue. Uh, the same can be said of the study of the ingredients, Dave. Uh, please, keep preserving and uh, one day uh, we'll succeed. Or persevering. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, but... Uh, sure, I'll be uh, sure to uh, bring back more fish. And what's this? Wait, what are we talking to here? Oh, we're talking to the beer. Yeah, I gotta talk to a beer. Phew. Uh, that's good stuff. You know you're drunk when you're talking to your beer. <laughs> uh, Boncho's food is so nice. I can understand the growing uh, popularity of the restaurants. Uh, or maybe it's because I can't uh, caught the fish. In any case, uh, there's been a lot more uh, shocking uh, stuff. A giant squid? Sea people? There's no end to the mysterious of the ocean. Uh, even if it's dangerous. Mm. I suppose I'll go deeper tomorrow. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, do we not get to serve food tonight? I guess not. Ah, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. <laughs> Time for a toast. With everyone. And rest. How do we toast? There we go. Oh, does the kitty not get anything? Oh, no, the kitty does have a little dish next to it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he's out for blood. Oh, isn't that the guy who we talked to earlier who was on that boat with all the Twitter followers behind him? <laughs> VIP visit. Uh, 
Good morning. I must have uh, drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. <laughs> you did seem a bit excited. Ha. Uh -huh. You don't get gatherings uh, like this every day. Uh, that sort of occasion calls for uh, Javali. Uh, you can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. Oof. I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, the deep sea uh, headlamp uh, Duff gave you, uh, and gave you, and try venturing down into the depths. Or oh, take it. Uh, it'll probably turn on automatically uh, when you reach the right depth. And uh, don't forget, you'll have a have to enhance your diving suit if you want. Oh yeah, let me, that would be a good time to do that. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, I'll have to enhance my equipment first. I love how it's reminding you to do literally everything. Uh, by the way, do you have? Uh, do you happen to have a scuba? The <laughs> uh, he's asking me to enter the water after that. Hey, right, chapter two, into the deep. All right, uh, first things first. What are you selling? Uh, let's see. Movement and air capacity. The mines were kind of meh. I promise it take time to trigger. I don't really have much I need to sell. Right, we're out of here. Right, before we go to that, uh, a couple things. Good to go here. All right, next. Um, better check something. Do I have any of these mission thingies done? We do. We Go deliver that. Right, how many Nook Mile points do we have? We have 30. Uh, okay. We can get it all done if we just do the bones. Oh, one more red lionfish will get us 10 as well. Then we still need another 10. Might as well try doing one in the 20s. Wait, what's this other one? The Kajin? Oh, we need more Agers. Otherwise, I can finish out immediately. I just need another pink shell. There's all of our trading cards. We, we still have a lot we need to catch on 3-star. That would be good for Tranquilizer. I'm not going to worry about these yet. Because realistically, we're just going to bring a Trank gun and do all of them. Though I'm not sure how we're going to do the bigger ones like that. Like catch a three-star of a big fish. Anyways, we're out of here. Alright, um... Oh yeah, upgrade. Oh, I need to make sure I save 400, though. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't done any of our things, though, yet. So let me go do a depth upgrade, I guess. Just in case we need to go even deeper. Alright, let's just go with what we have now. Should be good. Alright, let's go. Did I say Nook Miles? Yeah, it's the same thing. <laughs> same difference. Ecological points, Nook Miles. They're the same system. <laughs> they give you tasks, you do the tax, you get tasks, you get points. Oh wait, there's ammo over there. We're gonna have to fight, aren't we? Wait! Oh, there's John Watson. Oh, he looks different in his suit. So it was you, the one who's been harming the ocean. You even vomited, you disgusting creature. Wait, that wasn't me. It was... I have no time for your uh, petty excuses. Wait, what weapon do I currently have? Oh, I forgot to craft a sniper rifle. I should go get that on the next run. Because I want to try that. That would have been good for this fight. I think we're using a close range one. Uh, now that you've been uh, caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea... Uh, you won't be leaving so easily. I'll turn you into fish food. Ah! My Poseidon! It's all your fault. You did this to the precious sea. You're the one shooting bombs. All I did is catch a few fish to keep the restaurants running. Uh, why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish? Not individual divers like me. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Enough blabbing. I'll shut that yapper of yours. Here goes. John Watson. <laughs> right, what's your attack pattern? Do a thing. Oh, wait, that's not the right weapon. This is, though. I'm not sure how much durability you have. What are you doing? Mm 
There we go. I lost a little bit of O2 there, unfortunately. We're also two ammo down. But otherwise, not too bad. <clears throat> ah, how dare you fight back against me? John Watson, formerly of the uh, Navy SEALs. <laughs> that should serve as an adequate warning. Uh, so I'll be back. Uh, away for now to protect the environment. As he's blowing up the environment. Uh, but I won't uh, let you go unpunished. Uh, if you persist in damaging the ocean, we're watching you. Yeah, look at that hole you just made. Not him, us. We obviously made that. We definitely made that hole. That he just blew up. <laughs> a path has opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Uh, let's go that way uh, and reach that signal. Now we got ammo. Oh, good. The ammo's still here. It's convenient. Any good here? Oh, yeah. I have a max capacity. Let me grab that. Uh, X. Grab that. Perfect. Nice. Right, so that's basically an oxygen refill from what we just took damage wise. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have quicker dash now. It's kind of convenient. There's an O2 refill. I guess we'll grab it. We're probably not coming back up this way. Oh, another weapon refill? You know, I don't think we've caught on these things yet. They're not going to be caught alive. Why do we have gotten it? It's just a yellow tank. I missed. Okay, I'm just taking my ammo. Now we're out here. Oh, right, I need to go ahead to that raider. We got another weapon here. Let's see if there's a new one or not. Or an upgrade. Oh, perfect upgrade. Okay. Got a better weapon. That's huge. Um, let me go past these guys. More ammo over there. I could kill these two if I want to. Not sure if we want to, though. Is there going to be one star if we damage them that much? That gun? Nah. Some Sparrow 2 over there if we want. We don't have enough time to grab it with this guy on us, though. <clears throat> another gun over here. Not sure if it's anything good, but we'll grab it. Uh, another neck gun. Though I could. Oh, no. I forgot. You don't drop your weapon on the ground. So if I was to catch three jellyfish real quick, I would have to give up my current weapon. I don't want to do that. Oh wait, did I just make a circle? I think it's made a circle. I think this just doubles back on itself. Maybe it does go deeper. Oh, gosh. Let me check. Better harpoon. Oh, level three of that, too. Interesting. Yeah, we can go deeper now. I can just go straight down. Oh, plus it's one of our objectives over there. Perfect. Speaking of which, I need that. Oh, I need one more orange one. All right, blue hole depths. I don't think we've been able to get here yet. I'll just cheapen for it. Oh yeah, we definitely haven't been there. Yep, there's our light going on. Oh, we have backup O2 if we need. Oh, pickaxe. Uh, some minerals can only be mined with a pickaxe. Cool. I got a pickaxe now. I assume there's some minerals nearby if it's giving us a pickaxe right now. Where is it? Show me the minerals. I got a light of some kind. Some kind of new thing. Speaking of which, this fish is probably new. Okay, 
Okay, ready. I don't want to use so much ammo on you. I guess I'm kind of light. There's the mineral. Oh, let me use my O2, I guess. Grab that light. Now, what does this do? Uh, the tube worms will shrink away from UV light, allowing you to pass. Find a UV light in a nearby chest. If you can't find one, uh, maybe a melee attack? Uh, this must be the place. Two berms are blocking the way, though. Uh, Dr. Bacon, I uh, have uh, two berms blocking the path. Is there a solution? Hmm, let's see. Uh, right, two berms are said to hate ultraviolet light and will shrink away from it. Uh, you don't happen to have one lying around, do you? Oh, you already have one. Try shining it on them. Oh, that's not... Oh, no, that's not the button. Wait, that was ZR. I just have to be doing... Wait, good. Oh, I have to target it with the thing, I see. Uh -huh. I only have one ammo left. So we gotta be careful. We're low on oxygen. And we know there's an oxygen on our way back, so... We have that as an option. Sea people. Ah, oh, it's the sea people from before. Ah, they're saying something. I can't tell what they're saying. Uh, I have to call Dr. Bacon. Static. Oh, goodness, wow. To think that the sea people were real. It's simply incredible. Um, they're saying something to me, but I can't understand them. Hmm. I think analyzing the patterns might uh, allow us to translate. Come back up to the boat for now. I'll try to think of a way to translate. All right, mission done. We can now go fishing all we want. All right, let's go fishing. Try fishing in this area. Seems like there'd be a couple good catches around. Keep clicking the wrong button. Oh, so we gotta be careful. We are low on O2. I don't have a backup O2 tank for once. Which is concerning. In such new territory. Uh, let me double check. That is indeed an oxygen, right? It is, okay. Just making sure, so we know uh, when we come back, we have an oxygen backup. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough UV light to go back. Hopefully there's another light down here. Yeah, there's another path to the left. Okay, we have a way to get all the way back up. That's huge. We got a crab thingy. It's like his ammo. We can just use them on him. Oh, I didn't hit him. Okay. We might need something else later. Uh, let's see. This harpoon works. Let's see. Nope. Okay. I'll need something else to kill him later. A little fish. Should stagger him enough to get a good shot here. Oh, I only hit with one. I must just use my harpoon then. Come on, get over. What life does this thing have? Oh, I don't like that catch method. <laughs> there we go. I only partially damaged. Oh, a whale. I got a good item. Oh, I don't have that much ammo though. That's not gonna be enough to kill. Oh, is this like a whale shark thing? What even is that? Oh no. That's not too bad. Oh, that is though. Oh, wait, wait. I don't have backup oxygen. Right, let's wait till he does a thing. No! Okay, let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. 
Actually, uh, where's our escape? You know what? I might just have to take escape. Oh, wait. This is going to be kind of sketchy. Wait, I can't take that. Oxygen's too far away. Oh, I could die here. Our first death? <laughs> Let's see. Do we have enough time to take this? It's going to be really tight. Okay, we're fine. I didn't get as much as we wanted, but we're alive. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. That was like 50, 60 air per hit. We always need to make sure we have a backup oxygen tank just in case. For moments like that. Let's always keep them on hand until like absolutely necessary. Hmm, I didn't expect to see people uh, civilization to be real. Uh, but to think, uh, there are living uh, sea people. Uh, this is truly the find of a century. Uh, this is thanks to you, Dave. <laughs> Going deeper. Aha! Uh, let's tell all the news outlets uh, in the world about this. Uh, wait, I think that might be risky. But why? Uh, that's how we'll uh, get people flocking to this place. Uh, it won't matter if we were uh, talking about some runes, uh, but these are living sea people. Uh, poachers are bound to show up. Uh, they'll start hunting the sea people, uh, since that will be a way to get lots of attention. You have a point there. Uh, how about we first take a translator to analyze their sound, uh, waves, and figure out uh, what they're saying. I think they uh, have something to tell us. Uh, we'll find. We'll need to find a sea people uh, stone tablet uh, with their writing on it, as well as a microphone and an amethyst. Oh, uh, if I'm guessing right, the microphone should be below the sunken ship, and the stone tablet should be in the record chamber. Okay, we've been to both oh, of those. Yeah. I hear that you can get amethyst. Oh, I already have the amethysts. Wait, did we? Yeah, we, we mined that already, didn't we? About 100 meters. Mm. Uh, the record chamber. Uh, the ship, oh, and... Yeah, yeah. Aha! If you can't remember the locations, check the to-do app. Uh, oh, yeah, we already have that in the thing, right? Or is there another to-do app now? Are we starting to get so many quests that they actually have an app? And let me check. He was already telling us, like, slightly in that one menu. Oh, we barely got anything. Yeah, we did pick up that Amistiff. Oh, wait, we only got two, though, not three. How many do they need? We did not get that many. Ah, oh, there's Ash Ketchum. Oh, sorry, I didn't see your question. Oh, yeah, this is only on PC. Oh, wait, is it on console? Oh, I thought it was only on Steam for the early access. Ah, uh, you seem uh, energetic today. Uh, I saw a boss card accusation notification pop up uh, on your uh, marine card accounts. <laughs> it's this giant squid boss card. Mm. How did you get this? It's such a rare card. Mm. Um, well, I was just on the way to uh, pick up a delivery, and as chance would have it... Okay, I don't have a clue uh, what that means. Uh, but in any case... Uh, you've made amazing progress. Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Uh, something good sure to happen. Oh, and if you venture to new regions, uh, for example, the depths, uh, the auto, the automatic uh, marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Uh, don't forget to collect uh, fish cards in the new regions as well. Choo -choo. Goodbye then. Choo choo. Oh yeah, have I been enjoying the game so far? Yeah, it's been really good. My only concern is we're eventually going to hit a point where the game runs out of content. <laughs> I'm not sure what point that will be. We have not gotten close to that point yet. But it eventually will hit that wall. Though it is an early access, so they're still planning on adding more. Uh, entering a new region uh, will open up a new card pack list. Uh, use the marine uh, card pack uh, to check the new fish. Gosh, how many people want to contact us right now? Uh, wait, can I have a moment with you? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. You are? <laughs> I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. Uh, the name is Udo. Udo. Uh, or Udo. Probably Udo. Uh, oh, I've read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. <gasps> oh, you have? That's right. Yeah. Uh, I heard that the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? Mm. Uh, you can say that. Uh, there are all kinds of fish species from around the world. <gasps> oh, I knew it. Uh, so I've come to the right place. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to take pictures myself for the magazine, but <gasps> unfortunately, I can't dive. Uh, speaking of which, uh, would you help take some pictures? <laughs> pictures? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, see, you have this uh, nice camera over no. there. Uh, oh, it's the one Dr. Bacon. Um, but I'm no expert in photography. I'm not sure I'm uh, good enough. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell you where and what to photograph. 
And of course, I'll reward you if you decide to help me out. Haha. -ha. Well, if you say so. All right. It'd be nice to make a record of uh, this amazing world. Right, any more content you want to give me? All right, there we go. Uh, photos. Yeah, we already had that feature earlier, but now we have uh, missions for it. All right, I already got the Amistiff. I need to find a microphone and I need to find the see people thing. It's in the two locations we're already at, as he mentioned, so we're good to go. Anyways, next. Um, I guess we'll check our cards. Yeah, we had the blue hole depths. Oh, a couple bosses are here. Ooh. Got a couple boss creatures. I'll be fighting soonish. Cool. Anyways, uh, Eye Diver. Um, this is our second day. I still have not touched the harpoon gun. <laughs> Poor harpoon gun. Uh, we have not been using the harpoon much. <laughs> It's like our core mechanic of this game, and we're kind of just ignoring it. Mostly because the weapons are just so much better. Oh yeah, I can do the sniper thing. Do I have the resources for it? I do. Yeah, let me just go sniper. I'm gonna try this out this time. Cutscene time. There we go. Okay, let's equip it. Oh, it's already auto-equipped. Oh, whenever you craft a weapon, auto-equips. Interesting. So this thing has 32 damage, which is actually the highest of anything we have. Um, it has a range of only, <laughs> only 20. Gosh, compared to some of these, that is like infinite range. It only has three magazines though, which is really concerning. Three is not a lot. Especially since that's not actually enough to kill a shark without us also doing a harpoon after. Which means we still have to four tap them. Oh, you know what? I should have sold some stuff because I won't be able to after. That's fine, though. All right, where are we going? So I need to go get the microphone. I need to go get the thing. It's in the two areas we're already at. He said it was in the chambers and one was in the shipwreck thing. Oh, that's a good weapon, but I want to mess with this for now. <laughs> Wait, didn't I need one more of these? Right, objective complete. Oh, you know what? I forgot to buy the thing from him. Though he only had bombs, so I guess it wasn't a big deal. But I forgot to buy some starting items. Poor fish. The amount of overkill that has just occurred. oxygen over here. Biggest concern is we have no oxygen backup tank at the moment. Golf club. Interesting. I need that for our uh, research points. Perfect. I'm not finding any weapons we haven't seen before. These are all just repeat weapons. It is oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Target acquired. Wait, what's it? What am I doing? Oh, that was the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was the club. Oh, that's funny. That's the golf club. I, I need ammo. Badly. I guess we're trying to get a hole in one off the shark. Gosh, 
gosh, how far are you going to go? So where are all the weapons at? I need ammo. I need something. I'll go back for that shark in a second. Right, we've got a UV light for the thing. But I need his ammo, though. Right, there's O2. We'll be back for that. Let's see if I can find ammo up here. Because otherwise I have to kill him with a club. So I know there's O2 just right to the side of us there. This issue is finding something to kill this with. There's O2 over here as well. There we go. There's ammo. Right, that should be enough to kill him. If not, we'll try golfing. <laughs> Only problem is I'm not sure if we can get a charge shot on him because he'll at his attack will probably have priority over our attack. All right, where did the shark go? Is he in our path or did he return back? Hard to tell. Okay, he returned all the way back. All right, let me not use up all this. We might need to sprint during this fight. He's already substantially weakened. He's just not killed yet. Where is he? Good, perfect. Because I'm out of ammo. Come on. There we go. Okay, anything good in here? Ah, just bombs. Oh, we know for sure there's an O2 over here. I don't have any ammo to kill the whale thing that was down there, whatever that one shark was. The one that was trying to breathe us in. I also don't have a backup tank, which is concerning if I go back there. Because if we get cornered again, we kind of just have to take an escape. I'm going to keep the oxygen around. Oh, we got ammo. That's good. We got an ammo refresh. Brown shell, blue shell. Do I need any more of this other shell? I don't remember. So if we can get a good item here. I really need one. We know there's an escape pot over here. Oh, it's just light. That's not what I need. Now let me take the oxygen from here. We know there's an escape pot to the right. Let's hope this guy doesn't aggro for long enough. Oh, he's going to. Do I have to kill this guy out? That could be annoying. What if I make him run from us, though? combat method. Right, we have to keep in mind we do not have any spare oxygen. We know there's an escape plan over there. Let's see, what do we have here? Right, we have an escape over here. That's even better. We have a new weapon over here. What's our current weapon? Oh, our current weapon is perfectly fine. All right, let's go find this whale shark thing. Oh, a picture thing. Let me grab this for her. Ah, oh, is that an opal? I've never seen one in the deep water. Please take his picture. There we go. Not quite in frame, but good enough. Now, where's this big whale shark that we saw earlier? It's up here. We have all the ammo in the world. If anything, we almost have too many weapons right now. I was over here to the right, it might have been. There's stuff, give me UV lights. Do not need this many lights. I just warned it was right over here. Oh, we got a bit of an oxygen problem. Let me just double check since we are here. Yes, there is an escape to our right. We got all the ammo in the world in this area. So if we need it, we have it. There he is. Okay. I knew he was around there somewhere. Alright, let's just range him to death. We got plenty of ammo. 
the back of Puppet if we need it. There we go, perfect. I can just take whatever that weapon is. Two star. Oh wow, we're already over encumbered. That's a lot of weight. Oh, we got a triple R. Right, let's go pick up a few things while we're here. Uh, we have an escape pod to the right, so we can just take that. Oh wait, I forgot to get the items that we came down here for though. Ooh, you know what? I should probably start backtracking for those right now. We had to return to the chamber and the other thing. We're gonna be weighed down, but that's fine. Take a bit of a scenic route. I just almost forgot about those. We're going to be low on auction for that. But we have to return back to both those two chambers from earlier. We're on reference to seaweed thing. I'm going to get out of here. There we go. Do we need to refine the chamber and the, um, the boat? Both are to, like, the right and, like, middle right area. I think we're currently, like, bottom left right now. Right, we need oxygen. I think we already took the oxygen here. We know we have an escape pod to the right if we truly need it. We need to find another oxygen, though. I was thinking to get out of the depths, because both of them are above the depths level. We're currently in deep depths. Let's go straight up. Alright, give us oxygen or something useful. Either oxygen or movement. Right, that is movement. Right, so we need to find a shipwreck again, and we need to find the chamber. Right, there's oxygen. Perfect. Should probably should grab that material first, but it will. Golf club it down. Sharks over here. I'll save it just in case. There's a random shark encounter. Yeah, there's even more oxygen. Oh, hello, random shark encounter. I saved something for you. My dash button. Ow. Ow. He, he, he keeps moving so weirdly when he does his return. All right, do we have more air over there? I should have double-checked. Yeah, there's air right above me. We're fine. I just need you to attack me. Thank you. No! How did that miss? I was, like, right on track. There we go. All right, this is probably going to over-encumber us. I hope the things that we can need for the mission take up zero space. Oh, right, good. We did not over-encumber. All right, here's oxygen. I'm going to need it. I take the wars first. We're already going to be touching stuff. Oh no, that did over encumber us. Alright, uh, well, let's go find the two locations then. Actually, let's... I don't know, should we just scrap one thing then? Because otherwise we're going to move way too slow. Let me just scrap one singular thing. I guess literally the thing we just got as well. Wait, why did I do that? Um, We can do it through here. Let's get rid of the least valuable ore we have. Which is... I have no clue. <laughs> I'm not sure if lead or iron is worth less. Oh, you know what? I can get rid of brown shells. We don't need brown shells. Alright, now we are just overweight. But not over encumbered. To an extreme degree. Okay, now I just need to go find the two things. I believe both of them are towards the left. Come on, movement option, movement option. That is not a movement option. If anything, is anti-movement option. I literally have to stop moving in order to use it. <laughs> right, this thing might have to die. Oh no. This might actually kill us. Of all the things to die, or all the ways to die. Oh, wait, wait. Chamber, 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 chamber. Chamber, chamber. Wait. Oh, gosh. We might actually lose just because this guy is just hitting us so hard. Wait, tell me I could still touch this item. Wait, did the bomb that we just grabbed over encumber us? Wait, how did that even happen? How do I scrap these things? I don't think I can. 
Because it seems like that was what over-encumbered us. Now, let me grab this. <gasps> I can't. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me get rid of... Lucy Shaw. There we go. Ah, now I must need the intercom microphone at the uh, CE uh, people translator. I, oh gosh, that over and covered us too. Let me get rid of wood. Uh, 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 gosh, how heavy is this thing? Wait, do, does it show up in my inventory? How much does it weigh? No, it does not. Um, that is concerning. Uh, let me get rid of this thing too. Weighing us down a lot. It's only a one star. Uh, my biggest concern right now is if he's standing outside that door, we have to kill him before he reaches us or we die. <laughs> Unless I can get the current to run away from him. <gasps> run! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Run! Current, save us, 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 save us. Save us. Good enough. Not ideal, but... Okay. Oh gosh, our oxygen. Okay. Uh, new plan. Um, find O2 or escape immediately. Run. 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 Right, let's not dash. I went O2. Okay, we're reached the end of the side. Don't over encumber by taking this. Good. I found the escape. I would rather take oxygen, though. But if we have to, we'll take it. Come on, show me oxygen. That's a weapon. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Unless we can find oxygen within the next, like, 10 seconds. Come on, O2, where are you at? Uh, we have to escape, I think. It's too risky. Unfortunate. That means we won't get the progress on the quest until we go back the other time. I have the sign I wanted. I want the other weapon. Oh, you didn't die? Fine, we'll just go. <laughs> Could use the bomb as well. Though if we accidentally do it on ourselves, we just die. That's unfortunate. We weren't able to get the microphone in the other area. But as far as fish, we did pretty good. So what was that one new one? Oh, we took the picture for as well. We also got half of that one mission, though we didn't finish the other half due to lack of oxygen. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, an opa. Uh, did you know that the opa is a war is warm blooded? Mm. I did not know that. Uh, oh. I think I've heard about it. Aha, it's amazing that uh, some fish species are warm-blooded. Uh, the ocean is full of mysteries. Uh, I'll uh, put your picture to uh, good use. I'm sure uh, the readers will love it. Uh, there are several photo spots, so I might ask for your help again. Hmm. Alright, sounds good. We're out of here. Okay, let's make sure we put out, out an ad, because we definitely need a hire. We definitely need to make sure we get some hires. Hello. Oh, are we feeding him today? We do have everything we need, so. Hello, viewers. This is Yui from the Star of the Chef. Uh, now, we're back at Pancho Sushi. Uh, what kind of sushi will the chef have prepared, I wonder? I have prepared jellyfish sushi. Jellyfish? You mean like the Chinese cold vegetables? Did you think that you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent Yamoka? while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No way. You call yourself a gourmet? Uh, will you judge before you've even tasted it? Mm. Ah. All right, bring it over then. All right, I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Chop, chop, chop. Salt, salt, salt. Garnish. Glass flare. There you go. Enjoy. Ah, uh, whoa. So this is jellyfish. The fr the flesh is uh, transparent, and uh, white dots are pretty as well. What? You made this uh, with bunched rice? You should have uh, made sure it doesn't scatter uh, by making um, gonkin maki instead. It'll dry up. 
Hurry up and eat it. It's already been uh, seasons. Mm. <laughs> I know it can't possibly taste good, uh, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. <laughs> Love those little animation ones for when they eat. Vincent, the look on your face. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bite into it. Uh, and the jellyfish is nice and firm. And I taste something popping inside. Could it be a uh, flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yes, I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape. Ah, this, this is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sway. Ah, I can't help but admit it. Uh, this sushi is amazing, uh, based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. Mm. But why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? Mm. Uh, the first reason is the taste. Uh, jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste uh, with a strong texture, uh, making it a perfect uh, match for the scent and flavor of secret. Mm. Uh, the second reason is uh, the potential. Uh, there are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on only using the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Uh, thank you for those amazing words, Pancho. Uh, now then, it's time for the evaluation, Vincent. Mm. All right, let's get to the evaluation. Now, and this is the jellyfish sushi uh, that made uh, Vincent Marvel and Mr. Pacho, uh, who created this dish. Uh, what will the score be? I'll get Pancho sushi, 80 points. Huh? Isn't that too low? You looked quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something, though. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea uh, with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance. Uh, this place doesn't uh, have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. Uh, that's why I'll uh, uh, that's why I'll give you this 30, 80 points. As a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator because we're running a restaurant without a refrigerator. <laughs> Being able to drink cold beer uh, from that fridge uh, could make the score 100. It'll be perfect. Oh yeah, he is Guy Ferrari. He literally just wants some beer with good food. <laughs> Uh, wow, as expected of you, uh, Vincent. Uh, that was an excellent opinion. Uh, now, how did you uh, like uh, start a chef today? Uh, we'll be uh, really uh, looking forward to Bancho's uh, sushi, exotic sushi being served with beer. Uh, see you again next time. Uh, this was Reporter Yoi. Bunch of gold, a billion likes. And there we go. And we got beer. Uh, customers will now sometimes order beer that uh, with the, after the meal. Uh, pour them their, 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 their pour them their drinks and create additional revenue. Cool. All right, well, cooking time. Feels like a while since we've been doing this phase of the game, but <laughs> we're finally back. Uh, mostly because of that one day that it took off because of the uh the party thingy. Uh, wow, Bancho, amazing. That picky uh Vincent analogy. <laughs> Uh, the tongue does not lie. Uh, Vincent has a point. Uh, shall we try selling beer from now on? Alright, so, several things I need to go do. First things first, staff. Is there anyone new to hire? No, that's problematic. Okay, new. Uh, let's go get an internet ad. Uh, recruit staff at level much higher than current social media rating. Cool. Let's do that. We have the, we have the money to spare, might as well. Gotta get some new recruits. Internet ad in progress. <laughs> Hiring has begun. All right, next. Um, all right, so next. Let's do anything to research, no. Menu. Let's go upgrade everything and figure out what our menu is gonna be. First things first. Uh, oh, this is the thing we just made for him. Oh, cool. What do we need to enhance it? Oh, this is the same ingredients. Is everything just the same ingredients to enhance? That makes sense. <laughs> We're eating the sea people. We're not gonna serve the sea people. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can enhance it again. We're gonna run out of sea grapes. Is sea grapes actually the limiting factor? It is. That's unfortunate. I don't know. Should we try making bank? Or go prioritize the upgrade? Because we can't serve any if I upgrade it that much. 
Oh, I can't even enhance that. Oh, you know what? Maybe we do go for the upgrade. You know why? We have like infinite long nose shark, uh, shark meat. How much does it sell for? It sells for 87. Dude, we have a ton of that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go for this upgrade. Just got to remember to get more of the ingredients. Mostly sea grapes. Being the main limiting factor. And eventually salt, oddly enough. Not sure if we can only get that from the underground or if we actually have to, or, you know, from the ocean or if we actually have to order it at some point. Uh, let's just enhance everything we can enhance. He's getting ingredients like that. It's kind of annoying. They're only in those chests underground. And by underground, I mean the water. <laughs> For sure doesn't enhance all button. Oh, it's pretty quick to do, but still. It could be even quicker. <laughs> Alright, I'll just serve uh, these three then, I guess. Well, pretty much this is a whole line. Alright, serving time. Alright, so, uh... One. 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 Also one. And auto-serve all. All right, there we go. Right, anything else we need to do? We well, did the internet ad, so we'll have a bunch of good staff for next time, which means we're probably going to be understaffed this time. But everything here fourth should be pretty good. Increase your rating now. Check the cook staff. Oh wait, can we immediately get? Hold up, hold up. We can immediately create, uh, get our rating up. Rank up. All right, let's do it. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have set that yet. Because we're probably going to get a few other things from this. There we go! Silver! Silver acquired! And we got a bunch more dishes we can go research. And we now have one more menu slot, one more serving staff that we can't hire because we don't have anyone to go hire. Uh, some more wasabi for the max. Uh, another cooking slot. And uh, adding interior, uh, plus 18. And what do we need for the next objective? We need more followers. Everything else has actually already been met. And they have platinum and diamonds. Isn't di- wait, isn't platinum normally above diamonds? Or isn't other- oh, it's not until official launch. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna have to wait forever for that. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Nothing there. I dive. We don't need anything there. Alright, um, are we good on the restaurant now? Let me just double check everything we can go do. Interior. Nothing worth doing here. Nothing actually gives stats from I could tell. That's something we do after the fact. Um, ingredients were fine. Research is what I wanted to go check. Oh, I don't even have enough R's and flames for some of these. Interesting. Oh, we're about to get four or five. Probably four. Which would bring us to the nine amount we need for the other two. Curry made with Mori eel. We don't have any way to get Mori eel yet, can we? I don't recall catching one yet. I'm pretty sure that's that thing that was biting us. I don't think our attacks were connecting, though. It's kind of like that one crap we saw. Um, okay, let's just put a random item on it. Just a single one. Here you go. Alright, that'll be our dish, or our uh, plan, then. See how it goes. I don't think we need to adjust anything else. Let's see how much we make. Open. Hopefully we can crack at least a thousand. Alright, we're gonna have an issue where our cooking is gonna be too slow. She has all that covered. <laughs> also, handle drink. She'll cover the food. Oh, too much. Kind of perfect. Right, how do you do beer? I have no clue what I did, but I did it perfectly. <laughs> oh, 
We're gonna have so many unhappy customers this time. Run, 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 run! I'm not sure why I'm going to her. The other two are gonna be just as uh, disappointed. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the beer, but whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it correctly. Oh no, shark head! No, none of them. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I was gonna say none of them on shark head. Oh no! Oh good, I barely got to him in time. Not like it matters. The other ones aren't gonna get theirs. Yeah, we definitely need more staff. 100%. We're very understaffed. Come on, someone ordered this. No, no one's ordering it. No, we're gonna have so much. I, I, gosh, I can't. And she's too slow. I should just grab the other one <laughs> and scrap that. Oh well. Uh, we're probably gonna get like a three star this time. We are going on a hiring spree on this next day. Because we are drastically understaffed. Luckily, we put in a big ad, so. We just gotta make sure we save some money and not overspend on stuff. So if we can get a bigger cargo thing, I might go for that and then save the rest of our money. I don't know, we'll see. Um, can I afford a cargo upgrade? I can. I really should save it for staff, though. As much as I want another cargo or an air upgrade or something, I think we should invest it entirely into staff. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, what do we have to sell? What's that, ammo? Immediately refills the ammo. Oh, cool. Oh, a weapon upgrade pack too. Uh, uh, oxygen pack. We need to always buy this if we see it. Just to keep us reserved. Okay. Um... How much is stuff for it? Let me go sell some of this. Oh, yeah, how's the ecological thing? What are they doing? Do we have any more progress on this? Uh, yes, kind of. Let's see, I have this one. There we go, perfect. Level two. You got an eco health bracelet. What's our next reward? Our next reward is eco poison resist bracelet. We have been poisoned before, though. It's very rare that that ever occurs. Now we get 20 there. How many more do we need? We need two, uh, 100, so we need 80 more. What are we missing for this? We're missing pink shells. We have everything we need for this. Might as well turn it in. Or about that more later then. Right, let's go see what this bracelet does. Oh yeah, let me go check their social media posts. Got some food, got the reward for silver. Those two eating their thing. Gosh, they're really popular. A thousand likes. Him just thumbs upping. Or a nice fresh wasabi. Us. Bancho preparing. Broncho doing more preparing. There we go. What do we need for next rank up? Uh, we mostly just need more followers. And it's paid with everything. Alright, there we go. Anyways, uh, how's our marine cards doing? Yeah, just chilling. Anyways, all right, next order of business. Uh, let's go back. Oh wait, uh, first, I need to go buy some stuff for me. Oh yeah, we need to go make sure we get that microphone. I meant to do that on the previous one. All right, uh, do we want to upgrade our sniper? You know what, I'm just gonna bring only oxygen with me. And I'm gonna grab the other two probably on our next go. Just grabbing only oxygen. Because we have one main priority. Get the microphone and get some loot along the way. Alright, we still have a sniper rifle. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I kind of like the spread one. When it comes to just overall potency for killing. What is that? Oh, it's just a bat. Oops, I just killed a fish. <laughs> I was just trying to test it. 
Oh, he's bat murdered a fish. I gotta bring up some of the sea people. We're not gonna cook the sea people. Uh, where on earth was his boat? Huh? Uh, what's with the strange coral? Octopus, it sprayed me with ink. Just wait, I'll catch you. Here I come. He runs quicker than me. I can't run that quick. I don't have the other speed thingy. Are we actually catching up? It looks like we slightly are. Oh, he's doing ink again. We're catching up, it's just not doing anything though. Oh, he's just leading us somewhere. <laughs> ah, I finally caught up. Uh, you, uh, stray, uh, you stray, right? Wait, you stay right? Oh, you stay right there. Cut off. <laughs> I was wondering what that sentence was for a second. Squeeze us through. Oh, no, it escaped through a uh, door crack. Um, I don't think I can fit in there. Uh, come to think of it, I could probably, uh, use the gas cutter, uh, from, uh, Duff to cut the way in. Uh, just you wait, you octopus. Yeah, you will have to wait. I need these resources. Alright, round two on the Mario Party minigame. It's not going to be a perfect. No, I'm not sure you really get anything extra for doing a perfect. And that's the loot that it gives is based on how well you do. Why does it perfect? Alright, go to new region? Sure. Alright, what are you going to give us? Ah, uh, you've got uh, nowhere to run now. Give up. I guess I'll uh, have uh, octopus uh, sashimi for dinner. Ah, it escaped again. It's so quick. Ah, I dropped something. Ah, it seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back to the surface. I have more oxygen here. Is this a dead end room with oxygen in it? Oh, we know there's oxygen there if we need it now. I wonder if that always spawns there. Because it seems like those UV lights always spawn near the thing. I wonder if the oxygen just always spawns there then. We do have a backup oxygen tank right now, which uh, I feel like we should always make sure we have. It's just too vital of an item to have or not have. I got a sword. Oh, this one's sharp Japanese sword. Have we used our ammo yet? We have not. Come on, Sharky, Sharky, Sharky. <laughs> we got six bullets. There we go. Oh, you're very dead. I cannot get an angle on you, though. Now I can. Oh, not if I miss. Your body's too thin. Back here. Oh, don't aggro the other fish. 
No, we aggroed the other fish. There we go. Aw, oh, it's only just one star. I might just grab that if we get two over encumbered. Also, I feel like I've almost never used the harpoon in this game. Like, they give a whole weapon system, but then give the other thing, like, almost nothing. It just seems kind of weird. I guess the harpoon's, like, your infinite ammo option. I wonder there's just, like, so much ammo laying around and weapons laying around, like, you barely ever need it, ever. Like, you could probably do almost the entire game other than, like, the tutorial sections. But, like, out ever using the harpoon. I got an achievement for murdering some amount of fish. Alright, we've only filled up half our weight. So the biggest objective right now is we need to find where on earth this thing is. Because I'm trying to find the boat. The boat that we were at earlier. And I don't have the slightest recollection where that is. Okay, that's the sea chamber. We already got the thing from there. I think it was towards like the middle-ish area. But not like the middle deep area. Let me go like up left. I think there was also a shark over here. Oh, I have no ammo, but we have a sharp uh, Japanese knife. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to go through there. I know for sure it's not directly in there, though it might be on the other side. You know what? Let's go through. It might be to the leftward side of this. This is quickly course through. Get a new weapon. Get the pink shell. Let's see what weapon this is. Oh, it's a weapon upgrade. Okay. Oh, that actually reduces our ammo as well? Hold up. That's huge. Wait, wait, wait. That means we can use that item later for that purpose as well. Because you can use it for both. Can we get past without getting hit? Ah. Uh, fortunate. Because you can use it not only to upgrade, but you can also use it for... Um, oh, no. Oh, good. O2 tank. But you can use it not only to upgrade your weapon, but also refill your weapon. I believe the boat was right over here to the left. And or a shark. Now, where on earth was this boat? <laughs> I know if we go too deep, then we know for sure it's not there. We have plenty of oxygen tanks, so we're not going to run out of oxygen anytime soon. Oh, is that it over there? I think we might have found it. Oh, good. More salt. I need that for that one dish. I also need more of those sea cucumber things or sea grapes. I thought the boat was, like, right over here. Was it not? Okay, it's not over here. That's weird. Oh, I got a movement option. I don't want it, though. I'd rather have O2. The amount of overall movement you get from O2 is way higher, technically. Alright, there's an escape pod. This is dead end otherwise, then. Another escape pod next to the escape pod. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was right. I was around here. I just didn't go left enough. Oh, shark. Um, Did we kill you now or after? We kill you after. Way back. Actually, what if he despawns? He's not going to despawn, though, right? You know what? Uh, new plan. Yes. <laughs> I need to drop aggro for, like, half a second. All right, let me go get it while we're in here, I guess. Come on, show me some O2. There was a bunch of O2 here earlier. I'm not sure if it's still spawned, though. Nope, doesn't look like it is. Right, while we're here, let's see if there's anything else all the way to the right. If it comes to worse, we'll use like 10, 20 oxygen. 
You were probably never really coming here for anything. Nope. No point ever come here. Not a single thing drops here other than the quest item. And the boss fight that was here earlier. Okay, um, he's probably above us. Let me go do a safety oxygen. We have a spear. Oh, he's right over there. Perfect. We don't have aggro on that other fish yet. Oh, where was the ammo, though? Wasn't there ammo, like, right next to us? Oh, where was the ammo refill? I'm just wondering there was some just sitting here. I see that there's a weapon over there, but I'd rather have ammo. Oh, was there not ammo? Oh, never mind. There was. Oh, never mind. Or if there was, it was on the other side. Uh, it's not too big a deal. I can just grab it from the chest. We'll likely get something we can attack him with. Oh yeah, there is ammo right over there. Let's see, what weapon do we get? Nothing. Okay. Give me the ammo. Okay, we even have oxygen over here. Perfect. At least we get hit right here. And we do not. I wonder how you get three star on him. Oh, come on. Take it. Wait, why is it not going? Wait, what? That's so weird. There it goes. It kept, like, canceling it, even though it was holding down the button. Let's grab the O2. Alright, I guess uh, maybe try for one more kill. And then we're out of here. Because I got the quest item. Got the main thing we came here for. Another weapon over there, but I think we've gotten every weapon that we need, or that we can get right now. That's more spawn later. Or they just haven't added more yet. At what depth are we currently at? 60... I think there was a sawfish over to the left here. Do we have the oxygen to take him? We don't have the ammo, <clears throat> the ammo to take him, though. Oh, I was already over here, just dive. Interesting. Wait, how are we all the way over here already? I guess we started from there, then went right. That's like right. Oh, when we went to do the octopus, I think that's what that was from. That's from when we did the octopus thingy. Please let me hit you. Thank you. Oh, now I have to worry about this guy. There we go. Just trying to get an ingredient. Uh, I guess we're just heading upwards while killing things at this point. Head up and kill everything in sight. I'll grab ammo, but let's see what we get here. We might try keeping some fish alive for the end. Uh, nope, that's definitely not a keep fish alive option. <laughs> that is the extremely murder fish option. Hey, we need more agers. I forgot about that. Oh, we got all the we need now. Perfect. Right, I guess we're out of here. We got plenty of oxygen. Uh, if there's anything we can kill over here, that'd be great. Right next to the uh, thing. Perfect. I'll try keeping you somewhat alive, though. If I can. Right, that's one of our missions right now. You know what? Let's kill it, then. Because I wanted five of them for one of our missions. Oh, I don't have any space left. Wait, does it just want me to kill five? Regardless of any other condition? I don't have the space for him. Alright, we're out of here.
Okay, that's one issue with games like this. I feel the need to get, like, every resource. Like, if there wasn't a cap in our inventory, we would be leaving with, like, 300 kilograms every time of that part. If there wasn't that cap. Because action gen, oddly enough, is not normally a limiting factor. It has only been a limiting factor one singular time this entire time. And even then, we didn't die. It was just us having to leave a little bit earlier than we wanted to. Wow, you had to uh, visit a lot of places. Uh, but you managed to get uh, everything. Uh, now that's what I call... Uh, oh, excuse me. Call lucky. Uh, I'll use these to try to uh, make a translator in my lab. Oh, oh yeah, we need to go get the one artifact identified. See if it's any good. Also, I don't think I ever checked a brace. I should probably go see what it does. The one eco brace we got. Um, I'll need some uh, time to uh, make it. <clears throat> you can uh, go about your business in the meantime. I'll be in touch soon. Right, so we'll probably have that first tomorrow. And then we can continue the storyline. And until then, I think we just dive and uh, for the sake of diving. Let's see what we can get. Right, what do we get here, artifact-wise? Uh, bracelet found in a corner uh, while chasing down a nasty octopus. Uh, use L to dash a short distance. Isn't that how we already move? <laughs> I'm not sure what it means by that. Equip the octopus uh, bracelet to dash short distances with L. No oxygen is used, but the gauge uh, needs to fill up again for the ability to be reused. Interesting. Hmm. So we have mini dash now. Does it have invincibility frames? <laughs> no, that's the true test. You know what? I'm actually fine with these two. I don't need the backup oxygen one. Especially since this technically saves us some. It depends if this has invincibility frames or not. This is basically just a dodge roll. But if it's like how it was in Hollow Knight, where it initially doesn't have invincibility frames, we probably won't use it too, too much. I don't know. We'll see. There's a lot more you could do with it if it has invincibility frames attached, but we'll see. Won't know till we mess with it. Uh, okay. Let's go sell some junk. I want to make sure we have plenty enough when we go to the shop later. I think we're good again. Okay. Uh, any weapons I can craft that I don't already have? I think we have all five, right? Wait, I'm missing one. Wait, which one am I missing? Oh, I don't have the net launcher. Do I have the material for it? I guess I'll craft it real quick. I don't think I'm going to be using it, but um, I have the material. Ah, it costs 100. Wait, why is it so much more? Well, is it actually considered good? Why is the net launcher considered good? <laughs> it only catches the small ones. It catches them in uh, live, but so does Hush Start. So of course, this can do multiple. So normally, it's only catching like one to three. I don't know. It's only 100 gold. I guess we can go for it. Might as well just have one of everything in case we feel like we want it. Plus, if we're going for like completionists and we're trying to get a bunch of the smaller fish, it could be good for that. So Hush Star, I don't know, I guess Hush Star would be kind of harder to hit them with. Okay, right, well, let's craft it. It's only 100 gold. Alright, okay, this game is called David the Diver. It's basically like a combination between, um, like a collectathon, kind of like Stardew Valley. Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing kind of game. Combined with, like, running your own sushi restaurant. <laughs> so it combines, like, that whole serving aspect with, like, the whole collect-a-thon aspect. So far, it's been pretty fun. There's a lot of apps still locked on this. So much so, I can't even tell what their icon is. Like, this one we don't have anything in, but it's obviously what it is, minigames. Also, there's a calculator in this game. Interesting. <laughs> Why on earth is there a calculator? <laughs> Anyways. Um, I guess we go shark hunting. We have no quest objective right now. Right? Where's the quest log? Wasn't there a quest log thing? Didn't they say they added an app that was like literally... Yeah, to-do list. Uh, clear, 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 clear. Yeah, I don't think I have any mission right now. Main missions, submissions, VIP missions. 
Yeah, I literally have no mission. All right, let's just go down and get a bunch of ingredients then. We have no particular uh, mission right now. Let me just go buy up a weapon. Get all the weapon upgrades immediately. And, uh, okay, if we're doing this, let's actually use the net. We're actually going to use the net this time. Oh, we already have it. Let's go try catching a bunch of small fish alive for once. And try to catch some we haven't gotten. We have a lot of option to do so right now. And just get a bunch of little mini ones. Trying to do so on ones we haven't done, if we can. Oh, is this another dolphin sequence? Oh no, this is a whale in the background. That's kind of like a big dolphin. <laughs> they both have a blow hole. Wow, it's a humpback whale. Uh, it's so big that it uh, makes the uh, blue hole look smaller. Alright, uh, we're ignoring that you for now. Try catching some mini fish. No, don't miss! I have limited ammo. How? How bad is this gun? Wait, are we not allowed to catch these? Wait, are these not catchable fish? Why would you put non-catchable fish in my sea? Wait, they're not catchable? So weird. Okay, well, let me go, um... Let's upgrade our thing. It's so weird, they're not catchable. I know for sure I haven't gotten you in a higher quality. Gosh, I missed. I'm missing this time. We got more ammo right over there. We got a bunch of clownfish. Are you catchable? I can't tell. You know what? Let me harpoon and check. You are. Okay, don't catch it. Oh, never mind. Let me go catch these in a pristine state. Okay, so we have like a little mini dash now. Interesting. Oh, not what I wanted. No, no, no. Come back, come back. Stop running. Actually, have we even caught one of these yet? Oops, I keep doing the wrong button. Okay, eventually they're going to run out of area to run. <laughs> I don't think I caught one of these yet. Oh, wait. I need you to die first. Wait, how do we do this? Let's try dashing around them. There we go. Black and white snapper. All right, let's keep netting all these guys. We still have more ammo. You know what? Let's just get a better weapon. We got a couple of them. All right, sniping time. All right, first things first. You get out of here. ingredient do we get? There's some black pepper. I don't want to use too many on you, but I already started, so let me finish. There we go. Right, I'm not a fan of this dash, because you have to click, like, inwards. It's kind of awkward to do. It's also really hard to tell all the way over to the left if you have your dash ready or not. Like, you can somewhat time it, but there's no way to really know for sure. It's also weird that's tied to a different button than your normal movement dash. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that dash necklace. It just doesn't seem worth it. Oh, oh two. That's super worth it. Oh, good. Found our kill objective. 
For a reason. Uh, let's try venturing a little bit deeper than normal. We have a spare oxygen tank, so we're a little bit safer than we normally would be. We got an okay weapon. Not a perfect one, but it'll do. Is that max ammo as well? Let me see if there's a kill option over here first. No option. No, I don't see one. I'm gonna go back up real quick then. I just warned there was like a shark or something over here. Well, let's go grab the ammo. Am I doing this just for one ammo, I guess? We're already here. Even more material. Uh, I'm gonna see what that weapon is though. Because the weapon we have right now is not the best. I'd rather have less ammo, but have it be stronger than what we currently have. Let's see. Ah, Trank. It's a good option. You know what? Ah, we'll, we'll take it. We can preserve some uh, bigger fish that we would normally kill. Only problem is that means we can't take on super big fish. We find a better weapon next to them. But it does mean we could do things like this and preserve them. For example, this little guy. We just don't miss. If I could not miss. Stop being scared. There we go. Let me go get these because a lot of the ones in the depths I haven't gotten. Um, a lot of the smaller ones I haven't caught in three star yet. Oh, that one I haven't caught in to begin with, <laughs> in any capacity. What is that? Can I harpoon it? Interesting. Oh, let me go trank this guy. I think I've always killed him every time. So we got three star for him as well. Let's go ahead to the depths. See what we can find. Up wrong direction. I keep forgetting. I have to do it with the stick to aim it. Otherwise, it keeps defaulting to left for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this dash mechanic. I wish I had a visual cue on your body. Right, this is that chamber we were in earlier. Let me grab this one oxygen while we're here. So might as well refresh the light. We're already here as well. Obviously, keep the oxygen. That's one of the reasons... Th that's the issue we had last time when we were down here. Like we couldn't find an oxygen tank. We didn't have a backup, and we started taking some hits, so we had to uh, just fail. We haven't died yet. And luckily, this isn't a permadeath game, so even if we do die, um, the only punishment is you know, we can only bring back one item from your current expedition. But you don't lose anything else. There's no medical bills to play, pay or anything. <laughs> like, you would think it would be like, oh, you lose like 20% of your current gold or something. But nope, only penalty is whatever you have on you. What is that? Purple uh, thing? Interesting, we haven't got one of those yet. Ooh, there's that one shark. I don't have a proper weapon right now though. Oh, but I can. Ooh. Target acquired. Please be a good weapon. Ah, that's not a good weapon. That's not what we're looking for. Another UV light. I might just have to let him live. I don't have anything to kill him with. Since we have the hush darts on us right now. And even if we didn't, we'd probably be low on ammo. I need a pickaxe. Oh, maybe there's a pickaxe in the thing. Oh, we should go kill him now. 
I hope if this is a pickaxe, I think we take this, go right, and then kill the thing. It's just a UV light. I do need that though. Alright, um, I guess we backtrack and go kill him. I still want to try seeing if we can find a pickaxe though. I can't remember which box normally had the pickaxe in. I think it was this one. I can't remember if it, oh there we go, it's perfect. I can't remember if it's this or the um the weapon one, but yeah, it's this one. Alright, so let me go pickaxe that. We'll go kill the thing. We'll use our auction to get back up and then we'll just go from there. And then we'll bail. Now, what ore is this? Opal. Alright, now we just use the light to get back. And now we have a big fight. We also have to be careful because I can't miss any of these shots. Because we don't really have a kill option once we start missing. I'm going to preemptively oxygen. I might have wasted some of it, but it's fine. Alright, uh, as long as he doesn't hit us, we're in a pretty good position. If he hits us even once, we're bailing immediately. <laughs> Wow, perfect. And we still have ammo. Oh, and we even have oxygen over here. Oh no! That's actually bad, because now I waste the O2 tank then. If that's the case. He's basically maxed right now. Uh, we're already over encumbered. I guess we start slowly heading up then. And I can kill one more shark or something similar with what we have. A bomb? Eh, I guess we'll take it. We have the inventory for it, might as well. Right, let's start heading back up. And hopefully find a shark along the way. Oh, he's guarding the thing. I can't go for him. Alright, where is up? <laughs> I think it was over here. I still have to be careful. Uh, we can run out of oxygen still. Though unlikely. If we get super lost, we could. <laughs> if we get lost enough, we could definitely die here. We're kind of in an isolated area where we have to go through those little vine thingies to get out. But we have a light for it, so we should be okay. Alright, yeah, should I keep hitting every dead end? Where's the way out? I think there is a teleporter on the bottom, but I don't want to do it that way. There we go. There's another teleporter too. However, I want one more kill. Got everything for it. Right, let me take this. It might be another light. Are we still stuck in one of these areas in the deep? It sure seems like we are. Oh gosh, one of those things. Look at some of my oxygen. I gotta be careful. We can still die. It's unlikely. I was still within doable range. Technically, kill those two if we wanted to. All, right, all this we already were took because we we're here earlier. Come on, just give us one target that we can go kill real quick. Some that's actually good. We got some O2 over here. If you could ever lose aggro sometime today, sometime today. How long are you gonna aggro us for? Okay, there we go. I found my target. There we go. All right. No, we killed one of those adjacent fish. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, would you like to uh, stop running away? I would like to attack you. There we go. Up, oh, some other fish triggered it. <laughs> Poor fish. We'll take a little bit of damage there. And he's dead. Okay, we're out of here. All right, now we can surface. Over encumbered? Yep. Okay. Now he's got to find a way up. Uh, now it'd be great if we just randomly found a teleport. So we gotta be careful. We can actually still die. We don't have backup O2. We don't have movement. We have a greedy amount of loot on us. 
That does not help us at all. <laughs> I forgot. We can still keep using this dash, which we're definitely going to need. If nothing else, that's actually kind of good if we do run out of stamina. Because now we can just keep spamming this. Okay, there we go. We're out of here. Our boxing gloves. <laughs> oh no! I'm going to need those boxing gloves. Actually, no, I don't. I can just kill him with this. <laughs> Killed him with the punch. That right here. Hey, there we go. Right, we're good on quests. We're good on food. Good on everything. I used the golf club. The golf club was definitely the funniest one so far. Though punching out a fish is also kind of funny. Oh, that was our new highest depth, 196. And we got some new ore and that purple starfish thingy. Oh, we also got some that we didn't get in three star before. That we were able to preserve. In the highest quality. Right, there we go. I got a call from Bancha. Uh, Dave, are you busy? Uh, not at the moment. What is it? Uh, we have a strange customer at the sushi bar. Uh, could you come over for a moment? Uh, at the, uh, as the manager, this is, uh, something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. A noisy customer. Alright, we made sure to save a lot of funds so I can hire. We put up a really good ad. So hopefully we actually got someone good here. Can I hire more than one? Because one of them's really good at cooking. And one of them's really good at serving. And I probably want to pick up both. Oh, wait, one of them is really, really good at serving. That guy all the way at the top? The El Nino? I think we might pick up El Nino and James then. Maybe even bench the one we currently have and get the other server out. But I'm not sure if we need that many servers. It depends how much better a higher serving stat works. Which I do not know. Also, I'm not sure what those other two things mean. Appeal... And procure. What does procure even mean? <laughs> like, obviously appeal. I guess maybe their appearance. So maybe they have like a higher chance of getting tips. So that wouldn't really matter if they were a cook, I guess. But what on earth is procure? <laughs> Anyways. Right here. Go get things. Well, everything we need to go do is at the sushi bar. I see who the noisy customer is. Is it Gordon Ramsay meme? No, it's just some, uh... Who are you, a farmer? Ah, uh, who dares interrupt me? What's that name? It almost looks like Ditto. <laughs> it's Otto. I'm sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, uh, you can't come in like this. Well, aren't you strict? I was simply saying in a few uh, words, uh, I haven't uh, been to the bench or beach in a uh, while, and it brings back old memories. <laughs> I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon to the knee. Oh gosh, the reference. No. Uh, so, you are a diver. I'm also a diver. Aha. Uh, then you must know the uh, diver's uh, dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Uh, forests of coral. Paws of uh, sperm whales. Uh, fights to the death with tiger sharks. Uh, though the sharks haven't been too intimidating yet. Uh, that brings to mind a dish I'd uh, love to eat. I have every shark in existence. Which one do you want? <laughs> what dish do you mean? Oh no, I do not have more eel though. Uh, when I was little, uh, the more eel curry at the uh, fishing village was famous. I can't forget its taste. If you could uh, make that dish, perhaps, I'll give you a nice gift. Ha ha. Huh, more eel? More eels hide in the rocks, making them difficult to catch. How do you get one? Ah, you know how to dive. Uh, but do you know how much of the ecology uh, do you? Or much of the ecology do you? More eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. Uh, do you have the gear for night diving? Oh, I did get a flashlight recently. Ah, I should do just fine. Uh, Mori eels are nocturnal. Uh, please go night diving and catch a Mori eel to fulfill my wish. Ah, I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Or ever during this game. Uh, maybe I will try it. Uh, so, you can now dive every night, which is a mechanic we already could tell just from the, um, from the, uh, cards earlier, as they did have a day and night marking on them. Uh, there are many, uh, vicious nocturnal fish out at night. Ooh, better fish. Uh, but you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. Alright, so, first things first. I need to go, or, um, get a billion staff. Let's go get a good cook. You have no staff. Wait, how do I hire? Okay, hire. 
Um. Oh, wait, you're pricey. Ooh. Ooh, he's costly. Um. I'm still gonna pick him, though. The surfing stat is great. Also, I wonder if I put down another big ad. I don't think I do put down any ad. Because we're just gonna hire everyone we need now. You're a server, you're a cook. And maybe we'll replace out our other server then. For someone slightly more competent then. And then we're kind of good to go. I'm not sure if we would need, um... Hmm. The problem is there's not a second one here that's particularly good at cooking. Like there's some mixed ones, but I wouldn't want to use them in that way. Because it doesn't matter what their other stat is if you're just using them for that particular thing. Because this guy's just gonna be serving. This guy's just gonna be cooking. This guy's gonna be replacing our other server that we have now. And I think that's just it. Because I don't see another one with enough cooking stat to justify getting them. Even this guy I wish was a little bit higher. Well, I guess our other servers also could be, I guess, slightly lower. But anyways, this should be fine. Um, I would like to hire you. Hire. Uh, I would like to hire you, James. And I would like to hire you, uh, Mitchell. All right, we are almost out of gold. Good thing we kept some reserve. So I would like to swap you out for this guy. I would like to swap you out for you. I'm gonna get some help on cooking with James. And I guess that's it. We could theoretically hire another one. Wait, gold or higher? Oh wait, I can't even get a second cook right now. Oh, never mind. Well, that works out perfectly then. So you guys say, maybe I could put her there, but we'd still have to pay her. So if he's already quick enough, it wouldn't matter. So yeah, I guess that's fine. Hey, right, there we go. Also, they have a level. Can I actually train them? Oh, we can. Ooh, we can make this guy a super server. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to need for now, then. Until we get gold. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess we upgrade this guy. This guy gains the most benefit from being upgraded. Do they have different upgrade costs? No, they're all the same. So we might as well upgrade someone who's really good. In which case, this is you. Uh, training. Okay. Oh, he has a light bulb next to him. What is that? Uh, training. Drink serving master. I like the sound of that. Serves drinks perfectly. I right, well, I don't even need to serve drinks anymore. He'll just do it for me. <laughs> why Why should I go and uh, mess up when he could do it perfectly? Also, I'm still not sure what procure or appeal is. But if they matter at all, he is super high on both of those as well. The only thing he can't do is cook, which doesn't matter because he's not actually cooking. Yeah, those little 400 ads, they're really good. Honestly, we should probably go replace every single person in our restaurant with a 400 ad person. So we'll keep these two as level ones until we can get a 400 ad, because I'm pretty sure El Nino was one of them from the 400 ad. So eventually we'll get a cook that's a 400. Uh, we'll get him that's a 400. Uh, I don't have enough to go buy that right now. I guess I could sell some fish. But for now, I think this is fine. Uh, we won't put in another ad today. We'll wait till like another day or two before we do. We'll be fine. Hey, right, what dish did you want again? What does this guy even need? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, he needs the more I eel. I can't get that till, um... Wait, can I go diving right now? Wait, wait, wait. He says it's only available at night. Can I just immediately go dive? It is nighttime right now. That'd be funny if I could just immediately get him his eel. Dive. You can only dive once at night. Uh, one third of the evening working hours will be consumed. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Do you have any items left? No, I can't shop at all. So always make sure to buy those two items beforehand then. Okay, um, let's go. Oh, I don't want that gun though. Let me go get a real gun. Alright, it's a Mori eel. We probably have to kill it. Just go triple axle. Oh no. Um, the main thing I like about triple axle is it has five shots instead of three. Even though your overall efficiency with this is better. Just the fact that you have five is enough to kill pretty much anything. Which includes this Moray Eel. Alright, um, let's go dive. This will be our first night dive, then. It'll consume one third of working hours. However, uh, that's not too big a deal. Like, we make a lot during working hours, and that means we're going to be making less during working hours. 
But if we catch enough fish, does it even matter? Because we can just sell those fish then. Let's see if we see anything new. Particularly anything that looks like a moray eel. Though I'm pretty sure it'll be marked on my map. Like it'll have a thing over its head being like, Hey, I'm a moray eel. So far, nothing new. Everything looks normal. Oh yeah, I still have that one dash thing. I'm not a fan of it. Right, where's all the new fish? Alright, there's some oxygen over there. Right there, there's more ale. You can tell because it's a blue mark. Gosh, how bulky is this thing? It's bulkier than a shark! <laughs> It's not as intimidating a shark, though. Actually, it's as bulky as a shark. There we go. Well, low quality, but he doesn't really care too much about quality, hopefully. Oh, nice. A weapon upgrade. Which also means it gets refilled. Which also means we have more damage. Uh, I guess we're going night hunting. Let's see if we can find anything super threatening. Like, super threat? Oh, we even got O2 backup. Oh, that's perfect. Uh, let's go fight the strongest thing in the ocean. First, we gotta go fight, figure out what that is. <laughs> But once we do, it is going to be so dead. Uh, okay, let me go get this O2 real quick. Where was it? It was like right up here. So I can go back down. I'll grab the copper while we're here too. Let's get some O2 and head to the depths. Procure is equals acquire. What does that mean in a stat then? <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Like even if you know what that word means then. Like, how does acquire result to a meaningful stat? <laughs> like, I don't understand what that translates into. As far as, like, what it does in the game. Right, this one fish needs to move. I can kill this shark. Wait, is this a different shark breed? This looks like a slightly different shark than what we've seen before. It looks like a very normal shark, but we haven't really seen any normal sharks this playthrough. I can't tell if this one we have or haven't taken out yet. It might be a nighttime only shark. It looks like the exact shark I would think of when I think of like, what does a shark look like? <laughs> but now that I think of it, we haven't actually seen a shark that looks like that yet. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Oh, that's concerning. How are you not dead after that? That's the real shot of concern. Where on earth is uh, more ammo? If you're not dead after that, we have a slight problem. <laughs> I might need to go get more ammo. Oh, oh ammo. Perfect. How convenient. <laughs> well, we definitely have enough damage to kill him now, even if he's like 200 or 300 durability. Because this is potentially another 150. <laughs> Now, we didn't hit directly with every shot, so if he is 300, he might not die. But if he's like 200 or bulk or similar, 250, he should be okay to die here. He's probably 200, though. Oh, I completely missed. That's bad if he has higher health. Oh, I forgot. We have an upgraded weapon. We're hitting 15 per shot. And he's still not dead? There we go. Gosh. Let's see. Is this a fish we haven't gotten yet? It looks like it is. It is. Copper shark meat. Nice. Oh, we already got his moray eel. Um, was there an oxygen over here? No, that was the escape method. Oh, we have backup O2 if we need. Escape pods right over there if we need. We got a better sword if we need. Got our O2 over here. need more of those. I keep forgetting we have this stash. <coughs> okay, there we go. Perfect. Oh, we even have an escape method over there if we want. Oh, wait. I just realized we're low on ammo, though. Right, hopefully that's a good weapon. Just gonna grab it real quick. Come on, good weapon. Something we can do to kill it. Perfect. Upgrade. Get this all the way to level three. Wow, that's 22 damage per shot. I 
I could land more than one, <laughs> you will be instantly dead. There we go. We're out of ammo again. We still have plenty of capacity left, though. Another? Gosh, why is there so many escape pods? There's a surprisingly low amount of threats for how many escape pods there are every few seconds. Oh, we got more O2 over there, and over there, gosh. Alright, let's get a better weapon. What do we have? We have ourselves uh, just better harpoon, not what I wanted. The level 3 is kind of cool. Now, let me grab this oxygen, because even if we use... Oh, ammo's over there. Do we care, though? How far do we have to go around to get it? Because there might be better stuff just sitting over here. Gosh, there's literally an O2 next to the O2. <laughs> Is there, like, more that spawn at night, or did we just get, a, like, a really weird spawn pattern? Oh, can I not go down here during the night? Oh. Oh, you can't go too deep during the night. Oh, I guess that's how they balanced it. Okay, I see. I was gonna say, because wouldn't that be kind of broken if you could just go anywheres? While still having the full value. But yeah, that's how they balanced it. You can only go to, um, you can't go to super depths during the night. Wasn't there ammo over here? Apparently not. Oh, it was on the other side, this thing. Lot of capacity we can still hold. Come on, we're all the super threatening enemies. We're ready for you. Threatening enemies, come out wherever you are. They said it was scary at night. We're all the threatening enemies. <laughs> we need to go serve you on a plate. Threatening enemies. I was told there'd be threatening enemies here. I think they forgot to add the threatening enemies. about to just go on a fishing spree. Just catch everything that moves. Because I'm not seeing much else to catch. <laughs> oh, is that a different jellyfish? It looks like it. Hold on. That's a new type of jellyfish. I've never caught in that one before, I don't think. Yeah, it is new. A box jellyfish. It might be nighttime only. Cool. Oh, we got a net. Let's see if we can find a night fish that uh, we haven't caught, which is all of them. <laughs> but uh, this will allow us to three-star it. If we could find one. Right, we, we've already caught a billion times. Looking for a night fish that can be netted. Come on, nettable night fish. Where are you? Oh, now, of course, now I find a shark. A little late. I don't have ammo for you now. 
It's not proper ammo. Oh, I wonder if I could do it on the jellyfish. Oh, that'd be huge. Wait, can you actually do this on this jellyfish? Please say yes. Uh, wait, is it? You can! Oh, that's huge. Let's see if I can find more of this jellyfish. Because our weapon right now is good for it. Okay, I cannot take on that shark until we find a weapon. Oh, that's a lot of fish. There we go. Okay, let's go jellyfish hunting. And slowly start heading up as we're going jellyfish hunting. We are running out of capacity. Now we're all the herd of small fishes. Oh, I'm already at the top. Okay, I'm not going to take this guy out with only my harpoon. It would take forever. I obviously can't net him. Let's so find another weapon just laying around somewhere. So unfortunately, I can't go for that shark. He gets to live today. So we'll be back tomorrow night. <laughs> Oh, there's a more eel. Could I net it? There's no way you could be netted. There's like 0% chance you would fall for a net. Please let me net you. We're gonna try, though. There's zero chance it's gonna work, though. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. Where this thing kills me. That backup oxygen. Alright, we're out of here. I'm happy with the hole. Mostly a little bit of night fishing. I got the moray eel we needed. So can I just prepare that moray eel for him immediately? That'd be kind of funny if we could. Right, let's go uh, back. Because we have his moray eel now. Oh, I might need to research this thing. Let me double check. Uh, research. Where's this Moray Eel dish? Yeah, this one's required. Moray Eel Curry. I just required to serve him. Otherwise, we can't serve him tonight. Perfect. And I don't have flames for the other two. That's fine. Alright, uh, so can I just serve you? I guess we have to wait till opening hours. Okay, let's go set our menu. All right, first things first. Uh, let's go upgrade everything we can upgrade. Enhance. We can skip these after we've seen them once. Those are so good. <laughs> Luckily, it only makes you watch this first time. Otherwise, we would skip them all. There we go. But once per night is fine. All right, uh, let's upgrade this thing. We got a lot of it. Anything else need enhancing? Yeah, they don't have a do all option, but honestly, it's so quick it barely even matters. Oh, so this thing's at level eight. <laughs> We've killed so many of the shark population. <laughs> oh, poor things. Why must their meat be so valuable? <laughs> Alright, uh, where's that one Mori eel? Did I accidentally enhance it? No! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Mistakes have been made. Well, he'll get his Mori eel tomorrow night. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I enhanced his only moray eel. <laughs> because we had enough copies. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, he'll get it tomorrow. I didn't think it would be enhanceable with so few. But apparently, yes, it can. At least I can't accidentally enhance it next time. Because I won't have enough copies to even accidentally enhance it.
All right, we good to go? Other than the fact that he's not getting his more eel till tomorrow night. <laughs> no, luckily, I don't think he's a lore-based one necessarily. Or maybe he is. What is our lore mission right now? I actually don't remember. I think this is a side mission. So it doesn't matter as much if it gets done like as immediately. All right, honestly, we're kind of fine on the kitchen. I don't need any more hires. We already got a really good one. We will probably put another internet ad in later, but we're, we're good for now. All right, let's just start. Unless I'm missing something. Let me double check the phone. Um, is there anything worth doing here? Not really. Well, we need to upgrade our diver suit after we get like a billion gold tonight. All right, let's go. Open sushi. All right, let's see how it does. Now that we are fully staffed, let's see if this goes a bit better. I might just let the servers do everything. Especially doing the uh, the, the drinks. Oh, that one guy is really quick. That guy is, like, blazing quick. We can't even physically move that quick compared to them. That's actually insane how quick he is. We don't even need the other waiter. He just does everything. Oh, wait, there's a lot of things I need to go clean, though. That doesn't really matter. We have a shorter night. They're already going. Close for today. Let's see. How much did we make? We had a shorter night, though it might still be our most profitable night ever. <laughs> By a lot. <laughs> and five flames. Alright, that is super easy with um with that one server. Day nine. Oh so gosh, we've already been going for six hours. <laughs> Phew, I tried to do it alone, uh, but it was too tough. I got a bit of help from Duff. Uh, thanks to his help, uh, we can now translate the uh, your words into see people's language as well. Well, I'm curious to see how that's, uh, how, uh, what, to know what they uh, have to say as well. I'll first uh, make my way back to the see people's location. Back we go. Speak with the see people. Uh, what is it? Yeah. I spent some quality time with uh, Leashan and did some quiet thinking. I realized that paying people back for help received uh, was what a noble master would do. Yeah. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Yes. I don't even need my harpoon. They're Ooh. so good. Um, they're fine. It'd be nice if they were stronger, though. Ha! Huh. I guess it's uh, time I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. Ooh. Enhance them? How do you do that? Ha! Mm -hmm. It uh, it's about uh, making them stronger, or imbuing elements with poison or electricity. Mm -hmm. uh, there is only one thing you need to remember, though. Mm -hmm. Only guns that have been created uh, can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, gun enhancement. That sounds pretty useful. Mm -hmm. uh, Duff, uh, you're a cooler person than I thought. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best master I can for Leah Sean. Mm -hmm. I think I've uh, provided my an adequate uh, explanation. It's uh, back to the world of pixies for me. <laughs> Goodbye, Trinity. Gosh, that guy. Uh, so you can now enhance your guns at Duff's Weapon Shop. Collect various materials and gun uh, fragments. Uh, and, yeah, and gun fragments. And uh, make your weapons more powerful. Cool. How do I do that? Obviously, this thing. Upgrade. What do I want to upgrade? I don't want a rifle. I don't want to upgrade you, though. I want something else to upgrade. Uh, what do we need for triple? I am missing a fragment. What do we need for sniper? I need... Oh, I need more Amistiff. We need to go get more Amistiff. Wait, we can get it... Wait, we can get a sleepy upgrade? And make it a tranquilizer? Wait, wait, can I... I want to see the specs on that. How do I check? How do I move down? It won't let me move down. It scrolls a different menu when I move down. I want to move down. Do I need to craft each one in line before I can craft the other one? 
Please, I want that tranquilizer gun. Oh, there it goes. I see, it's moving that way. Oh, wait, there's a lot of different types. You can imbue it with poison. Oh, you can imbue it with trank. That lowers its damage substantially. Interesting. Out of curiosity, which one of these has the highest damage output? It'd be the lightning one. Inflict 50% damage to one nearby sea creature. Max four times. Oh, it chains. Ooh, hold up. That's huge. A snipe and that kills everything nearby. What do I need for that? Comb jelly electric organ. I've never seen a single one. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to find cutterfish skin. What even was that? We have two of them somehow. Okay, that's the one for the sleepy one. Net gun. Uh, there's a bunch of rope. It just allows you to net more things. Also, I think its range goes up or something. Yeah, it just lets you get one more ammo. It's not particularly good. These are pretty costly, too. Quite a few of these. Actually, wait, wait, why is that net gun so much compared to some of these others? Uh, as far as underwater rifles. Yeah, we could have an underwater rifle trank. How many ammos? Wait, it still keeps eight. Oh, that would be an even better upgrade. Because it does less damage, which in this case is actually better. You don't want to kill them. Ooh, hold up. Yeah, tranquilizer rifle sounds really good. I need more fragments, and I need a cuttlefish skin fragment. Yeah, that'll probably be our upgrade for that one. Oh, cool. You can imbue all of these with anything you want. Oh, this one would be super good for damage. Like the lightning one. Which, where's the default? Yeah, just do the lightning one. That one right there. Actually, I'm only missing fragment for that. Hold up. I actually have everything for that. We might pick that up. That is really good for damage. Oh, wait. It doesn't have that adjacent damage thing. But its base damage is higher. As a 30% chance to paralyze for 10 seconds and movement speed reduction. Which is actually good for this weapon. Because it makes it easier to land your hits. So yeah, I think we go for that. I just need some fragments. We go for that and like the tranquilizer rifle. Like the shock triple axle and the uh, tranquilizer rifle. Cool. Anyways. Nice. We need a lot more fragments though. Anyways, uh, what are you selling? Uh, what's this? Cargo. Uh, underwater cargo box. A waterproof cargo box that can be installed underwater. Um, acquired items can be stored inside, and stored items will automatically be retrieved upon, uh, leaving the water. Ooh. Interesting. I'll grab that. I'll grab that with, um, the booster. And then we'll grab the O2 for the next dive. Well, maybe, oh no, what are we trying to do now? Uh, maybe we should have grabbed this as our combo. Because if we're trying to go back to the sea people, what's even our mission right now? Because we definitely have a mission. I have to go to the sea people guard posts. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> uh, about to find out. Also, I don't like this movement charm. What do we have as other options? I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's not bad. I just hate using it. <laughs> Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Yeah, let's go for this as a backup plan. Honestly, I'd rather have this than slightly more movement, as weird as that may seem. Even though the slightly more movement is technically better. I just hate the way that you have to use it. Which makes me not want to use it. Like, is this done automatically on your already existing sprint? Alright, there we go. Let's go. Also, that could be a good backup plan in case worse comes to worse. So we don't die the second we hit zero oxygen. I'm not sure how long that's going to let us live for, though. And while we haven't hit zero oxygen yet, it could be a good backup plan. In case we do. Right, what's our weapon right now? Oh, that's not the weapon I meant to have, but okay, that's fine. Uh, you can now disassemble guns, harpoon tips, and other weapons. Okay, so that's how we're going to get our fragments then. Use a weapon fragment acquired from dissembling. Okay, how many did we get? Oh, I need that, though. <laughs> that one's not getting dissembled. <laughs> I need that upgrade. Well, we know what our weapon we're using now. I guess we're just killing everything else, then. Also, now that we have weapon upgrades, we should probably start... Um, keeping a lot more of that material. Because quite a bit of them require a lot. Also, can you please move correctly? 
I need you to run away. So you can stop uh, doing whatever you're trying to do. I'm going to do both of these simultaneously. No! Okay, there we go. Let me get our cooking ingredient. Still need to get the other one. Grab that. Oh, we still need more agors for the thing? Interesting. Oh no, sea urchin. Getting in the way. Wait, how much weight are we up to? Once we get 10, we can just send them up in a box. Alright, we got 0-2. Ooh! Ah! Uh, ah, uh, box. Hello. <laughs> So they're all in the box, right? Okay, perfect. So can I just put more in that box right now if I wanted to? That right, box, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> Give me a moment. I must find you more supplies. It's worth it for the O2 tank. So how do I disassemble this? Hold down to disassemble. How many pieces do we get? Two. That's not bad. Because we need 25 for some of the better upgrades there that we had. Can I put the fish in the thing? Because I'm about to try. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. I got a hammer. And then go back to our box. Because if this fish can go in it, we pretty much reach the max capacity of this. We probably didn't use it the most efficiently we could have, but it won't. Oh, let's see. Oh, no, I want it. Okay, it can still fit uh, two kilograms. And I have some ammo right there. Let's try killing two kilo kilograms real quick. Is that fish? Okay, how much do you weigh? Good. All right, that should almost be two kilograms. There we go, perfect. <laughs> Alright, let's go fill it up. <laughs> Make sure to get the exact amount. Then we grab our oxygen, grab our ammo, and we're out of here. To deeper depths. Uh, okay, let's make sure we do this exactly as is. Or as needed. Uh, no, 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 not like that. That's gonna be good enough. We're gonna be off by one zero point two kilogram. What's it gonna bother me? Let me, uh, do it this way. Hold up. There we go. Perfect. Exact amount. <laughs> we filled it with exact 10 kilogram. That we're out here. And I will return to the surface now. Or once we go back up. That's a pretty cool box. I haven't found them underwater yet. I wonder if you can only get them from a shop. Because that'd be a really convenient one to find randomly underwater. Oh, weapon. Honestly, I should go for every weapon case now, even when we're already an optimal weapon. Just because I need to assemble every single one of these so we get more material for better weapons. Because there's some really good craftables in there. Oh, we got two fragments. Is it just going to give two fragments every time? That's not bad. It's not a lot, but it also adds up very quickly. Every time we do that, it's two of them. What a way to mine. The new meta of mining. Do it with a toy, uh, a toy, uh, hammer. The most efficient mining method ever created. I would like to stop moving. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there we go. Oh, an upgrade. This thing's level three now. I wonder how high it goes. I haven't seen it go up over level three yet. If that is the cap now, I hope it goes to level 5 at launch. Because they could definitely use a bit more power. I also need harder enemies to go with that bit more power, though. I don't feel like any enemy has been, like, exceedingly hard yet. Like, there's only been one time we came even close to dying. And even then, we were still a mile from dying. <laughs> The only reason is we took like 350 damage hits. And even then we were still healthy enough to not die. Ooh, that's a good item, but I'm happy with what I have right now. 
Yeah, it seems like it's just two fragments every time. That's fine. That adds up. Uh, we probably already have enough to craft our new uh, axle weapon thing. Let me go back up later. One thing I do need to go find, though. Weren't we short on Amistiff? Or was that for a different item? Because that we need to go find a pickaxe for and go find that deep cave area again. Which I need to anyways. I think that's where we're heading right now for this mission. So I need to find an O2 tank. Oh, so where are all the enemies at? I haven't actually killed a single shark yet. Come on, O2 tank. Ah, uh, not quite. But we can use that as the escape method for later. What is that? Oh, it's that one thing. Oh, perfect. Nice. Keep it nice and alive. Oh, I need that. Please have a pickaxe in here. Oh, wait, wait. I need air. Give me air. Give me air. Oh, there's one, my iron from earlier. Oh, perfect. All right, I need this material badly. You know what? I might go back up to go get that movement option. Oh, no. Don't put it over there. I got to get hit by the eel now. Oh, that's bad. I, I need it, though. All right, we'll just tank the invincibility frames. Oh, we got all the starfish we need for that other mission thing. Oh, wait, where I need to go is over to the right. Wait, what? Wait, where do I need to go? This is 25 meters over here, but that's like at that end. Wait, let me go back. Is there like a hole here I missed? Oh, it's underneath me. Oh, oops. Oh, let me go all the way around. Got the item for it. Gotta be careful on O2, though. We're actually kind of low. And we don't have a backup uh, thing. This is what happened last time when we went in this area. It was the closest we ever came to dying. And it was from lack of o extra O2 tank while taking a bunch of 50 hits. Ah, right, there we go. Extra O2. Uh, let's just see what this is real quick. All right, a fresh light. We're going to take this oxygen now. It's probably a bad idea, too. We're already where we need to be, so... It's already a dead end, mm. because we have to cycle back anyways. Oh, I should have taken it on the way back, then. Uh, let's try out the sea translator uh, from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Ah, mm. uh, can you hear me? What? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. Uh, his body looks different from that of other humans we occasionally see. Dot, dot, dot. Well, in any case, uh, right, I should introduce myself. My name is Suwan. Uh, among the uh, low dwellers. Uh, oh, you said you call us sea people, right? Uh, you could uh, say I'm the bravest and coolest male among them. Aha. Uh, Suwan. Or Suwam. That's a G and M, not an N. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Uh, Dave, in our language, your name sounds similar to broken toilet seats. <laughs> Uh, what is with this creature? Uh, in any case, uh, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Ramo. Uh, ever since being uh, kidnapped by that, uh, uh giant squid, uh, she has been unconscious. Uh, if I'd uh, known uh, about it a little earlier, I'd have uh, shown that squid a thing or two. Uh, don't get a big head for, uh, defeating that insignificant squid human. I am the one that guards Ramo. You really are a noisy one. In any case... Uh, you seem to have uh, something to say. What is it? Oh, about that. In uh, order to allow uh, Ramo to recover, uh, we need some uh, medical herbs. I'm unable to leave as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medical herbs uh, to help Ramo recover. Uh, the feather coral and lily coral uh, grow in these parts. Please uh, make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible? How do I do that? Uh, that's for you to figure out, human. Uh, go find a ch uh, chef uh, to help you or something with chef in yellow text, meaning, uh, what's his name? Oh, why do I forget his name? Uh, hmm. Uh, she'll, uh, she's ill, uh, so I can't refuse to uh, help her. Uh, feather coral and lily coral, huh? Uh, I guess I'll uh, take a uh, look around first. I know it starts with B. Why do I always keep forgetting the exact pronunciation, though? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go over here. Not that way. Wait, is this dead end? Yeah, this dead end. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Every single time I see that, I think it's like, oh, it's alleyway you can get through. But it is very much not. 
It is solid wall. Uh, we're good on oxygen. We have a speed increase. We have pickaxe, which I need to get that material. Uh, we have the capability to kill the whale if it's here. We have an escape pod here. We got oxygen over there. Okay, we're kind of set. It's oxygen, right? Yeah, it is. It's uh, the other version of it. Oh, don't get hit by... No, don't do that. I might need the oxygen right now, actually. Oh, uh, more light, sure. Use a refresh on it. All right, so where's this material he wanted? I'm not seeing it. It should be marked with a little icon. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab the oxygen now. And then head back over there. Because we're probably going to be making a circle here. But this means that ammo is going to get wasted, but that's fine. We have the ammo enough. Uh, okay, let me use this. As I like the bomb. Welcome, welcome. The ball's been well. Hope everyone's weekend's been going well. Our weekend apparently is Dave the Diver. <laughs> oh, there's one of the items he needed. Wait, didn't he need two of both? No, he only needed one. Perfect. Sometimes they want one, sometimes they want two. They only wants one. Oh, is this a light refresh? No, it's a motorboat refresh. Give me that. I have a weapon I can go scrap. Oh, I need that ore. All right, we're going to be able to get a really cool weapon after this. Because we definitely have enough to upgrade at least one, if not multiple. Uh, what's that? A giant, uh, oarfish. Uh, blue plankton and a giant oarfish would be perfect together. Uh, you have to do this for me. Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? Show yourself. Reveal yourself. Where's the oarfish? Is that it over there? That's not it, right? <laughs> Fail, yeah. Start. Where's the oarfish? It's nowhere near this stuff. There he is, but he's not near the other thing. Yeah, fail. Go near the other thing then. Come on, move near the other thing. I can't take this picture if you don't move into frame. There we go. Alright. Anyways. I got another movement rod. Well, I guess I'll refresh the one we already have. Not like it was used up much. Alright, I need to find this other piece of equipment she needs. Or he needs. Well, technically she needs it, but we're getting it for him. Well, we're getting it for her, but he's the one requesting to get it. Uh, I could kill these jellies if we want. Not really needed. Find this item. Oh, wait. Are these the electric ones, though? Oh, maybe we should kill them. Wait. Hold up. I need you to drop your, um... Your electric ability. I'm not sure if I need to do something special when I kill you for it. But I need you to drop your electricity tentacle things. Whatever they are. Because it's needed for an object. I'm not sure if these actually drop them, but <laughs> they are definitely electrical. I don't think we got a single drop. I'm not sure if it's rare or what, but we did not get it. Right, so those are kind of like bombs then. Hey, what's this? Oh, we got one of those, the brittle starfish. We got one of those earlier. Uh, we're running low on O2, which is concerning. Uh, is this a sea people building? The door is locked. All right, good. We have O2 over here and the item we needed. Perfect. Everything we need. Oh, and we even have an escape plan. Literally everything we need. Oh, don't get hit by that. That's a lot of damage. Luckily, there's O2 right there. Let me go catch all these before I go O2 up. Oh yeah, I don't think these drop the item I think I'm trying to get. <laughs> because not a single one has dropped it. 
Alright, well, we have the two items we need. Though we said we had to cook it, so I guess we just have to go return to the surface now. Which, at this point, um, I guess we just head up. There's a thing right there. We get a few fish nearby, if there are any. Otherwise, we're out of here. At least, how can I check my objective? Uh, we could do his at night. We got his two things. I need to go up in order to cook it. And then we'll get his other thing at night. No, don't discard the glass. Anything else we can catch real quick? Otherwise, we're out of here. I know they can definitely help. Oh, an enemy I haven't killed yet. Problem, I don't have anything to kill him with. <laughs> wait, 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 there's a thing to kill him with over here. Hold up, that's huge. Oh, I have a pickaxe for the other thing too. That's also huge. Wait, give me an item, give me an item. Oh, it's a net. No, I can't disassemble it either. All right, let me grab this ore. We're kind of low on this material as well. We haven't needed it yet, but we will at some point. I guess I grabbed the net. Better than having nothing, I guess. Oh, I could have disassembled it, though. No, why'd I grab it? Oh, I wonder if I can catch the, um, the jellyfish with them. I don't have much capacity, too. He seems way too aggressive to catch him. I need to get him away from the escape pod. You know what? I'm just taking the escape pod at this point. We're out of here. Ah, yeah, that seems good enough. And we even got an extra 10 kilograms at the top from that one um, bin. So pretty good hole overall. No, we could not kill that one fish at the end. Well, it's mostly from lack of weapon. Ah, uh, phew. It seems I got everything uh, that fussy half a fish uh, asked me for. Uh, he wanted to make uh, this coral edible, right? Uh, have to, oh yeah, Boncho. Uh, I'll have to uh, call Boncho for help. I was going to give him a call. Oh, we even got a new one. Comb jelly. I did not get their little static sparky things, though. Assuming they're even something that can drop it. They're electric, so I assume so. Oh, uh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Uh, that's a giant oarfish. Yeah. I heard that fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Amazing. <laughs> Only 150 gold? What a ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use. I'm uh, sure the readers will love it. Uh, there are several photo spots, so I might uh, ask for more help again. Hmm. Not sure if we're going to do them for that pay. <laughs> okay, um, so a couple things we need to do here. The first is, I think we make a really cool weapon. Let me go check. Uh, let's see. Let me go here. Let me go to upgrade. Let me go to here. Where was it? This is just for damage. That's not what I want. Well, you can make a poison one. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, comb jelly electric organ. I'm not sure how to get that, though I need to figure it out. <laughs> but uh, what we can run right now is this. It has the highest base damage of them, which doesn't necessarily mean ba best damage. However, because some of these would theoretically do more under certain circumstances. However, what will make this in this particular situation do a lot more is this will paralyze them or a high chance for 10 seconds and it will reduce their movement speed, which is either guaranteed or the effect of paralysis. I'm not sure, but either or it'll slow their speed. And this is pretty relevant for this weapon because this weapon, you need to an angle and get like exactly correct. So you hit all three shots and that will make it a lot easier to actually land all three shots. So we're going for this guy. Uh, warning. Creating the uh, derivative weapon will cause the existing weapon to vanish. That makes sense. Uh, depending on the weapon uh, characteristics, the stats of the existing weapon may not be preserved. Wait, you can upgrade your other weapon? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Has that been a mechanic this whole time and I haven't utilized it? Well, let's go upgrade this one then. Because this is now our DPS weapon. All right, there we go. But that is now our new DPS weapon. Now the question is, how do I improve the weapon I just created? <laughs> like, is something there kind of implied that we could? And I'm not quite understanding how. Is I want to make this one that we just got stronger. 
there is a way. Not for now. Uh, should be in our inventory, right? Yep, there it is. Is that a one is in level one? Because there's shock axle one all the way at the end there. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, give it a test spin. Uh, first things first. Um, I need to go call Boncho. Okay, never mind. I need to physically go to where Boncho is. <laughs> Why would you do the call mechanic this entire time and then it's like, oh, you gotta go to him this time? I guess because he has to prep the food. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Hello, Boncho. Ha. Ah, so the coral has to be prepared so it's easy for the sea people to eat. Uh, well, I think uh, we could uh, start with the uh, porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Wait, right beneath the weapon was version 2? Oh, I'll go check that once I go back. Uh, here you go. I softened the coral uh, to make it easy to eat. Uh, so I should be fine. Or should, should be fine. Uh, well, thank you, Bancho. You're so quick. All right, I'll take it to Rama. Actually, quite literally, we're going right there right now. Yep, get the coral to Rama. Right, back we go. All right, let me go see where this upgrade is that you just mentioned. Because I completely did not see it when I was there. Though it has to be there somewheres. All right, so weapon upgrade. Upgrade. Triple axle. Owned one. It's currently equipped. Where do you see the upgrade? Oh, it's to the right. You're right. Ah, I see. Yeah, we have to go right. So how do I get box jellyfish tentacle? Apparently I've gotten one before. But I do not recall how. Wow, that really increases damage. And even gives us an extra magazine for it. And increases the paralyzed chance. Which I'm not sure exactly what Paralyze does, but if it's 30% movement reduction, that's perfectly fine. Because that's the whole point, is to try to lower down your speed so we can actually land a triple shot. A little bit easier. And also make their charging attacks like pretty much never hit us. Yeah, I like his little finger tapping when he does the thing. The Man Book Pro. <laughs> Instead of MacBook. It's basically... Actually, that's funny. Because in instead of a MacBook, which is a sideways N... It is now a sideways C. <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's basically just a letter switched or turned on its side. Compared to a MacBook. It's literally just a C flipped 90 degrees. But, uh, interesting. What do you need for a standard ones upgrade? Uh, previous stage need to be crafted. Are you not going to let me look at it, though? Oh, that's unfortunate. They don't let me look at what it requires. Well, that's the case. Let me just see what it looks like for one of the other ones, then. What are you trying to tell me? I don't have one already crafted. Oh, wait, never mind. That's just a standard upgrade. Because, duh, it's moving up to Rifle 2 and then Rifle 3. Okay, I see. Interesting. All right, so there's a pretty diverse uh, weapon system in this game, then. That's pretty cool. Um, do I... Should I get a spare of this? I guess I should. In case I want to make a different variant of it. Also, so I can go check what the other thing is. I'm going to go make it. It's only 50 gold. And most of the other material I'm not using anyways. I like the amount of customization the weapons have. There's definitely going to be a better min-max option for every single one. Because most of them want to go down a really specific category. Like this one would want to be Trank. This one would have that want to have the highest DPS. This one would probably also want to have the highest DPS. This one would want... I'm not even sure what modifier you'd want to have on that thing. This one already has um, the sleeping one. So I'm not sure exactly how that would work either. When upgraded. But anyways. Um... Let me go check something on his upgrade menu. I'm looking for... How much damage does this one do? Wait, what? Previous stage needs to be crafted. Oh. Oh, it still shows the tier 1 one. Oh, okay. I, see. I, can't, I still can't see the tier 2 because technically, we, yeah, we never made the tier 1 one. Okay, that makes sense. 
Anyways, we still have a spear if we want to craft into something else. Uh, let me just make sure I have the right weapon, because I'm pretty sure it defaults to whatever you last crafted. Which is not actually what I want right now, for once. Alright, we got the shock triple axle. I think we're good to go. Is there a way to sort these by default? Because why is my weapon all the way over there instead of next to all of our other weapons? Like, all the weapons are right here. And then there's just a weapon in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I guess all the custom weapons are put all the way to the side like that. Anyways, um, serve more eel. We'll do that for him after the thing. I guess we're just going to give him his porridge. Do we have any item here? Uh, tell me what you have. Oxygen. Oh, perfect. Back up oxygen. That's good because that means we can go kill the thing while we're there. And gosh, do we have an option to kill it with now? <laughs> Got a very killy option. What's how we're doing on the ecological stuff? Uh, we're getting there. We need one more pink. Even then, we still need a billion points. Is next reward even worth it? It's basically just like poison immunity or something. And we've only been poisoned, I think, once ever. <laughs> There's very few things that poison you. And this is like a whole area dedicated to the mechanic. But I don't think they have anything like that yet. Like a poison area, burn area, or any other mechanic. Like, there's definitely areas where like they're slightly more concentrated. But there hasn't been like a whole zone of just that kind of stuff. Alright, let's go check out this new gun. It should, in theory, absolutely demolish anything we touch. But first we need to find an enemy worthy of it. Alright, there's Sparrow 2 over there. We don't need the escape pod. We literally just got here. I like that they give you the ability to assemble at the same time that you get the ability to upgrade. That works out pretty well. Because we basically never want to touch any item ever again now. Otherwise we lose our really good DPS item. And that's pretty much applicable now for anything we find. Unless we're so out of ammo that we just want to switch. Because you would normally take your weapon based on what you want. Like what your objective is when going down. All right, time to test it. So he's moving slower now. Still found a way to hit me, though. Up, oh, wrong way. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Go get my ammo back. Uh, we do have a bit of an oxygen problem right now. Which will hopefully be fixed soon. I don't remember if there's any oxygen over there. We should be able to find some down here, though. Come on, oxygen. Not an escape pod. Show me oxygen. Worst comes to worst, we have a backup pod. Though I want to save that for when we're in that area. Okay, I found our next target. But I need oxygen before I go kill him. Don't show me escape pod. Okay, I need to go back up. I need to backtrack to there. Stop. Why is everything an escape pod? Show me oxygen. I'm not trying to run away. I'm trying to stay here, but I need O2. That is slightly problematic. It's only spawning me escape pods. I need O2. There we go, O2. I'm gonna grab this. Kill the shark to our left, and then head down to where we need to go. Oh, where'd that shark go? It's all shark over here. Where'd it go? There he is. And <laughs> wow, that lowers their speed by so much. Oh, this makes it so much easier to triple up. So I still have to be careful they can still jab like that. Wait, he's not dead yet. Ah, there we go. Ah, we're out of here. Let's do 
we got a backup of two. Actually, let me use this up because we're gonna need one of those um, those little light camera things, anyways. The UV lights. So might as well utilize it since we're gonna have to scrap it the second we find a UV light, anyways. Oh, ammo. Let's go down. I feel like this dead ends though. It does. That's so bad. Couldn't have gone down. Let's see what do we got? Oh, two. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's replace that, I guess. I'll have to use you in a second. Though so with how much damage we took, <laughs> it's almost air neutral. Though it will be air positive if we find oxygen before we run out. Or before we find one of those thingies. Wait, I do need that to get by the little coral thingy. I did say earlier you can hit it with your weapon, though our weapon definitely is not one for doing damage. I think it does one damage per hit. <laughs> because it's supposed to just tranquilize them. Let me grab this O2. And then we need a UV light. Uh, I think we grab it from over here. There might be one over to the right that might have been closer. And we got more ammo over to the left if we need. Yeah, there's the light. Uh, I'm going to have to waste one of these oxygen tanks. Unfortunate. Uh, and I need the light to get past this. I assume it's just another UV light. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe, though. This has had a pickaxe in it every time so far. It's a scripted pickaxe. Give me that. A lot of the lights are like that too, where they're in like predetermined chests. Just to make sure you don't get stuck without one. Which makes sense. Like this one's probably guarantee light, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Gosh, the fish is still chasing. It's amazing. Okay, we'll take that on the way back. I'll take that on the way back because we know that's a UV light and uh, we're going to have to backtrack anyways. Here, I brought the coral uh, porridge. Oh, you've really brought it? Seems to be right. Ramo, this is coral porridge? I prepared it myself. I feel uh, much better now. I can't remember anything after uh, seeing squid tentacles. Ah, a human? What is a human doing here? Well, uh, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Ah, is that so? Wait, uh, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human. You shall escort me back to the village. Me? Why should I? Uh, I'm an injured lady. Uh, you need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you too. Suwan, uh, you go ahead and scout our path. Uh, what? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and... You haven't even uh, passed the village tactics exam. It was uh, tough enough coming here. Ah, uh, that's a sore spot for me. Suwan, uh, stop complaining and uh, be our outlook. Uh, our out lookout uh, for the path ahead. As for you, human... Uh, you'll have to, uh, carry me on your back. Uh, on my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Oh, uh, my injury fin is hurting again. You're impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, alright? Oh, do I actually have to go pick her up? That might make this complicated. Uh, get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Uh, Ramo has the ability to open up uh, two burn paths. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, watch your surroundings carefully and escort her safely. All right, uh, you know what I'm going to do first? Because I have a feeling um, I cannot do this once I pick her up. I need O2. <laughs> and in case I need a refresh for it once I don't have her ability anymore, I need light. All right, now let's go pick her up. How do I pick her up? Zero. Okay. Oh, I could drop her at any point. 
And I always walk. And based on the text, you should be able to auto do the coral. We still have to move slow just so we don't run into them. Alright, where are we heading to? The only problem is I haven't killed out this path yet. There could potentially be really big threats around. Uh, good. Follow along. Uh, make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Let's keep going. Oh no, scripted fight. What is this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Oh no. You stay over here. All right, it's fight time. Nice and slowed. Wait until you go for a hit. Or we can just do that. That works too. I missed one. I missed zero. No! Let me out, let me out. Ow. Oh, my oxygen. Alright, fine. Do I have any spare oxygen around? I don't want to waste one of my O2 thingies if I can help it. Oh, it's gonna weigh us down like crazy. Alright, uh, plan. Have O2, have O2, have O2. <laughs> That's not O2. Alright, do I back up O2 if I need? But I'd rather find a whole case of it and save the backup for something else. I'll keep it hotkeyed in case we need it. Alright, you're coming to us. We'll move at glacial pace. Can I just drop you down? No, I can't. You're just gonna flo uh, flutter there. Alright, please tell me there's O2 somewhere on this ground. I found a weapon. Oh, yeah, I found O2. Perfect. Okay. You just chill there for a second. No worries. We're getting O2. Let me grab this first. Uh, not what I need. That'd be funny if it just exploded there. <laughs> Alright, did we make it? We have to keep going. Because we are very weighted down. Hey now, human. Uh, don't tell me you're tired already. Uh, bring her carefully. Where are you even going? To the dark abyss. Behind that giant rock? Apparently not, okay. <laughs> he's behind this giant rock? Wait, oh, never mind, he's over to the bottom left. Oh no, the explodey jelly. Oh wait, 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 gotta leave her here. Wait, I didn't kill you. Oh, interesting, okay. So I can't actually take your corpse because you literally explode. So you'd have to like tranquilize them to get them. Interesting. I hope there's not more of them. I don't really have a way to deal with them. I just realized I haven't maxed out my suit yet. I wonder if we can even go this far. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't have a weapon. Oh, good. We're good. Let me use one shot on it and get the ammo. Grab this. He's gonna charge upwards. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, he didn't take any shots at all. Oh, I'm gonna be over in cupboard here, aren't I? 
Yeah, I'm maxed out. I can't take the rest of them. All right, come on. We're going to move at one pixel per second. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let me take that oxygen. What's our escape plan, though? There would have to be a pod, like, somewhere nearby. We still have backup O2. Ooh, we're starting to hit almost critical death. That's slightly concerning. Especially with the movement speed that we're doing. Because I don't have the suit upgraded. All right, let me grab this and hope it's the movement option. Because then once I can put her down, I'll have a way to escape easily. Ah, it's just UV light. That's unfortunate. Right, he's only 23 meters away, but we have to go to critical depth to get there. Wait, wait, wait. How do I even get there? Wait, wait. I gotta go around? That's not good. I'm sure if I have enough oxygen. We have a backup tank. My concern is not necessarily getting there, but getting back. <laughs> because getting there, we should hopefully be okay. Getting back, completely different story. Right, somehow I killed that before it mattered. <laughs> somehow that did not explode on us. We're almost there. About to hit critical depth again, though. So we don't have the suit maxed yet. So close. Get so far. Alright, there's some oxygen over there. That's huge. That's a great backup. I assume there's just another light in there. Right, let me try staying a little bit higher so we don't hit critical depth. Oh, so you better not make us fight something. <laughs> In critical depth. Uh, Rambo, this is our path is blocked with a rock. Oh, good, there's an escape pod down there. Perfect. Oh no, uh, what is going on? Um, it must have been the vibrations earlier. Swan, think of something. I need to get back quick. My father scolds me uh, even more. Uh, uh, maybe we can open a path by dropping the uh, loose rock pile over uh, there. If we can uh, topple it and uh, make it all uh, fall, uh, it might uh, just do the trick. Well, I suppose it might work. How do you uh, make the rocks fall, though? Ah, I see a stake over there. Uh, maybe if we uh, pull it out. Human, go pull the stake over there. The stake? I think I'll uh, hurt my hands uh, with the uh, gloves I'm wearing. I could uh, probably do it with gloves uh, that are thicker and uh, offer a better grip. Aesthetic. Uh, Dave, my apologies. I left my microphone on before I was dying uh, to know uh, what you were talking about. Uh, if it's enhanced uh, diving gloves you need, I think my lab could uh, help you out. Huh? New gloves? Aha! Equipment goes hand in hand uh, with exploration. Uh, does it not? Uh, come on back to the boat. Perfect. Okay, we can go take the escape pod then and come back here then. Perfect. I think there uh, must be a way... Uh... Oh, I didn't end up needing the O2 then. Oh, that was a good backup though, just in case. I think there uh, must be a way we could, uh, uh must be a way. Uh, could you wait here a moment? Wow. Hold it, human. Are uh, you planning to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Oh. Uh, luckily, uh, she has me, uh, guarding her. Uh, still, be back quick. Alright, uh, let's go out of here. Before we run out of O2. And return to boat. Alright, perfect. So we got the main mission done, and we got a bunch of loot. Lots and lots of loot. Yeah, that's the highest we've ever gone, or deepest, I mean. We definitely need to upgrade the suit the next time we come down here, though. Hmm, the road uh, back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating! My lab has developed some diving gloves uh, to be used for retrieving artifacts. I see. Uh, that should, uh, let me pull out the stake, uh, without my hand slipping, right? Haha, oh, yeah, yeah. ha, of course! Uh, it has, uh, various safety measures, uh, built in, uh, that'll let you move, uh, many, uh, other objects besides stakes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the long dive must have, uh, been tiring. Uh, get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. Perfect.
Okay, uh, we need to go diving again. I need to go get that eel for him because I accidentally upgraded it earlier. <laughs> Whoops. So round two, I'm trying to get this eel. Wait, do I actually get to keep that 102? Probably not. Okay, well, let's go get some eel. Got our good gun. All right, so we need uh, one of those more eight eels. And don't upgrade it this time. <laughs> don't upgrade it. And eh, whatever other value we can get while we're down here. Let's go left this time. We didn't go far left. We went straight for the right. That's not what I'm looking for. Hello, please let me grab salt. Thank you. Please. <laughs> it just did not want me to have salt. Alright, we're all the threatening enemies. Calling all threatening enemies. I need your loot. I found a baseball bat. Time to get a home run. Hello, intimidating enemy. I've come for you, meat. Oh, that's not the angle I wanted. Nope, wrong way. That's bad. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that does not do that much damage either. Uh, I need ammo. And I ideally don't want to, um... Have to take a different weapon. Alright, that does like zero negative damage. Ooh, I might need to take a different weapon. There's just ammo nearby. Ammo! Ammo! Any ammo? 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 I need more ammo regardless. There we go. All right, let's hopefully kill him in one more shot and save the rest for the eel, because we're going to need it for the eel. Now we need to find an eel. Where'd he go? Come here, Sharky. Let me go get a nice good shot at you. There we go. All right, now to figure out where on earth this eel is. Also, I could run out of oxygen. you got to be careful. We don't have any backup items. Alright, there we got O2. Should might as well grab it now. Uh, oh, upgrade. Perfect. Unfortunately, that will waste some ammo, but it does give us more damage, which is great to see. Oh, I guess it does only go to level 3 underwater. I guess that makes sense, because you can upgrade your weapon multiple times. But underwater, you can only upgrade it for, like, three additional upgrades, so that makes sense. Ooh. As much as I want to kill you, I need to save it for an eel. Unless we see ammo, like, literally in a couple seconds. Where are all these eels? It's supposed to be out here at night. More eel. We killed one of you. And we've seen two of you. <laughs> Where are the rest... Uh, give me some kind of movement item. That is not a movement item. Found O2. I found ammo. I haven't found much to use it on. <laughs> I guess we go take it. You know what? Let's go take out this thing real quick. And then we can come back, restock, and uh, get everything back up. Alright, where'd it go? Where is the fish? There he is. Come on, fight me. Give me a good angle. So we have that thing upgraded so many times now. I think it's the most upgraded fish we have. Is the Soul Shark. Now let's go upgrade all of our stuff now. Get our O2 back. Get our weapon ammo back. 
Need even use this shot on something on our way if we see something. Mostly because we seem to have a lot of extra inventory when doing night uh, shifts. We're not even close to max yet. Where on earth is this eel? Oh, this is a dead end again, I forgot. Come out, come out wherever you are. We're literally here just for the eel, pretty much. We're just trying to get a full inventory while we're also here, since we're already down. But ultimately, we're pretty much only here for the eel. As we fight literally everything that isn't an eel. I didn't paralyze him that time. Come on. <laughs> Come over here. There we go. Oh, that might only give him one quality meat. We might have overkilled him. Let's see if he gives two or one. Oh, no, it still gives two. Interesting. I have no clue how on earth you would get three from them, though. And this, you need, like, penetrative um, darts, which we would eventually have off the other upgrades. Like, penetrative uh, tranquilizer darts. That still do damage to them, but gets under their skin so they can actually get tranquilized properly. We have a movement option. I found a dead end, so might as well grab this so too, since we're not returning to this area. Okay, they have to have spawned at least one more AEL. Where are you? Oh, we got double O2 over here. We don't need. It's not an eel. We found two so easily last time. And now when we want to find a bunch of them. Find a single one. Yeah, a bunch more scraps. I should grab this O2 since we're not heading back here, even though it's only like 10, not even. It's not a moray eel, yours is a fish. You're just a fish. I just realized our weight is actually really high already. The shark's add up quick. Oh, oh no. I don't want you. You know what? I'm actually going to ignore this one. Unless we find ammo, like, right here. Oh, I found ammo right here. Okay, well, I guess we don't ignore you. Because I want to make sure we have guarantee enough for a Mori eel, because that's what happened last time. We killed one, but didn't actually have enough to take the second. Right, we're already starting to get over encumbered, which I have to be careful with because um, we do have to make sure we have enough to actually grab it. Okay, we got our ammo. So at this point, we're just looking for this eel. <laughs> Nothing left but find this eel. Just take off a piece from him. I think I still need orange. One shouldn't over encumber us. And if it does, we can literally just drop it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, I don't need those for the task anymore. Never mind. Hey, how hard is it to find one eel? Apparently, very. I think one of them was like at a super high depth, though. And by high depth, I mean like 10. <laughs> like, you know, really high isn't very low. That makes sense. Oh, O2. Not sure if we're going to need it, but just in case. Um, you know, our scooter's pretty much used up. Might as well just do it over the scooter. In case we want some bombs. More eel. <laughs> Please spawn. Oh, there's that one jellyfish earlier. We could blow it up real quick. Shark over there, too. Oh, come on, eel. I mean, um, jellyfish. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to blow this up on myself. <laughs> We're moved too slow. We're about to double detonate. 
Okay, well, you get to live. You all get to live. I'm just trying to find Anil. I think top right there was one earlier. I'm not sure if it would spawn similarly this time. Alright, that's a shark. I think it was left of here was where the eel was. The shark was all the way top uh, right over here. Got to use some O2 to not lose O2. Because those things take like 5 or 10 per hit. It's not a lot, but it adds up. There it is. Found it. Oh, no, wrong direction. Oh, I better not run out of ammo. Oh, you're good, we're fine. Perfect, more eel. All right, you know what? We actually still have some left. Um, though we don't have enough ammo to take out the other thing, I don't think. Yeah, let's just grab some random kills. Please let me hit. Please. But you know what? I'd rather just go for this thing. Oh, I only have one shot, though. Never out of here. Well, that wasn't too bad. Though it took forever to find him. <laughs> trying to look deep. He's literally right at the surface. All right, there we go. All right, let's not upgrade this one. <laughs> like we did the previous one on accident. Round two. Don't upgrade the eel. I got another person. Oh, do we have two special customers at once now? Ha, huh, little kid. Uh, we haven't opened yet. Dot, dot, dot. Hello, kid? Dot, dot, dot. Um, you look like a student. Uh, we haven't opened yet. Uh, come back in a bit later. Uh, listen, you... <laughs> I heard you the one uh, time. So stop blabbling. Uh, what in the world? I'm sorry, it wasn't me. <laughs> you rotten bluefish. <laughs> you get the me food. Food! Um, what in the world is going on here? I think I've read about this somewhere. <laughs> There's a therapy method <laughs> that involves letting, uh, traumatized kids speak their mind through dolls. Doll? How dare you! You idiots don't deserve to live! <laughs> Maki's funny. I suppose it could be something more complicated. Uh, let's ask what she wants first. Uh, Kambu and Wait Trevely Ashrajuzuk. Yeah, those are words. Uh, I want it. I do. Um, that sounds, uh, like something older men would want. Uh, I don't know, uh, what's going on. Uh, but we'll have to, uh, give her, uh, what she wants, uh, for us to try and have a conversation. Uh, Kambu and Wait Trevely Ashrajuzuk. Uh, let's check the ingredients first. I wonder if we do have those ingredients. We technically have a double side mission now. Uh, well, first things first. Um, can we ingredient flame that? Yes. There it is. White Trevely, come... Ooh, that word. <laughs> that combination of words. Oh, we don't have enough flames for the other one. Luckily, we got the uh, one we needed. Okay, so, um... So is the other guy going to come back when we actually start? Because that'd be funny if I waste his eels. <laughs> okay, um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to... A couple things. First things first, how's staff doing? Pretty good. I wish the cross would keep training you. Because honestly, he's such a good server, I can just, like, fire my other server. <laughs> he's just that good at serving. It looks like he gets another skill eventually. I'm not sure if it'd be, like, level 5, 7, 10, or what, though. He got his first one at 3. 
So five would be a pretty likely one. Let me just check. I'll upgrade him once. Okay, right, good. He gets something here. Uh, training. What does he get? He has prepared something. What does that mean? Ooh, 506. Oh no, is it worth upgrading him for preparing something and getting... Uh, it's about 50 more service. And the other values keep going up. Oh, uh, we'll see. What does it do? What is he prepared? Uh, let's see. You learned a recipe. Small spotted dart kanji mi soup. Cool. Alright. Do you keep going? You can. So you probably learn your skill at 7, 8, or 10 then. If that's the case. Which we definitely can't do right now. <laughs> but good to know. But yeah, honestly, I, I, do we just fire the other guy? Like, like what, why is he here? <laughs> like, we just have a super version of him. Uh, remove. Because I think we have to pay based on who we have. I'm not sure if I have to pay him more or what, but, um... I was gonna do it that way. James and, um... Uh, El Nino. One and one. Right, anyways, next. Uh, let's go and... Research? As soon as I have something here. What is that? Oh, that's the dish we just got from him. Small spotted dart boiled uh, with uh, kajimi. The fragrance uh, and warmth uh, dish. Uh, anyways, I wish you would tell me. De oh, yeah, I can see what details. I want to see what he uses. Small spotted dart. Have we even caught in one before? And he uses kajimi with soy sauce. That doesn't seem worth ever making. And we're going to save those points for something actually worthwhile. Like a quest mission that's required. <laughs> well, technically, these are optional quests, but I still want to do them all. Anyways, um, I guess we prepare our menu then. Okay, do not upgrade. Where is it? This. Do not upgrade the Moray Eel. I'm just immediately adding it. Actually, it's impossible. There's not enough copies to enhance it. Perfect. All right, so we can just mass enhance everything then. Let's see where that leaves us. Wait, what do I need for her quest? Does it even say? I'm gonna check. Um, to do this. What do I need for her? How do I... White Traverly Kelpin's soy sauce. How do I know if I have the ingredients or not? Like, how do I know? I guess I can see if I can literally add it to the menu. Uh, let's see. Where's the thing she wanted? I'm not seeing a quest icon anywhere here. No, I don't have it. I'm missing white travelies. Have we even caught one yet? We have everything else. We don't have white travelie. Anyways, let's go enhance, enhance everything. But yeah, we'll be able to finish the other guy's quest. We can't do hers until we figure out where on earth that fish is, though. It might be like a certain depth now that we can go pretty deep. Alright, and I always do it by price. Make sure we put that item and we're gonna go. Also, how many of these do we have? <laughs> I assume level 10 is max based on how many copies this thing needs. Uh, we need 51 to enhance it. Oh, gosh. Well, we are never running out of uh, long nose uh, sea saw sharks at this point. I keep wanting to say sea sharks. Well, they technically are from the sea. <laughs> Anyways, let's just serve everything up. So I hope that one guy shows up. I'm not sure if her being here makes it so he doesn't show up after this. Like if only one of those NPCs can be here at a time. Because that could definitely be slightly problematic or so. Because I'm serving his moray eel. But if he's not going to show up to eat his moray eel, we're wasting our moray eel. <laughs> so we could always catch one the following night, so it's not too big a deal. Uh, okay, I guess we're just good to go. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can change anything else. I assume my one server can handle everything. Since he's a super server. And even if he can't, obviously we're going to be helping him. 
and we'll see how that goes then. Oh no, maybe I should add the other server. I, I think like, we're, we're going to be fine though. Because I want to go hire a better one. With that being said, uh, maybe I should go put an ad out for a better one then. Well, let's see how he performs tonight. And if it's slightly behind, we can add the other one back. And if it's exceedingly efficient, then yeah, we'll just put out an ad later and then we'll get a better one for him. Or to assist him later down the line. Alright, so let's just see how he can do. So we're only going to have one chef and one of him just to keep down costs a little. Because if we can work at max efficiency, might as well uh, do it that way. I think we're good to go. Menu's good. Menu's good. Everything's good. Let's start. Right, let it begin. Alright, let's hope that one guy shows up now. Is this problematic if not? Okay, good. He does. Perfect. I'll personally hand it over to him. Oh, he's making it right now. Perfect. I'll hand it to him. Because it's just in case it's required for the quest that I hand it to him. Right, there we go. I've given you your food. <laughs> it's like that one Ratatouille moment. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, we're still playing. Uh, wait, we're still in the uh, max speed hours. Ah, uh, that taste I remember. Oh, I'm glad you like it. The food brings back memories. Uh, one time, a young man who lived uh, with a sick mother in my village uh, was bitten by a moray eel, uh, keeping them from uh, going out into the sea uh, any longer. I was uh, 12 then, and I went out into the uh, pitch black uh, darkness and plunged a harpoon into the moray eel's gills. I uh, brought them uh, the dead Mori eel, and the mother made me Mori curry in thanks. Uh, thinking of that a woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. In any case, uh, thanks for the food. Uh, that was some fantastic cooking. All right, I said I'd tell you something nice, right? Uh, nearly forgot amid all the uh, nostalgia. Haha. <laughs> uh, come see me in the empty lot behind the building. Oh gosh. <laughs> that can't be anything good. Alright, let me go help out our one guy. He's quick, but he's not perfectly quick. <laughs> Though he is so quick that honestly, I think I can do nothing and we'll be fine. In all fairness. He's actually that quick. Oh, you get tips when you clean. Hold up. I didn't realize that. Wow, this guy can solo our whole kitchen. It is insane. I don't even need to do anything other than this thing. He's the one restocking it. He's just so quick. And he has a perfect drink, so I never need to do the drink mechanic ever again. Which, honestly, I don't mind. <laughs> it was fun for a few tries, but him just doing it perfectly every time is better. Oh, we didn't get enough points. Though, gosh, did we make a killing. Yeah, perfect night. Yeah, we don't even need a second server. <laughs> we basically are the second server. Well, that wasn't a full night, so it could get more hectic if it was the full duration. Though I feel like most nights we just want to go out, unless we have like a super excess of fish. Oh yeah, he wanted to go meet me in the back alley. What did you want? <laughs> did he sleep well? Uh, yesterday I told you I'd uh, tell you something good. Uh, take the boats, uh, come behind the restaurants. Uh, we got 2,000 to go use right now. Technically slightly more because we can sell some stuff. Into the deep. Right, Otto's uh, gift. Uh, the fish farm. Uh, whoa, what is this place? Uh, looks like you're uh, doing uh, quite a lot of hard work uh, catching fish every day. Uh, so I got uh, making a fishing farm and uh, finishing it in a single day yesterday. Uh, what? A single day? In any case, uh, this is where you can grow fish and uh, also let them multiply. Uh, I'll explain uh, slowly, so listen closely. First, come over to the first section. Uh, fish farms uh, need to have the right environment uh, for the fish. Uh, each section has uh, fish from a different depth. Uh, this is where you can uh, grow fish that live in a depth at 0 to 50. How would that work? Because there's nighttime variants and non-nighttime variants. So could I just put a billion more eels in here? Because they were theoretically at like 10 depth. Uh, each section has a uh, limited space. And uh, once the density uh, reaches 100%, no fish can fit. <laughs> of course, uh, you can uh, pay a bit of money to expand them. Haha. <laughs> uh, each section is equipped with its own uh, camera, so you can uh, look inside. It's a little aquarium. See, it is Animal Crossing. <laughs> now, come along. 
retro details. Oh, see, I got a little aquarium here. Um, nice, isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. Wow, it's like an aquarium. I just said that. Uh, just starting into uh, staring into the water uh, is enough to make you uh, make you all uh, peaceful inside. Uh, but that isn't the uh, purpose of this uh, fish farm, of course. I'll teach you how to uh, pluck them out uh, so they can uh, be eaten. Pay attention. Select. Fish in the fish farm uh, can be sent to Bacho Shushi. Uh, to be used as ingredients or sold directly. Uh, even if you fail to catch fish because you are so busy exploring, uh, you won't need to worry. But how do we add a fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Good question. Uh, you can farm them by collecting fish eggs. If you capture uh, some fish alive, you'll sometimes get fish eggs. Oh, even more incentive to keep them alive other than the higher rating. Uh, those eggs will automatically be sent here. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Uh, if you have uh, two or more of the same type, uh, they will also multiply. Oh gosh, we got breeding. Oh wow, I see. I've placed two fish each, uh, so you should uh, be able to see the results tomorrow. Uh, try coming back tomorrow. Sounds good. All right. So when catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. Uh, these can be hatched in the fish farm. If uh, hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. Cool. Actually, this layout reminds me a lot of the old school RuneScape. Um, fishing guild layout because it had like two buildings in the top left and kind of has like that same like visual aesthetic almost <laughs> it wasn't like perfectly squared like this but gosh it reminds me a lot of that so currently we only have two depths we can put stuff in the 50 and the 130 though based on how many there are there are nine categories they are planning i'm not sure if we unlock them during the playthrough or if they're locked until later is there anything in this uh come on uh, just wait a day uh okay so there's nothing in there that we could put in there can I put more fish in here? Oh, no, we just got to wait a day. Okay. All right, so we just leave. And we're out of here. Can I do anything with these other buildings? Well, I have two buildings here if I can't do anything. They're just here for cosmetic purposes. <laughs> just two buildings for the sake of having buildings. Also, I see the seagull in the bottom right. Which is one in the top right, too. Why is the one in the bottom right so much bigger? Like, obviously because of perspective. But even with perspective, like, that still seems like it's gigantic <laughs> compared to the other one. Okay, so we have multiple options now. Um, so we want to go to boat. I guess sushi would bring us to the restaurant. So what is this one called then? Oh, we won't find out until we can go back. Oh, what's it going to give us? Oh yeah, we need the gloves. I almost forgot about them. Uh, here, uh, these are the uh, special diving gloves uh, made in our research facility. Uh, with these, you'll be able to uh, pick up various objects in the water. Uh, why don't you test them out for yourself? I want to see something first, though. You're not going to let me. You're not going to let me. Okay. <laughs> want to teach me how to use gloves. So let's go use gloves. Objects that can be picked up will uh, show a button uh, when you go near them. Uh, first, try grabbing the pile of rocks over there and uh, dropping them. Uh, that's uh, weak wood, so you'll be- Oh, well, you saw that in the other area early earlier. Also, we'll finally be able to do sea urchins. Because those have damaged us many a time already now. Wow, very nice. Let's try going down. So what do we do with this anchor? Anything? Ah, the current's strong. Grab the anchor so it won't sweep you away. Are you just for holding? Interesting. It doesn't seem like it helps much. <laughs> Good, you can grab onto objects uh, like that to anchor yourself, quite literally. Oh, the pun. <laughs> That'll come in handy in places uh, with strong currents. Honestly, I don't really see that being too useful. How often would that really come into play? Though you can swing on it, that would be useful. Use it for swing momentum. Oh, I see. Uh, something uh, shiny back there. Uh, grab the stake in uh, front of you to pull it. This is what we needed for that one area we saw. We got a mash. Oh wait, I gotta hold. Oh, I gotta hold two buttons at once. I see. Interesting. That's a lot of button presses. You have to like move the opposite direction, hold the grab, but also spam B. Uh, awesome. Uh, since the path is open, uh, grab the treasure up uh, top uh, before coming up. All right, see you in the uh, boat.
Uh, looks like Dr. Uh, Bacon uh, left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look uh, like they could uh, come in uh, handy. Or in... What? In nervy? I, I think that's a mistype. I think that's supposed to be in very handy? In... I'm not sure if that's slang, his slang, or typed incorrectly. <laughs> but anyways, it can come in handy. I heard that the sea people are uh, waiting for you. Uh, go down there and try pulling the stake. Alright, so... What does the other one look like? I want to see what the thing is. It won't let me see what the term is. I want to see what it's called. Right, so what are you talking about? Hmm, time to check the equipment level. Dave, always have your gear ready before diving. Mm. Uh, can I just uh, use what's already in the sea? Uh, do I have to tell you again? Uh, weapons are destroyed. As I know we already were upgrading and blah, blah, blah. He's telling us upgrades and stuff. We know. Why is he still talking about it, though? All right, let me sell some excess. I don't feel like we need that much of most of this material. <laughs> I say that and we'll probably find a need for it, like, immediately. Alright, well, I guess I won't be able to check what word that is. <laughs> I just wanted to say... Alright, uh, can we upgrade anything relevant? Not really. Um, what is this upgrade out of curiosity, though? <clears throat> I can make a better rifle. But I don't want that version of it. I would want a Trank Rifle. Which we need uh, a lot more material for. Alright, we're out of here then. Yeah, cook stuff. Uh, there's the... Uh, oh, that looks good. Oh, this looks like a dolphin. Poor thing. Yeah, there we go. What do we need for our next upgrade? Uh, we need, um, wait. Oh, we need more followers. I was like, wait, we already have all that, but no, we need more followers. We got 11 last night. So if we don't, maybe, I don't think we go diving tomorrow night. And unless we're forced to for some reason, like some other quest comes out. Because if it does, it, we could probably get enough ratings on tomorrow's night to get to gold. Let me see what we need for this. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have another object. Okay, we'll go for that. Uh, let's deliver everything. Right, how many more points do we need for our next upgrade? We need 40 more. What are we mostly needing? We need some bones. Almost do it in itself. We need some bones and one red lionfish, and we're pretty much good to go. There's a bunch of bones and a red lionfish. And the reason we probably don't have that red lionfish is I keep crafting them. <laughs> Into bigger lion fish. That should be pretty easy to do. The biggest issue is finding those two bones. So we could do a different objective, of course. Like, I could just find some more Kajimi. Like, three Kajimi. We're good to go. Three Kajimi with one red lion fish. That's pretty easy. That won't be level three on that. Anyways, uh, I think we're out of here. I don't think there's anyone we need to call. Uh, let me go upgrade our diving um, capacity, though. Oh, wait, I need the depth. Oh, no. Ah, uh, how do we do this? Because I want bigger cargo box. But we also need the depth thing because we saw earlier. We absolutely 100% need this. Otherwise, we won't be able to go deep enough. Okay, it's actually maxed already. Interesting. Okay. I need to sell 500 worth of stuff. Better go for a bigger ear. You know what? We're just going to go for more ear. Because that will allow us to place an ad. So that when we hit gold, we'll be able to immediately go get another person. So we can set an ad for the following day. Also, I still need to find what's her name her fish. I actually don't know where on earth it is. So this will also give us more time to try to find it. Alright, let's go upgrade our air. And we'll upgrade the cargo thingy next. Also, poor harpoon gun. I'm like treating this game as if it's not even a mechanic. <laughs> it just, it gives you such broken weapons. Why would you ever even use a harpoon gun? Like, it's basically your infinite ammo option for when you run out of actual ammo. Like, that seems to be its only purpose. Because otherwise, it seems horrifically bad. Alright, um, I think we're good to go. 
Can I change my melee starting weapon? I wish we could. Change from survival knife into whatever starting weapon we want. <laughs> Would be kind of funny, especially if that got like an upgrade system. I'll catch you later, Clip Bomb. Have a good day at work. Wait, go to Axis Road. Wait, what? Where did I have to go? Oh, I know for sure I need to go down to the Sea People thing. I'm not sure what I meant by Axis Road there. Yeah, go to Axis Road. Destroy the entry. Wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just a quest we had from earlier. That's fine. I was just head straight there. Then we'll scrap some things along the way. Up oh, or take it. That works too. Good old weapon upgrade. Oh, do I need more of this? I don't feel like I do. I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get items from what's his name. Oh no. I'll find some along the way. Because I don't have any O2 tanks. I don't have any uh, movement options. Oh, another upgrade already. Okay, we just maxed out our weapon. Now yeah, we can kill anything in sight now. Fear our level 3 weapon. Okay, we got an O2 tank. That's huge. That's good for backup. Gosh, we got more ammo already as well. Oh! Wait, wait, I can grab that now. Yes, these gloves uh, should be able to pick up sea urchins. Uh, sea urchin sushi. Uh, just the thought of it makes my uh, makes me drool. Cool. There we go. Oh, it's a tier five. In perfect uh, condition since we don't have to kill it, which makes sense since we're just grabbing it off the ground. I grab some of these. We weren't able to get any until now because we have the gloves now. Gosh, why is there so much ammo with nothing to kill? <laughs> you know what? I'm about to kill this one just because we needed it for the thing. I mean, like a billion ammo, but nothing to use alone. Oh, I need sea grapes. We're running kind of low on them. Limestone cave. Do we want to be here? Oh, let me take the water. Let me take the water. Where's the anchors they were talking about? <laughs> Oh no, one of these things. I might have to waste an ammo on him. Oh, one shot. Nice. We got more O2 over here. Kind of already maxed out, but I guess we'll take it. Because we're not going to be back in this direction. Uh, he's very far below us, gosh. Oh, ow. There's Maro 2 over there. We don't need that much, though. All right, let's grab that, though. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me over there. Let me over there. Let me over there. Let me know, too. Wait, is this just a dead end area? Oh, no. Did I just walk myself into a dead end? Oh, no. Is it really? That's unfortunate. Oh, no. I'm stun locked. I'm stun locked. I can't move. Let me out. I think we're in a dead end. That's unfortunate. As long as we get our O2 back, it shouldn't really matter much, though. Oh, maybe this isn't a dead end. Okay, there's more ammo over there. We're gonna need it. Ooh, I can preserve this jellyfish, but I gotta keep this weapon. These are something annoying we have to fight along the way. Speaking of which, I have three ammo. Is there anything I can kill real quick? Yeah, it's perfect. Come at me. Wow, we already killed him. That is insane. 
Wait, wait, wait. Is that one tuna the thing we need for her? It might be. Get back here. Wait. That might actually be the thing I need. Is that the fish I need for her? Oh, no, no, no. Those are... They're marked. Get back here. Wait, I, I think I got all the fish I need for her. I should probably get one more just in case, though. Yeah, those are the fish we needed for her. I'm so glad that they marked so on your map. Okay, I am already over encumbered. Um, realistically, I should scrap something. Are we actually going to? Probably not. <laughs> should I? Probably. So we need more ammo. Wait, am I going to a dead end? Yeah, we haven't died yet. We're sure trying to, though. Hey, this is O2, right? It looks like it is. It is. Alright, so that leads to a dead end, so we need to go left. This ultimately doesn't really waste that much oxygen going and sprinting when we have the extra thing. Because we're moving 30% quicker. And if you account for the oxygen that you would have lost from just moving anyways, you're not really losing that much extra. Also, I might be going the complete wrong direction. I think I just went into a dead end. I did. That's not good. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go like... I think the biggest issue of what just happened here is we need to go around the big wavy area. <laughs> like all the way around it. Let's go do that right now. Hopefully I'll find oxygen while we're there as well. So let me not go over there. Alright, there's some of that lesser ore. I'm not going to grab that at this point. Alright, there's a thing I can go kill. Ah, uh, we don't have the space for it. As much as I want to kill the billionth of him, <laughs> we really don't have the space to do so. Oh, this is the tuna thing she wanted. Let me go get more. Just to make sure we have guarantee enough. This should hopefully not over encumber us. It did. Ah, uh, you know what? We must head up then. We got what we needed for her, and then we come back for the sea people. And then we do the sea people mission. Also, can you please stop trying to kill us? <laughs> Alright, let's head all the way back up. Alright, now would be a great time to find a random transport pod. There it is, perfect. Random transport pod. How convenient. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, next time, we're making a straight line to the objective. <laughs> Though we did do one objective. We got her fish. The fish we need for her quests have been um, accumulated. So now let's go do the second part, which is go help the sea people. And I'm going to make a straight line there to not get distracted by anything. Oh, tiger shark rope, bro. Oh, yeah. Because we kept the tiger shark alive, we got an egg from it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We should be doing that more often, shouldn't we? I forgot about that. We need to try not killing fish. That's hard with this weapon. <laughs> this weapon is very killy. It is exceedingly killy. Oh, yeah, I can see what this says now. Oh, it just says fish. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Uh, shop. Oh, I didn't buy any items. I can actually go for two transport pods this time. Okay, so the orange one moves quicker, but has less battery. I didn't notice that earlier. Yeah, the orange is quicker, but less battery life. And the red one is not as quick, but still quick. But uh, lower battery life. I mean, higher battery life, I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> right, what are these? Shark jawbone. I should keep that. Any Anything that's uh, from getting a kill seems like it upgrades weapons. So I should never sell them. 
I don't think I have the, uh... This material I keep getting so much excess, I might as well. Keeping 10 in case we need it for something. Now when I'm keeping Marv, just because it's a little bit rare. And a lot of the better equipment we want probably uses it anyways. Anyways, um, I need to go buy out your tools. Because we're literally just going straight there, and this will help us get straight there quicker. Is that everything now? I think we're good to go. Wish you could change your starting weapon. Also, poor harpoon gun. <laughs> we might go this whole playthrough with, like, never upgrading the harpoon gun. <laughs> because realistically, uh, I have not seen a single instance where it is required. Like, pretty much everything you would ever have to do can just be done with various guns because they have so many options already. What's this? Oh, the whale's back. Hello, whale. Is it gonna stare at you? Can I move? No, it's a cutscene. Ah, I think it has something to say. I should uh, record its cries and ask Ellie about it. How do I do that? Wait, how do I record its cries? Right, let me go over here. So I got an O2 over there. This thing seems to be somewhat over here. Let's go slightly left. Grab whatever's in here. Oh, two. Perfect. Exact pickup we'd want. Alright, where is the sea people place? I've been there a billion times. How can I not find it? <laughs> Come on, let me up, let me up. I think it was mostly that one little air area that kind of got us last time. All right, do we have any ammo nearby? Because I will kill this if we do. Ammo, ammo, ammo. You're not ammo. You're not ammo. Oh, ammo. Alright, it's time to kill. Ow, hitbox. Honestly, I'm not sure if this electric one's overall that good. Like, it is and it isn't. It has tied highest base damage. So why not? But, um, I don't know, this effect ultimately doesn't do too much. Though it does make it really safe to never die. <laughs> Though they can still hit you because their hitbox around their body is still kind of weird and you're already so close to it that you can kind of get chipped by it. It'd take like 50 damage or something. I see, people should be to our left now. It was mostly when we got stuck in that one air area that kind of got us. Oh, you know what? I have one shot left. Let me get these in case we want some more. Oh, he didn't die. Well, I guess we gotta use this harpoon for once. Almost never happens. Get over here. It is so bad. <laughs> Our harpoon is so unupgraded. There we go. This is to make sure we have enough. I'm pretty sure we already have enough. For a while now. Uh, just to super ultra ensure we have enough. I'm running a low on O2. Where are all the O2 tanks at? Come on, O2 tanks. There we go. Perfect. Any other loot around? Isn't there normally an Amistiff over here? Can definitely use some more loot. Yeah, there's our UV light. 
There's one of those annoying fish. Okay, let's just head over here. Let me grab the oxygen. I do not want to bail yet. Don't go there. This is another UV light, isn't it? Honestly, does anything even spawn here that isn't UV light? Oh, good. Uh, weapon. Refresh. Oh, yeah, we have one of these rocks now. Is there anything I can... Oh, wait. Can I hit this eel? Hold up. Is he just dead? Yeah, he is. Oh, that's perfect. Nice. We could probably do the same to that one crab that wouldn't get hit earlier either. That's a UV light refresh. I already have it. All right, let's go. Get our air. Got our light in hand. Got our oxygen backup tank for when we inevitably almost die. Got max ammo. Good to go. Oh, so I'm surprised. We have not died yet. I was definitely expecting to have done that by now. But honestly, none of the fish patterns are particularly hard. At least none that we've seen yet. I say that and the next boss will probably just obliterate us. As far as the actual fish, none of them have been even remotely difficult. And even our only boss fight so far was pretty easy. Oh, you know what? That's flaming three. I'm actually going to take it with us. At least we want some burning effect. Huh, is that pile of rocks moving around? Oh, there's ammo there. I'm going to have to do a fight. Oh, it's just that uh, octopus again. They gave us an artifact last time, which was pretty nice. See where it goes now. Oh, he's probably just going to go under, yeah. To kind of get, like, hint to you, like, hey, go under there. <laughs> ah, it's the octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. Uh, I won't uh, uh, let you uh, get away this time. And Tartar used to do the same thing, like, three times. <laughs> this isn't the first time it has. There we go. I think I see a crab over there. Ooh, an extra O2 tank. Um, I'll grab it on our way back. Let me go kill our first crab. Hey, do you need more than one rock or will one kill you? Alright, one just kills. <laughs> Spider crab. Anything else we need here? Is there everything? Wait, mission failed! <gasps> oh no! I was supposed to keep chasing him quickly! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I wonder what artifact you get for that. Or if it even is an artifact. Oh no, what did we miss? I didn't realize it was like a speed thing to go after him. Oh. A mission failed. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, I need to remove the rod from the other side. Interesting. Wait, what? How am I supposed to progress then? We just shove the rock at it? I don't know, do we need to not fail that mission to get through? We might need to. Oh no. Oh, we might not be able to do it on this given day then. Because we might need that mission to not fail to even get through. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because that's a dead end on both sides then. Because the rod to get through on that one side is on the other side of it. Oh, I guess we're fishing down here. Since we're here already. There's a lot of fish we probably haven't gotten yet. We have a lot of equipment to go hunt them. Oh, I don't have a trank dart for those little explodey ones, though. But we definitely have the damage to kill everything else. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe on me, either. Hopefully that is a pickaxe in that one thing over there. Right, please be a pickaxe and not the another light for the billionth time. No, it's not a pickaxe. Ah, oh, I don't have a pickaxe on me. What we do have, though, is a rock. Did I just miss? 
<laughs> I was trying to hit where he currently is rather than where his whole spot is. There we go. Pickaxe. Wait, is that supposed to be an advanced fish? I don't think we ever killed this one yet. Yeah, we never did. Yay, pickaxe. Okay, let me go back. We do have a teleport down here, too, if we need it. Which is interesting. We might. Depends how much loot we get while we're here. Please stop giving us bones. Every single time it gives us generic bone. Okay, there seems to be two other drops they can give us, but all it keeps giving is bone. Well, this is a different way I have to get them that I'm not aware of. Yeah, we can kill those if we want. I kind of want to keep them intact. If we had like a trank gun or a net. Oh, have we killed that before? I don't think we have. All right, where is your spirit ammo around? So that was probably a bad idea in case we can't find another UV light. Because that means we're going to have to use a pickaxe to get through the other thing. Which is doable, though. Very clunky. Oh, I need ammo, not a weapon. They're two very different things. I got another movement thing. Not exactly what we need right now. Uh, I might just have to go for that weapon. I can't find ammo real quick. Come on, charge me. Let's see what weapon it is, just in case. Uh, eh. Yeah, we'll go for it. Why not? Fair to nothing. There we go. That's a new one as well. All right, we're already over encumbered. We can go for one more big fish. Oh, we got one of his things that we need for a weapon upgrade. Nice. Okay, so far, every body piece has been from a unit has been needed for weapons. Right, I believe we had a escape below us. So we can go take that right now. Unfortunately, that does mean we ultimately did not finish the one quest. However, I believe we have everything for what's her name in the in the chef place. Like every ingredient she wanted, I believe we have now. And I will have to come back and not fail the uh, octopus method uh, mission. I mean, all right, there's our escape. But before we take that, we still got a little bit we can still use. How much effort do you guys take to kill? One. Two, three. Oh, I can go for two of them. That'll be the last thing we grab then. Right, we're out of here. Well, that one didn't go exactly as planned. <laughs> well, we got a bunch of fish we didn't catch before. And we got everything for her mission, at least. But yeah, apparently, you gotta make sure you actually go after the octopus immediately. I thought it'd be like one of those chase scenes where it kind of like adjusts based on your actual chasing of it. But apparently you have to perpetually keep chasing it. So we actually got four new ones this time. As well as the fish we needed for her. As well as some eggs. Got a couple eggs in there. Of course, uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of them now, though. Since uh, I'm pretty sure they were impossible drops prior to um, the thing. Alright. Uh, whale cry. Call Ellie. 
Uh, call. Ellie, we heard a whale. Hi, right, what's going on? Uh, humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think it might have something to say. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Ah. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring? Yeah. Uh, they must be lost somewhere nearby. Uh, how about helping me? As you're uh, going about, if you hear a young one's cries, uh, let me know. Um, well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Gosh, we got a billion mi missions going on right now. Alright, uh, what else? Uh, find a baby whale. Working on it. Serve food for Maki. Doing that right now. Uh, go to Access Road. I will if I, uh, if the little octopus thing will let me. <laughs> Alright, um, all right, we're out of here. Good to go. Alright, let's go back. Can I put my fish eggs down? Let me go check something. Do the fish eggs go in automatically, or do I have to put them there, or what's up with this? Do we have to, like, wait a day? Oh, uh -huh. uh, yeah, we just gotta wait. Okay. <laughs> uh, alright, anyways. Uh, sushi. I just go straight there instead of going back to boat. Oh, actually, we could go diving down. Though we can't go into depth, so we can't do too much down there. Hmm. Yeah, I actually don't want to because I want to see if we can get 19 ups. Because if we get 19 ups tonight, we will be able to get gold rank. Is that's the only thing stopping us from getting gold rank right now? Also, I might want to put out a big ad for tomorrow. The 400 one. Let's see. Because I might need another server. And if we hit gold, we might need another cook because that's actually when you can unlock the second cook. So yeah, we'll put out another big ad, ad and see if we can get a one other good one. As good as the guy to the left of us there. So how do we do that again? It's um, staff, hiring. So that's still on the previous hire if we wanted to go take both of them. Which, I don't know, is it worth taking literally every single one you see? Probably not. Though if I do it this way, I don't know. Maybe I just don't put the ad out. Because if we do and we see a good one, we're going to have to spend over a thousand for them. Which is not cheap. And we don't have a particularly high amount of excess. And any that we do is probably going to upgrade our actual equipment. So I think this is fine for now, actually. He's just so good at serving that he really doesn't need help. And I haven't seen our cooking be too slow yet. I'm going to keep both of these just kind of chilling there for now. Um, Alright, let's just set up our menu then. And we'll go from there. Alright, menu. Um, This, do not upgrade. Do not upgrade it. <laughs> Do not actually wait. How much can you do it for? Yeah, do not upgrade it <laughs> Let me add that to the menu right now Before I accidentally upgrade it. All right now I can upgrade everything else Let's not make the same mistake that we did with the other eel For the other mission All right, I now he's upgrade everything in sight No, wait, they used the other, e wait, 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 no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I used the other eel, but we still have one serving for her because I made sure to put it on the map. So we didn't accidentally use it again. <laughs> I did upgrade something that used it, but we already have one on the menu, so it's safe. <laughs> it used the other three that we had. All right, we're fine. <laughs> Almost, got close. Also, I need one more copy of this so we can upgrade it again. I'm pretty sure it caps at level 10. Sure seems like it would. We haven't been getting as many of that shark. I'm actually kind of surprised. That was like the first shark we ever killed. And we've barely killed it since, despite our murdering of every other shark in the ecosystem. Alright, let's just serve all the top stuff then. Alright, uh, let's see. Well, auto supply isn't needed on that. Auto supply. Auto supply. Auto supply. Auto supply. Auto supply. Okay. Anything else we need to change? I think we're good to go. Research, we're fine on. Staff, we're fine on. Ingredients, we're fine on. Interior, we'll wait till we have more money than we know what to do with. I think we're good to go. Alright. Uh, yep, yeah, let's just start. I think there's anything else we need to do. Right, let me go get this first dish and go give it to Maki. 
Wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. She's walking very slowly. Is this her dish? I can't even tell. I don't think it is. She hasn't actually ordered yet. I want to bring hers to her specifically. Oh, I can't tell which one's going to be hers. Oh, I see hers now. Yep, there we go. Right, let's go do our quest. Right, give her a food. crying suddenly it's too good you this is way too good ah it's too good it reminds me of my father uh what's going on kid uh my name is maki i'm looking for my father my father i uh, left to explore the depths and i can't uh, get in touch with him anymore uh his favorite food was kombu and, uh, and uh, white trevorly uh oshazuki and i heard uh you uh, sell it here I thought he uh, might have uh, come by here. Ah, mm. oh, that's a pity. I'll be uh, sure to tell you if you uh, see uh, someone, or if we see someone who looks like your uh, father. Mm. And uh, what is that doll? Uh, this is Cleon Plushy. Uh, my father uh, gave it to me uh, before he left. Uh, oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the uh, uh, Cleon. I've uh, never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Mm. A Cleon? Mm. Um, we can't uh, catch something so small with a harpoon. Uh, what do we do? Uh, could we use this? A net. Ah, a bug net. Hmm, I think it might work. The SpongeBob jellyfish catching net. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a shot. Uh, what are you doing, you walrus? <laughs> Get your, uh, uh, tights on the jump in the water. I'm sorry. I can't control my emotions that well. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so you can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like uh, seahorses and Cleon, uh, which can't be caught with a harpoon. So what is the point of harpoon? <laughs> it's the most obsolete thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they literally just gave less things for the harpoon to do. <laughs> it already wasn't doing anything. And they were like, let's make it even less. <laughs> Also, we've made a killing tonight, gosh. Alright, let me start uh, doing busting tables. Clean up, clean up. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me help him some. Not sure he really needs it much, but... Also, did good. Uh, good thing we didn't go for the night dive, because we actually got enough likes to hit the gold rank now. Perfect. Close for today. There we go. Gold rank. Or at least all the requirements for it. Wow. We made more today than the last three days combined. <laughs> and our expenses weren't even that bad. Day 11. It's sunny. Oh, is, oh yeah, Otto's going to talk about the fish. <laughs> uh, Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiplied. Uh, hurry on to the fish farm. To the fish farm. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool animations in this game. I have uh, marked the sections uh, with new fish with hearts uh, so that they're easy to recognize. Uh, go on and see for yourself. They have multiplied. They've created one of everyone. Uh, wow, the mystery uh, mysteries of uh, nature uh, never cease to amaze me. Uh, I'll tell you uh, once the eggs hatch. I'll uh, mark them with hearts uh, if uh, fish have uh, multiplied. Speaking of eggs, I'm reminded uh, of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son. It is a uh, windy and rainy day. I went too far out of my ship, and a storm flipped my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Oh, I didn't know that. 
All right, I'll uh, come by uh, often to check. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Otto. I, I'll feel uh, much less pressure to catch fish. Cool, if you have uh, two or more of the same fish, uh, there's a chance I'll have baby fish. Uh, how's this one doing? All right, we don't have extras for you guys. I oh, don't mind, you already have two of each of them. Interesting. I don't know, there's only one of each. Oh, I need to go bring them friends. Wait, how are you supposed to catch them unharmed, though? With their eggs. Um, okay, what do I do with my eggs now? Or did they already auto-hatch? Or are those my eggs? Wait, did my eggs already come here? I'm not sure. Because we had eggs. Keyword on the hat. <laughs> There was three of them. There's three sharks in that other one. Or three things. I guess that was just their eggs then? I'm pretty sure I have no eggs in my inventory now. Um, yeah, we are eggless. Yeah, th that's just the three that hatched. Interesting. Are all three in the other tank or just the three eggs we had earlier? Oh, there's definitely a lot more incentive to not killing things now. Okay, so, um... First things first. Let's check our upgrades. Actually, uh, let's go get our star and quick star. Let's, let's go uh, like everyone's dish. Oh, that's all of them. All right, let's go rank up, which I believe is the last one available in the uh, early access, unfortunately. Though it does look like they have two more upgrades planned. The cook star rating. There we go. Cool. Alright, next order of business. Um well, nothing we need to do here. Let me go upgrade our suit. So let's go back uh pet kit. Unfortunately, cat still refuses to be pet in current patch. Uh go to boat. Eventually they will add the animation. <laughs> it is required. Alright, uh, let's go upgrade our suit. I think we can upgrade our storage. Perfect. Now I can spend even more time in down there. Alright, um... Any weapon upgrades worth doing? No, nah, tranquilizer gun? Oh. Oh, tranquilizer gun only has one type of upgrade. Oh, it uses purple starfish. Interesting. Do I go for it? I guess so. That's good for getting eggs. The only thing it does is increase magazine by one. We'd have to get it for a very specific purpose. But, um, yeah, I'm fine with that. 300 gold, that's not that bad. Yeah, we'll do an upgrade. I'm not sure if I'm bringing it with me this time. But we could. Now that we have eggs, maybe get them multiplying early. That just means we can't kill anything, though. Because we won't have a good offensive weapon. might use it. What do we need for the next upgrade? Uh, oh! We can almost do the next upgrade. Any more of the brittle starfish. And aside from that, I have everything. How many magazines does it get, though? Wait, the magazines don't go up. Oh, wait, it does! By two! Oh, wait, that's actually really worth it. Ooh. I would actually start bringing that if we had that upgrade. I think we keep our offensive weapon for now. I don't know, maybe we bring it. We get a lot of eggs, potentially, from it. I'm just concerned we won't be able to kill anything. And given that we're going on missions where we might want to kill stuff, it might not be a good idea to have a drink that does zero damage. Yeah, I think we wait for the next upgrade. I think that's the next upgrade we invest into then. Because that's six shots. It's basically like bringing two uh, hush darts with us. For the price of one. And of course it refills back to six every time instead of three. So we can really go crazy catching things. And we know where that is, too. We just need to get them to spawn. Got three already. Seems like only one spawns every single time, though. Alright, um... Cool. Well, I don't want to bring that with me right now, but we will consider it. Just not yet. Uh, let's go back to the shock. Triple. Alright, oh, uh, what are you selling? We're going pretty deep. I guess give me a bunch of oxygen. Because what are we planning to do right now? We are planning to 
go deep for two reasons. One is we need to catch that thing for her, but we also need to uh, go help the sea people finally and not accidentally fail that one mission, <laughs> which is required to not fail. I'm pretty sure to get past that thing. Yeah, we need to go to the squid, which should also be near where the um, where the sea people is. Because I think I saw something like that floating around there. Because we weren't able to interact with it. It was because we didn't have the net that we just got right now. Alright, max ear is up. Alright, so let's just make a straight line there then. And try not to uh, take too much stuff. And only really kill things that are on our path. Ooh, ammo. If only there was things to use it on. Oh, I do need to keep getting scrap whenever we can find it, though. A lot of weapons are starting to require so much scrap. Every little bit adds up. Oh, we got a bat. <laughs> Secondly, better than our dagger, though not by much. Oh no, I have to go through the sea current thing. I should have went around. Oh no. Wait, I still could. Wait, let me just go up. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with that area. That's what happened last time when we kind of got lost in between. It was very annoying. So let me just go walk all the way around. Ooh. Tempting, tempting, tempting. Tempting. <laughs> tempting. <laughs> here and get obliterated. Right, there we go. <laughs> oh no, one that disappeared. I need two more of those Kajimi thingies. Ooh, should I kill this? Honestly, we've been killing so few of them. Oh, it's even more of a reason not to catch it, which is kind of ironic. Because if you keep catching the same fish over and over again, you get more value from them. So if you keep catching the same fish, you have more incentive to keep catching the same fish. Which is a weird self-perpetuating cycle. We're catching fish of the same kind. Makes it better to keep catching fish of the same kind. Meaning if you accidentally keep catching fish of the same kind, the game encourages you to also keep catching fish of that same kind. Which is the only weird gameplay loop <laughs> so far. Because there is incentive to get a variety, but at least initially, if nothing else, the incentive is higher to catch a lot of the same rather than a lot of different ones. Because you're rewarded more for getting the same than for getting different stuff. Oh, so am I stuck in one of these cycle loops? I am. That's unfortunate. How do I keep getting into these? I think it's left of where we are. I'm gonna grab some O2 over here though. Oh wait, that's not O2 though. Oh no. Or maybe I can go all the way down out from here. I'm not sure if that leads back there. Ooh, max a uh, weapon. Oh, if we need a weapon for anything, we're good to go. Oh good, I can just go down. That's perfect. Let me grab this. Oh, there's the uh, thing. Hold up. That's one of the things she wanted. One of five of them. So how do I catch it? Just click Y. Alright, that's easy. Oh, that's super easy. Oh, we got two of them. Still got several more to go though. Okay, let me check over here in case there's some hiding over here. Right, I need the pickaxe. Give me that. I'll be our new weapon for now. When do you start selling some excess emissifs? We're getting to the point where I almost have too many. I'm gonna have to tank this. Invincibility frames, go! Okay, we have two O2 tanks. 
Actually, one of them about to drop right now. So I need to find three more of our fish. I need to find two of that little starfish thing that creates our tranquilizer. And I need to find where on earth the sea people are, which is marked on our map. That doesn't necessarily make it easier to find. But then I just went into a dead end. And that's the reason why. <laughs> Wonderful. That would be a dead end. So I think it's like bottom left from here. Because that's where we had to carry her earlier. Means that's exactly where she is. So let's not fail the octopus thing this time. Did I even realize was failable? There's normally NPCs like that wait for you. <laughs> While you go in a venture off doing other things. Uh, not that one. I should hopefully give us more than one scrap, or two scraps, I mean. Nice, four, okay. So getting rid of a higher- okay, so we get to do this octopus thing again, right? Perfect, okay. Mm. Let's not fail this time. <laughs> As it is actually required for us to be able to get through. clear. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't. I'll let you get away with this. Ask Bacho for uh, takoyaki. Oh, there we go. So now we can probably get through that wall now. Yep. Because that was blocked before. Ah. It's a ran away again. It's definitely quick. Ah, it dropped something again. Uh, it always uh, leaves something behind. Uh, it might not be as bad as I thought. Ah, it seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Rusty weapon charm. Ooh. It sounds like it can improve our weapons. Well, obviously, it's a weapon charm. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, it might make it more ammo or more damage output. Speaking about ammo. I wasn't able to double harvest this guy last time. We ran out of inventory when we reached this point. There we go. Right, we do have a backup air tank if we need it. Which we might need. But you know what else we might need? Let me bring one of these rocks with me. Anything rockable over here? Yes, we've got a crab. Also blocking my armor and some... Uh, no! Fish! How could you? No! The fish body blocked it. There we go. Come on, give us a different piece of the fossils. Or do they only drop bones and I need to find something else? Because I have only gotten large bones from them and nothing else. But there's like three different types. So assume all the other two are from some other source then. That's why we've just gotten that unlucky. Oh, it's one of those jellies. Uh, I'm just gonna tank it. Very good. Oh, we actually used the invincibility frames from that. So I'm not sure if it was even close enough, but it still worked out. 
There's probably another light. I'll take it. Why not? Oh, no. It's actually... Um, oh, I don't need that. Well, I do, but... I need the light more than I need that. And the O2. Oh, this is one of the star things I need. I only need one more of those. Let's fit a good tranquilizer. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd uh, been eaten by a frilled a shark on your way here. Now we killed it. Uh, she talks like someone I know. <laughs> I think I'll uh, be able to uh, pull off the steak if you use the diving gloves from uh, Dr. Bacon, uh, who lives on land. Bacon, haha. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meats. Um, okay, wait a moment. Uh, let me try and pull. I do not need that, though I will take a refresh. At least they're in our way over here. So we saw it was in the top right, but it was on the other side, so it should be like right up here. Oh, this is a dead end. Let's go all the way around then. Let's pull the stake first. Oh, wait, hold up. It's not that way, then. Oh, wait. Was it at the bottom of it? Oh, yeah. It might have been at the bottom of it, but I didn't have the gloves. That makes sense. Um, Let's see. There we go. So many button presses at once to make that work. It was effective, but not enough. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Hmm. hmm. There's no movable device over there. I have to go check uh, it out first. Alright, uh, let's see. Should I see if we can find a starfish or something over here? Oh, no, this just connects to the other path. Hold up. Oh, interesting. This just connects. Okay. And this one probably leads to the other area, then. Also, I put ammo over there. I wonder if we need that for anything. Also, I don't think I caught that fish yet. Maybe we'll use that ammo for that if we don't have a bigger enemy to fight. Probably could be some kind of shark or something here, though. All right, hopefully... Oh, no. I was going to say, hopefully they don't move in. I wanted to grab that. And we got explodey jelly... Got move towards us jellies. Oh, there. That's why I needed. Okay, we can get max trank gun now. Or at least level two. Hopefully it goes up to at least level five. They definitely go at least to three, given that the other thing also upgrades by three. Alright, no big enemy in our way yet. I didn't see that there. Oh no. Oh come on, just let me have it. There we go. Oh, it's just a UV light. Why would you even do that? Uh, I should just assume every single box down here is a UV light. Uh, there's a stake in the back. If I pull that out. Oh, wrong button. Also, I just realized we still need three more of those things for her. We haven't actually found any other ones yet. We found two immediately, but I haven't seen more. Hopefully this bottom area that we're opening up will have more. Wow, human. Good, we have a path. Uh, you're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in. Uh, through the hole. Uh, you must have made. Uh, I'll go ahead. Uh, wait, I can leave now? Can't I? Uh, what do you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for uh, Romo? Besides, I have a request for you. So I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes. There's a reason I came all the way uh, up to the Human Sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Let's go. This looks like we got about three, three and a half hours left. And then we'll continue it tomorrow. We should be able to finish tomorrow, I think. how much content there would be overall. 
Because they're obviously adding more because it's still early access and everything. That definitely has a sizable amount. Uh, let's see. I'm getting real spooky vibes. Are we getting a boss fight? We haven't had one for a while. That sure looks like one. So, something just uh, moved past me. Human, go on ahead. Uh, be our lookout. But it's too dark. I feel like there might be uh, something dangerous there. Ugh. Hey, what's our equipment looking like? Our O2's a little low. This is a boss fight, but I got a backup tank. Uh, there's a dangerous creature presence. Enter? Sure. Now let's see if we get our first death. Deep Sea Cave. Because we're still deathless this run. Uh, what is this? Uh, why is there debris? I uh, like this so deep. Was that a lot of logic there? Welcome. I can't say about the same about our Hollow Knight run. <laughs> Gosh, I think we had like 50 death by the end. Counting everything. Oh no! Those vibrations again. Uh, something uh, has to be here. Uh, why did he uh, tell me to come along alone? Probably wants you dead. <laughs> Right, second boss time. The wolf eel. Well, what is that? There are wolf eels that big? Ah, I don't think I could run. Oh, whatever. I found it. <laughs> oh, we have more ammo over there. It moves pretty slow. We got here, we got weapon. Get a shot at him. There we go. Ah, looks really tough. Ah, it's a shining spot on his tail. It looks uh, weaker than the rest of its body. Ah, let's wait till he does his ear thing again. Can I just shoot him while he's doing that? No, it doesn't do damage. It's hard to tell when he's vulnerable or not. We got more ammo if we need. Oh, there we go. Gosh, that damage. That weapon does so much damage. It's not even the best DPS weapon either. It is if we can actually land all three shots. Uh, how can a wolf eel be so big? Uh -huh. I was uh, just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Ha, ah, you're stronger than I expected, human. Now, uh, you see that big uh, gate over there? Uh, let's, that's the entrance to the village. Uh, take the lead, human. Uh, can I grab ammo again? No, there's no ammo here anymore. Unfortunate. Let's go to the gate. We're a little low on ammo. Phew. Uh, we finally uh, back to the village entrance passageway. Uh, Romo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left the key back at the... Ah, just kidding. Haha, <laughs> I have it here in my bag. Oh, I thought uh, you would uh, ask me to take you again. Uh, let's insert the key and uh, get back to the village. People Village. The Golden Gates.
Oh, that's pretty good. Well done, that flash has just happened. <laughs> Actually, isn't that the same one from the cutscene? Well, I guess so. They didn't have to redo the assets. I guess that makes sense. Because there was a cutscene really early on in the game that um, showed us like a black and white version of it. Or whatever it was. That they changed up with it. Uh, whoa. So this is... Ah, that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. Uh, to think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait. How did a human get in here? Uh, uh, Ramo, Sawam, uh, were you kidnapped by this human? Uh, Tenjin awaits you. Uh, he's, uh, lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Ah, uh, allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Uh, just make it, uh, just take me to my father. Uh, it'll be faster for me to explain things to him. Tennyson's house. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Uh, where were you? My precious girl, your daddy, your daddy was worried about uh, his uh, wits. Or out of his wits. Uh, are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you? My daughter. Wait, who is that next to you? I thought you brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what is going on here? I'd like an explanation. Uh, you know that strange things has been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree? Of course, Ramo. I've been uh, looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have uh, all been lost, and uh, we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have uh, good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. Uh, they uh, dirtied our home, and even hunted our kind to put on display. They are wicked creatures, uh, lucky to hunt us and steal from us. Do not look at all the fish in our bag. <laughs> we can't uh, uh, ally uh, with the likes of... Another huge tremor! See? Something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Hmm. Uh, when I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, uh, Dave here helped me out. Uh, Suwan said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, <laughs> even even if I wanted this, uh, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans? Everyone would find that hard to believe. Uh, if this man can give the villagers trust, or gain the villagers trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the villagers trust... Uh, how does he go about winning that? How about asking around? Uh, see what they need. All right. Since today's long trip uh, must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back tomorrow. Uh, you'll have to listen to the village's request. Wait, I didn't agree yet. <laughs> how am I supposed to uh, come all the way here? A request from the sea people. Hey, chapter three. Oh, maybe we'll be able to finish chapter three today. Apparently we got two chapters done. Hmm. Since you say you helped my daughter, Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be uh, fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Use this, a mirror. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to the village. Wow. Uh, is such a thing possible? Uh, the various disasters have uh, caused our decline. 
Uh, but our ancestors uh, were a very advanced civilization once. Uh, right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this uh, village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you will be able to use it. It also operates from the lights of the divine tree, uh, or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh. And I'll give you a village map to use. Hey, we finally got a map in this game. It'll help you find the villagers. Mm. Ah, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. Mm. I'll have to uh, go back to the boat uh, with the mirror for now. Off to the boat. Oh, is it going to teleport us there instantly? I wasn't done yet. Oh, no. No! The second time it's done it to us. <laughs> oh, no. Well... Uh, one interesting thing that did happen, though. We have everything except... Oh, we got some eggs. Um, we got everything except... Oh, we also got this. But we got everything except the fragments in order to go and uh, finish off what we need. Oh, increased gun damage by 30%. Interesting. That's actually a lot of damage. Wait, what? 30%. That's actually a sizable amount of damage. I saw and started to see people mirror on the boat. Mm. I said uh, we'll be able to go there only during the day, so we'll do it tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, wait. I was going to do things. Stop automatically making me do things. Mm. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, looks like I arrived too late. Oh, he just got here so late. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I should be able to clean up. Mm -hmm. Huh. Miss Yashi. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended uh, just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights uh, were on despite the hour. Hmm. Pancho uh, seems to have gone home already. Okay. He looked a bit tired recently. Oh, so where do we sleep? <laughs> we literally just go from here to the boat to back. We sleep on the boat. Uh, he looked a bit tired recently. Uh, I'm worried he uh, might fall ill. Haha, <laughs> even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Oh, come to think of it. I heard uh, he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Ah, yes. Back then, I thought he was uh, gone for good. I wonder what it was about. <laughs> well, it's nothing that's secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it uh, with him present, just in case it's still a sore spot for Boncho. Hmm. Alright, we're still at it. We're going for like another three hours? Three and a half? Somewhere around there? Basically until 12 hours. <laughs> until YouTube forces us to have to stop. <laughs> I'm, uh, thirsty. Uh, can you first, uh, give me a glass of beer? And then tomorrow we'll finish it. Around the same time. Oh, uh, she wants beer. Uh, let's see. I haven't had to pour one some for a while now. Oh, I did that horribly. That's still good. <laughs> I'm so used to the other guy doing all of her, uh, drinks. <laughs> ah, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have uh, a view of the sea at night. Like this as I drink. Mm. Now I'll tell you a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Oh gosh, flashback time. This is the Dugak Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel. Uh, with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, uh, yes, but at its time, uh, the quality of the food and service uh, has been newly improved. Uh, Yoshi, do you have a moment? Uh, what is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a uh, reservation. A troublesome customer? Uh, do you know the actress uh, Louise Crawford? Cra uh, she made a reservation at the hotel. Hotel? Louise Crawford? Uh, Louise Crawford. Uh, she was a leading actress uh, with a long career. Uh, her role as a spy in uh, one of the most uh, famous works, The 42nd Floor, uh, was extremely impressive. She appears to have uh, hit a slight slump as her uh, new movies haven't been uh, doing very well. Manager? Uh, the manager had uh, uh, spent his entire life at the hotel. Uh, it was uh, like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a, a lot of knowledge about the uh, etiquette used by the uh, upper class of each uh, country, and uh, he was uh, very used to uh, servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs uh, sought his services. 
Hotel. Uh, our Dugak Hotel is a uh, luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, uh, we had uh, nobles staying in our uh, accommodations, and uh, many notable films uh, were shot here. Uh, many people seeking uh, that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. I've heard that Lewis Car uh, Car Crawford uh, can be very picky, but uh, we are a very high quality hotel uh, with history and tradition on our side. Uh, I don't think there will be an issue if she comes. Aha, uh -huh. so uh, there is, there it is. Uh, nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. Uh, we've won many prizes as well. Uh, just one thing, has this basically turned into a visual novel now? <laughs> just one thing. You uh, haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? That's one way to do a, a, a flashback. Change the entire style of the game for the entire flashback. <laughs> uh, the rumors? Uh, take a look at this. This is... She's uh, famous not only as a chef, but as a gourmet. Uh, there's that. There, that's a, a blurb she uh, published in a travel magazine recently. Hmm. It appears to be a, a description of her travels. Uh, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Uh, Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and she wrote, and yet she uh, wrote such a scathing review. Uh, bringing out the uh, bad does make a person look more professional. Uh, her writing is mostly like this. Uh, what do you suggest we do, Yashi? Decline the reservation. I don't know, you probably still want to accept it. Uh, I suppose we can't refuse the reservation, if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, uh, we'll have to think about uh, how we'll serve her. Uh, we'll take the uh, reservation, but we also need to think of a ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Uh, do you have any ideas, Yashi? Um, our hotel's strengths are uh, our, our uh, long history and tradition, as well as our highly qu uh, high quality service. Uh, the way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Uh, did she reserve uh, a suite? Yes, it's a suite. Uh, we'll need clean rooms and services that'll match her tastes. Uh, we'll treat her as a VIP. I'll uh, look into the uh, drinks and uh, amenities uh, she prefers and uh, place them as I also uh, check on the state of the rooms and about who will receive her. I suppose I'll uh, have to do that. Thank you. Uh, there's uh, no one that can uh, handle such a tricky customer except you, uh, with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. Uh, and about the meals, uh, we can offer her the uh, buffet for breakfast, uh, but we'll also need to uh, ready a dinner course. Italian? French? Italian sounds good. Uh, our hotel provides Italian food, uh, like a, a bistro, and a, in la, uh, a la carte uh, style. Uh, we serve uh, pasta or pizza uh, while uh, with a simple wine. Uh, the chef learns to uh, cook in uh, Naples, and his uh, margarita pizza, uh, margarita pizza, what on earth, <laughs> was good, but uh, it didn't really go well with the dinner course. Oh, probably Japanese, because this is the um, cutscene for him. So we should probably go get him in, as he literally only makes sushi. Uh, Dugong's Hotel's Japanese food. Uh, has uh, never been a strong suit. Uh, we only served uh, udon, or simple uh, dunburi. Uh, we've uh, been uh, making exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. Uh, Bancho is uh, famous for his ability to uh, reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was uh, recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. Uh, that means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Uh, Bancho hasn't really uh, proven himself yet. Uh, do you think it'll it'll be all right? Uh, Bancho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is uh, letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course. But this time, it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Louis Crawford. Cra I cannot say her name. Louis Crawford. It's like so easy to say, but looking at the word makes it harder to say. <laughs> Louis Crawford, after all. I see. That's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Bancho. This is literally just a visual novel now. <laughs> no more so, just text. I agree. Uh, best of luck, Yashi. 
I haven't actually played them, but it reminds me almost of like the style of um, like the Ace Attorney games. So I never actually played it in the Ace Attorney games. But I've seen kind of like how it's set up. So I guess that's just kind of a visual novel kind of style in general. Uh, Bancho, are you here? Uh, Miss Yashi, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look, all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Uh, Bacho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared uh, one day, uh, handing us a uh, resume and explaining he'd uh, been uh, learning in uh, Japan. I just realized every single time that she does that, she's talking to us directly. Well, technically all of it's talking to us directly, but I mean, like, you know, it's actually her because she's, you know, she's telling us a story while she's drinking beer. Anyways, <laughs> all the sushi establishments listed in the uh, resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me uh, that he uh, moved on each time after learning enough. Uh, the manager had a long talk with him and then uh, left the uh, operation of the Japanese food team uh, to him. Uh, he could uh, always be uh, found in the kitchen, uh, busy with something. Uh, day in, day out. He researched food on his own uh, when there were uh, no customers. Uh, he hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands of tens of thousands of attempts. Practice uh, without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you uh, never skip research and uh, practice, uh, Bancho. It uh, relieves me uh, that you are so hard at work. What do you mean, you're relieved? Bancho, uh, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? VIP? Service? Options? That's right. Uh, we have an important guest uh, who will increase our reputation. Or rather, uh, who might send it uh, plummeting to the ground. <laughs> uh, her name is Lewis Crawford. Uh, she's an actress that's infamously hard to please. And also a gourmet reviewer. And uh, service. Uh, it's been uh, about a year since you joined the uh, Dugong uh, Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which uh, was uh, never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that our, your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatments. So, you mean to say that I should try to please this picky woman, Lewis Crawford? Yes. Uh, this is important, as Dugong Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm, what do you say? For me, cooking was always, or has always been, a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season, and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? Alright, uh, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Pancho. However, I would like to offer inputs on the method of servicing our guests. All right, you're the expert, Miss Yashi. Uh, when it comes to serving food, a sushi course, the Kasiyayoi course, <laughs> sushi. Uh, sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order, uh, with a few side dishes inter, uh, inter interspersed uh, in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow customers to try many types of fish. Uh, what do you think of the sushi course? Uh, it's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, uh, we'll likely use tuna sushi, uh, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish, olive flounder being the season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, all right. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be uh, better than a single dish. That means it'd uh, probably be better to employ a Western course format instead. Though, it'll be a bit different from the traditional method. I think I could add soup uh, and uh, ho uh, co words. Horse de ovar, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tem sushi tempura, and uh, desserts uh, to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So, what will you uh, make for each dish? That's the, uh, there's the uh, soup to begin with. Fading, 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 a few minutes later. Oh, he's saying all of them, good, we don't have to read it all, perfect. Uh, yes, I think that'll be fine, uh, up to the sushi. Uh, tempura's next. I suppose uh, shrimp would be uh, the uh, most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact uh, with shrimp. Uh, we've uh, kept everything uh, pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. 
I've uh, been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have had a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark! Oh, gosh. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A, a, a shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are very tasty fish. Uh, this is the time of year when they grow fat, uh, boosting the flavor. Uh, the uh, meat in the cheeks, in particular, has a uh, lovely chewy texture, uh, which uh, reminds me, uh, reminds you of uh, both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Wouldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lewis Cr uh, Cr Crawford. A good food will impress anyone. Uh, anyone who uh, takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is the uh, best possible food uh, that can be uh, found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I am not sure if it'll be okay. Multiple dots. I can't help but think it's not uh, that great of an idea, Bancho. Ugh. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Uh, both the manager and I will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugog Hotel, uh, not to uh, a restaurant operated by you. A hotel uh, must seek to provide the uh, most uh, restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Uh, nothing can be allowed to uh, mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. But there is no guarantee she'll hate it. Uh, she'll know uh, from uh, taking just a bite that it's uh, one of the uh, greatest foods. Uh, there's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person, after all. What a pity. I understand I'll go with shrimp tempura, then. Though, it can't compare to shark. Does this game have shark fin soup? We have something similar to that that we've already made. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Oh, there she is. Ah, this way, Miss Cr uh, Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef, uh, who will uh, pr be preparing your food today. Pancho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Dot, 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 this knife goes through your neck. <laughs> oh my, uh, tight-lipped, are we? Uh, perhaps my uh, looks leave you at a loss for words. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little tense. Uh, he's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service uh, here being quite all right for an old hotel. I liked the carpet and the uh, paintings on the walls as well. Uh, furnishings at uh, Gloria Hotel have a uh, kitsch, kit, kitsch, 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 that word, quality to them uh, that I don't like. But, oh, is it cliche? That might be cliche. I don't, normally don't see that word written, but it might be cliche. Anyways, uh, but to think, uh, there's no gym. There's, you You definitely don't work out. <laughs> but to think there's no gym, uh, that's a, a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that you uh, stay uh, for as restful as possible. Uh, everyone uh, has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good. Uh, so I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Uh, here's the course menu. Stream snapper and yam soup. Steamed egg, pickled olive flounder fins. Okay, let's go with the first one. Looks good. Uh, there's a uh, steamed dish composed of grilled snapper and roe, uh, which was then steamed, garnished with a, a ground yam, and a uh, soup featured uh, fe features the uh, rich flavor of fish. Hmm, is that a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. Uh, that is the flavor of the uh, sashimi. Uh, there is a, a tiny bit of flavoring provided uh, by a, uh, condi uh, a, a condiment uh, made from uh, seven different spices. And the next dish is... A few minutes later. So, the tempura and uh, dessert are left. Uh, what's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. Uh, the sort of uh, commonly served uh, with rice. Uh, uh, the dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her reaction. Uh, have we succeeded? Uh, how do you like it? Uh, are you uh, happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be. I suppose. 
I suppose I could, uh, I come here to eat, uh, every now and then. Uh, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat, uh, food that's quite average? <laughs> even so, I'm sure our food is better than, uh, that, uh, most of other restaurants. Uh, the snapper soup or something was pretty interesting. Oh, but that's it. Uh, I was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. To think you added a sticky yam on top. Ah, I didn't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't uh, all uh, that's of your liking. Uh, ignorant of the fact uh, we served you Japanese. Uh, my mistake, uh, please accept my apologies. Uh, whatever, uh, it uh, wasn't that good, uh, but it was uh, healthy at least. Uh, this hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. <laughs> Um, may I have a word? Bancho? Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been uh, listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, uh, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have uh, better food than anywhere else, right? Now, now, Bancho, <laughs> Miss Lewis here is just... Uh, it is most definitely my fault uh, for failing to provide a food that satisfy you. Uh, will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, uh, I'm a very busy woman. Uh, what you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Pancho, you can't be talking about... <laughs> hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right. I'll wait, but remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Pancho, you can't be thinking of. What is it, Miss Yashi? Uh, is there something I'm missing? All done. There it is. <laughs> this is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. Objection. This is... You fried the whole head? This is an amazing dish. Uh, the meat in the uh, cheeks hasn't uh, been cut out. I choose to fry uh, the head whole to preserve the supple texture. Uh, you'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Take just a bite. I guarantee you'll be transformed or transported to heaven. <laughs> I am not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Duke Hotel? It's all my fault. I'll apologize. Uh, now, Bacho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Yulis. I, I should have uh, been more vigilant. Looks are not... <laughs> She's not... He's not going to apologize. <laughs> he's double... He's tripling down. He's quadrupling down. Uh, looks are uh, not all there is to food. Uh, why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lewis? Pancho, now is not the time. <laughs> I find this highly unpleasant. Uh, is this some kind of hidden camera prank or punishment? You'll pay for treating me like this or this way. Uh, don't think I'll uh, let you uh, get away with this. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Uh, charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. And flashback over. What a flashback. <laughs> and after that, uh, Bancho quits his, uh, quit his job at the hotel, left saying he needed to train. <laughs> It's uh, my belief it uh, wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients to cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's uh, going on the right path. Hello. I suppose it was stubborn uh, side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Mm. Uh, working with you, uh, with you now, uh, he even uh, started social media. Hello. I feel something has changed about him. And I like it. I think you've, uh, good for him. Please, continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Wow, what a cutscene. <laughs> Can we play now? <laughs> Visual novel over. <laughs> Day 12. It's pretty cool, though. Boncho's getting a lot of backstory. Like, out of any character, Boncho has definitely gotten the yeah. most backstory. I'm not sure if they're going to start doing that for other ones as well. But I feel like this game has been, like, 70% Boncho. <laughs> like, it might as well be, like, Boncho the Diver. Or Boncho the Chef. <laughs> Dave's just a side character at this point. <laughs> oh, Dave. Uh, you weren't around yesterday. So I was a bit worried. 
I couldn't uh, get in touch with you via uh, radio either. Mm. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. Yeah. You, you what? Mm. Uh, well, you see. Oh gosh, another flashback. You <laughs> know, we just got done with one. <laughs> Three minutes later. Yeah. I see. I envy you. I do. Uh, what are your lucky experience? Mm. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's uh, clear they have uh, problems to deal with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, why don't you go talk with the uh, residents first? I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the Sea People Mirror. Uh, what a pity. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What an unexpected turn of events! If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra Shop. No worries, we buy you out every day. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village. Alright, uh, let me go upgrade our equipment. We made a killing last night. We're sitting on like three, four thousand right now. Yes, we know how the mirror works. Okay. Unusable during day. Go to see people village. Ah, uh, some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? All right, well, let's check the phone. What do we have? It's forcing me there. Jellyfish half moon party. Uh, hello residents. We have finally uh, launched. That reminds me, I haven't actually been checking all these emails. I assume most of them were not important. Uh, hello residents. Uh, we have finally launched a tourism uh, committee. To promote the newly discovered mysterious blue hole. Uh, our first events, the Jellyfish Half Moon Party, uh, will be held in three days. If you know of any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes uh, to match this theme, please um, spread the word. No worries, we got you. Let's, let's read all of these. Do you want to get rich? <laughs> Wait, I can't select the other one. Oh, because we're probably in a cutscene one. Yeah, we're in a cutscene one. Uh, special customers arrive during events. Uh, prepare the dishes they like in advance. Oh gosh, we gotta do multiple of them. Interesting. You might hit the jackpot. Uh, special customers arrive during events. Uh, prepare the dishes they like in advance. Did I just read that? Oh, the same thing, just with a different image. Interesting. I was expecting different text. <laughs> oh, a party! Oh, what a nice looking picture! Ah -ha. Mm. Technically pictures. Uh, I guess they're uh, trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it uh, doesn't uh, get too chaotic. Well, it's a party held on a special day. Uh, we just wait for more customers. Uh, the mail said uh, party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes uh, should be popular. How many jellyfish dishes are there? Uh, so October 15th, so we have three days. Aha, make sure to prepare some jellyfish, uh, whatever kind it may be. Uh, let's uh, hit the jackpot. Okay. So we have three days. All right, well, uh, multiple things to go check. First, how are we doing with this? Oh, we finally have enough for this one. Let's go do it. We're gonna be slightly short on research, though. Are we like 10 short? We're, like right there. We still haven't found any of the other fossil pieces. The closest one we are is um, actually got a bunch of red ones. I've actually been skipping on those. Well, that'll be enough to get our next level and have 10 it left over. Which might as well turn in the other thing right now. But I need um, six. Um, Six red starfish. Oh, you know what else we got enough material for recently? But first, let me see my diver equipment. Uh, oh, wait. Why are we not loaded? Did we make a killing last night? Where did all of our cash go? Wait, what do we spend our cash on? Why are we not loaded? <laughs> wait. Where did all of our cash go? I'm not sure why I'm looking at that menu, but... Didn't we leave with like 3,000 something last night? Did we spend on something and I didn't realize it? Like, instantly? Oh, you know what? Maybe I already spent it. And then last night... Oh, yeah! We already spent it. And then last night was the story because it already closed because we were at the see people thing. I remember now. Yeah, we already spent it all. I remember. Okay. The cutscene was so long, I kind of forgot where we were. <laughs> I remember now. Okay. So we can't rank up any further because we're still in beta. Or early access. So it opens that official launch. Come on, launch already. Launch tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. So we won't be able to go any further on that. Calls. I don't think we have anyone we have to call. This is just our marine car progress. Uh, music's just all the music. Uh, oh, yeah. There was one weapon I wanted to go check. Um, what do we need for a hush upgrade? Because the only thing we're missing is 20 fragments. We have everything else. We have the previous one. We have the five brittle starfish. We have the gold. We're only missing 20 fragments. And at that point, I can start catching a lot of three-star things. Because we'll have six starts per thing. Which is quite a bit more than the normal three or four. And then every time we refill, it'll also have six. 
So, um, yeah, we'll be able to catch a lot of things. That'll also allow us to get a lot of eggs. So I might start bringing that soon. Though we need to try getting 20 fragments this dive. So that's everything we want to do this dive. We got to find a baby whale. We got to find three Cleones. And we got to build trust with the sea people. I guess I could just teleport to the sea people directly. Do you have any gear for us? Um, I, don't know, I guess we're going oxygen deep this time. Let's make sure we have enough while we're there. And then we'll bring that on our other visit. All right, let's go head out. Uh, is there any other upgrade I can get? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll need to wait until after the dinner tonight, in which case uh, we could probably get the cargo box, or at least the air tank. Get more air. And then start to work up the cargo box. Poor harpoon. <laughs> it might be unupgraded forever. I just don't see the value in upgrading it. They literally just give us less and less reasons to use it as the game progresses. Like, unless they made the upgrade free. Oh, wait, why am I diving this way? I wanted to go to the sea people's thing. Oh, no! Okay, well, plan B. I wanted to use the mirror and I accidentally dove. Because I forgot the mirror was there. So, we're gonna have to do some weird pathing here. Oh, let's go use the oxygen tank. Let's keep an eye out for red starfish. We're gonna have to take the scenic route. What else do I need while I'm going down here? I need as much scrap as we can get. So if nothing else, we can hopefully get 20 fragments. So doing this might not be too bad because there's one of them already. We'll grab a sea urchin over here. So we got one so far. We're about to get another two from there. So let's keep working it up from there. This is an upgrade. Let's see, what do we get? It is an upgrade. Which is not necessarily a good thing. I'll grab all this mess. Uh, O2, to go with our O2. Yeah, this thing needs to die. Uh, that is the only problem with not having, um... I'm just gonna have to go for it. That is the only really big issue with not having a good harpoon. Is if I need to just dispose of one unit very quickly, I have no way to do so. <laughs> like, at all. Which leads to situations like that where I have to waste ammo. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, cool. New fish. Oh, uh, there's more fish there. Grab this. Grab whatever's in here. Oh, O2 to go with our O2. I only have two shots left, so if you see a big thing like you, we kind of have to ignore you. Right, we're currently heading the right way. What else do we need while we are down here? Uh, build trusts. Find the whale. Get Cleons. So those Cleons were mostly in that one area. Oh gosh, we're in the waterway. Wait, we're on the left side of the waterway, so we're actually on the right area. Let's make it past this little breeze. It's down here. I grab the O2 over here. Oh, there's a weapon I can go dismantle over there. Oh wait, I might need to. This is a dead end. Hold up. Just dead end of myself. Oh, we got a golf club. Oh, is that a material? I need that material. Yeah, it's a fragment. I need as many fragments as we can get. I think we're at 14 or 15 now. I'll say 14. Or, I mean, sorry, we got um, 4, which means 16. Gosh, she's current. <laughs> there we go. I thought that was ammo for a second. Yeah, that's just wood. We don't really need more of that. I'm gonna go dismantle this weapon. So we're at four. How many are we have now? Depends what tier this is. All right, it should bring us to seven because it should give us three. Yeah, it seems like a tier one gives two, tier two gives three, tier four, or tier three gives four. So basically, one more than whatever the tier is. Oh, wait, am I stuck again? Why do I keep doing that? Oh, no, I'm not. 
Oh gosh, uh, I don't have the ammo to kill you. So you're gonna spawn ammo here. This is not ammo. Wait, what is that? That's just rope. We got O2 over here. Like, I want to go kill that thing, but this is actually the one situation where a harpoon would be kind of nice. Because we could double shot him and then kill him with harpoon. But I don't have enough follow-up damage to really get away with that. Wait, I'm going to skip most of the wars for now. Oh, I did not mean to use that. No! I used my oxygen instead of uh, disassembling because they're both use X. But I wasn't over top the fragment enough. Oh no. Oh, I still have a backup oxygen tank. If that was our only one, that'd be really bad. Luckily, we have another. Alright, we're taking like the most scenic route possible. Alright, we still need to catch two more of those. Where they are, I do not know. Two spawned here last time. There we go. Now we just need to find one more. If you could just spawn one more, like right on top of me, that'd be great. I just need one more. You should look around, around more. Wait, what? That's a big one. Just now. Did I see a huge Cleone? Oh, I found our fifth. <laughs> that looks like a boss fight over there. I'm gonna have to waste a shot on this guy. Wait, he's still not dead. I'm gonna have to waste both my shots on this guy. Yeah, we probably should upgrade the harpoon soon just to have an option for it. Right, there should be a pickaxe. I don't mind grabbing the better war. Not only does it likely sell for more, even though I haven't tried selling it yet, but the other stuff will probably need a lot for it for the upgrade. I haven't really found much of a use for the smaller wars yet. Uh, maybe I should try finding where that fifth Cleone is. He's over here. This leads to a dead end, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna go here in case that's where we fight him. I don't think we do, though. Still gonna check. Nope, just a dead end. Yep, super dead end. Luckily, I put oxygen over here, so if you ever go to this dead end, it's not for nothing. You just get an oxygen refill. Because that seems to spawn there every time, always. Same as the light to get back. So you're not really losing value to get here. If anything, you're actually gaining value if you need uh, oxygen. Right, so that's not where we need to go. Let me just double check that that is an oxygen, just in case. Alright, so we have an extra oxygen and an escape over here. We happen to need either. No, realistically, you're only going to need one or the other. Oh, we're out of light, but luckily there's a billion lights down here. Uh, let me grab all the bigger starfish down here because they've been pretty useful for upgrades. Uh, we got a wheel here. I have no ammo. I can kill it pretty easily if we can find some, though. That is not ammo. Fortunately. But it is a bunch of pieces we need for upgrades. Right, that's a new light. Uh, replace our other light. Okay, I cannot kill you at the moment. So give me a moment. We'll, we'll find a way. Oh, I found the way. Yep. Right, should I even bother killing it? Might as well. They shouldn't. We have like no weight right now. All right, let me go for a stunning shot. Uh, you got a bite out of me. Only two shots. Wow, that is a lot of damage. We don't even have the damage charm on. I forgot to switch it out. Right, that is some heavy fish. That's twenty-three kilograms right there. Like they pretty much just took out immediately one fourth of our weight. Instantly. 
It's just a light, isn't it? No, it's O2. Oh, that's huge. Wait, is it though? Because it's literally just O2 right there. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it this one in case we need like a full fill later. Anything over here of relevance? Ah, just a crab. Can we get through these rocks? Looks like we can somehow. I don't think we have the tool to do so though. Oh, so I haven't even caught one of those yet. I haven't ever tranquilized them, so I don't think I have. Because it seems like the only way. Because damaging them definitely doesn't. Alright, that one is much lighter. I wonder how much it's worth comparatively. Because that one takes up very little weight. And I got more O2 over here. I guess I'll grab this one. We don't, we don't need that much more. Oh, I got some rocks over here, which makes me think I'm going to need them for something here. Yeah, crabs blocking my weapon. Why do they only give bones? <laughs> How are you supposed to get the other two bone sets? They've literally only given me normal bones. I just will get us four fragments. I've completely lost track of how many fragments we're at. But I needed 20 total to dive. Oh wait, actually there's an easy way to check. Hold up. One. Wait, I can't scroll. Wait a second. Uh, wait, why do you have to scroll like this? I can't use either of the other two pads. Wait, that's weird. Wait, 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 wait. What? That makes no sense. <laughs> Only D-pad down works for going down. Like, the D-pad... Wait, now the D-pad's working in both directions. Well, that's so weird. Why does the D-pad have delay if this has no delay? That's so strange. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five. Because it's easier to count with D-pad. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven. Oh, okay, it doesn't want to work. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nine, nineteen. Okay, I need one more. Though more would also be good, but I need minimum one more. And that'll be enough for the six hush start upgrade. And then we can start getting fish eggs. we can also be able to use that on those little explodey thingies. And we got more O2 over here. I'll refresh my light, because why not? I'll definitely grab that star as we actually ran out. Or we will once we do the hush start thing. Oh, wait. Oh, does that do movement? <sighs> I don't want it. As good as it is... You're basically forced to have to use uh, zero items while you're here. Or, you know, you're forced to use two, which means you don't have, like, any room for any other item. Because you ideally want UV light so you can get through them. And you ideally want a backup oxygen tank just in case. Because you'll be kind of trapped otherwise or have to go all the way back up. Which leaves you with pretty much no spare space. Also, where am I even going right now? I was trying to head towards, like, multiple different objectives. <laughs> And not sure where we're ultimately trying to get to now. Like, obviously, we can go to the Sea People place. I also wanted to try to find where that one fifth thingy was. Cleon thing. Whatever it was called. But it looks like we manually got all the way over here. <laughs> not the way I meant to get here, but we took the scenic route. We had a mirror that could directly get here. But we're back. Can you trash the harpoon? You can trash other harpoons. You can't trash the one you currently have. Like, you can't put a different weapon there. It's always your harpoon. Alright, so we were supposed to, like, get a bunch of quests from them. Also, wow, the frame rate. <laughs> frame rate kind of died for a moment. Alright, let's go do a bunch of missions. Huh. Are you that human? Human? Not human. Or oh, human. Oh, who, man? Oh, I didn't see. This has an M there. Haha, <laughs> you look interesting. Uh, you don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. Oh, yeah, he's like that one guy up in the top. Uh, that one, like, um, the guy that went to the fish farm. Uh, what is your shop you're running? I sell various seeds here, as well as uh, flowers to offer King Long. King Long? Uh, my goodness. Uh, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He is the great king who saved the village from disaster. It's uh, very difficult to hold conversation with you. Uh, you know that? 
uh, go and offer a flower to King Long first. Uh, the tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. Go outside, yes. Also, I was reading that, but completely lost track of what word said. He said, get flower thing. Oh, somebody going crazy? Is it, like, lagging like crazy here? There it goes. It wasn't doing that last time. Like, where are we bringing these flowers again? Uh... Where? This pedestal? Or is that where I grabbed them from? That's where I grabbed them from. Uh, build up trust. Where do you want these again? <laughs> Hold up. Grab flowers and put them where? Uh, see people have died already. It's buried with the flowers like this. Do you want to buy the statue or something of King Long? Okay, I think you want it near the statue of King Long. Let's go find the statue of King Long. There's another building. There's the mirror to get back up. Where we probably would have been teleported to if we actually took the mirror. Here's some other random teleporter. Oh good, a cutscene. Okay. Oh, so this is the statue of King Long. Uh, it's the same uh, person as the uh, painting uh, from the record chamber. I guess you can put the flowers on the uh, platform in front of the statue. I have done what he asked, uh, so I should go back to talk to him. Right, well, one mission done. I did uh, peek a little, and it seems you did okay. Uh, even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Offer flowers to the kingdom. All right, there we go. All right, so we have 10 progress, and also 10 of some other weird currency. Of green jade coins. Right, next on our stop. Oh, so there's lots of stream lagging, by the way. <laughs> That's just the frames being dropped. I'm not sure why, but that one hub area is the only area we have lagged this entire game. Uh, well, well, are you the human uh, we've been uh, hearing rumors about? Haha, <laughs> no. Uh, you don't uh, look as scary as I ex uh, expected. My name is uh, Mima. I run a restaurant in this village. I'm Dave. And she kind of looks like us. <laughs> like every single one of them looks like someone from the other side. Uh, I'll be uh, helping out with the village for a while. Aha, uh -huh. oh, receiving uh, help from a human? I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see, it's not like I uh, ask you to uh, cook. Hmm. My uh, goodness, I forgot. Awang and Nawang ordered uh, lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that uh, were whispering earlier? Yes. Uh, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? Uh, they uh, would still be on duty at the gate. Please, help me out, human. Gosh, there's literally a billion fetch quests. <laughs> We're going to have to do ten of these. Because, assumably, they're just each going to give us ten. Progress. And this is like a mega one that gives us like fifty. That takes like way longer. Ooh. 
Because I would also assume there's like about 10 buildings here too. It doesn't seem like there's 10. Um, human, what is it? Um, I was asked to bring these uh, lunch boxes. Ah, these are from uh, Mima. Uh, you didn't add poison on the way or anything, did you? What? Why would I? Well, all right. Give it here. Good work, I suppose. Good, we don't have any suspicious poison weapons on us right now. <laughs> Joke's on them. I haven't upgraded my harpoon or anything all game. I don't have any poison. Well, there are some poison of the other weapons, though. I haven't done the upgrade for any of them yet. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Ha <laughs> ah, humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if you need something done again. There we go. Perfect. All right, well, we got like eight more missions to go to. Are we actually able to do them all in one go? We, it seems like we have infinite oxygen. Because our oxygen is not depleting while we're here, which makes sense. But uh, in doing so, <laughs> We can theoretically do every mission here. Unless some of them make us go to the outside world, in which case I will start using oxygen. But any mission contained within this area, we could just do right now if we wanted to. Might as well, we're already here. What's this? Is there another mission here? It's not blinking or anything. Uh, let, please let me interact. Uh, request board. There are no active requests. Oh, this is probably where they're going to put all the post-game quests. Or any future content quests. Because they could literally just put, like, any kind of text there and be like, go do this. Like, they could put infinite missions there without requiring more space. Uh, what do I do? Um, kids, what's going on? Well, uh, we were playing ball outside, uh, the village, uh, when a, uh, Magamoth shark, uh, supposedly appeared. Yeah, this place looks really cool. I just wish it didn't lag on my computer. I'm not sure if it does that for everyone or if it's just a performance issue. Like, our computer's not bad, but it's definitely not, like, the best piece of equipment out there. <laughs> it swallowed our balls. Uh, Mega Moth? You mean that huge? Yes. Uh, can you, uh, get it for us, human? Oh, yeah, that was that one sucking shark thingy. I think we already killed it this cycle, so I don't think I can kill it again. Wait, did we kill it this cycle? Maybe we'll go back and check. I don't think we did. We've killed it many times, but I don't think we killed it this dive. So we can probably still go for it. All right, we're just gonna have to kill that again. Okay, they just want their ball back. We gotta kill that one blowy shark that likes to suck you in. All right, we'll leave that one there for now because that one requires us to go outside. Let's see how many more there are that we can be done within the kind confines of this place. Also, let me stop. There we go. Right, what do we have here? Like, as soon as we go into a building, it stops lagging. It's, it's literally just that hub area. Cough, cough. Um, are you not feeling well? Human, uh, none of your business. <laughs> um, you look very ill. Should I bring you something like coral, uh, porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Uh, Ramo had asked me to uh, bring this before. Lies. Humans can't be trusted. Well, well, looks like it's uh, needed, so I'll ask Bancho to make it. Oh gosh, I need the ingredients again. Alright, so that's two that we can be done in the same area then. So I can get his ingredients simultaneous to killing the whale. So even though they're both outside, they're both outside in the same location. Well, same approximation location. Same general area. Alright, let me keep getting every single quest we can. At least get them started if we don't actually complete them here. It'll make it easier to go and complete them later. At least accept all ten of them. What is that now? Four? We need another six. Oh, that was the mission here. Uh, hey, a human. Um, yeah, you're the human that's uh, wandering about our village, right? Uh, what fancy decorations? What is this place? Ha! We see people uh, work hard every single day. This is the uh, place of uh, pleasure for the hardworking villagers. Giggity? <laughs> so I can't come in, right? Ha! <laughs> uh, it's all right. 
Uh, species is no barrier to enjoyment. Giggity. <laughs> is it? Yeah. All right. Uh, you're helping out at the village. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess that's how uh, it is for now. Yeah. I've been uh, needing help with something. Yeah. Giggity. <laughs> no. <laughs> this establishment operates seahorse races. Okay, just seahorse races. Boss alarm. It's just seahorse races. Uh, which are extremely popular. Uh, the recent earthquake uh, destroyed the general quarters and all the seahorses have run off. Uh, they should still be in the village. Uh, will you catch them for me? Okay, so that one can be done in the village. So wandering seahorses. Uh, come to think of it, uh, Maki gave me a bug net. I think I could uh, catch seahorses with it. Oh, so that Maki thing was actually required? Interesting. I thought those were optional things, but apparently it required if it's needed for this. I think I'll talk to everyone. Already here. Oh wait, I'm not talking to the kid. I'm talking to the other guy. Uh, hey. Uh, well, look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble uh, coming all the way down here. Uh, nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going. Uh, when you're tired, eh? Uh, let's play a game with me, huh? Alright, let's see. Shark teeth. So, this is a game of uh, sharks, uh, which you play with Junak. Uh, remember the uh, shark cavity uh, that you'll uh, you'll sometimes uh, get a glimpse of. Uh, numbers between one and six are selected, and whoever touches it first will lose. All right, let's wager ten. How right, so does this work? All right, so it's that one. It's the one right to the side of two, like vertically up from the left side. Oh, wait, but that's on his turn. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. I need to pay attention to where that is then. Is that one right there? Yeah, it's that bigger one to the side there. Okay. So this is basically like that one Mario Party minigame. <laughs> There's a lot of things in this game like that one Mario Party minigame. So wait, so it's right there. So that means three, three. Okay, he cannot kill us with three. So I'm going to three. And if he does two or more, we ought to win. I think his only safe move is one. Yeah, he lost. Because now we just do two and we auto win regardless of what number he clicks. Unless I looked at the wrong one. And now it doesn't matter what he clicks, he loses. But yeah, it's literally that one Mario Party minigame. Interesting. You won. Let's see what the other minigame is. We still don't have enough. Okay, uh, we're done with that for now. So I get to definitely see us making a killing on that. Especially against AI, if the AI is not good on the highest difficulty. Oh, this is one of the shell memory games. I don't think we need an explanation. This one's very straightforward. But I think the other one will be easier. It's lighter on the eyes, and you don't have to remember one thing. All right, let's see how bad we do with this. I was great at these as a kid. Oh, it's bottom right. There we go. Yay. Okay. Cool. Little mini game. I definitely like the other one a little bit more. I wonder if doing the other quest will give us another mini game. Right, there we go. Cool. All right. Now I actually want to talk to you. No, talk to the kid. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to everyone in here. There we go. Uh, how can hermit crabs be so fast? Uh, the earthquake. No, that's not who I want. But gosh, it, it has such a high hitbox for who you want to talk to. I haven't won any money since humans came here. Uh, this can't be a coincidence. No, I did not want to go out yet. Uh, this is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. Okay, let's go get seahorses. And they said they were in this area, so we don't have to go anywhere for them. All right, let's see if we see any seahorses. They should be marked on our map. Should make them easier to see. Like not marked on the map, but you know, like we're when they're in the, our rectangle, we should see like a square above their head. Because they are a quest object. Because they're gonna be really hard to spot otherwise. I wonder if they can be in the buildings. Let me double check.
Oh, uh, let's see. Well, if they can, they're not in this one. We haven't even seen one yet. We're like halfway th across the area. All these seahorses at oh there's one. Oh yeah, so they are marked like that. Perfect. Alright, one down. If you would ever catch it, please. Catch, catch, catch. Hello? Catch. Thank you. <laughs> right, where are the rest? Alright, there's another one. need to find the crowned one and the dwarf one. Let's go check the buildings again. We already checked the leftwards half. Are there any in here? Oh, right there. I said they can't be in the buildings. Alright, let's hope the other one's in the kitchen. That seems like the most likely other place. Otherwise, it's probably all the way to the right of the map. It's literally the village of fetch quests. Uh, I don't see any in here. Uh, it's probably all the way to the right then. Did I miss any buildings on the way? I don't think I did. I forgot, we can infinitely sprint down here. This building I already checked. This one I have not. Wait, is this the game one? I don't know, maybe I have actually. Isn't this the game room? Because it wouldn't be in here. That's where we accepted the quest, yeah. It wouldn't quite literally be in the room we just accepted it in. That'd be kind of funny. I lost my seahorse. Where could it be? Oh, it's just right there. Never mind. Like when you accidentally leave something in your pocket. Alright, that seems like everywhere then. Oh, there's an exclamation point over there. We could probably use that one portal to get there. That must be what the other one's for. So the mirror goes back to our boat. But that portal goes back to the section of this area. And yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, we checked the whole bottom area. Okay, so there must be one up there then. That yeah, makes sense. Even this area lags less than the other area. That is so strange. It's literally just that one hub area. Like, not even this hub area lags. It's literally just the one up front that lags. Now, where on earth is the seahorse? Oh, so I just realized something. This game has auto-save, but I never threw down a manual save yet. Oh, I think we have to do it on our phone. Oh, no. Because I see that white flashing on the screen, it's like, oh, this game's gonna crash. <laughs> this area definitely seems like, if this game is going to attempt to crash, this is the area that it will crash in. Oh, uh, you must be the outsider. Uh, may King Long protection be with you. Oh, hello. Uh, what is this place? Oh, this is where the um, we commemorate King Long. It's also where we uh, store records of our history. Ah, I heard uh, from uh, Tenjim that you're uh, helping out in the village. Yes, well, uh, that's how it is for now. Hmm, in that case, there's something I uh, like your help with. There's uh, a lot of, there, there's going to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate. Uh, we need for the uh, wedding, however. Uh, I should have uh, been more careful about it. Uh huh, that sounds like a big deal. Uh, but how can I help you with something like that? Uh, in the days uh, when the sea peoples uh, roamed the seas freely, uh, we left some records in the human waters. Oh, 
Uh, he must be uh, talking about the uh, Sea uh, People Record Chamber. Uh, there should be a stone uh, slate in uh, one of those places for certain. Uh, please, uh, do help me out, human. Okay, that's all the way in the bottom right of that main area. Hmm. It was a song for the wedding, right? I guess I'll go to the Sea People's Record Chamber first. Okay. Gosh, we're going to have to go everywhere. Uh, though, luckily, a lot of that's not too far away. Uh, would you uh, do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. Uh, may the blessing of King Long go with you. Alright, that one we probably can't make this trip, as that is way out of our way. Though the other two that are in the area, like right to our left, should be doable, though. Yeah, her request is super out of the way. Alright, we're on Urphus's final course. Because I'm not seeing it here. I believe I have checked every building. Wait, does it teleport on both sides? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I haven't checked this building. Wait. Got a building here. There it is. Final seahorse. Right, while we're here, uh, was there a mission? No, it's just you. You're just here. No worries, we're working on it. <clears throat> I go out of the village. We got all four seahorses. Let's go return it. Alright, where's the seahorse lady? You know what? It might be quicker to take the right teleporter. Especially since this area doesn't lag as much. Though it does have flashing white bar. <laughs> so the area could definitely use some optimization. Oh, they're working on it. Oh no, the frames. <laughs> you can see them disappear as you teleport. Alright, uh, let's go over here. Luckily, once we finish all these missions, we probably won't have to come back here too often. Or at least not in the mega hub area. Oh, well, well, you brought all the seahorses back. Uh, they were uh, quite difficult to find. Ha, ah, we can now uh, resume our seahorse races. Catching runaway seahorses. I'll give you a seahorse as a thanks for your help. Wow, uh, thanks. Can I get one? Uh, go speak to uh, Yami, uh, who can uh, find in the front of the um, race course. Uh, hope to see you around in the uh, game uh, Palor, human. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of the seahorse uh, race horse. <laughs> ah, I heard you caught all the seahorses that uh, ran off. Uh, thanks to you uh, so much for that. Yeah. I heard from uh, a Lichen uh, already. Uh, we'll give you a nice strong uh, seahorse as a gift uh, for your efforts. We got uh, J Car Seahorse. Let's go do some seahorse racing. It's the only minigame we haven't tried yet. Uh, wow, well, I've been seeing uh, many seahorses uh, like this elsewhere uh, as well. Uh, can they also race here? Yeah. Of course. Uh, bring them to me. Actually, have we ever caught a seahorse yet? I don't think we have. Now that I think about it. Uh, bring them to me and I'll register them as uh, for the races. Uh, since you're here, uh, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Uh, select the register menu. Ha! Huh. Uh, this is where uh, you can register seahorse uh, you've caught uh, for the races. Uh, why don't you try it out right now? Oh gosh, are we going to be able to breed seahorses? Do they have individual IVs for every single one of those stats and you can breed them down and keep do a whole breeding lineage until you have a perfect statted uh, seahorse just to win the races? <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's go race. Right, uh, this is where uh, you can select the course and begin a race. Uh, since this reminds me a lot of like the Chow Garden. <laughs> Though a much more simpler version uh, from Sonic Adventure 2. 
Uh, this is where you can uh, select the course and begin a race. Uh, since you're uh, new to this, I should just select in course C for starters. But I don't believe we have a choice otherwise, so. No reward. Alright, uh, this is where you can uh, see the participants and uh, check who you're up against. Haha. <laughs> Uh, now then, uh, shall we select a seahorse for the race? Okay. Right, we only have one. Uh, this is where you can select uh, one of the seahorses you've, you're, you've okay. registered. Uh, oh, the seahorse's stamina is really important. Uh, always make sure to check the uh, arrows on the right. Okay. Uh, once the seahorse uh, once the seahorse races, uh, they need to uh, rest to recover their stamina. Uh, you should uh, have uh, several seahorses ready for the race. Uh, let's go uh, with this one right now. Uh, looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Right, ready. All right, let's see what this is about. All right, cheer uh, using B to increase the seahorse's speed uh, and win the race. Uh, if your gauge goes fast, uh, the green uh, fast. Wait. If your gauge goes past the green, you slow down. So be careful. Uh, there are different grades and uh, types of races. Uh, hurdle and uh, combined uh, races offer greater prizes. Let's go. So do you hold B or press B? Okay, it is spam B. It is spam B like crazy. Uh, we're kind of behind because I didn't start correctly. But maybe we'll catch up. <laughs> oh, we had a bad start there. Oh, we got it. That was close, though. We definitely need a better seahorse. We're on the lowest grade and we barely won. Wow, that's impressive for your first race. I knew you had potential. I get 30 points, though. I still said I had no reward. Oh, there we go. We got a reward. I'm going to unlock some other options. Well, I guess in that case, we'll take this one. Why does it keep saying no reward? Maximum reward, no reward. Oh, it means I haven't done it yet. Oh, I see. All right, well, let's go try the other C. I, I'm pretty sure we can't do a higher rank. Let's try the combines. All right, let's see what happens. Ready? I just hit the thing. Wait, how do you even hit L like that? Well, honestly, it's not even going to matter. It might just be quicker to hit the obstacles. Because one says to click L, the other one says to click L. <laughs> this might be the first instance where I'm not sure what the button prompt is. Because they both say to do the same thing. Oh, unless it means up and down. But it's not very obvious with that. Because the last time I told that, it meant like press L stick in. But they can't both be press L stick in. They're literally opposite actions. I right, worry about the rest later because I highly doubt we could do them now. Though while we're here, I do want to try one last thing. Actually, two things. Manage. Oh, his stats are lower when you have um, less stamina. Interesting. <clears throat> but what I want to go check, I want to go check the advanced version of this shark game. All right, this should be max difficulty. All right, let's keep track of where it is. Where is it? Where's our win condition? All right, it's that one right there. It's the one after big one. Let's see how good he is at this game. Because this should be max difficulty AI if it's max in the thing. Alright, uh, we're still far enough away that it won't matter. I could go for a three. Speed it up. <coughs> I assume it's going to matter how we play. I wonder how good the AI actually is at this. Alright, now it is math time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six remaining. Which means I go for two. Because we auto win. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I go for two. He can go for any, but can't win. I go for any, he auto loses. This is broken when you have three numbers. Like, you literally have a 100% win rate, unless you, like, really mess up somehow. Because I just go for three. And any auto loses. Like, unless you forget what two fit was, or you do, like, a huge misplay, this is a 100% win rate every time. I'm still not sure what you use these currency on, though. But whatever it is, you can earn 100 at a time very quickly, just by spamming this over and over again. Because that's max AI. <laughs> Assuming it's even using a different AI. Right, I just wanted to test. Now, where do I cash this out, though? Because I haven't seen anywhere where I can use this currency yet. Well, we can earn 100 at a time just by spamming that over and over again. So you need to have 100 to begin with. As long as you have at least 10, you can work up to the 100 and start doing 100s. But that's like 100 every, like, two minutes. Now just figure out how to use them. Okay. So what are we doing now, missions here? Uh, I'm starting to lose track. We have so many going. We have to go back to the chamber. We have to go find ingredients for the one guy. And we have to go kill that one uh, whale that blows. Or that shark or whatever it was. Okay, so let's go head back out. Because two of those missions can be done out there. And I think that's every mission now. That we can currently take. So kill whale. Get four ingredients. Go back to him to go cook it. And then uh, come back. And the other one is go to chamber and come back. Meaning we're going to have to take the scenic route next time. We want to come back here. Go to the chamber. Um, bring back the soup for the other guy. And we'll be good to go. So the two things we need to do on this dive is retrieve ball from whale in this area and find the four ingredients. The four ingredients probably be the most important thing. Also, I need to go use for it. Also, we can finally leave the lag area. <laughs> also, once we can finally get up, we really need to go throw down a safe before it crashes. It seems like an area where I could definitely see it crashing. It has autosave. But I still want to have like an actual manual save slot in case the autosave gets corrupted somehow. Right, so I need to find these ingredients and I also need to find that whale. Assuming we haven't killed the whale this cycle. I actually do not know. Actually, there's a way to check. Let's see if anything looks like a blowy whale. Or shark or whatever it was. Mega mouth shark meat. Ah, oh, was that him? No. Yes? No? It was killed before this one. I don't think it is him. Though I honestly don't know. I think it is. Based on the Mega Mouth, I think I killed him this cycle. Which means I can't finish out that other mission right now. That's unfortunate. Because we have to kill it to get the ball out of its mouth. But it's already dead. <laughs> But there was no ball in his mouth because we took the quest beforehand. I mean, after, I mean. So what's with the random rock in the middle of nowhere here? Oh, I see why. It's to kill you. I was like, wait, that rock's like super random. I got a key over here. Can't get through, though. All right, so there's several things we need to look for while we're down here. We're looking for four ingredients. The fi Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that him? Wait, did he respawn? Oh, he respawns. That's huge. He actually respawns when you start the quest. Oh, that looks like uh, the one that swallowed the ball. Oh, that's perfect. Because I believe we already killed him, but he respawned because the quest was started. And now this is the quest one that has it in his mouth. Perfect. I got two go two two kills on him in one go. And there's the ball. Perfect. Yep, and that was the one we already killed. But they got respawned because it respawned as a quest item one. Instead of the original one that was there. Is that an electric eel thingy? I kinda wanna kill this. Wait, he didn't die. Wait, what? How on earth? Did one not kill him? Oh, I gotta be careful. I only have one shot left. We need ammo. So what am I looking for now? I'm looking for four ingredients. 
There's somewhere around this deep area. Where specifically? Not the slightest clue. Oh, there's one. We need four, two of both. Oh, I didn't see the crab there. Oh, you can have your ingredient. I'm not going to kill you over it. All right, so we know we're in the right area now. It's just a matter of finding the four ingredients at this point. Like, so I missed a couple of bullets the first time. Yeah, he had a, such a small hitbox, it probably didn't miss. Yeah, we do need to find more seahorses. I'm curious if he could breed them. And if they actually have breeding over stats, because that'd be really funny. If the breeding mechanic is used for that in this game. <laughs> like a Pokemon style breeding the stats to be better. Where we cook all the bad ones and we, uh, we breed only the best. Wait, did I just make a circle loop? Oh, there's one of the things I need. Well, if nothing else, it showed me where one of them is. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Perfect. I'm gonna grab these. Oh, there's one over there! Wait, what? Wait, I hope more than that spawn. Because one of them is all the way back over there. Also, oh, we officially have enough parts to upgrade our hush uh, thingy now. So we won't have to worry about that. Okay, you can have that. <laughs> Not worth using oxygen over when there's one literally right here as well. Oh no, I only have one shot for that guy. Can't kill him. Now right, we still need two more of these. One of them we know where the location is. We just have to go all the way around. All right now we just need feather coral. I just need to find oxygen. I think there's some behind us. There's also some over there. There's an issue with that, though. Oh, no. Perfect. Run. <laughs> run, 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 run. Oh, more ammo. Ow. I just need one more of these, and we actually know exactly where it is. Kind of. It depends what you define as exactly knowing where it is. <laughs> there it is! Okay, now I know exactly where it is. Perfect! I, I got all the coral I needed. Now I just need to go make the soup. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, I forgot uh, that I need the coral uh, porridge. To just, yeah. All the ingredients have been gathered. Yep, just gotta bring it to Bancha. Perfect. I guess that was easy to get to then. Why did it seem like we was to the bottom right of us earlier? Unless more than um, four spawns. Which could have happened. Okay, so... I need to return to that one place. So I don't want to over-encumber here if I can help it. I also want to go kill that one eel. But I think we have to ignore him. As much as I want to go for the kill. I also need to find a way to get back to the Sea People's Place. By actually remembering where it is. <laughs> oh no, memory. Oh, free oxygen! Perfect. Alright, let's figure out where the Sea People are. Because we got the ball and we got the four ingredients. Oh, wait! I just realized something, though. I just realized a slight issue with that plan. I can only return the ball right now. So going back actually doesn't matter. Wait, let me just find a teleport and get out of here then. Find like one more big fish. I should have just grabbed him and killed him. Wait, it's not too late. We can kill this guy. Because um, there's actually no point in going back. 
because I can't get the soup until I talk to Boncho, and I can't get the plate until we go the scenic route back here. So there's actually no point in um, doing that. We mostly just want... No, don't do that. Don't do that. We mostly just want to find a teleporter now. Is it right here? Perfect. Okay. So now I just need to go find a kill, and I think I know exactly who. There's like an eel thingy over here. Whatever that was. So let's kill this one, and we're out of here. Let me get the ingredient before I do. Salt. Alright, where's the one kill we needed? Where are you at? There we are. Right, let's get a nice angle. And then kill it. And kill it again. Better angle. So much damage. Eh, we're out of here. Oh, we still have space left, oddly enough. I don't think I'm going to pick up anything. Unless there's something, like, right next to the teleport. She might be. Yeah, it's kind of funny, because you normally wouldn't be able to kill two of that one whale. But because it respawned from the mission, we're after you're able to get double kill on it. Alright, come on. Show me, like, one thing I can grab real quick. Right, this is technically one thing. I can also grab the jellyfish, I guess. Didn't we have some kind of event with jellyfish coming up? Oh! We finally got a new one! Wow, that took way too many rolls. That is actually how you get them. We've just been that unlucky. It's actually kind of insane. Alright, now we're over-encumbered. Right, we're out of here. Because that means we went like seven bones in a row before we finally got a new one. <laughs> that we actually needed. Alright, we're out of here. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. And now when we go back, um, we'll be able to get multiple things done. We already have the ball. We'll be able to go grab the plate on the way there. We'll have the recipe for him. That's every mission. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough points, but it is every mission that's there. Oh, new record for items obtained as well. Oh, so you know what I could actually do on our run? We can go bring the hush start this time. Because I can actually afford the upgrade. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that fish are still breeding over there. But yeah, I have enough to go upgrade it. Let me go check. Um, if I go to weapon, and I go to upgrade, and I click on the hush dart, and I click all the way over here, there it is. Hopefully these go to level 3. We're about to find out. Or maybe they do, but they don't during the early access. Well, we're about to find out. Let's see. Uh, creating this device weapon will cause the existing weapon to vanish. That is fine. Uh, depending on the weapon characteristics, uh, the stats of the existing weapon uh, may not be preserved. That's fine. There we go. A cup right away? Okay. Do you go any higher? They say yes. No? No! They only go to level 2! They need to add level 3. <laughs> Hopefully they will before the game fully launches. No, it only goes to level 2. That's still nice. Oh, we need level 3. Alright, we got a Trank gun now. Let me just make sure it's equipped. Uh, yep. Six shot Tranquilizer gun. And that will help us get a lot more eggs and everything. Cool. Alright, we're starting to get a lot of Amos to 4. Let me just double check. What do you even upgrade Amos to 4 with? Because I haven't used it a single time. In all fairness, I haven't used a lot of the ores a single time. So it's not the hushes. It's not the ropes. Ooh, okay, wait. That one uses it. Oh, is it the base value ones? Hold up. No, only for that one it does. Interesting. So it's only for what? The sniper rifle? Is there material only used for that? Unless something needs it for a second upgrade. But otherwise, it's only used for the normal sniper rifle. Which I'm not sure why you would ever imbue it to be normal. I should go sell a bunch of these amethysts then. 
Because I'm not seeing anywhere else where we need to use these. Yeah, let's just cash them in. I'd rather have the cash then. Uh, with you. We'll sell down to 10 like I've been doing with the other ones. Right, they sell for 50 a piece too. Uh, there we go. I'll just sell them all down to 10. Except for that one. We'll keep that one for now. I haven't seen literally anything that uses this, but that's going to be really annoying to get. As I only know one spawn, you only get three each time. Or is this, I think, has like two spawns, so if you really need to farm them, you can get a bit more. Alright, uh, let's see. There's nothing else we need to do, so let's go dive. But first, uh, let me buy your last item. Oh, it's only your cargo case. Do we care about that much? I don't know, I guess it still matters. I'll bring it. 40 gold for 10 extra inventory is pretty nice. All right, we do not want to go to the sea people. I did mean to do that the previous time. However, this time we deliberately do not want to go to the sea people area. We need to try to find a baby whale. We need to try to find the fifth Cleon. We need to find try to find a better seahorse because we might as well. If any of you see a seahorse, let me know because I'm pretty sure I've missed them a thousand times. <laughs> and uh, we need to go get the slate. Though our main thing is get slate and then head back to that town. The whale and the uh, Cleon thing is just extra. Also, we got about two hours left. A little under two hours. Might be able to finish all the sea people we're wrestling within that time. Oh yeah, we have Trank Darts now. Something to consider. Got more ammo. Honestly, we could just Trank everything. In all fairness, I'm pretty sure I've caught mostly smaller fish already like that. Same as you guys. Oh wait, I need to be setting to see uh chamber thing. I should probably head uh, up left right. Cause that'll be a little bit easier for getting there. Sorry, am I gonna have to leave you by? Oh, so we need more red seashells. Those are pretty common up here. Oh, you know who I probably haven't gotten tranked yet? You. There's a chance I have. There's also a good chance I haven't. Wait, I can't? That's weird. Well, <laughs> well that would explain why I haven't. <laughs> Apparently I'm not allowed to. It's not yet, for whatever reason. This is more ammo, but I might as well grab it if we're already here. Yeah, we got there barely out, out in time. Alright, nothing over there. Nothing over here. Except some O2. Which I guess I could grab real quick. I gotta trank this guy though. I just realized, if we're about to heal on water, we technically don't have to care about him hitting us like that. Alright, there's the shark that normally spawns here. On the far right. Oh, there's that one kelp thing. I need more of those for the research thing. Yeah, we need one more of those. You see something that looks like an underwater palm tree. There's two of them. Perfect. I order palm trees. Wait, isn't there another one right there? There it goes. <laughs> I thought I could drop two. There it is. Another little red starfish. Some more ammo. You know what I actually want to do? I don't think I've ever caught one of these as small yet. 
It's probably an inefficient way to get them, but it would work if I could actually hit it. There we go. I don't think I've caught on this one yet. Oh, 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 don't, don't, do you there? I'm not sure if we did, but we have one now. Speaking of which, I'm not sure if I've done you guys either. Oh, seahorse. Found them. I found a seahorse. Wait, did a trank not work on him? Oh, it did. I just accidentally did it when he was puffed. Keeping track of completionists is going to be kind of weird in this game, because I don't think you can check if you've three-starred something, unless you're in your boat. Which is going to be hard to tell when you're looking at it in the wild. Like, have I done this one yet? <laughs> That's going to get really confusing later. Like, have I done this one yet? Probably. Have I done that one yet? Probably not. here. We got one of you two. Oh, this little guy. I think that'd be a new one that we haven't gotten like that as well. I already got the squid and everything. All right, where are we heading? Oh, I need to go all the way right for the sea chamber. Oh, also, I have the extra box. Should probably go use that. Oh, um, I should probably keep the seahorses on me, though. Or at least a seahorse. Ah, uh, this is going to work out for weight, though. I need to take out exactly three somehow. Oh, where's the thing that required four? There it is. All right, and bring that back up. Oh, no, 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 put that back, put that back. All right, there we go. All right, exactly ten. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Good to go. Because I want to keep the seahorses. Okay, we got an O2 tank. Perfect. Great to see. Alright, let me actually go up here. Because there's like a sea chamber thingy over to the right here. I can't remember exactly where. I think it's actually up from where we are. Oh no, it's right here. Perfect. Because we needed this for the tablet. Thing, or whatever it was. Because one of them requested it for the wedding. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, why are there so many fish? Oh, wow. There's a lot of fish here. I haven't caught you yet. Oh, I only have one trank. Ah, there appears to be a slab. I should uh, take this to the shrine for the Sea People Village. Right, there we go. Any fish we haven't caught in? Uh, we might have not have twanked you yet. Let's see what we get. Anything good? Yeah, it does sleep. Perfect. Nice. Oh, we actually need that for some quest thingy, too. Unfortunately, I'm out of Trank, so I can't catch the other one. Oh no, they could have actually damaged me during that cutscene. Oh no. The leaving cutscene. Because they were still moving even after the transition. Ooh, we could go back there and catch a few more if we want. One of them is our mission, I might as well. 
I can't do that on the big guy, but I can do it on um, the other big guy. <laughs> the smaller big guy. That one. Oh, let me double check if there's any other of him in there. I don't think there is. Because I need three more of them. Just one. I think that's all of them of him. I only think of values to kill that thing, but I don't have anything to kill him with since we don't have a harpoon. Or a weapon. And by that I mean a weapon. <laughs> we have a harpoon, it just isn't going to get used, ever. We eventually will upgrade that harpoon. At some point, it will be upgraded. At some point is not today. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've caught in you, uh, Tranked, yet. You seem like one that can. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> that's not a tranquilizer. Still a three-star? No, I still can't do the thing for him. That's weird. Some of those bigger ones that still tranquilize, don't you actually take them? Oh, wait, I never caught in that. Interesting. Isn't this the same one I need more of the mission for? Oh, wait, does a purple marker on it mean it's a mission? I didn't even think about that. It is. Oh, cool. A purple marker above their head means they're an ecology mission. Boxing gloves, I guess. We get a pickaxe. I'm out of ammo. Oh, I never even caught one of those before. Do I like more ammo, please? Oh, we found O2. Found another one for the mission thing. Come on, there has to be ammo here. Because normally there'd be some so we can kill you. No, that is not our intention for the ammo. At least this time. Let's catch everything around you. Oh, that's also a new one. Gosh, a lot of these in this middle area I haven't caught. And all three stars as well. Plus, we'll probably get some eggs from them. At least potential. Yeah, another one that we never caught before. Amazing. Gosh, a lot of them we left behind. Alright, let's go to the sea people chambers. And anything else interesting, we'll throw a tranquilizer in it. That we think we haven't caught in yet that can be tranquilized. I love this new tranquilizer gun. Now that it's upgraded, we can actually use it properly. Because it, it, by default, it normally has way too few ammo to really get much value from it. But fully upgraded. Like, we're right now at what its normal stock would be. <laughs> we get six instead of the three. Which would be by default. Oh, what's that? Is that something I can catch with Y? No. Wait, I still want to catch it, though. <gasps> it didn't let me. Come on, please. No, wait, is that in the background or something? Oh, it is. Oh, no. Fail. That was a waste. Oh, we found five of them for her. Okay, all done. Should I go back up now? No, not yet. Oh, this is a big guy. Oh, are we fighting him now? Oh, problem. Huge problem with that. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> oh, you better not make me use the harpoon. <laughs> oh, we are so dead. Oh, no. Our first death. Oh, no. Please tell me your number of hits and not damage done. Because I think our harpoon does, like, negative damage. It'll, like, heal him when it hits him. Oh, no. That's such a big Cleone. Cl All right, there better be a weapon box at the bottom of this place. So far, most ba boss battles have... I probably won't get away without a fight. Well, first step of the playthrough. Let's go. Please have a weapon. Please have a weapon. Good, it has a weapon. Quick, anything. I don't care what it is. Literally anything. That counts as anything. Good. 
Alright, we're saved. <laughs> they did indeed give us a weapon. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong weapon. <laughs> what up if I use the weapon they gave me? Oh wait, it did like nothing. Oh, I think I might have to do it Jason to its body. That did a lot of damage the first time. Like okay, I'm out of ammo. Where are all the ammo boxes at? There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, we have an incorrect weapon now, and I can't switch back. Oh, never mind. He's not dead. Oh no, we're poisoned. Oh, I'm so dead. Luckily, I got oxygen. So I could go pick up more oxygen. That doesn't mean I don't have a backup oxygen for later, though. Wait, can you please stop um, soft locking us? <laughs> Into a corner. Wait, why can I not use. Oh, I don't have any ammo left. Alright, this is bad. Ammo, fall. Do something. Give me water. Give me ammo. I need something! not dead. I can't, you can't expect me to punch him. <laughs> that did nothing. Okay, we're gonna die. Ah, first death. Die, please. <laughs> Somehow. Three damage. <laughs> Let's go. Three damage at a time. Alright, let me try getting a punch out on him. No! <laughs> okay, you get to restart. That's good. This might not count as natural death load. Though, how are we going to win? I guess I have to not miss the one shot I miss and hope that's enough damage. Also, I hope I still have that healing tank that I had earlier. We can still win without it. Though, it would make it a lot easier if we had it. Good, we do. Okay, it retains everything. Well, just for the fun of it, have a sleepy dart. I'm pretty sure we'll do nothing to you, but... <laughs> Let's pretend we will. No, that's just the phase two thing. The problem with that is, if that's half damage, I'm nowhere near killing it. <laughs> because this is my last shot I have. And it didn't kill him, no! Okay, punch, punch them, punch, punch. It's time to pay, play punch out. <laughs> go, go, go. Punch, 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 punch. We did it! <laughs> Take it. <laughs> what a monster! <laughs> it still stings. Uh, let me see if there's anything uh, useful to pick up. What a way to kill. Literally just using invincibility frames. <laughs> just punch it out. Wait, why can't I not grab it? I guess I have to do the thing first. Oh wait, it's disappearing. Come back! Ah, I see something shiny over there. I should go back and look. A tablet frame? Huh, a photo of Maki. I'll have to uh, take it back uh, back up. Oh no, is this gonna end? <gasps> no! Why is there so many things that immediately bring you upwards when you don't want to go upwards? No! I got to keep our seahorses and everything that was in the other thing. Uh, use as ingredients or keep an in inventory. Oh, I like how that has an option for seahorses. Yeah, I'd like to hold on to them for now. But, um... No! <laughs> we got barely any loot. And I couldn't even progress the other storyline because it didn't let me go to the sea people's place. There is one good thing about this, though. Um, I can just directly teleport to the sea uh, peoples now. Because they have everything they need. 
right? Wait, wait, did I ever talk to... Oh! Well, I could do that during the day. I still haven't talked to, um... Get the recipe made. I just still have to talk to him once. But that's fine. Oh, you know what? We still caught an okay amount of stuff. A lot of eggs. Okay, we need to start using tranquilizer. <laughs> wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eggs for using tranquilizer. That's a lot of eggs. Also, a lot of new things and I'll, everything three star pretty much. Since we tranquilized everything here. But you're not a single one of these weren't tranquilized. Except for you. <laughs> Alright, next order of business. Um, we need to go meet Maki at the sushi bar. Still need to find the baby whale. Poor guy. We mostly need to go back to the sea people's place during the day. During night, we might as well just go do a bunch of selling. Uh, what fish do we have at offer, though? Now, let's go all the way back. Let's go back to sushi. We haven't done the sushi thing for, for ages, gosh. This game can go on for a while before you have to get to do the restaurant phase sometimes. Now, let's go talk to Maki. Uh, here, a uh, Cleon, uh, like you asked. That's ah, so beautiful. Uh, thank you, Dave. And I found this. Huh? Is this a photo of me? Uh, there was a huge Cleon. I found this in its uh, home. Uh, there's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Static. Oh, Maki's father. Maki, it's your father. Explanation points. If you're watching this, then I've probably failed my expedition. Oh no. I couldn't really take care of you uh, with my busy schedule. My greed for uh, more work has uh, turned me into an irresponsible father. Uh, you haven't been able to uh, make any friends because we kept uh, moving around because of my work. Uh, even so, I want you to uh, forgive me for uh, being a terrible father and uh, live a confident life. And your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I'll keep uh, watching you from afar so you don't lose your smile. Static. Oh, it escalated very quickly. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Um, it seems to cut off. Many dots. Ah, uh, don't be too upset. It seems your father uh, really loved you, Maki. Please, let me work here. What? So suddenly? Oh, this is so suddenly. <laughs> That's the part where you say, oh, suddenly? Yes. Uh, my father uh, wouldn't like to see me uh, so um, lethargic and sad. Uh, I want to show him that I'm uh, doing fine and working hard. And as uh, you have showed concern uh, for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. Ah, uh, Bacho, uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, what a spirited child. I like her. You can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatments. Yes, okay. I'll work hard uh, to learn and become an amazing chef. Oh, we got another chef. Uh, she's joined our staff by force. <laughs> I just, what's his name? Does he have a new quest for us? Did we have an ongoing quest with him? I don't remember. Did we already do it ages ago? Losing track. <laughs> There's too many people with quests. What? See, people. It's hard to believe that something I've only heard of in legend is real. If there's a good uh, beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks in underwater. They got waterfalls underwater. VIP appeared. Mitchell Bang Master. Ah, looks like uh, this is the only place to eat. Uh, this is what I uh, don't uh, like about remote areas. Michael Bang. Uh, this uh, discrepant place can't possibly uh, make sushi. That will inspire me. I'll just have to uh, fill my belly with uh, what I get. Ah, what a rude customer. What do you want? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director, Michael Bay. Wait, is that a Michael Bay reference? Isn't that that one, um, didn't he do the Transformers movies? I don't know too many celebrities, but isn't he the one, Michael Bay, who did the Transformers movies? And there's a meme of him making like a bunch of explosions and everything. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty funny. Michael Bang instead of Michael Bay. <laughs> because of the explosion reference. That's really good. Delicious. Oh, it's even Robot Samurai! <laughs> because, yeah, didn't he do Transformers? I can't remember everything he did. 
But wasn't he one of the main ones that did like some, if not all, the Transformer movies? That's funny. Wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Ha! Uh, looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great uh, action film director, Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking uh, like that about himself. I'm uh, filming my new uh, movie, The Stone, uh, around these parts, and I can't seem to uh, get the ending uh, scene right. I think I uh, might find new inspiration with food. Uh, that'll clear up my head. It doesn't seem uh, likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. No, no, no. Don't go that far. You're just lying now. <laughs> I watched it multiple times. Oh, he's really lying now. And was <laughs> moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. <laughs> if you can uh, make another such great movie uh, through uh, my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Uh, oh, uh, so you're a fan? I am grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got uh, high standards when it comes to sushi. Uh, the rice they use in these uh, parts is terrible, by the way. That's why we use the best rice uh, we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food uh, that will make your head all but explode with inspiration. All right. Uh, I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. Uh, Bancho, do you have a plan? Ah, cooking is an art form. I know, uh, well, uh, the pain of an amateur. I'll prepare food uh, that will inspire him. However, as he said, the rice I use uh, in is the uh, Anam rice of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits uh, when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. Ha! Ah, I've been listening to in to your conversation. If it's rice, I think I could uh, come up with something. Um, do you have an idea, Otto? Ha! <laughs> ah, uh, give me just a day. Ah, if we can uh, get high quality rice, uh, we can make sushi with three uh, kinds of fish: uh, Titan tigerfish, the Howarkin hind and the coral trout, all three of which I hope we have already. <laughs> That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. Uh, please don't be late. Oh gosh, we got three fish in three days. It's not technically that hard unless we have no clue where they are. So hopefully we have them already. It'll make it a lot easier. Uh, problem, I do not have coral trouts. Though white rice seems like it will handle itself. All right, what on earth would a coral trout look like? <laughs> The other two we got handled. I just gotta make sure to not accidentally upgrade it or do something weird to it <laughs> between those three days. Okay, so next order of business. Um, staff. So we have a new cook now, right? I wonder if she could solo the cooking. Like what we did with this guy. All right, you, you're fired. Not quite literally, but I just want to, um... Wait, I shouldn't have done it that way. I should have just swapped you off for the other one. I just want to remove... I just want to remove, so I can then put you in here. All right, so you're going to solo the front end. You're going to solo the back ends. I don't have that much to upgrade her with, though. Training. Yeah, we'll probably just do two upgrades, because if it's like the other one where it gets this upgrade at three, should be fine. How much was your training again? Oh, I guess not that bad. So let's just train her twice. Oh, wow, she gets a lot of stats. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the only stat she has is cooking. That's all she does. She even has an upgrade that helps her with cooking. Cooking plus. Cooking ability increased permanently. It's only by an extra 50. But it's more than it was before. All right, there we go. Well, already it's higher than his serving capability. Those other stats are off the chart. All right, well, I think that's enough to run a restaurant, to be honest. As we're going to get absolutely slammed, I think that is enough. About to find out. Okay, so, um... What else? Menu. Let's go upgrade a bunch of stuff. Let's hope to not accidentally upgrade the other thing we need. Bang tooth. Let me double check. I need Titan Tigerfish, Hankwin Hinds, 
Or the Harlequin Hind. I wish there was a way to, like, lock it in place. So, I, like, guarantee wouldn't use it in any way, shape, or form. And setting up this menu. I think we're fine. Fang tooth? No, it wasn't a fang tooth. Alright, let's just ignore all the lesser fish then. Just to make sure we don't accidentally do it to those. And just upgrade our high stuff and just cook uh, and serve all the high stuff then. Wait, is this a mission for someone? Oh no, that's for the party thing coming up. We need more of those. That's why it's marked like that. All right, let's just enhance everything we can up here. <laughs> oh, I just enhanced every last one I had. Well then. <laughs> Not the first nor last time that will ever happen. Similar to right then. Well, looks like our menu is, um, I hope you guys like shark. <laughs> Saw shark. Because that is the entirety of our menu tonight. Honestly, I'm about to make that the only dish on the menu. What could they possibly do? <laughs> Complain and not order it? I wonder what would happen if that actually was the case. I'm gonna try. I am gonna serve only that menu item. I've never tried doing this before. What will happen? I'm gonna serve literally only this item. And you guys better like it. Because we have nothing else on the menu. <laughs> I wonder if they won't order. Like they see the lack of variety and be like, oh, I'm not going for it. Oh, let's go check. So I want to go auto supply. I don't know. We never tried this. Let's see what happens. It could either go very well or very horribly. Oh, we got some really heavy research here. Hufferfish. Uh, let's see. Interesting. I'm sure which one of those I would want to research. Definitely need quite a bit more flames. Anyways, we'll leave it there for now. Let's go and uh, start today. I don't think we need to change anything else. We're going to see what happens when we do that. These two should be good enough to hold down the line. Can we upgrade her further? We have the money too. Training. Just to make sure she keeps up with absolutely everything. There we go. All right, she should be good to go then. What should she get for her next one? Anything? There's more stats. All right, let's go. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. You're at a restaurant enjoying some nice sushi now. That sounds good. I actually haven't been out for sushi for a while. Pretty much since the pandemic, I have not had sushi. All right, let's just go. Oh, wait. There actually is one other thing we need to go do. Uh, oh, wait. Why is my thing? Wait, what's happening? It's spamming left. Stop. Wait. What is it doing? There it goes. That was weird. To-do list. Um, gosh, a billion things here. Gotta return the ball. Oh yeah, I still need to ask him to actually cook the dish thing. I need to remember to do that before we go. Wait, can I ask him to actually have him now? There's no way. Let me check. Ah, um, Coral. Yeah, he actually is. Uh, there's another sick person. There's the ingredients. All right, wait a moment. Perfect. Some cutscene. Oh, this one's not skippable. <laughs> Ah, uh, here. Corals. I don't imagine them tasting good. Uh, thank you, Bancho. Awesome. I can uh, take this to the uh, sea person at the workshop. Alright, that was part done. Um, Another thing we had to go do. Let me go turn in these. Because that one fish thing is now doable. Overpopulated invasion. And now we get an extra reward on our Nook Mile tickets. <laughs> we got the Eco Poison Resist Bracelet, which would have been great against that boss we were just up against. 
And now we need to go get 200 points. And what's our reward for that? A gold bar. That seems bad. It's only 500 gold. All that for 500 gold is pretty pitiful. At least make it all relics that are like at least somewhat usable. All right, I think we're good then. Still quite a few locked things on our app. Anyways. All right, next order business. Uh, I'll start up the restaurant and see what happens when you only have one menu item. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's fine. If nothing else, we have plenty of that menu item. Like, we're not going to run out. My biggest concern is, are they only going to order that item willingly? <laughs> About to find out. All right, let's do it. Start it up. Uh, where's the open? All right, let's hope they are fine with one menu item. Quite literally. Let's see what happens. Will they order? Will they be like, I don't want this. Well, at least we know one actually funny thing about this is it doesn't matter who I go to. They all want this item. <laughs> one who's waiting too long. Alright, we might need another server. Better upgrade our current server. His cooking speed seems fine. It's more so the serving speed that's a little slow. But it's also because he has to handle drink. Which is definitely slowing down the process slightly. The answer to this question, will they order only one item? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. They actually will order only one item. That's kind of broken. <laughs> okay, our expenses went up a little. Though we did train up a really good chef. They yeah, still a lot of profit. Honestly, I, I think we just keep upgrading what we have. I don't know. Uh, we might need another waiter, ultimately. But it depends how much quicker it gets than that. Because honestly, food speed was fine. Like, we just upgrade or some. That seems like it's going to be perfectly fine. Between the two of them. I now even need a second cook. The only reason we might need a second waiter is mostly because of... Um, the fact that he's having to handle all the drinks as well. Oh, okay. yeah, so how's our rice doing? Hello there, Dave. Have a good night's sleep? Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose so. Uh, you sound tired. Okay. Uh, well, I stayed up all night working on something. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you working on? <laughs> uh, I'll show you. Uh, get on the boat and come on over uh, next to the fish farm. Oh, yeah, we should go see all our hatch fishes now. Or fishies. Oh. Fishesses. <laughs> Multiple fish eye. Uh, what is this place? <laughs> ha, I tried some uh, food at the restaurant. Uh, oh gosh, are we starting to harvest uh, moon, the Stardew Valley portion of this game? Ha, I tried some uh, food at the restaurant. Uh, the sushi has uh, Anam rice uh, mixed in, uh, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, uh, that's the only rice uh, we can manage to find around here. <laughs> ah, Bancho uh, was, uh, blah, blah, has got super superb skills, but uh, you wouldn't meet that uh, picky uh, movie director standards with that kind of grain. Uh, since you're uh, staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you uh, might help to grow some white rice. Wow, thanks. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Ha. Huh. Uh, the thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. Uh, what would I do first? I've uh, seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little with uh, growing the rice. It takes about a year in real world so uh, to grow rice. Uh, but this is uh, no rice farming game, is it? Uh, you'll be able to have your results in two to three days. Oh, uh, but the thing is, I've uh, injured my legs. Uh, you'll have to uh, pluck out the weeds. Uh, that'll prevent insects from uh, harming the crop. Of course, if we can uh, have some good rice uh, plucking weeds, no problem. Uh, to think uh, that's a rice paddy uh, right behind the restaurant. It's uh, really nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> glad, uh, glad to see you like it. Oh, 
As for the uh, state of the uh, rice paddy, uh, technology has some uh, has come a long way, and you have an app for it, like everything else in this game. It is called Farm Now. I'll update it on the uh, morning hmm. for the app. Uh, though, uh, that reminds me, I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Hmm. I've uh, done wait. I've uh, gone to a, a farming village in Th Thailand uh, on a, a very hot day. I was uh, resting in the shade, and a white-haired uh, village chief uh, came over, uh, looked right into my eyes, and told me, "Enough." Is that a reference to something? It feels like it is. Now, now, cool your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. <laughs> Go pluck them. I see a singular weed. All right, so you can now uh, visit the farm. The farm is where you can grow and harvest various crops uh, needed for cooking. Wait, why does it keep moving? There we go. Good. Pluck the weeds out uh, like that, and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that even the uh, picky director uh, would be satisfied with rice of this quality. Right, nutrients is high. Otto will grow uh, rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often to remove weeds, the soil health uh, score may drop, uh, causing pests to appear. I want to look at our seeds. Okay, so seed, uh, growth stage, seed. Uh, expe expected date, two days, which will be in time for the thing. Uh, exp uh, expected amount, one or more. Expected two. Wait, why are there two numbers for the same thing? <laughs> expected amount says one or more, and expected is two. Aren't those the same value? Or, you know, don't those two phrases mean the same thing? <laughs> in theory. I'll grow the rice. Okay, can we not plant anything in the other area? I guess not yet. Maybe that thumbnail thing you showed it for it. Okay, well, I guess we just can't farm the other four pads yet. Soon, TM. Probably after this mission with the rice, we probably can. I don't know, it hasn't been coded yet. Even though they have a thumbnail thingy for it in that little uh, preview image. Alright, uh, what do I need here? Boat. Oh, no, no, I want to go check my fish. Oh, so this will probably be the last day that we have enough time for. Like this last whole day cycle. But we should be able to do most of the stuff with, um... My farming report is available. But we should be able to do most of the stuff with the, um... The sea people. Because we have three missions to go turn in. Alright, so growing, five. Harvestable, none. Uh, pest damage, none. Nutrition, uh, max. And it's raining. To help them even more. Right, how's our cook star doing? Of course, we can't go any higher until it's out of uh, early access. Uh, nothing there. Good to go. I already checked that. All right, how much gold do we have? A sizable chunk. Um, any upgrade worth going for right now? Uh, yes. It's called one we can't afford. <laughs> I might just go for more ear here, just to make sure, out of safety's sake. We haven't died yet, let's not start. And then I think we just go all in on uh, cargo boxes then. Actually, wait, this next cargo upgrade is gigantic. Wait, hold up, maybe I'll wait on that. 141? Maybe not, because then I'm going to spend way too much time in the underwater. <laughs> if I have that much cargo space, we're going to spend way too much time down there. All right, let's do an air upgrade. And then the following day... We'll do the cargo box, assuming we even have enough, which we might not. Okay, so I think we just go directly to the sea people. After I go sell some junk. Uh, shop. We got a weapon upgrade, we got some air upgrade. What are we even planning to do, though? We're mostly just going to the car uh, to the people and seeing um, what they want us to do. Because we're returning in three quests. The ball quest, the soup quest... And the the tablet quest thing for the wedding. I still feel like I should pick something up. These are so valuable for what they do. Um, I guess just more oxygen. Pick up the weapon a different time. I don't really feel like I need the mines. Wait, wait, wait. This is a net trap. Hold up. This is different. A net trap activates by a trigger. Oh, hold up. That's actually cool. You know what? We're bringing a Trank gun down there. Let me bring capacity in that, and then we can try out the net gun. Or the net bomb, I mean. 
Alright, let's go directly to the sea people. And hope one of their cutscenes doesn't directly force me up. Guys, it might. Oh yeah, we need to go find that one fish. We might have to do a whole expedition trying to find that fish. Oh, I forgot to check. Oh, I forgot to check the fish. If they hatched and all that. Oh no, I knew I forgot something. The farming distracted me from the fish we needed to go check. All right, time to go to Lag City. We have returned. Hey, what's this? Do we have a quest to turn in here? Yeah, I forgot to check the thing. I'm pretty sure we don't have to keep maintenancing it, so it's not too big a deal. Oh no! What is it, Mima? I need to serve customers, but I'm missing an ingredient. Uh, say, uh, could you go look into the depths for what? Uh, oh my, you're helping? Aha! Tube coral. Hopefully there's a tube thing next to it. You'll probably find it near the whale bones. Can you help me out? I have no clue where that is. Whale bones? I think I've seen them before. I don't know where that is. Get tube coral. Oh no. I don't know where that is. Alright, next order of business. Um, anything turning over here? No. Oh, there is over there. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do while we're up there? I forgot to put down a manual save in case autosave doesn't have us covered. Because anytime I'm in this area, I feel like we're gonna crash any second. <laughs> the game is just thinking about crashing. Now here's your ball back. Ah, oh, wow, it's a ball. Uh, you really uh, brought it back for us. Phew, it was really scary. Uh, you kids stay uh, inside the village uh, for now on, okay? Okay. I guess humans aren't all bad, unlike uh, what we were told. Hope to see you again, human. Nice. 20 credit, uh, uh, or uh, 10, uh, 25, only 10 credit. Okay. Let's go in here. This was the guy who needs a soup, if I'm not mistaken. And then the only one we need to talk to was the one in the back who needed the tablet thingy. Oh, this is the coral uh, porridge. Uh, you should uh, eat it and rest. Hmm. How can a human make our food? Uh, put it there and go. I have to uh, check if it's poisoned. Gosh, everyone's like that. Uh, what an un uh, un unreasonable sea person. Whatever. Hey, still paid us. Still got our credit. How was it? Was it poisoned? Can you let me know? I guess you should be thankful for the porridge. I guess it wasn't poisoned. <laughs> go figure. Well, I'd poison next time, don't you worry. <laughs> Alright, let me get out of this area. It's really weird because it's only this area. The second I get to the other area of this area, it doesn't lag. But only like this main area of this area. But the smaller area of this big area doesn't lag. Okay, what are we here for? Uh, you don't look well. Is something wrong? Oh, human, um... Uh, my cute, uh, Cell Geo was, has disappeared. Your Cell Geo? Uh, yes. He's my purple pet squid. Uh, he was... Gosh, is everything running away from your place? Uh, he was, uh, gone when I woke up. Oh, no. Uh, well, he's disappeared before. Uh, he followed the shining jellyfish. A shining jellyfish? Human, can you please find, uh, Cell Geo for me? Uh, he's, uh, timid, but, uh, put this high-quality food, uh, nearby, uh, when he's calm to lure him. Got it. I'll try luring him with food. So we gotta go get that thing. Alright, what else was there here? I think we just have to go to the back and give the marriage tablet. Oh no, big loading screen. Okay, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna come back. Yeah, let's go bring this over to the thing. Also, it bothered me to no end that we have five as the end number right there. I'm not sure there's a proper way to even it out. Alright, we're under far of the portals. I'm pretty sure I just passed one and wasn't even paying attention. 
Portals, come out, portals. Portals, any portals? Have any five frame per second portal? There we go, and now we get our frames back. <laughs> and magically, the frames have returned. <laughs> I wonder why it's in that area that's lagging it so much. There's not a single other area in this entire game has lagged. Except that one single hub area. Uh, my goodness, human. Uh, this is the one. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll be able to have the wedding without any hiccups. There we go. Human, or rather, Dave, was it? I think if you participated, you could become better acquainted with the villagers. Um, a sea people wedding? Huh, that sounds interesting. Uh -huh. Here we are, Dave. Wow, it feels different uh, from a human wedding. Haha, uh -huh. <laughs> is that so? Uh, -huh. uh, you can stay in the back. Uh, it'll begin soon. Earthquake in the laggier area. <laughs> oh no, another earthquake! <laughs> King Long's arm! Not as long anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like weld it back on. <laughs> oh dear, King Long! This is terrible. It's actually a very old statue. Uh, we don't have the tools in the village to patch it up. Oh dear, this is not good. Uh, is it an omen of an impending disaster, perhaps? Hey, uh, come down a bit. Uh, maybe Cobra will have something. I'll try and see if there's anything uh, we can use on the surface. Just wait a bit. Oh no, we gotta come back later. All right, well that's one mission we can't do now. All right, well, let's go head outside then. Uh, let me try setting the other one as my active mission, though, if I can. Though first, let me get out of this lag. <laughs> let me out of here. All right, back to normal frames. So what do we need out here? We needed some kind of weird bone thing next to some whale thing. Oh, so this is the first time we have a tranquilizer in this area. Why we trank a bunch of fish? One of the reasons we have it with us. Let's find some fish we haven't caught. In. Are you different than the other guy? No, do not go into the sea people. <gasps> no, you made me waste my shot. Sea people entrance. Oh, there we go. No, stop. <laughs> Don't want to go in. sure if you look different or not. Still tranking it just in case. It is different. Oh, good thing we did. Oh, are you different as well? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a shining jellyfish. Uh, maybe finally a jellyfish will lead us to uh, the pet. Oh, that's one mission done. Easy enough. Uh, can you slow down? I cannot move that quick. Stop moving so quick. Stop moving so quick. Oh, 
I got a weapon upgrade. It's worth considering. Because we can redo our ammo at any point. Plus, there's more ammo right there. We got a lot of refresh on ammo. Mm. There's a small he hole here. Uh, maybe it's in here. I'll try using the flashlight. So what am I trying to do? Hello. Mm. Ah, I think I just saw uh, the pet. Oh, do I have to keep finding it? It's like a little hide and seek. I'm sure it's inside. Uh, should we check it out? Three times the charm. Mm. It seems to have come down a bit. Let's try luring it outside. Uh, let's try putting out the high quality food. We have given you food. Come for the food. There, use the bug net to catch it. Got it. Great. Now let's uh, take the squid to uh, Lin Chen. Oh, is he going to auto teleport me there? Oh, it better not end my day after this. It shouldn't. Oh, Sergio. Uh, thank you, human. I was afraid I'd uh, never see my pet again. It was difficult to bring your pet here. Ha. Uh, I'll uh, make sure it never happens again. Oh, 20 credit for that one. And here's another small gift to you. Sergio's portrait. <laughs> oh, um, I'll hang it up in the restaurant. Thank you. Hey, free cosmetics. We don't have to spend money on. Perfect. Aha, well, drop at the uh, casino from time to time, human. I would, if I could figure out where to use all the currency. Okay, so, um... Was there another mission I had here? What was the other mission at this point? I actually already forgot. Let me get out of this lag area first. Because what was left? I need to go get the melding tool for the arm. And there was one other. I don't remember what that one other was. Oh! It was like something by some whale bones or something? Or is that a different one I was just thinking of? Let me go check the quests. Because I'm pretty sure there was like some object near some whale thing. Alright, let's see if um the quest log thingy will let me switch between it. I don't think it will directly here. Well, let's hope we randomly stumble upon it. Oh, it's red! Oh, that's perfect. It actually shows me the icon. And the rice we'll get from the thing. So I'm looking for a red fish. Of some kind. Wait, does that refill my oxygen when I go in there? I didn't even think about that. That's actually kind of broken. It does not refill my ammo, though. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it refilled my oxygen. Oh, that's one of the net ones. Oh, 
Wait, I just had to do a dead end. I know. I think there is more ammo to my left. Where's the ammo that was here earlier? There it is. Where are the jellyfish? We need that for the jellyfish thingy. There's like a billion. Oh, there they are. There's all the jellies. That's what we're looking for. Not the main reason we're here, but. Oh, nice! That is how you get the uh, upgrade material from them. You just have to make sure it's a percent chance when they're. Oh, no, maybe it's guaranteed when you trank them. Oh, wait. Trank gun is broken. <laughs> Quality loot, and you get the special drop. Does that mean that big uh, exploding one drops the burning one? Don't you dare explode. Okay, sleep before you fall. No, no, don't, don't you dare explode. No! Okay, I need to make sure to get a little bit further away. <laughs> Still exploded on us. Oh, let me save some for the explodey ones. Actually, no, I don't need to. I have a weapon upgrade on me. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't have backup oxygen. We do not have a spear tank this time. We have not died yet, and I don't plan to start. <laughs> Never sure if that even gets any improvement at a higher level. I guess its range might be better. Oh, how are we supposed to do this? I have to hit him with this start without getting seen. Oh, got him. There we go. Now we wait. Now we get him. A new one as well. Oh, yeah, we never did get him. Oh, we're starting to over encumber though. That's concerning without extra oxygen. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure where this other mission is. Oh, there's some oxygen. That's good. There's another one of these things. I can always go to the sea people chamber and get back out that way because we are quite literally over encumbered now. So we just grab oxygen, and I guess we escape through the uh, sea people then. Oh wait, I am dead-ended here. You know what, let me just go the scenic route. The one we've already been, just because it's a lot safer. Not only is there no enemies there because we cleared it all, but we know pretty much the exact path. So we can't accidentally like double up. If we find anything on the way, we do have three trank darts. We would have to clear some lower quality stuff. I'm happy with what we have. Let's just head there. Because I'm pretty sure we... We haven't done it yet. But I'm pretty sure we could just use the mirror from the village to get back to our town. Because we used it to get there. We should be able to use it to get back. Wait, are we on track? I have no clue. Find out when we hit a dead end over here and then die soon after. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe we should have went deeper down. Oh, if we can find an escape pod, it's the same difference. Oh no, I might have went the wrong way. Oh no. The escape pod is just the same. Also, more air would also be great. <laughs> oh, this might be the closest we get to death. Let's see. Because if it's not to the right, I'm not sure where it is. It should be right to the right of us right now. And if it's not right here, then we could be dead. It's like right through the store, right? Am I going the wrong way? It's like right on the other side of this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I just took the weirder route. <laughs> but it still connects here. Right we're out of here. To the village! I 
Okay, where's the mirror to get out of five frames per second? Alright, there's the mirror. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Alright, they really need to fix this area. It's literally just this one single area. And if they have to make it into like two extra loading zones or something. Alright, there we go. Alright, before I forget, there are several things I need to do while we're at this boat. <laughs> A stone adhesive for underwater? Let's see. Ah, oh, he has the glue gun. Okay, I see. We're not going to use the other thing. We're not going to meld it together, but we're literally going to glue it together. Uh, this should do. I should go back to the Sea People Village. I'll go back to the Sea People uh, Village and attach the arm uh, to King Long statue. Uh, do we want to keep these or serve them? Um, you know what? I'm going to keep them. Keep them in inventory. Just to compare their stats. Oh, that's a lot of eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not eight. No, technically ten. Because you three right there for the same one. Cool. All right. First things first. Uh, let's see. Anything we need to do here? No, but we do have a lot of comb jelly electric organs, which are used for the electric weapons, particularly the higher damage one that has like split damage. All right. So before I forget, let's go to the fish area. I meant to do this before we went out, but we'll do it now. I'm going to check how our little uh, aquarium's doing. And our little breeding fishies. They look happy. I got a bunch of them in there. Poor thing's going to die to the other fish. <laughs> That's all the new ones. Slowly populating. Density's only 31%. Okay, this one's starting to get too dense. But for now, it's fine. Currently, only the, one of them can reproduce with each other, though. The great uh, Barracuda. The rest still need more friends. Wait, we even have one of those sharks in there? Gosh, how did he get in there? A tiger shark? Why on earth did we get his egg? Unfortunately, we don't have any of the other depths uh, areas unlocked. Alright, uh, farm. I don't think I need to do anything here, but we'll go check just in case. I'm pretty sure we don't have to check on the farm that often at all. I mean, the nutrients is slightly lower. I'm not sure if there's any way I can help that. He never really taught us what to do with a diminished re uh, return on that. Use white rice from the farm. Yeah, quality sushi, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's go to the boat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is there anyone I need to talk to? I feel like I'm forgetting one crucial thing. Let me double check my quests, because then we can also change which one is on priority, because there is actually one I want to change. Just so we can see it, I believe, when we're underwater. Because we can't change it while underwater. Alright, we need to look out for coral trout, which is a big red fish. But I need this one to be set as my priority. You can only choose to display up to three. Right, I would like to stop displaying this one, then. Wait, you can't. Interesting. Maybe the whale? Because it's not marking anywhere on our map. Also, this isn't showing us the image, so we'll just do that. Let's keep an eye out for coral trout, which looks like a big red fish trout thing. Alright, I don't think there's anything we need to do with weapons. Though we do now know that we have the material for the super electric-y one. We're just missing the fragments. This one's the one that has, like, the split damage. That'd be cool with the rifle. It's maybe even underwater, uh... Yeah, this one. 
You like it's like adjacent damage. Its base damage is lower though. Inflict 50% damage to one nearby enemy sea creature max four times. Maybe that wouldn't work out too well because I don't know. It's kind of like a weird AOE. But normally with something like this, you're like trying to single target. Maybe you wouldn't end up needing it. Anyways. It's an interesting premise. You would need a lot of big enemies next to each other. And that very rarely actually occurs. Well, so there's still a few things we're missing. We're missing that one, we're missing that one, and we're missing this one. Assuming they don't add even more. Because there's room for one more. In that corner over there. Not to mention if they add another page. Okay, so uh, I think we're good to go down. We just need to figure out where the tube coral is. Find a baby whale. Uh, build trust with the sea people. But all we have to do is wield the thing... Find the tube corals. Oh yeah, where did it say depth-wise the tube coral was? It actually showed me when I was on that to-do list, and I can't see that normally. It's around the depths of 130 to 250. That is such a wide range. I have guests to serve. Uh, could you make some or get some? I have no clue where that is, though. Yeah, 130 to 250. That is not a... Oh, wait, three, 50 to 130 on the coral trout. I wonder if it's nighttime. Or maybe I just never really checking them at the top. 50 to 130. And around that 130-ish area is when the coral starts. I have 50 to 130. Let's keep an eye out for them. I'm just going to go from the top this time. Oh, yeah, give me some equipment. Uh, what do you have? Give me, um, sure, net bombs. Why not? All right, let's go head out. Taking the scenic route. See if we can find a whale and or the coral. And or the trouts we need for the other mission. Oh yeah, also, aren't we on a slight time limit for that other one? Because that was for that bang guy. I wonder what happens if you fail one of them. That has not happened yet. seahorse. I can't grab that seahorse. That's a fake seahorse. I can't grab it. <laughs> it won't let me. Seaweed. How on earth have I never grabbed seaweed? We've been in this ocean for 11 hours. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Let's do this. Oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Wait. Why is it activating my thing instead of scrapping it? Oh no! My net traps are gonna do nothing! Oh, goodbye net traps. <laughs> Why wouldn't it let me scrap this? Am I going crazy? Oh! It's a melee weapon. <laughs> Whoops. It's a melee weapon. That's why it would kept doing our bombs. It definitely did not look like a melee weapon. But it was. Do we still need reds? We do, really? Interesting. I don't think I've... I don't know, we probably have. It's hard to tell, though. There's just more ammo sitting there. There's a weapon over there. I'm not going to go all the way over, though. They're not what we're looking for. Wait, dead end? That's not good. We don't need more for that quest anymore. Oh, we found something. Is this where the whale is? Oh, it's a dolphin. Oh, gosh, another dolphin thing. The shiny dolphin has returned. Ah, oh, it's the pink dolphin. It looks like it's your friend. Please take a picture of it. Sure. Oh, I overdid it. Fail. Restart. Success. Good enough. Heart shaped water drop. 
I could try. I don't think we could retry though. Oh, there we go. Good enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need tools. Yeah, it is pretty durable. Ooh, bigger sword. It is sharp as well. Yeah, that's a trout, but not the trout we're looking for. That is red, but not the red thing we're looking for. Found them. Leads to that one room. Wait, didn't that one room start to have um, fish in it though? Or am I thinking of a different room? I can't remember. Let me just check. Go to new region. Is this a room? I think it is. I can't remember. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we caught you before we caught you. I don't think we need anything here. This is a gigantic sawfish. Oh, can I catch a seahorse, though? Well, that'd be a better seahorse. It is. There we go. A giraffe seahorse. Only rank one. That's a new type. Oh, I guess we didn't come here for nothing. We found a new species of seahorse. Well, based on its rank, I assume it is worse than the ones we already had. So all we have to do now is find a dolphin. So we found everything that we need for um, the bang guy. We have probably all the jellyfish we're realistically going to need for the jellyfish event. So we just re mostly need to find where on earth this tube coral is, and side quest wise, find where on earth the whale is. And the other thing said it was like around 152 or 130 to 250. We're getting there. I feel like I haven't caught you before. Oh, that's not how I want to catch you, though. Right, let me catch the other one just to make sure it's not damaged. I'm pretty sure that does so little damage that it wouldn't even matter, though. One nice thing about not having our harpoon upgraded. Oh, it is a new one. We never even had one yet. Why do I feel like this side is the dead end? Oh no, this isn't a dead end side. Oh, we gotta be careful. I do not have any spare oxygen. So it's at around the 130 to 250 depths. I assume that's around this area then. Where in this area? Who knows? <laughs> but supposedly, generally somewhere is around here. In any which many directions. didn't already have a UV light. Oh, we have four hits. Uh, I guess we just gotta take a restock. I'm trying to think if there's another deep area that isn't around here. Ooh, crown seahorse. Oh, that sounds like it would be a really good one for the race. Oh, 
I wonder if there's all this coral. I said 130 to where we kind of are now. 130 to 250. jellyfish for the event so it works out perfect oh don't you dare explode in time no grab it oh okay so how does that work physics wise <laughs> it was about to explode we then grab it magically diffused oh no i still got hit oh, you gotta be careful on oxygen we do not have a backup tank Is there another big side to the left that I'm just missing every single time? It sure feels like I am. I'm already starting to get over encumbered with that. Luckily, we do have an escape plan right over there if we need it. What are we really missing for main objectives? It's mostly this coral, which we're trying to find. And not successfully. That's not a foot. We still need the other part. We have an escape pod here if we truly need it. Ow. All right, he might actually be somewhat dangerous. Because I actually have no direct way of dealing with him. I'm almost guaranteed he cannot be tranked. But we'll try. See what happens there. Just normally something that aggressive cannot be put to sleep. Yeah. Oh wait, it did? No way. Oh, it actually worked. Oh, that's huge. That's probably the most aggressive thing I've ever seen that was actually capable of being put to sleep. Right, we're pretty much capped out now. Wasn't there a big whale up here? I mean the one thing I'm looking for might also be here. Alright, 302. Back up 02. That's huge. Got some Amistiffs. Alright, that guy we need a not aggro at all. Oh no, I didn't mean to use that immediately. Alright, I really do not know where it wants me to go for the other thing though. Encumbered. Right, we're out of here. Well, we got a bunch of stuff for the uh, for the VIP. We have everything. For the jellyfish thing that's going to be happening soon, we pretty much have everything. The only thing we're really missing now is one side quest whale where we don't know where that is, and apparently they might both be right next to each other. But the other thing also said initially that was near the whale or some kind of whale thing. So there's a chance both the things I'm looking for are right literally on top of each other. It might be... There must be like a left under area that I'm not aware of. Because that's the only thing I could think of for that. But I think for now we might have to end up ending for now. And then tomorrow we should be able to complete out everything. We only have one C-person request left. 
Oh, I definitely want to keep, um, you know, I want to keep all these in my inventory, but particularly you. I'll put all of them there. But anyways, so yeah, next time we should be able to finish. Oh, nice, and all the eggs as well. Let's see, how many eggs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Gosh, I love this thing. So many. But anyways, so next time we will be able to go and finish things out. Oh, yeah, she's going to be about the uh, pink dolphin picture. Oh, you brought me a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, a pink dolphin? Uh, it's so adorable. I'd like to uh, take it home. I'm kidding. Now right, we got a bunch of gold. No bonus since we didn't get the other thing. And it seemed to just be for a little bit of extra gold. But anyways, uh, before I forget, let me go throw down a manual save. Something I've not done a single time this entire almost 12 hour playthrough so far. Uh, manual save. Uh, settings. Uh, save. Auto, auto, auto. I would like to put down a non-auto save. Why are there so many autos for it? Why is it taking up three different auto slots? Manual. There it is. <laughs> Our first manual save. Why on earth do we have three different autos for the same file, though? It's like trying to put an auto in, like, every file we have. As long as it doesn't overwrite my manual, though. It's so weird. All right, there's our manual save. All right, there we go. Anyways, but yeah, we'll continue out the storyline and should be able to finish the next stream. Uh, basically do what we did today and just finish out the game. That's pretty much the game plan. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll finish out with Dave the Diver uh, tomorrow as far as the early access is concerned. And we'll probably revisit this sometime in the future after early access to see uh, what exactly to do. And off stream, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it too. Uh, kind of like how we did for Darkest Dungeon a little bit, though. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, I've not been keeping up with that as much, though. But uh, I believe it's releasing in a couple months. But anyways, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll catch you guys later, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.